Chapter 601 Lilith Returns You have to try. What if you succeed? Zhang Tuohai dispatched the Global Hawk. And for the sake of safety, used the highest cruising altitude, 18,000 meters, for high altitude reconnaissance. This height is generally safe enough. If the opponent can even detect the Global Hawk at this height, it means that the strength of the visitor is much higher than Zhang Tuohai. And it is better to avoid it as soon as possible. The Global Hawk flew towards the northern area to search for traces of incoming enemies while Zhang Tuohai hurriedly jumped off the command chair, preparing to take advantage of this time to check the situation in the vehicle, load missiles, and check supplies, prepare to fight or run. As soon as Zhang Tuohai got off his seat, he felt his lower body hit something. Zhang Tuohai didn't expect to bump into something in the wide aisle. At this time, it was too late for him to stop the castration, and he lay on the ground. Who is so wicked and puts things at my feet? It kills me! Zhang Tuohai felt a sharp pain in his waist, grinning and sucking in the cold air. Climb away! You're about to suffocate me! A muffled voice came from under Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai looked down and saw a pair of hands stretched out from under his belly, crawling forward. After a moment, a little girl 1.2 meters tall with long silver white hair crawled out from under Zhang Tuohai. The little girl patted the wrinkled white coat that obviously didn't fit her body, and said with a look of disgust, don't you know how to watch when I walk? You can't see me for such a big person? It's useless for me to come here as soon as possible after I come back. Look at you. Who are you? Zhang Tuohai looked at the little girl in shock. He didn't remember such a guy in the car. Etc. Zhang Tuohai felt that the other person looked familiar. So he looked at him up and down again. A familiar delicate face. Silver white hair. Black pupils. And a somewhat cold voice. Zhang Tuohai always felt like he had seen each other before. Are you Lilith? Have you reincarnated back? Aren't you that tall? How did you become like this? Zhang Tuohai looked at the little girl in front of him strangely. He remembered that although Lilith was not tall, she was at least 1.6 meters tall. Why did she become 1.2 meters tall after she was reincarnated? He was filled with confusion. You have good eyesight. So it's no wonder that I care about you so much. Lilith snorted. As for the height, it's just an accident. Don't pay too much attention. I will slowly fix it. After speaking, Lilith turned her head slightly, her face looking a little unnatural. By the way, where is your sister? Zhang Tuohai looked behind Lilith, but there was no trace of Lilith at all. Logically speaking, this doesn't seem like Lilina's character, with Lilina's character like a stray dog. After being reincarnated, she should be running around in the car. But why hasn't anyone been seen for such a long time? This doesn't make sense. I told you it was an accident and it will be solved slowly in the future. Lilith said a little stiffly. Her face completely turned away. Zhang Tuohai saw that Lilith's face seemed to be rosy, as if she was a little embarrassed. Just when Zhang Tuohai was confused, classmate Xiao Ai poked Zhang Tuohai on the shoulder with his robotic arm. Commander, look here. Zhang Tuohai turned his head curiously and saw classmate Xiao Ai typing a long string of text on the spherical screen. Due to a miscalculation, Miss Lilith merged with Miss Lilina into a whole body when she was reincarnated. After the two merged, the amount of nutrition they needed far exceeded the normal nutritional standards for two people, exceeding what Miss Lilith was prepared to achieve. Nutritional medicine. Later, due to lack of nutrition, Miss Lilith finally had no choice but to break out of the shell early, which also led to some problems with Miss Lilith's body shape. In addition, the commander needs to be reminded that although Miss Lilith is similar in size to a 12-year-old girl, Miss Lilith's body is the optimal solution after many calculations and is the limit that humans can achieve. Although it is not fully developed due to premature birth, it is still possible to bend steel bars and unscrew the T-Onling cover with bare hands. Finally, Miss Lilith's mental state is not stable at this time. Commander, please don't try to ask any more questions about Miss Lilith's body. This is for the sake of the commander's physical and mental health. Zhang Tuohai, after hearing classmate Xiao Ai's explanation, Zhang Tuohai was completely confused. He originally thought that after Lilith's reincarnation was completed, he would be able to gain two girls, a cartographer and a guard. As a result, due to a technical error, production was suddenly reduced, and the harvest shrunk by half and fifty. It was simply a loss of blood. In addition, Lilina is the first woman in this world. Why is she gone when she is so good? Originally, he wanted to wait for Lilina to be reincarnated and come back before rekindling their relationship. As a result, the other party actually merged with Lilith. What to do next? Isn't the happy life gone? 
The most important thing is, how should he face Lilith in the future? Should I call her aunt or sister? Zhang Tuohai's mind was a little confused, seemingly sensing Zhang Tuohai's thoughts. Lilith's face turned even redder, and she said with some embarrassment, I told you, I will find a way to cut her out of my body. You don't have to worry about this. I we have accumulated enough simulation body cultivation technology, and we will definitely succeed next time. Hearing Lilith's words, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. Zhang Tuohai was still relieved about Lilith's technical strength. Being able to directly transform the soul and the mechanical body into a human being is already a high-tech technology in itself. Lilith can succeed in this kind of thing. Presumably, the bodies of two people can be divided again and transplanted separately. Part of a missing organ doesn't seem to be a problem. At worst, it would be over by just making another body. Moreover, if you discuss it carefully with Lilith, you might be able to get customized privileges, such as adjusting certain details of the body. For example, fat ratio, toughness, body hair. Zhang Tuohai began to think about it, seeing Zhang Tuohai's appearance. Lilith pondered for a moment, raised her mouth slightly, and said with a narrow look, By the way, there is one more thing I want to remind you. What? Zhang Tuohai quickly retracted his thoughts and acted seriously. Now, how should I put it? As for this body, since you also provided some key technical support, from a physiological point of view, this body is your daughter. Here is a piece of advice. You cannot cross the ethical line. Boundaries. Right. Dad. Lilith said with a smile. Chapter 602 Brahmo's Missile. The two words, Dad, struck Zhang Tuohai's head like lightning. Zhang Tuohai felt dizzy. He began to count his relationship with Lilith. First of all, Lilith's body was born from an egg, and the egg was hatched successfully after adding her own essence. Therefore, there is nothing wrong with being the father of this body, but that essence was produced by merging with Lilina. In other words, Lilina became Lilith's mother, and Lilina, who shared the same body with Lilith, became his daughter with Lilith. Lilith was originally Lilina's sister, so the question is, what should we call each other? Zhang Tuohai calculated on his fingers for a long time, but still didn't understand this ethical issue. In the end, Zhang Tuohai decided not to worry so much and let everyone discuss their own issues. At worst, when doing the cutting in the future, just let Lilith make another body that has nothing to do with her, and then transfer Lilith's consciousness. Just when Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly spoke up and broke the silence. Commander, the Global Hawk has spotted the approaching fleet. Do you want to take a look? Did you find the enemy? Where is it? Let me see. Zhang Tuohai quickly returned to the command chair. Lilith also looked serious and came to the side of the spherical screen. On the spherical screen is a fleet of six ships. There are two Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers in the front left and rear right, and two Zumwalt class arsenal ships in the front right and rear left. Behind, a Perry class guided missile destroyer slowly followed, and a Seahawk anti submarine helicopter was parked on the takeoff deck. Several staff members were walking around, seemingly doing final inspections before takeoff. Work. At the center of the fleet is an Iowa class battleship. However, this 40,000 ton battleship seems to have undergone extensive modernization. The most conspicuous sign is that the three triple 406 mm artillery pieces were removed and replaced by an electromagnetic gun, a laser launcher, and a 41 Malawing Quatch's vertical launch system. There seems to be traces of a lift at the stern position, which should be able to take off a helicopter. The golden logo of United Pharmaceuticals hangs on the bow of the Iowa-class battleship. Looking at this mighty fleet, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. With this configuration, if one or two submarines were added, it would almost be able to catch up with an aircraft carrier battle group. Such a big ship? Can you beat it? Lilith couldn't help but gasped when she saw the hill-like battleship Iowa. She had never seen the ocean in her original world. And naturally she had never seen a big ship. Now that I see the battleship that looks like a mountain, I can't help but feel shocked. It's impossible to beat it. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and sighed. Although I have dealt with an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer, it was when the other party was unprepared. Now. Look at those warships and anti-submarine helicopters are ready to take off. So, anti-aircraft weapons. Various the early warning radar must have been turned on. Now, if I use missile attacks again, I will definitely be shot down by intensive air fire. Missile? Why was it shot down? You took things so fast. Lilith was a little confused. Although she has strong technical abilities, she still doesn't know much about modern combat systems. These are large ships. 
My ordinary missiles can deal with ordinary land vehicles. But they are powerless to deal with such large ships. Moreover, this is the sea, with thick sea fog, and it is very strong against lasers. The scattering ability of the laser will destroy most of the effectiveness of the laser. If you want to deal with those large ships, you can only use large cruise missiles like Tomahawk. However, in order to maintain a long range, those cruise missiles are relatively slow. They are only subsonic missiles and have no terminal maneuverability. They can easily be destroyed by intensive air fire, and there is no chance of winning. Zhang Tuhai said. So, as long as we add terminal maneuverability to the missile, we can defeat them? Lilith asked, holding her chin. Now, her and Zhang Tuohai's interests are tied together. The higher Zhang Tuohai's strength is, the more materials he gets, the more beneficial it is to her. Therefore, she will do her best to improve Zhang Tuohai's ability to win as much as possible. If the terminal maneuverability is increased and the speed is increased, even if it cannot win completely, it will still be able to fight. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, Bring me the blueprint of the missile and I'll try to change it. Lilith said, Really? That's great. Zhang Tuohai immediately asked Xiao Ai to print out the drawings. Although the original drawings disappeared after use, Zhang Tuohai kept an eye on it and asked Xiao Ai to scan the drawings in advance and prepare them for Lilith to see. If they could be changed, it would be a big profit. Even if it cannot be changed and there is nothing to lose. Looking at it now, his decision was absolutely right. Moreover, not only the drawings of the Tomahawk missile, John Tuohai printed out all the recently obtained drawings and gave them to Lilith for reference. Just in case they were useful, Lilith rolled her eyes at John Tuohai, then picked up a large stack of drawings and looked through them. Then she took out a pencil and quickly modified it on the drawings. So direct? No need to study more. John Tuohai was stunned. I have done relevant research before but the microelectronics technology and material level at that time did not meet the requirements. So the production was not successful. Now, these things are not a problem for you. Lilith said as she tucked a strand of hair behind her ear and continued to modify the drawing. After about 20 minutes, Lilith threw away the pencil in her hand and stretched out. The modifications are almost done. See if it works. John Tuohai quickly picked up the drawings and looked through them. Improved Tomahawk Cruise Missile can be renamed the speed is increased to three times the speed of sound. The range is shortened to 350 kilometers. And it will make irregular snake-like maneuvers in the middle and end to avoid the air defense system. A low-altitude breakthrough mode has been added. After using this mode, the missile will break through at a high speed from a height of about 15 meters close to the ground or sea surface. In addition, the missile is coated with a radar-absorbing coating, which can greatly reduce the probability of radar detection. Seeing the new missile, Zhang Tuohai showed excitement on his face. The new Tomahawk missile is much stronger than the old Tomahawk missile. It has been directly upgraded from a subsonic cruise missile to three times the speed of sound. This has been more than three times faster than the previous speed, greatly improving the penetration capability. In addition, the maneuverability of the terminal greatly reduces the risk of the terminal being shot down by anti-aircraft fire. Radar wave absorbing coatings and low altitude breakthrough modes can greatly reduce the probability of being discovered. On the whole, this is a missile designed to break through the air defense fire network. As for the range sacrifice for this, Zhang Tuohai didn't care much. There is no difference between 300 kilometers and 1,000 kilometers to Zhang Tuohai. Anyway, they are both outside the fire strike range of other players. They are both outside the defense zone. So there is not much difference. From the data, this improved Tomahawk missile looks a bit like the Brahmos missile. But we don't know how effective it will be in actual combat. Just use this. Zhang Tuohai made a decision and prepared to use this new type of Tomahawk missile to test the air defense capabilities of the United Pharmaceutical Fleet. Chapter 603. Sacrifice with one blow. Zhang Tuohai quickly produced 20 improved Tomahawk missiles to replace the old Tomahawk missiles in the vertical launchers. At this time, according to Global Hawks report, the fleet was still 73 nautical miles away from Zhang Tuohai. Driving 27 nautical miles in one hour. The speed is not slow. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the situation of the fleet at this time. The Seahawk anti-submarine helicopter had already begun to search the waters ahead. The electronic warfare system has also captured the opponent's radar waves and can determine that the opponent's various radars have been turned on and are on alert. The vigilance is quite strong. So let's test the power of the new missile on you. Zhang Tuohai directly pressed the launch button. An improved Tomahawk missile rushed out from the cell, turned in the sky, 
and shot towards the fleet in the distance. Classmate Xiao Ai, prepare for electronic warfare suppression. Once they discover the missile, activate electronic warfare suppression. Interfere with their radar as much as possible and assist the missile in breaking through the air defense fire network. Zhang Tuai stared at the screen and said, Clear. Shao I immediately mobilized all the computing power to prepare for electronic warfare suppression. To this end, he even deactivated the Live 2D avatar directly. At this time, in the command cabin of the Iowa-class battleship, an old man in a suit was sitting on a leather sofa, listening to a report from his subordinates in first officer uniform. This person is Leonard, the chairman of United Pharmaceuticals. Mr. Chairman, there is still no response from the destroyer Maggie, and there is no information from the Alcatraz Island base. In addition, according to the news from the Peninsula Laboratory, a large number of armed thugs suddenly appeared on the peninsula. Therefore, it is suspected that Alcatraz Island has also suffered these due to the mob's attack. The Maggie and other destroyers may have had their communication equipment damaged and therefore lost contact. Then hurry up and get in touch. We must find out where the Maggie is. Remember? For us now, every battleship is extremely valuable and cannot be lost at all. Leonard said solemnly. Understood. I've already informed you. The first mate said. Are the fleet's defenses ready? Leonard hooked his fingers. And immediately behind him, a young woman wearing a messenger costume poured a glass of red wine and handed it to his hand. Air defense, anti-submarine, and anti-ship radars have all been turned on. Toad sonar has been launched. Anti-submarine helicopters have gone to sea to search. And anti-aircraft missiles are in place. Single ship combat preparations are ready. Can we follow the battle formation? The first mate asked. Um. Just when Leonard was about to continue giving instructions, a shrill vid alarm suddenly sounded. What happened? The first mate asked the crew around him. Air defense alert. The radar has detected an incoming missile. The crew member said while holding the intercom. Have you determined the missile model and attack target? The first mate asked hastily. Because the fleet is too dense, the attack target cannot be determined for the time being. However, the missile type has been analyzed and it is a Tomahawk cruise missile, said the crew member. Hearing what the crew member said, the first mate felt relieved. He was really afraid that it was a specialized anti-ship missile. At this time, the fleet was still in a dense formation. Once attacked, it would be difficult to maneuver. However, I am not afraid of cruise missiles. It's just a subsonic missile with a fixed impact point. If you're not prepared, it's really easy to be attacked by a sneak attack. However, you have all kinds of air defense radars and firepower. Let alone one Tomahawk missile. There are 10 or 20. Nor can it break through its own air defense firepower network. Is there a problem? Can it be intercepted? Leonard asked worriedly. The red wine glass in his hand shaking unconsciously. He has lived to such a long age. And the reason why he engages in crazy virus research is to gain immortality. Now, he has finally seen some light. The hope of eternal life is less than a hundred nautical miles away. He can't fall here. In that case, wouldn't everything he spent before be in vain? Don't worry. Mr. Chairman, our ship was completely taken over from the military. And it also received special training. It's just a Tomahawk missile. It's totally fine. Before the first mate could finish what he said, a violent explosion sounded from a distance. Violent vibrations followed. And even the experienced first mate almost lost his balance. Leonard, who was raising his glass to drink, was even more unprepared. And the wine spilled all over his clothes. What's going on? Where did the explosion come from? Leonard suppressed his panic and asked pretending to be calm. Go and find out the situation. The first mate shouted sharply at the crew beside him. He had just boasted about his awesomeness and it exploded in less than a second. Wasn't this a slap in the face? At this time, he secretly prayed that the missile would not break through the air defense system. Otherwise, he would be in trouble. Report to the first mate. We have found out everything. The Tomahawk missile is very special. We launched two Sea Sparrow missiles for terminal interception. However, the missile suddenly started to make irregular snake-like maneuvers and bypassed our missiles. The interceptor missile hit the vertical launch system of the June Flower triggering the explosion of the missile inside. The June flower had disintegrated and sunk. And the explosion, just now, was the explosion of the June flower. Damn it! The first mate clenched his fists when he heard what the crew member said. The June flower is an Arleigh Burke guided missile destroyer, responsible for the vanguard and escort of the fleet. Now it has been destroyed by one missile. The remaining Zumwalt-class arsenal ship is unable to support itself. 
the entire fleet is equivalent to an open door. Immediately ask the familiar to go up and keep an eye on the fleet's leading defense. In addition, activate the left and right defense systems to prevent the missile from breaking through the defense zone again. In addition, let the Peninsula Laboratory dispatch aircraft to assist in the investigation and find out where the missile was fired. The first mate roared at the crew. The crew stumbled to deliver the order. Chairman, please forgive me for not staying long. I'm going back to my post to supervise the war. The first mate saluted to Leonard. Turned around and left in a hurry. He didn't dare to stay here anymore. If he continued to stay, he would definitely be the one to blame for any problems. People at United Pharmaceutical are panicking. But Zhang Tuohai is extremely excited. He looked at the slowly sinking USS June Flower guided missile destroyer on the screen and waved his fist excitedly. This improved Tomahawk cruise missile is so easy to use that it sank a guided missile destroyer with one shot. He waved his hand and said to classmate Xiaoyai, Continue to fire missiles and kill all those escorting ships. By the way, keep that flagship for me. I want to dismantle it. However, the weapons get rid of the system first and don't leave any hidden dangers. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. Should that Periclass frigate be retained? We have not dismantled a ship of this type. Classmate Xiaoyai asked. Zhang Tuohai glanced at it and then said. Let's strike first. If by chance it doesn't sink, we'll dismantle it. The armament is far behind the Arleigh Burke. It's boring. Focus on the Iowa in the middle. For the rest, just let it happen. Zhang Tuohai's appetite has been whetted. After dismantling Arleigh Burke and Zumwalt, the Periclass frigates can no longer attract Zhang Tuohai's attention. Clear. Classmate Xiao Yai activated the missile launch system. Tomahawk missiles broke through the cell one after another and rushed towards the United Pharmaceutical Fleet. Chapter 604, Jumping Gang's Battleship. Whoosh, whoosh. One after another improved Tomahawk missiles rushed towards the fleet in the distance from low altitude. In the combined fleet, the only remaining Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer began to move forward preparing to block the open breach. In the control room, the first mate was angrily cursing. It's all the damn guys on the June flower. If they hadn't been taken advantage of, we wouldn't have blocked the hole. Let me tell you, it's the wisest thing to do now. Just spread out in battle formation instead of huddle together like frightened quail. Say a few words. And remember that your first priority is to protect Mr. Leonard's safety. The rest are secondary. The captain put down the telescope in his hand and said, Activate all defense equipment and don't let the June flower accident happen to us. The captain turned to the radar operator behind him. Captain, it's bad. All the radars have malfunctioned. There are dense light spots on the screen. The radars cannot lock on so many targets. What should we do? The radar operator said in panic. What? The captain quickly walked to the radar screen. At this time, the radar screen was full of flashing light spots. So densely packed that the screen could no longer be seen clearly. It's electronic warfare. The other party activated electronic suppression. Our radar was attacked. This is how the June flower was probably hit and sank. The first officer took a look and said, Immediately eliminate interference and activate all anti-aircraft firepower to prevent missile raids. The captain said coldly, Captain, a missile has been discovered. A crew member said in horror, Where? The captain asked with a livid face, It's there. The crew member pointed to the observation window, with trembling fingers. The captain turned around and looked over. Missiles streaked across the sea from low altitude, already very close to them. Boom! An improved Tomahawk missile directly hit the command module, lifting the command module into the sky. Another improved Tomahawk missile hit the side of the ship, blasting a large hole at least 5 meters in diameter and affecting at least 3 watertight compartments. Raging seawater poured into the hull, causing the hull to tilt. The crew members, who survived the explosion, and were not affected by the explosion, desperately grabbed everything around them to avoid falling off. At this moment, another Tomahawk missile hit the water tank at the stern of the ship. More water comes in. At this time, the ship could no longer maintain its balance and fell flat on the sea. Many crew members, who had just slipped into the sea were directly beaten to death by the big ship on the sea. The ship entered a large amount of water and began to slowly sink. Not only was this the case with the Arleigh Burke, but the two remaining Zumwalt Arsenal ships, and even the Periclass frigate suffered the same fate. They were hit by several Tomahawk missiles and sank directly. Only the Iowa-class battleship in the middle was not sunk despite Zong Tuohai's repeated requests. However, the main weapon systems, including electromagnetic guns, laser launchers, etc., were destroyed by Tomahawk missiles. 
although Zhang Tuohai also coveted the electromagnetic gun and wanted to get one to play with. For the sake of his own life, Zhang Tuohai reluctantly destroyed it. Confirm the attack situation, Zhang Tuohai said. After investigation, all escort ships have been destroyed and sunk. The flagship has destroyed its weapon system and lost its ability to resist. Classmate Xiao Ai evaluated. Great! Get ready to board the ship. I haven't dismantled the 40,000-ton battleship yet. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands, looking eager to try. At this moment, Classmate Xiao Ai suddenly issued a warning. Commander, a Growler electronic warfare aircraft took off from the United Pharmaceutical Base on the peninsula and is on patrol. It seems to be cruising and searching. The electronic warfare plane took off? Zhang Tuohai frowned. He had already tasted the benefits of electronic warfare. And naturally, he didn't want others to use the power of electronic warfare. Are our electronic warfare capabilities sufficient? Can they handle their aircraft? Zhang Tuohai asked. Because after capturing the F-35C and Growler, we analyzed their friend or foe identification codes. So it's no problem to deceive them. In addition, our electronic warfare force is also at an advantage. Do we want to suppress them by force? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. Can we use missiles to knock it down? Zhang Tuohai asked. The ceiling is too high, and the missiles in our hands can't reach it, said classmate Xiao Yai. Then let's deceive for the time being. Send F-35C up, and shoot it down for me. Zhang Tuohai recalled the Global Hawk, and sent out an F-35C. Buzz, the F-35C flew high into the sky. Roaring, he quickly spotted the pursuing F-35C. However, because the identification codes of friend and foe matched, the man didn't think much and asked casually, Hey! Man! Were you also called up for patrol in the middle of the night? What puzzled the Growler pilot was that the F-35C had no reply at all. Why is there no reply? Could it be that the radio waves are interfered with? The pilot of the Growler began to adjust the frequency. At this moment, his early warning radar suddenly sounded, and he was locked by the fire control radar. What's going on? The Growler's pilot quickly turned on electronic jamming and prepared to spread infrared chaff and induce bombs. However, at this time, an AIM missile had hit his body. Boom! The Growler exploded in the air, and various fragments fell down like a goddess scattering flowers. Well done! Zhang Tuohai waved his fist excitedly. Then, Zhang Tuohai recalled the F-35C and replaced it with the Rainbow 4 drone. Zhang Tuohai first controlled Rainbow 4 to use precision-guided bombs to blow up the airport runway at the United Pharmaceutical Base on the peninsula. Then, he controlled Rainbow 4 to fly towards the Iowa and monitored the Iowa from high altitude. As for himself, he sent several hand-thrown drones towards the peninsula base for surveillance. And he activated the helicopter mode and flew towards the Iowa. In more than half an hour, Zhang Tuohai flew over Iowa. At this time, this huge warship was slowly fleeing north. Some crew members were holding huge water pipes to put out the fire. When Zhang Tuohai saw this, he was very excited and jumped directly to overtime from a height of more than 2 meters with a Gatling gun. Completed gang hopping operations in the missile era. Seeing Zhang Tuohai falling from the sky. These people's eyes widened in shock. Not knowing whether he was an enemy or a friend. Catch all the crew members and throw them into the warehouse on the bottom of the ship. Anyone who dares to resist will be killed on the spot. Zhang Tuohai shouted to the self-propelled machines swarming out from behind. Numerous self-propelled machines held Gatlings. RPG-7S and individual cloud bombs and rushed towards the crew members like wolves and tigers. Those crew members were just ordinary sailors, usually only responsible for controlling the ship. They had seen this kind of scene there and when they saw the dark muzzle pointing at them, they immediately raised their hands in cooperation, except for a small number of security personnel who chose to fight back with guns. Most of the crew were obedient and were controlled by Zhang Tuohai. As for those security personnel, in the face of RPGs and individual cloud bombs, there was no result other than being crushed into slag. In this way, Zhang Tuohai took control of the battleship Iowa without any surprise. Chapter 605 A Loving Father and a Filial Daughter Zhang Tuohai quickly entered the interior of the Iowa battleship. At this time, there were still bullet marks and smoke in the corridor, and there were bullet casings scattered on the ground. However, at this time, it was still difficult to stop Zhang Tuohai's excitement. The Iowa is one of the most powerful battleships in the history of mankind. Although the tonnage of the pressure ship is larger than that of the duck slide, the pressure of the dock may not be able to defeat the duck slide due to the multiple scope and depth of the gun. There seems to be nothing wrong with calling it the most powerful battleship. 
How could he not be excited about being able to capture such a warship with his own hands? Such a great achievement. Under the guidance of the self-propelled machine, Zhang Tuohai entered the command room in Iowa with the pace of disowning his relatives. Who are you? Why did you attack our United Pharmaceutical Fleet? Leonard asked tremblingly. Zhang Tuohai glanced at this well-dressed old man and saw that the people around him were unconsciously surrounding him, with a posture of being like a star holding the moon. And he knew that this was definitely the person in charge here. You don't seem to understand your current situation, Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Now, I am the master here. Everything about you, including life and death, is in my hands. If you want to survive, you'd better answer my questions honestly. Otherwise, there may be some minor unpleasantness between us, Zhang Tuohai said and snapped his fingers. Two self-propelled machines approached Leonard. The chainsaws in their hands buzzed, and they pressed towards Leonard step by step. Leonard's face turned pale as he looked at the chainsaw approaching him. He had always been pampered since he was a child and had never been in danger. He had never seen such a scene before. Looking at the chainsaw approaching him, his legs became weak. What's more, he is now only one step away from immortality. As long as he takes one more step, he can obtain nearly eternal life. He will never allow himself to die here. Don't do anything. I will agree to whatever you want. As long as you let me live. You can have anything you want, Leonard said. Oh, promise me everything? What if I want President America's head? Can I do that? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. His plane crashed in the Appalachian Mountains. If you need it, I will notify people from the nearby base to search in the mountains. I will cut off his head and give it to you. Leonard didn't make any move. He said hesitantly. Oh, Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up when he heard Leonard's confident words. He was sure that if the other party didn't brag, he would have caught a big fish. I haven't asked for advice yet. Leonard, the current chairman of the board of directors of United Pharmaceuticals. Leonard bowed slightly and said, It's indeed a big fish. Zhang Tuohai felt happy. He is deeply aware of the power of United Pharmaceuticals. He can encounter United Pharmaceuticals bases wherever he goes. If Leonard controls United Pharmaceuticals, wouldn't such a huge force be controlled by him? Those players only had the ability to hunt him down with the support of United Pharmaceuticals. Now that he has become the controller of United Pharmaceuticals, do those players still have time to hunt him down? Let's evade United Pharmaceuticals' pursuit first. Moreover, United Pharmaceutical has been in business for many years and has numerous materials and technologies. Wouldn't these good things belong to him? After understanding United Pharma's technology and controlling United Pharma's resources, to what extent should his car be upgraded? Zhang Tuohai couldn't imagine it. A smile appeared on his face. Very well. Mr. Leonard, please sit down. I am a kidnapper. I only want money. Not life. Don't be afraid. As long as you give me enough benefits, I will not hurt you even a hair on my head. Zhang Tuohai made an inviting gesture to Leonard. Easy to say. Easy to say. Whatever you want. As long as it exists in this world. There is nothing I can't get. Leonard said confidently. He believes that with the power he has gained over many years of business. There is really nothing in this world that he cannot achieve. Okay. Then first give me a copy of the technical information that United Pharmaceutical has accumulated over the years. John Tuohai said calmly. This is easy to say. No problem. Hearing John Tuohai say this. Leonard's face relaxed. As long as the technology is simple, just give it to him. In his eyes, nothing is as important as his life. Anyway, it's just a technical copy. Just take it as you like. However, most of these technologies are stored in the headquarters mainframe. I need to call the headquarters and ask them to prepare them before sending them. Leonard said cautiously. No problem. Fight. John Tuohai threw the satellite phone to Leonard. Leonard quickly took the phone and pressed the number. He was afraid that Zong Tuohai would think too much. So he pressed the speakerphone specially. The call was quickly connected. Is it Amanda? Leonard asked in a deep voice. Dad, what's wrong at this late hour? A cold female voice came from the other end of the phone. Immediately copy all the company's technology into a host and send a plane to the Doomsday Arkansas. The sooner the better. Leonard said calmly. Father, you were kidnapped. Right. Amanda asked instead of answering Leonard's words. Why are you asking this? Just do as I say immediately. Leonard was a little unhappy. Stop pretending. I already know. You were indeed kidnapped. After so many years, I finally waited for this day. Amanda said, raising her voice. Mr. Kidnapper, 
I don't know how much ransom you need. But, if you kill Leonard, I will pay you double the ransom. I will do what I said. And when you are done, just call me. After Amanda finished speaking, she hung up the phone. Hello? Listening to the blind tone on the phone. Leonard was furious. He threw the satellite phone in his hand onto the expensive carpet and cursed bitterly. Beast, you're not well raised. White-eyed wolf. I shouldn't have picked you up and raised you as my heir in the first place. I should have let you freeze to death on the street. Father is a kind father and daughter is a filial piety. Mr. Leonard. John Tuohai crossed his hands in front of him and said slowly, It seems that the people around you are obviously not as obedient as you thought. So, losing if you lose your identity as the chairman of United Pharmaceuticals. What value do you have? Give me a reason not to kill you. If you can't think of it, I don't mind letting you feel the temperature of the seawater at this time. Don't. I have a lot of trump cards. And I have kept a lot of backups just to prevent someone from usurping the throne. However, I can only tell you this. Leonard glanced at the people behind him and said, Chapter 606 Potion of Immortality. Oh, just to me. Can't these people listen? Aren't they your closest subordinates? Zhang Tuohai glanced at the people behind Leonard and asked lightly, Amanda must have placed her people around me to prevent anyone from leaking information. So, the best thing is to kill them all to avoid future troubles. Leonard glanced at those people, and a fierce light flashed in his eyes. What he hates most is betrayal and betrayal. He was sure that there must be someone from Amanda by his side. Otherwise Amanda wouldn't be so sure that she had been kidnapped. However, having been able to hide beside him for so long, I'm afraid it won't be that easy to find out in a short while. For this kind of situation, Leonard usually only uses one method, and that is to kill, since it is impossible to pinpoint an individual, then kill everyone within the scope of suspicion. As for the vacancies, just find new people to fill them. The most important thing in his hands is people. After hearing Leonard's words, those people were so frightened that their legs trembled, and some even sat down directly on the ground. Zhang Tuahai thought for a while, and directly rejected Leonard's proposal. Killing was easy. But if Leonard lied to him, he would have no one else to use. Therefore, it is necessary for these people to exist before taking control of United Pharmaceuticals. Even a card that can be traded with Leonard. If Leonard really wants to get rid of these people, he must show greater sincerity. Lock them to the warehouse and keep them under strict supervision. No one is allowed to touch them without my order. John Tuohai said. The self-propelled machine immediately tied up these people and dragged them down. Okay, Mr. Leonard, there is no one else now. If you have anything to say, you can talk about it now, John Tuohai said calmly. After looking at the people who were dragged away, Leonard felt a little unwilling, but he still suppressed his dissatisfaction, squeezed out a smile and said, Since I'm getting older, the people on the board of directors are getting more and more. I was getting more and more restless. In order to prevent emergencies, I deliberately stored some important materials and technologies in a few core laboratories controlled by my close associates. It just so happened that there was a peninsula over there 80 nautical miles away. The laboratory is one of them. Oh, what's in there? If it's not valuable, it's not worth the trip. Zhang Tuohai raised his eyebrows. He didn't expect that the laboratory he placed at the back actually contained something good. If he had known it, he would not have gone to Alcatraz Island first, but would have grabbed the laboratory on the peninsula first. Eternal Life Potion Leonard spat out four words with a proud look on his face. Eternal life? When Zhang Tuohai heard these four words, his heartbeat suddenly accelerated a few beats. Although he was still very young, the thought of eternal life still made him uncontrollably excited. This is the desire engraved in the genes of all short-lived species. Who wants to watch themselves grow old day by day? Wouldn't it be nice to live a long and healthy life? However, since it is an immortality potion, why didn't the prompt system prompt before? Could it be that? Like the previous genetic medicines, it has huge flaws? When he thought of this, Zhang Tuohai's originally fiery heart cooled down. Leonard was still in a frenzy at this time. That's right. It's the immortality potion, Leonard said excitedly. Now that things have reached this point, I won't hide it from you. In fact, this time, I brought the fleet here for this immortality potion. The potion the clinical trial has been completed and the results are good. I am here to inject the medicine. As long as I am injected with the medicine, I can regain my youth and gain the life coveted by the gods. I will become the founder of a new era, Leonard said and raised his fists excitedly. At this time, he glanced at the Gatling and Zong to eyes hand, involuntarily put down his hands again, 
and said sarcastically, Well, I have prepared a lot of potions. It is enough. You can take as much as you want. Give it to me, just keep one. Leonard said with a begging look. Not everyone will obey Amanda's orders. I have been in charge of the company for decades. And there are still many people and subordinates who are loyal to me. With their help, whatever you want will be convenient. A lot of. Don't worry. I said that as long as you can come up with a ransom that satisfies me. I can release you. Now, you can rest for a while and wait until we get to the peninsula. As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he ordered the self-propelled machine to release part of the crew and drove the battleship Iowa toward the peninsula. More than three hours later, the Iowa-class battleship slowly docked at the dock because I had a phone call with the person in charge of Peninsula Laboratory before. At this time, the person in charge of Peninsula Laboratory was already standing on the dock with a large team of people to greet him. At this time, the sky has brightened slightly, and a new day is about to usher in. Looking at the people lining up to greet him below, Leonard became energetic again. The depression at night was swept away, and he became energetic. The ship stopped and climbed up the gangway. Before Leonard could step down the gangway, a large group of self-propelled machines jumped out of the ship. They held up the gatling in their hands and quickly controlled everyone present. Chairman, what's going on? I didn't do anything to apologize to you. The person in charge of the Peninsula Laboratory was a middle-aged man wearing black rimmed glasses. At this time, he was being stepped on by a self-propelled machine and pointed at his head with gatling. He is Shrek, the person in charge here. Do you think he can be released? There are many things that require his presence to be easier to handle, Leonard said. Since he is the person in charge here, let him go. Zhang Tuohai nodded slightly. The self-propelled machine released Shrek, but it still held up the Gatling and followed Shrek. If Shrek dared to make any abnormal move, he would be killed on the spot. Chairman, what's going on? Shrek rubbed his shoulder, which was so painful from being stepped on, and asked inexplicably. He looked at the self-propelled machines curiously, guessing which laboratory's latest product they were. This is not the place to talk. Go to the secret room. That's what I'm here for. Leonard didn't want to elaborate. After all, being a prisoner was not a glorious thing. Come this way with me. Shrek is an old man who has been with Leonard for many years. He knows Leonard's temper very well. When he saw Leonard's appearance, he immediately shut up and led Leonard into the laboratory. Shrek led Leonard around and entered a room without a door number. Then he touched the wall and the wall slowly opened revealing a safe. He carefully opened the safe, took out a metal suitcase, placed it on the table, and opened it carefully. There are twelve potions emitting golden light inside. Chairman, this is our result. With just one injection of the immortality potion, you can gain eternal life. You will no longer be entangled in pain and death. And you can even regain your youth, Shrek said with excitement. Chapter 607 Traitor. Really? Although he had already heard the news, after seeing the real thing, Leonard's heart was still filled with uncontrollable joy. Zhang Tuohai, who was on the side, also picked up a potion and looked at it. The light golden potion exudes a little starlight under the light. And it looks good. Eternal life potion, after taking it. The lifespan will be extended by 30% to 100% according to the physical fitness. And the user's physical fitness will be restored to its peak to a certain extent. There is a 75% probability that the user will gain a supernatural ability. This is a note about the game system. It seems to have a good effect, extending the lifespan by 30% to 100%, and rejuvenating the youth. Although it is not yet at the level of immortality, it is enough to give those who are aging more time to wait until the real the immortality potion was developed. Moreover, the 75% chance of obtaining supernatural powers is really not low. Zhang Tuohai believes that once this potion is thrown on the regional channel, those players will definitely compete for it. Just when Zhang Tuohai was wondering whether to get some for Lilith to study, the prompt system also popped up. Immortality Potion, semi-finished product after taking it. There is a 15% chance of extending the lifespan by 7% to 25%, a 52% chance of death due to body gene collapse, and a 22% chance of being infected with the alpha virus. There is a 75% chance that the body will mutate, including but not limited to the growth of scales, hair growth and discoloration bone mutations, and organ mutations. The probability of mastering true supernatural abilities due to organ and genetic mutations is less than 0.1%. This, looking at the prompts given by the prompt system, Zhang Tuohai's expression suddenly became a little strange. This thing is obviously a semi-finished product rushed out of the laboratory. 
the actual effect is obviously not as good as Shrek boasted. In other words, Shrek knows the actual effect of this potion, but uses some beautifying words, exaggerates the effect, and obscures or conceals the side effects. Did you have to do it out of necessity or on purpose? Zhang Tuohai played with the potion in his hand, looked up at Shrek, and found that his eyes were wandering, with a faint look of struggle. When Shrek found Zhang Tuohai staring at him, a look of panic appeared on his face, and his eyes became evasive. There are also some problems in this laboratory. It seems that this joint pharmaceutical company is not monolithic. Many people have their own little ideas. Zhang Tuohai made a guess when he saw Shrek's appearance. At this time, Leonard looked at the potion in his hand with excitement and enthusiasm. Although his body looks pretty good, he is already over 70 years old. Every morning when he wakes up, he can feel that his body is getting older, having experienced money and power. He is more afraid of death than ordinary people. Therefore, he will spare no effort to promote the experiment of immortality potion, even if it drags the whole world into the abyss. In his eyes, as long as he can obtain eternal life, what's wrong even if the whole world pays the price? What to do if everyone dies? It was so easy for him. United Pharmaceuticals already has very mature cloning technology. And in its early years, under the banner of public welfare, it obtained the genetic DNA of many engineers and technicians and could easily clone a large number of technicians. The whole world was very complicated. It will be able to regain its vitality soon. And by then, the entire planet will become his personal kingdom. Thinking of that beautiful scene, Leonard was so excited that he trembled a little. He couldn't wait to drink the potion and gain eternal life. However, he caught a glimpse of Zhang Tuohai from the corner of his eye and instantly remembered his current situation. He suppressed the joy in his heart and cautiously asked Zhang Tuohai, Would you like to try it first? If you like it, just just leave one for me, and you can take the rest. Seeing Leonard's appearance, Shrek couldn't help but be surprised. He never expected that Leonard would treat this ordinary-looking young man like this. Originally, he thought he was just Leonard's bodyguard or assistant. But now it seems that this young man's identity is not that simple. For a moment, Shrek's mind started to change. Hearing Leonard's words, Zhang Tuohai smiled. He felt that Leonard was still of some use to him. So he could remind him and help him save his life. This would also make it easier for him to use Leonard to control the alliance. Make medicine and help him do some things for himself. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai cleared his voice and said, It seems that Professor Shrek is very confident in his potion. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. Of course, Shrek said proudly. Since this medicine is so effective, let's ask Mr. Shrek to test its effectiveness himself. Zhang Tuohai said, pushing a potion in front of Shrek. Seeing the potion pushed in front of him, Shrek's expression changed instantly. As a potion researcher, he naturally knew the true effect of the potion. The miserable conditions of those experimenters are even more vivid. He quickly pushed the potion back. How can I be able to use this precious medicine? I dare not accept it. Shrek quickly declined. Um, seeing Shrek's appearance, Leonard's eyes flashed with cold light. As the chairman of a huge group, he is certainly not a fool, especially after just experiencing his daughter's betrayal. He is extremely sensitive to the loyalty of his subordinates. Shrek, you have developed a new potion. I am very satisfied. This bottle of potion will be your reward. Leonard said as he pushed the potion over. Chairman, I... Shrek wanted to say something more, but was directly interrupted by Leonard. Use it immediately. Leonard's voice was full of unquestionable orders. Okay. Shrek took a deep breath and reached for the potion. However, suddenly, his hand suddenly grabbed Leonard. At this time, the back of Shrek's hand had been pierced by several slender bone spurs, stabbing towards Leonard's neck. If he was stabbed, given that Leonard was in his 70s, the probability of death was as high as 90%. However, as soon as Shrek's bone spur came out, he was kicked out by Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai is wearing a third-generation protective suit with a matching exoskeleton, which greatly increases his strength. With one kick, he can knock down a cow, let alone a person. Shrek was kicked directly to the wall, and the alloy plate behind him was dented. Ahem! Shrek coughed up a few mouthfuls of blood. He tried several times to stand up but failed. He felt bursts of severe pain in his chest. When he looked down, his skin was torn, blood splattered, and he could even see the white bones piercing through. Apparently, it was broken. Shrek, I think I'm good at leading you. Why do you do this to me? Leonard asked angrily. Ha ha. The group's development has long been stuck in a bottleneck. All because of your stubbornness. If it were Miss Amanda, 
The group would have been reborn. That's enough. Leonard interrupted Shrek angrily. It's Amanda again. She actually bribed you. So you can go to hell with her. Leonard raised the stool and smashed it at Shrek angrily. Shrek raised his hand to block it. Leonard smashed it several times and was so tired that he couldn't breathe. You can't kill someone with this kind of beating. Come on. Use this. This is very powerful. Zhang Tuai said and put a pistol into Leonard's hand. Bang bang. Leonard emptied the magazine in one breath. And Shrek's head was directly beaten into pieces. After emptying the magazine, Leonard squatted down slumped. And for a moment, he seemed much older. Okay. Isn't he just a traitor? Just get rid of him. Now. We can talk about cooperation. Zhang Tuai walked to him and said calmly. Chapter 608. Dismantling the Battleship. There is nothing left to cooperate with. Even my most trusted subordinates have chosen to betray. Leonard squatted down slumped. What are you afraid of? Those people are just a bunch of losers. Your daughter can buy them back with benefits. And you can also buy them back with better things. Zhang Tuai said. For what? Resources or money? I gave everything I could. Leonard was a little decadent. Of course I'll use this. Zhang Tuai patted the box of immortality potion. No one can refuse the charm of immortality. As long as you take these as rewards. I believe they will return to your hands immediately and become your most loyal minions. Zhang Tuai said with a smile. But this thing failed. Leonard said. If you didn't tell me, if I didn't tell you, who would have known about the failure? Zhang Tuai asked with a smile. But how to win their trust? Those people are not fools. Leonard hesitated. This is easy to handle. Zhang Tuai gave a few instructions to the bracelet. And soon a self-propelled machine came to Zhang Tuai with a bottle of medicine. Zhang Tuai threw the potion to Leonard. Drink it. Leonard looked at the can-like potion in his hand. Opened it and drank it. Anyway. Now. He has nothing to lose. Even if it's poison. He doesn't care. After drinking the potion. He felt that his whole body began to feel hot. And then the skin on the surface of his body became dry. Then turned into pieces and fell off. Ah! Leonard shouted out. Tearing his own face with both hands. He used force and actually tore his face off. Under the skin is not flesh and blood, nor bones, but a new and vibrant face. At this time, most of the dead skin on Leonard's body fell off. He was shocked to find that the surface of his body had completely changed. He looked no different from a young man in his twenties, exactly like his younger self. However, Leonard could feel that although his body looked younger, he was actually still the same self in his seventies, frail and old. This, what is this? Leonard looked at himself in the mirror in disbelief. It's just a potion that can restore people to their youthful appearance. This evidence is enough to prove the authenticity of these potions. Zhang Tuai smiled and patted those. Eternal life potions. And said, If it can restore my youthful appearance. Is there any potion that can restore my youthful strength? You must have it. Right. Give it to me. And I'll give you whatever you want. Leonard said excitedly. Only a dying person would be so persistent and enthusiastic about youth and life. Of course there is but I'm not a philanthropist and I won't give it to you for free. Zhang Tuai said with a smile. Besides, I have several similar potions. As for which one you can get, it's up to you. How is my sincerity? Zhang Tuai looked like an old god was here. In fact, the potion that Leonard drank was a special potion that he obtained when refining the genetic potion. This potion can restore a person to his youthful appearance and keep it frozen until death. The traces are somewhat similar to the Zhu Yan Dan in Xianxia novels. Zhang Tuohai also has potions to enhance physical strength. But they are all tiger and wolf medicines. With Leonard's body, it is unknown what consequences will occur after taking them, and whether they will conflict with the beauty-preserving potions. However, it is enough to hang Leonard. Anyway, he only has a few days left before leaving this world. So I believe it will be okay to fool him. As for what Leonard would look like a few days later, he didn't bother to care. You know, Leonard is the mastermind behind making the world full of viruses and turning it into a living hell. It is very merciful to kill him without a single shot. Really? That's great. I will listen to you whatever you want me to do. Leonard said happily. Then first recruit those people to your staff again. This is the task given to you. If you can do it, it means that you can still be our partner. If you can't, then I'm afraid we can only regret it. The cooperation has ended. Zhang Tuohai said, and made a helpless gesture of spreading his hands. Okay, I'll do it right now. Leonard left carrying the box containing the 
Eternal Life Potion. This time, Zhang Tuohai did not follow him, but sent a self-propelled machine to follow him. Now it is enough for Leonard to have Xiao Ai watching him through the self-propelled machine. But Zhang Tuohai has more important things to do, and has no time to keep an eye on Leonard all the time. Zhang Tuohai picked up the remaining immortality potion from the table, and stuffed it into his pocket. Although this thing is a failure, it is of some use after all, even if it is used as research material. At this time, Zhang Tuohai strolled to the dock, and Xiao Ai was directing the self-propelled machine to move various test materials in the laboratory back to the car. Those self-propelled machines were like worker ants, constantly moving piles of supplies into the car. How is it? How many more are there? Zhang Tuohai asked. There are about five minutes left, classmate Xiao Ai said. Yes, that's good. In five minutes, we will start dismantling the battleship, Zhang Tuohai said. Can you really dismantle this big guy? After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, classmate Xiao Ai also showed a rare expression of excitement. There are a lot of good things on this battleship. If they are dismantled, it can be improved to another level. Five minutes later, countless self-propelled machines entered the battleship like ants and began to dismantle the battleship with a displacement of more than 40,000 tons. The battleship was extremely huge, and the dismantling process became very slow. Two hours had passed, and only one-third of the battleship had been dismantled. However, Zhang Tuohai is not in a hurry. He has the advantage of time. By noon, the entire huge battleship was dismantled. It is indeed a 40,000-ton battleship. In addition, Leonard conducted a large number of modern modifications on it, making the battleship a huge treasure house. In addition to luxury cinemas, constant temperature wine warehouses, Roman-style baths and other luxurious buildings, Zhang Tuohai, who has significantly improved his combat effectiveness, dismantled three pieces of equipment. They are Doomsday Arc Supercomputing Server, All-Electric Propulsion System, and New Propeller System. The supercomputing server of Doomsday Arc is the super server installed by Leonard on the battleship. It also has the most advanced fire control and command system built in. As a result, Zhang Tuohai is now cheaper. After loading this thing into the car, Xiao AI's computing power tripled, and her data processing capabilities were comprehensively improved. Moreover, due to the acquisition of a large amount of data source code, Xiao AI has a strong ability the editing ability can make adaptive modifications to the Aegis system making this system more suitable for Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicles. As for the all-electric propulsion system, the energy supply system in Zhang Tuohai's car was directly reorganized, which greatly improved the efficiency of energy utilization. The last brand new propeller system increased Zhang Tuohai's speed on the water. Originally, Zhang Tuohai's water speed using the propeller was about 10 knots, but now it has tripled to 30 knots, which is a huge improvement. Chapter 609 Dog Bites Dog In addition, these are Iowa's super general accessories for level 7. And the new propeller is a special accessory for level 5. Allowing Zhang Tuohai to take another step towards level 6. Zhang Tuohai counted on his fingers and found that he had gathered the 8 level 5 universal accessories needed to upgrade the level 6 car. He also collected 2 of the 4 special parts. As long as he gets 2 more special parts and an upgrade blueprint, he can upgrade it to a level 6 car. Moreover, the most important thing is that he has recently obtained a lot of high-end accessories. Three are universal for level 7, and two are universal for level 8. If he continues at this rate, should he get all the seven level accessories that can be upgraded to level 8 first? Or should he get all the seven level accessories that can be upgraded to level 8 first? It's really hard to tell about level 6 accessories. I just don't know if over-level construction is allowed. John Tuohai thought secretly, if leapfrog construction is allowed, it will save a lot of resources for him. And he can enjoy advanced models in advance. Which is simply wonderful. In addition to these physical objects. What makes Zhang Tuohai most happy is that 001 actually dismantled two drawings. One is a drawing of the standard 6 anti-aircraft missile. And the other is a drawing of the Asok anti-submarine missile. The standard 6 air defense missile is an upgraded model of the standard 2. It is equipped with an active radar seeker and the firing height has been increased to 33 kilometers with the existing radar and electronic combat system. It can basically deal with most aircraft and missiles. The Asok anti-submarine missile is a vertically launched torpedo with a range of 10 kilometers and a speed of Mach 1. The warhead uses the 46 Malawang Quach's lightweight acoustic homing torpedo, which can attack submarines with a speed of 40 knots and a diving depth of 600 meters. After possessing this thing, Zhang Tuohai also has the ability to attack underwater targets. At this point, 
Zhang Tuohai has all-round combat capabilities against air, land, ships, and submarines. This is something that more than 90% of the player fleet may not be able to do with all their strength. Zhang Tuohai's strength is already far ahead among the players. Coupled with multiple upgrades, and even the electronic combat system integrated with the Aegis system, Zhang Tuohai can even defeat an army with one person. After obtaining these two drawings, Zhang Tuohai immediately produced a batch of standard 6 air defense missiles, and replaced the original standard 2 missiles. Subsequently, several more Aslock anti-submarine missiles were made, and installed in vertical launchers. This thing is not widely used. But on land like the seaside, you must always have a few ready to deal with various emergencies. As soon as he finished handling the matter at hand, Leonard ran over. Your Excellency, I have persuaded some of the heads of the base and laboratory to return to my staff. However, they are only half of their original strength. The rest have been conspired by my traitorous son. Do you think there is any need for them to come? Processed? Leonard asked respectfully. He knew that now he only had Zhang Tuohai to rely on. And perhaps, through Zhang Tuohai, he could regain control of United Pharmaceuticals. Only half controlled? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown when he heard this. He originally thought that taking out the immortality potion would be able to summon all those people back to Leonard's hands. Now it seems that it was a bit too idealistic. However, half the power is almost enough. What I want you to do is two things. Zhang Tuohai cleared his voice and said, one is to send over valuable samples and technologies from various laboratories. As for the excuse, you think about it yourself. The sooner the better. Don't think about playing tricks with me. I'll make it clear to you in advance that the value of the thing determines the effect of the potion you get. The higher the value of the thing, the better the effect of the potion. If you can give me a surprise, I will you be pleasantly surprised. I understand. I will try my best. When Leonard heard John to Ohai's words, his heart moved and he nodded quickly in response. One more thing. That is to kill all the people who have come to your door recently. As long as they are not your original troops. All the people who have come to you in the past few days must be killed. The weapon sent out must also be recovered. Have you understood? John Tuohai said coldly. Since Moriarty can unite players with United Pharmaceuticals to hunt him down, he can also unite with United Pharmaceuticals to strangle players. This, after hearing John Tuohai's words, Leonard obviously hesitated. As the helmsman of United Pharmaceutical, he naturally knew that there had been a large number of people with unknown origins who had cooperated with United Pharmaceutical in various ways. Originally, they would never cooperate with someone of this status. But the origin of the endorser was so mysterious and strange that he had to hold his nose and admit it. He never expected that Zhang Tuohai would actually interact with these people. But that's right. It's not so hard to accept that someone like Zhang Tuohai who can come up with such a magical potion, can come into contact with something of this level. However, the person who endorsed it is also very difficult to deal with. If we break the agreement now, I'm afraid there will be trouble. Why don't you want to? Zhang Tuohai saw Leonard's hesitant expression, and a sneer appeared on his face. The self-propelled machine raised the Gatling gun, and could break Leonard into pieces with just one order from Zhang Tuohai. I'm willing. I'm willing. How could I not be willing? Leonard said quickly. Compared to Zhang Tuohai, he is more afraid of Moriarty. But at this time, if he dares to say no, he may go to see God directly. As for Moriarty, let's wait until he meets him. Leonard decisively threw Moriarty aside, then discussed the details of the operation with Zhang Tuohai, and then dispatched the mission. United Pharmaceuticals acted very quickly. About half an hour later, you could see red obituaries floating across the regional channel from time to time. At this time, those players who had a relationship with United Pharmaceuticals were complaining. They didn't understand why United Pharmaceutical, which had been a close partner before, suddenly changed its attitude and actually launched a direct attack on them. Moreover, it was an all-round fire strike, using all kinds of heavy artillery, rockets, and missiles. You can even see armed helicopters and ground attack aircraft. Various modern weapons were put into battle one after another, allowing these players, who thought they were quite powerful to experience, what modern three-dimensional joint operations were. However, the price is the lives of those players. United Pharmaceuticals' plan was very hasty, and there was an element of contempt for those players, which led to them letting some players go. Then the news spread, causing the players to retreat far away after seeing the United Pharmaceuticals logo. As for United Pharmaceuticals' next actions, they had little effect. They only killed less than 2,000 players in total. In fact, 
some player convoys seized the opportunity to bite back and lost a lot of manpower. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care much about this. Anyway, both sides were his enemies. No matter who died in this wave of dog eat dog, he would be happy. Chapter 610 Picking Up the Leaks Zhang Tuohai only glanced at the war between United Pharmaceuticals and players and stopped paying attention to it. For him, this is just something he does casually. Anyway, the purpose is to find something for United Pharmaceutical and the players to do, so as not to trouble him all the time. He himself returned to the car, preparing to mention Aya's hematopoietic stem cell transplant to Lilith. As soon as he returned to the car, Lilith ran over wearing a white coat that was obviously too big and a pair of slippers. She stretched out her little hand and grabbed Zhang Tuohai's clothes and said, Dad, I want it. Zhang Tuohai almost spat out a mouthful of water and quickly covered Lilith's mouth and said, You don't want to talk nonsense like this. It's easy to be hit by dimensionality reduction. And even a level 10 car can't withstand it. What weird thing are you talking about? Lilith slapped Zhang Tuohai's paw away and said with a look of disgust, Oh, I see. So you actually have such thoughts about me. Your lovely daughter? Hentai. You said this first. And then you came to blame me? Zhang Tuohai also felt aggrieved. I want this. Lily said, pointing to a screenshot on the screen. Zhang Tuohai looked up and saw that it was a white room filled with various instruments and unfamiliar equipment. However, from the petri dishes and test tubes on the long table, it could be seen that this should be a laboratory. Biochemical. Of. What is this? Zhang Tuohai asked. It was taken by a self-propelled machine. It is very useful for my research. Especially some of the machines inside. If I can get my hands on it, it will improve the research efficiency a lot. Lilith said. So that's it. It's me who is dirty. Zhang Tuohai wiped the sweat from his forehead. Feeling that he had been led astray by those novels about driving indiscriminately. Which made him impure. Since it was taken by a self-propelled machine. It means that the house is in the laboratory. Zhang Tuohai immediately took the photo to find Leonard. Leonard was not very familiar with the layout of this laboratory. So he found several laboratory directors before determining the location of the room. This is a P4 level biochemical laboratory. And it is built with the highest grade. Only a few countries have the ability to build laboratories of this level. There are only a handful of laboratories of this level in the entire world. Which shows how precious this kind of laboratory is. Unexpectedly. There is one in this humble experimental base located on the peninsula. This is one of the two core buildings of this experimental base. It can be said that the entire experimental base is built around these two buildings. The person in charge said with pride. There's another one? What is it? Zhang Tuohai also became interested. There is also a super cultivation room with fully automatic temperature and humidity control and full computer control. More than 70% of the entire cultivation work of United Pharmaceuticals is completed here. The person in charge raised his head slightly. Obviously very proud of these two laboratories. Take me to see it. John Tuohai waved his hand and said. Everyone came to an all-steel factory building in the center of the laboratory. From the outside, it looked as unremarkable as an ordinary production workshop. However, when John Tuohai entered the factory, he saw two huge white container-like things in front of him, surrounded by various pipes. These two laboratories were manufactured as a whole. After completion, they were hoisted directly here. The steel room is to prevent accidental damage from external attacks. The person in charge explained. Okay. I understand. You can leave. Zhang Tuohai drove the person in charge and Leonard away. Then, he called classmate Xiao Yai over. Quick. Load this. It turned out that when Zhang Tuohai saw these two laboratories, he discovered that they were actually two loadable car accessories. And they were also level 5 special accessories. In one fell swoop, he gathered all the level 5 special accessories he needed to upgrade. Now, he is only one upgrade blueprint away from reaching level 6. The world is really going well. John Tuohai's face blossomed with joy. He felt that what he had gained in this world could be described as a bumper harvest. You know, he only upgraded to a level 5 car on the last day of the previous world. And it was only the fifth day in this world. And he had already collected the basic conditions for upgrading. Which was almost like turning on the resources. Xiao Yai immediately drove over, placed the robotic arm on the two laboratories, and started loading. A white light enveloped the laboratory, and soon the two laboratories disappeared and were transferred to Zhang Tuohai's car. How about it? This is what you want. Zhang Tuohai returned to the car and faced Lilith first. Thank you, Dad. I knew you were the best. After Lilith said that, 
she ran into the laboratory, slammed the door, and went to study the equipment. This guy. Looking at Lilith's appearance, Zhang Tuohai shook his head, not knowing what to say. He drove out in the armored vehicle, locked the door, and then said to Leonard, I want to borrow the laboratory. No one is allowed to come near it in the past few days. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were full of awe. Don't worry. The entire central area will be designated as a restricted area. No one except me can enter for the first time. Leonard responded quickly. Now, he still has many things to rely on Zhang Tuohai. So he naturally nodded and agreed to this small matter. Anyway, the laboratory is built here. And Zhang Tuohai can use it if he wants to. How much bigger could the loss be? Can it still fly? Soon. This area was designated as a restricted area. And no one could approach it. After receiving the benefits of the P4 laboratory, Zhang Tuohai continued to wander around the test base, trying to find two more similar fish that had slipped through the net. After such a search, he actually found some things, such as a large UPS power supply, a collection-grade coffee machine, a multi-flavor ice cream machine, etc. They were all things that were tasteless and a pity to throw away, such as those in the P4 laboratory. Plan something of high value but never find it again. After some wandering, Zhang Tuohai came to the central control room, where hundreds of screens were placed to monitor all locations on the island. How is it going? Zhang Tuohai asked the staff in charge here. Everything is normal. Sir! Two staff members, who were eating pizza quickly stood up and responded. They had been given orders a long time ago. And they must obey Zhang Tuohai's orders, and must not violate them in any way. Otherwise they would be thrown into the sea to feed the sharks. How is the situation over the canyon? Zhang Tuohai then waved his hand and asked. The situation is not good. Those people are still rushing in. There are many people. Almost all the mutated creatures we put inside have been killed by them. It is estimated that in a few hours, someone will touch the external defense line of the laboratory. A staff member said quickly. Chapter 6 11 The Mutant Army Oh, those people are still rushing forward? Are they so stubborn? Zhang Tuohai was curious. Actually, it's more dangerous coming from the outside. So they rush in desperately, said a staff member. Is there something more terrifying out there? What is it? Zhang Tuohai felt something was wrong and asked quickly. It is this. The staff brought up a screen. The footage shown above is of the beach. And apparently, they also have cameras positioned beyond the peninsula. On the screen, large groups of people walked out of the virus fog and walked slowly towards the peninsula. Like ants, densely packed, those people were a little different from normal people. They staggered. Their eyes were dull, and they made unconscious whooshing sounds from their mouths. The most striking thing is that there are some things about those people that are different from normal people. Some people's bodies became abnormally tall, as much as six meters tall. Some had skin ulcers all over their bodies, and yellow liquid leaked out. Some were covered with black spikes. Some had sharp horns on their heads. Some had sprouts. It has six jointed limbs. And some of its eyes have turned into compound eyes, crawling forward on the ground. These people have physical mutations. What are they? Zhang Tuohai already had a guess in his mind. They are mutants. Their bodies have mutated, and they have lost their minds. They are like monsters. The purpose of living is to spread the virus. A staff member said. Please rest assured. The experimental base has conducted several secret drills. These guys are easy to deal with. Except for the fact that there are a little more in number. It's not a big deal. We have deployed enough rapid-fire machine guns and flamethrowers on the defense line, as well as fire engines, disinfecting devices, as long as they dare to get close. They will kill as many as they come. Another staff member also said, as if to prove that their words were true. They switched the screen. A player appeared on the screen, and he was confronting several mutants. Damn guy! Go to hell! The player controlled the vehicle-mounted machine gun and pulled the trigger on the mutants. Duh duh duh. A series of bullets swept through, and the upper bodies of the mutants were smashed. Look, these guys are no big deal. As long as there is a strong enough defense. As many as there are can be eliminated, the staff member said. Yes. Zhang Tuohai nodded, but did not answer. He always felt that things were not that simple. He just left a self-propelled machine here to keep an eye on it. While he hurried back to the car. After returning to the car, he first switched the aircraft on duty to a global hawk and continued to monitor the area near the peninsula and beach. He couldn't believe the arrangement of United Pharmaceutical, so it would be better to make more arrangements himself. Then, he knocked on the door of Lilith's laboratory. What are you doing? 
I'm studying those instruments. Lilith looked reluctant. Have you seen Aya's situation? Can he have hematopoietic stem cell surgery now? Zhang Tuohai took the time to tell Lilith about Aya. He planned to help Aya have the surgery while he had time now. If it were later, there might be a big mess and there might not be time for the surgery. It's been done a long time ago. I finished the operation when we were driving here. I'm recuperating now. I think I'll be able to leave the medical bay by this time tomorrow. Lilith said. So fast? Zhang Tuohai was stunned. He didn't expect that Lilith would act so quickly. He just finished explaining the matter. It's just a minor operation. Not worth mentioning. Lilith waved her hand and said. Is there anything else you want to tell me? Father? Zhang Tuohai is now somewhat accustomed to Lilith's teasing. He said to Lilith. By the way, I forgot to tell you. During the time you left, I collected a lot of materials. Genetic potions the plan can be put back on the schedule. You can see what else you need. And I will try my best to meet your requirements. Zhang Tuohai said, taking Lilith to the storage warehouse. So many? Lilith's eyes widened. In front of her were several rows of shelves. Each shelf filled with petri dishes containing samples. There are mutated organs from the wasteland world. Genes from various animals in the spiral mountains. Three generations of genetic modification agents. Alpha viruses and various derivative versions. Body tissue samples of virus mutants. And a large number of dinosaur genes. In the exhibits at the end, there is a live lighthouse jellyfish. How about this? Are these enough? If not, there are still many virus mutants in the valley outside. I will collect some more and bring them back. John Tuai said. No one in the production team dares to use it like this. Lilith rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai. Okay, I understand. I am just a tired person. Leave these samples to me. I have to analyze them comprehensively first. Let's take a look at the situation. And I'll let you know if I need anything. Lilith waved her hand towards Zhang Tuohai, as if she was ready to drive him away. By the way, I have made a copy of all the drawings in the car for you. If you have time, take a look and see if there are any areas that can be improved. Zhang Tuohai said as he pushed in another small cart, which was filled with manufacturing drawings for all the items on Zhang Tuohai's car. Get out of here! Lilith pushed Zhang Tuohai out and then slammed the door. Zhang Tuohai left the room with a smile. Since Lilith didn't throw out the drawings, it meant that everything was within the acceptable range. He just had to wait for Lilith to come up with the results. Zhang Tuohai strolled to the infirmary. At this time, I was lying in the medical cabin again and Away was lying on a single bed next to him, with nutrient solution in his hand, and a self-propelled machine was holding a medicine bottle, waiting to be replaced. After seeing Zhang Tuohai come in, Away stood up quickly. Zhang Tuohai quickly pressed him down. Lie down. How you feel? Thank you. Away looked grateful. It's nothing but a little bit of help. Just keep an X-I in here. Your sister will probably be able to come out of the medical cabin tomorrow. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the data panel on the medical cabin and saw that Aya's physical conditions had returned to normal. There were no major problems except for a little anemia. At this moment, classmate Xiao Ai's voice suddenly rang out. Commander, the virus concentration in the surrounding area is increasing. Although the speed is not fast, it has been continuing and there is no downward trend. The virus concentration suddenly increased? What's going on? Just wait. I'll be there right away. Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly left the infirmary and returned to the command chair. Chapter 612 The Storm is Coming Tell me the specific situation. Zhang Tuohai asked while sitting on the command chair. Suddenly, we found a large dose of virus in the air, and it was still rising. Xiao Yai brought out the test data and could see that the virus index in the air was increasing rapidly, and the slope became steeper and steeper, finally becoming almost vertical. Have you found out the cause? Was there a leak in the laboratory? Or was it a problem outside? Zhang Tuohai asked with a frown. If Leonard used the laboratory to cause trouble, he wouldn't mind sending Leonard to hell now. According to the change in concentration, it spreads from the direction of the peninsula. Furthermore, the Global Hawk drone also captured some unusual conditions. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Turn around here. Zhang Tuohai said quickly. Real-time footage captured by the Global Hawk appeared on the spherical screen. A six-meter-tall giant slowly walked out of the mist and was walking slowly towards the peninsula. The giant's body was covered with purple skin, full of ulcerated skin, with red spots and blue rings on it. Some green mucus was constantly seeping out of his body and dripping down on the ground. After the green slime fell to the ground, it quickly evaporated into green smoke. 
According to testing, these green smokes are viruses with extremely high concentrations. This is a mobile virus-making machine. Classmate Xiao Yai said, We must not let this guy come over. Zhang Tuohai knew that if this guy was allowed to walk along the peninsula, the entire test base would be scrapped. He still has some use for this experimental base. And he doesn't want to give up here so soon. He looked at the cards available in his hand, thought about it, and decided to use the Predator drone to solve this problem. Two Hellfire missiles are enough to deal with this guy. And, most importantly, the ammunition consumed by using the Predator can be replenished for free through the aircraft summoner, which is equivalent to using two missiles in vain. Although Jean Tuohai's family has a great cause, but with Lilith, a gold-eating beast, he still has to learn to save a little. Lilith is good at everything, but she consumes too many materials when doing experiments. Let the Predator go and get the Global Hawk back at the same time. Jean Tuohai made the decision. The Predator drone soared into the sky, crossing the narrow peninsula and heading towards the purple giant from the sea. Whoosh! Two Hellfire missiles directly hit the purple giant's body. The Hellfire missile is a missile designed to deal with heavy targets such as main battle tanks. It can easily deal with a larger giant. Under the explosion, the purple giant turned into pieces. The rapid rise in virus concentration has also been controlled. However, the virus concentration is still rising, but at a much smaller rate. It can be seen that there are still virus sources nearby that have not been eliminated. Where? Zhang Tuohai controlled the Predator drone to patrol in the air. After some searches, Zhang Tuohai found that there were no obvious changes in the surroundings. Only there were some problems on the beach. The width of the beach has become noticeably smaller. At first, Zhang Tuohai thought it was due to the rising tide. But later he discovered that it was the thick poisonous mist spreading in this direction. Is it because of the poisonous mist? Or is there something else hidden in the poisonous mist? Zhang Tuohai couldn't judge. According to the infrared camera, we can know that there are many creatures moving in the poisonous fog. These may be virus-making machines like purple giants. Or they may just be ordinary virus carriers. Moreover, there are so many red dots, and they are so densely packed that it is really difficult to kill them all with conventional weapons. Even if Zhang Tuohai kills them all, it is useless. In the distance, there are still a large number of virus carriers gathering here so densely packed that there is no end in sight. This is an attempt to flood this peninsula with numbers. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but gasped when he saw the news from the Predator. At this time, Leonard also ran over. At this time, he had put on a complete set of protective clothing. Suddenly it was detected that the virus concentration index increased. I don't know what happened. I was afraid that you didn't know the situation. So I brought a set of the most advanced protective clothing. Please accept it. Leonard respectfully placed a box next to him, which contained a complete set of protective clothing. Seeing Leonard's look, Zhang Tuohai smiled. Leonard is not here to deliver protective clothing, but to inquire about information. It is estimated that Leonard suspected that the sudden increase in virus concentration was caused by Zhang Tuohai, and took the opportunity of sending protective clothing to find out the information. I found the source of the sudden increase in virus concentration. Just outside the peninsula, Zhang Tuohai displayed the image in front of Leonard. I have a little guess that the thing that makes the virus concentration continue to increase is either still hidden in the virus fog, or it is the virus fog itself. If you want to clear this place, it is best to find a once and for all method. Is there any big Ivan? What? Give it a shot over there. It's probably about the same. Zhang Tuohai said with a smile. I'm kidding. This kind of thing is a control product. I'm just the chairman of a business group. How could I possibly get it? Leonard said with a dry smile. Hearing Leonard's words, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but roll his eyes at him. Tactical missiles, battleships, destroyers, and P4 level laboratories are all not control products. And I don't see you doing them less. How come you have become a law-abiding businessman by the time you reach Great Ivan? What about the liar? However, Zhang Tuohai saw that Leonard was obviously hesitant when he said it. Which showed that Leonard must have. At least, a similar method, but he still feels distressed and reluctant to use it. It's easy to handle if you have it. Anyway, you are the one who suffers in the end, and the one in front is also your test base. Let's see who can outlast whom. Zhang Tuohai sneered secretly in his heart. No, forget it. However, Mr. Leonard had better arrange for defense. I'm afraid those guys trapped on the peninsula will jump over the wall, rush through the defense line, and attack with those mutants. That would be bad. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Leonard's expression suddenly changed. If he were not afraid of ordinary mutants, they would have been tested countless times in the laboratory. 
the defense systems were also built in a targeted manner, and they could be said to be impregnable against mutants. However, it was different when there were humans driving various land vehicles in front of those mutants. What was even worse was that those people also had powerful force. They are likely to force their way through the defense line in order to stay alive, and then tear a hole in the defense line. And those mutants may also rush in along the opening. At that time, the entire test base will be destroyed. I know. I'll go and arrange it right away. After Leonard finished speaking, he left in a panic. Chapter 613 All on Attack In the thick poisonous fog, several people stood on the car and stared into the distance. Boss, you have the foresight and sent Dasha and the others to explore the road. I didn't expect that these grandsons actually have heavy weapons. Darling, the drones are coming up. If we rush out stupidly, we will be the ones bombed, said a young man whose body was covered with gray spikes, like a porcupine. Otherwise, the eldest brother is the eldest brother. He only thinks about being more considerate than us. Brother, what do you think we should do next? Asked a man next to him, who was covered in scales, and whose hands turned into dark and sharp claws. How's the tunnel we asked you to find going? A young man in a suit, who looked just like an ordinary person, put down the telescope in his hand and asked. It's been found. I measured the location, and it's only a few dozen meters away from United Pharmaceutical's first line of defense. The scaly man replied, Dig the tunnel behind the defense line with all your strength. When the large forces press forward, you suddenly rush out from behind and try to defeat their defense line in one fell swoop, said the young man in a suit. It will probably take until evening. The scaly man thought for a while and said, Then why don't you do it? The young man in a suit said coldly, Yes. The scaly man quickly retreated to the back to dig a tunnel. Don't stop with a positive plan. Drive more of these animals up and consume their ammunition, said the young man in a suit. Yes. The people around immediately went down to make arrangements. More and more mutants are driven out of the virus fog and head towards the valley. The valley is full of mutants. These people are like waves, flooding the mountains one after another, filling up the canyons one after another, constantly squeezing the living space of the players, and rushing towards the United Pharmaceuticals defense line. At the beginning, the players didn't care much about these mutants and wanted to fight hard and get out. However, they soon discovered how wrong they were. These mutants are actually much more powerful than before. They used to be able to be shot in two, rendering them incapacitated. Now it requires seven or eight guns, and some even require RPGs and artillery to solve them. The most important thing is that these guys seem to be endless. They are densely packed and endless as far as the eye can see. It is impossible to kill them all. Mad, why are there so many? Hurry up and retreat to the laboratory. It's easier to fight there. Facing the tide of mutants, the players finally retreated. They felt that the United Pharmaceutical Defense Line, with trenches and barbed wire, looked better to break through. A large number of players turned around and rushed towards United Pharmaceutical's defense line. How dare you rush over here? Then I'll give you a ride. Seeing a large number of players retreating towards the defense line, Zhang Tuohai directly issued an order, asking the personnel in charge of the defense line to hold on to the end. And no one could be allowed to break through. There are so many. It seems that this base cannot be defended. Leonard looked at the waves of mutants on the screen and felt uncertain. This base has conducted special training before. But the training has its limits. And he has just made an inventory of the base's ammunition. According to the current usage, the existing ammunition in the base can last until night at most. By then, if the ammunition is exhausted, what will be left to resist? What can you do? Don't tell me that you have no way out and can only stay here. Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. He didn't believe that Leonard would have no way out. Alcatraz is the nearest escape route. And there is a straight blocking it. Leonard said immediately. Is there any other place? Zhang Tuohai immediately interrupted. That place has been hollowed out by myself. And there is nothing to take advantage of. There is still one. There is a place 200 nautical miles northwest. It is a desert island. There is a hidden supply station over there. How to get there? Zhang Tuohai asked. We have a Gulf Stream and a large transport plane in the hangar that can move some important stuff over. Leonard said immediately. You go and make arrangements. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, although he could fly directly by using the propeller of the car, why not use a transport plane? Leonard made arrangements immediately. The large transport aircraft completed maintenance and stopped on the runway. Forklets began to pack some important supplies into boxes and load them onto the plane. The sun set little by little, and the hot machine guns on the front line of United Pharmaceutical finally stopped firing. Boss, 
The tunnel has been dug. Now there is only less than one meter left. It can be dug out soon. The man covered in scales said to the young man in a suit. Bring the person over and start immediately. The young man in a suit put down the telescope in his hand and said. Aren't you going to wait? It's going to be dark soon. The scaly man said. No. It's good now. It's dark. But it's the advantageous time for their night vision equipment. What we need to take advantage of is this time difference. Let's get started. The young man in a suit waved his hand. In an instant, there were waves of shaking sounds. Large groups of mutants rushed out of the fog and rushed towards the defense line on the peninsula. In addition to ordinary mutants without brains and autonomous consciousness, there are also a large number of mutants with autonomous consciousness mixed among them. These mutants pretend to be ordinary mutants and mix among the crowd, preparing to surprise those people. You guys should do it too. The man in the suit turned around and said to some of the mutants with feather wings and bat wings behind them. The mutants nodded, spread their wings and flew into the sky, constantly hovering in the sky. Each one of them was holding a machine gun and a rocket launcher, which could be called a human-powered armed helicopter. Several fat mutants tore off their clothes. Then, their bodies quickly became round like balloons, and then began to slowly float into the air. Several mutants who were well prepared directly hung their own hooks on the opponent's collars and flew into the sky together, drifting towards the United Pharmaceuticals front line. What are these? Seeing the mutant floating over like a hot air balloon, the security guards of United Pharmaceuticals, who were guarding the front, were dumbfounded. They had never seen such a mutant before. Quick! Shoot! A man said, raising his machine gun to shoot down the mutants who turned into balloons. However, those mutants were covered in thick scales, and machine gun bullets bounced off their bodies and could not be penetrated at all. Use heavy weapons! Upon seeing this, a security guard immediately dropped the machine gun in his hand, picked up a rocket launcher, and was about to take aim. Suddenly, a huge worm rushed out from under his feet, opened its mouth, and swallowed him directly. The people next to them were stunned, and just as they were about to fight back, Another seven or eight holes were open one after another. A large group of mutants rushed out of the holes and fought with the security guards in the trenches. At this time, those mutants from the sky also arrived. They grinned and started attacking from the sky unscrupulously. Since their own people had scales, they were not afraid of accidental injury at all. They could attack at will. The mutants on the ground also broke through the barbed wire fence and rushed directly into the trench, mingling with the security guards. Chapter 614 Ball Lightning The base cannot be defended. Seeing those mutants mix with the security guards on the position, Leonard knew that the base was doomed. It's not that he doesn't have backup support weapons, but they are of little use against the tide of mutants. Even if he eliminated the current wave in front of him, he would no longer have the strength to face the next wave of enemies. Fortunately, I was prepared. Leonard walked quickly towards Zhang Tuohai. We can't hold on here anymore. We should leave. Yeah. Zhang Tuohai has already seen the situation on the battlefield through the drone. The ammunition reserve in the base has bottomed out. And the support missile firepower is only a base. The remaining people in the base are also civilian personnel. And it is difficult to hold a gun. That way, it's only a matter of time before the base is breached. Start the self-destruct program and evacuate immediately. Zhang Tuohai said as he got into the armored vehicle and drove towards the transport plane not far away. The remaining civilian staff also picked up their briefcases and ran towards the passenger plane in the distance. The lights on both sides of the run came on. A time bomb that has been planted everywhere has begun to activate and has entered the countdown stage. Naturally, such a large-scale operation cannot escape the attention of those who are interested. Brother, they are going to run away! Many mutants watching the battle on a hilltop also discovered this situation. Let Albert stop them. Tell them. Let them grow wings. Not let them mix with those damn infantry. Stop everyone who wants to leave. The young man in a suit said coldly. The order was quickly passed on. After hearing the order, all the mutants with wings on their backs got rid of the entanglement and flew toward the airport with their wings flashing, preparing to block the plane from taking off. Looking at the mutated people flying towards him, Zhang Tuohai's face turned ugly, not to mention the various weapons in their hands. Even if they fly around the airport, they will be very dangerous to the aircraft. A small bird can make a plane crash, let alone such a large group of mutants. Even if they only need two people to get into the engine, they can stop the plane from flying. Classmate Xiao Yai, clear the sky above the airport. Don't let a mutant fly in the sky. Zhang Tuohai said looking at the mutants above the airport. Clear. Wish whoosh. 
standard six anti-aircraft missiles, and a DAS missiles flew towards the mutants in the air. The mutants wanted to hide away when they saw this. However, they can't match the speed of missiles. By the time they saw the missile coming towards them, it was already too late. Boom, boom. Explosions rang out over the airport. Groups of flesh and blood fell from the sky. Tens of seconds later, the sky above the airport was cleared. Walk! Zhang Tuohai stepped on the accelerator. The car crashed into the cabin of the transport plane. Hurry! Take off quickly! Leonard shouted from the side. The cargo door of the transport plane slowly rose. And the plane took off on the runway. The Boeing 777 passenger plane full of researchers also slid into the takeoff orbit and began to take off. Seeing that his air power was completely lost. But the person who caused all these consequences seemed to have nothing to do with him. Trying to escape from here, the man in the suit's face turned purple. These aerial forces were something he had managed to come up with. They had always been regarded as the most elite assault force. And he was never willing to use them. However, he was wiped out in a place like this for the first time. Which made his heart feel blocked. Like a big rock. His fists were clenched tightly. And he suddenly turned back and said, Go! Bring the one-horned immortal here! But... That person said that this thing cannot be used normally. I think. A red-haired mutant came over and said. However, before he could finish his words, his head cracked open with a bang. Like a broken watermelon. Does anyone else have any opinions? The man in the suit asked coldly. No. The people around him were silent. No one dared to speak out. Why don't you go quickly? The man in the suit snorted coldly. Everyone went down quickly. After a while, a huge beetle that looked like a unicorn came out of the mist. This giant beetle is more than 20 meters long and 5 or 6 meters high. It is completely black and looks like a Big Mac. At its forefront is a black mouth part about 1 meter in diameter, emitting a faint light. The beetle that looked like a rhinoceros appeared, pointed its mouth parts at the climbing Boeing 777 in the sky, and began to take a deep breath. As the beetle breathed, its originally dark tail began to glow with fluorescence, like a giant firefly. Suddenly, a ball of blue light spewed out from the beetle's mouth parts and flew towards the Boeing 777. That blue light was like a ball of lightning. It looked very slow and erratic like a balloon. But in fact, it was extremely fast. In the blink of an eye, it floated to the body of the Boeing 777 passenger plane. And then like it penetrated into the body like a ghost. A few seconds later, the Boeing 777's body began to disintegrate. And large swaths of particles peeled off the 777. In just a few seconds, the huge machine disappeared without a trace. As if it had never appeared before. This scene was clearly seen by Zhang Tuohai and Leonard, who had been looking down. Seeing this scene, Leonard, who had seen countless big scenes, couldn't help but feel his legs trembling. What is this? It's so powerful. This blue light group is really terrifying. It was completely beyond his cognition. It floated over without any sound. And then... Such a huge passenger plane was completely disintegrated. Silently, if the Boeing 777 was shot down by some missile, Leonard might be scared. But not like this. Because these are things within his cognition. However, the attack method in front of him was completely beyond his cognition. This fear of the unknown and the threat of death made it difficult for him to control his emotions. Zhang Tuohai also frowned. He has never seen this attack mode before. Even on cutting-edge military channels and magazines and has never heard of it, not even in science fiction movies, etc. Mentioning science fiction movies, Zhang Tuohai suddenly remembered a novel he had read, which was about ball lightning. According to legend, people who are hit by ball lightning will turn into fly ash. Could it be that this is a similar kind of lightning? Just when Zhang Tuohai was guessing, the huge black beetle once again aimed its mouth parts at the transport plane Zhang Tuohai was riding. And a ball of blue electric light floated over again. Chapter 615, Going Up We're going to die! Leonard's legs were shaking and his eyes were full of fear. He felt that he had never been so close to death in his decades of life. Moreover, he died in obscurity on a plane. He still has a lot of wealth that he has not enjoyed. And many trump cards that he has not revealed. He was unwilling to give in. Zhang Tuohai also frowned. At this time, the speed of the transport plane had reached a certain level. And his armored vehicle did not dare to launch missiles. Otherwise, the transport plane would be the first to explode. He didn't dare to open the cabin and jump out. That would definitely be death. There was no second possibility. However, if not, ball lightning will fly over soon. And by then, 
He will be like those researchers on the Boeing 777. Dying silently. Not even leaving his ashes. How to break the situation? John Tuohai's mind was spinning rapidly. At this time, the ball lightning had floated several hundred meters away from the transport plane and was about to fly into the transport plane. Made. A dead horse is a living horse. Zhang Tuohai fiercely called back the Global Hawk flying in the sky. However, Global Hawk could not be recalled because it was too far away. So the contact could only be forcibly terminated. Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to terminate the contact with Global Hawk. Then, the Global Hawk began to fall toward the distant sea. However, at this time, Zhang Tuohai could no longer care about his heartache and immediately summoned the Boeing 777 from the aircraft summoner. The position of the Boeing 777 was right in the middle of the transport plane and the ball lightning. In an instant, ball lightning penetrated the cabin of the Boeing 777. Then, like the previous plane, the Boeing 777 disintegrated into gravel. Um, the man in a suit on the ground couldn't help but frown when he saw the Boeing 777 that suddenly appeared. Where did this Boeing 777 come from? There was no trace of it just now. Why did it suddenly appear here? Completely out of thin air? Is this that guy's superpower? I didn't expect that there is such a person in United Pharmaceuticals. However, pity. The man in the suit snorted coldly and then said to the black beetle next to him, Continue to attack until I bring down that plane. The huge black beetle began to breathe more rapidly and its tail became brighter. Obviously, the next attack would be more violent. At this time, Zhang Tuohai's eyes had become a little red after losing a Boeing 777. Since he obtained the aircraft summoner, he has never suffered such a heavy loss. He lost a Boeing 777 and a main reconnaissance aircraft Global Hawk. This level of loss can almost be said to be his biggest loss since entering this world. I swear I won't be a human being until I kill you. Zhang Tuohai was already a little over the top. He looked at the shining black beetle in the distance with cold eyes. Are you coming again? You don't have to come this time. I'll send you another plane to see if you can eat it. Zhang Tuohai scanned the list on the aircraft summoner. He selected the 99 ship explosion and summoned it. Buzz. After the 99 ship burst into the air, it dived directly in the direction of the black beetle without any extra movement. As if it was going to die with the black beetle. Damn maniac. Stop it. The man in the suit raised his hand and pointed at the rushing Jiu shipping. The black beetle is his treasure. His most important trump card. He got it at a great cost. This is it. And it is not completely his. He also needs to use this beetle to help someone complete something. If he dies before then, not only will he suffer severe injuries, but he may even be punished by the person. When the mutants around the man in the suit saw this, they immediately raised their weapons and fired wildly at Jiu Jiu Shipang, trying to stop Jiu Jiu Shipang's attack. A large number of bullets shot into the wings and cockpit, and a rocket hit the wing, causing the 99 ship explosion to lose control of its course and roll to the ground. Boom! A huge explosion sounded, and a cloud of smoke rose up from the 99 ship. What a risk! Looking at the wreckage of the Jiu ship that was less than a hundred meters away, the man in a suit wiped the cold sweat from his forehead. Just now, if he hadn't seen the opportunity quickly, I'm afraid the plane would have succeeded in a surprise attack. However, at this moment, his men shouted, Boss! Here we go again! Then, there was the sound of gunfire. The man in the suit looked up and saw that there was another Stuka in the sky. The Stuka was diving down at an almost right angle. Shit! Why is it here again? Kill it quickly! The man in the suit cursed loudly, took out his pistol and fired at the Stuka, hoping to shoot him down. However, the Stuka's dive angle was almost a blind spot for their manual air defense. And all the bullets and rockets were fired into the air. Just when Stuka was about to rush in front of the beetle, the beetle's huge mouth part suddenly aimed at Stuka, and a huge ball of blue ball lightning spurted out, directly wrapping Stuka in it. After a few seconds, the ball lightning slowly dissipated, and the Stuka disappeared, leaving not even ashes behind. Seeing that Stuka was gone, the man in the suit let out a sigh of relief. It was finally killed. But it was a pity that the beetle had been charged up earlier. If the Stuka hadn't suddenly appeared to cause trouble, the attack just now would have been enough to shoot down the transport aircraft. After these two troubles, the transport plane may have flown far away. Humph! I'm getting you a lot easier! The man in the suit snorted coldly, glanced at the transport plane that was about to disappear, and snorted coldly. However, at this moment, another huge aircraft appeared above them. 
This time it was a huge B-29 Sky Fortress. The huge four-engine heavy bomber rushed down towards them at an almost vertical angle. The air was filled with shrill screams. The huge fuselage began to shake violently due to the near stall, and some parts began to fall off. However, the aircraft still rushed towards the Black Beetle at a very high speed. Why are you still here? Kill it! The man in the suit took out a pistol and started shooting. But before he fired two shots, the pistol in his hand already made an empty chamber click. Most of the other mutants were like this. The two consecutive rounds had already allowed them to use up all the ammunition in their hands. And they were hurriedly replacing the magazines. The Black Beetle had just shot ball lightning and was accumulating power. Unable to attack at all, the B-29 Flying Fortress hit the giant beetle with an unstoppable momentum. Boom! A huge flame rose. And slowly a warehouse of napalm bombs and white phosphorus incendiary bombs were detonated. And the entire area was burned into a sea of flames. Countless mutants were swallowed up by the blazing flames. Chapter 616 by Yang Yim Finally done! Looking at the blazing fire on the ground, Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath. However, he also felt a little bit of pain. He admitted that he was a little over the top just now. And in order to forcefully kill the Black Beetles, he lost three planes and went in. Counting the previous Global Hawk and the 777 that blocked the gun, he lost a total of five aircraft in this conflict. It can be said that it was the heaviest loss in all previous battles. But no benefit was gained at all. This is not over yet. We'll talk about it after I land on the ground. Zhang Tuohai looked at the sea of fire in the distance. His face full of coldness. He took inventory of the aircraft in his hand. In addition to the pure collectible triplane, there was also a rainbow four. Two armed helicopters. Two Apaches. A Gulfstream. And a Harrier. A Predator two F-35CS, and a Growler electronic warfare aircraft. The Growler can alternate with the Rainbow 4 for reconnaissance. Usually the attack is performed by the Predator and Apache. While the air combat is the responsibility of the Harrier and F-35, the overall skeleton is still there. So it won't hurt your muscles or bones. Seeing this, Zhang Tuohai let out a sigh of relief. The loss was still within an acceptable level. However, he was still unwilling to give in. He turned around and asked Leonard with a gloomy expression. I want to take revenge on them. Do you have any trump cards? Show them all. Stop hiding them. Leonard was so frightened just now that he almost thought he was going to die here. Now I can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Don't worry. As soon as I land, I will launch the most violent revenge on these guys. I will not let any reptile who dares to attack me see the sun tomorrow. I swear. Leonard swore. Okay. Then I'll see how you perform. Zhang Tuohai paused and then said, By the way, I suffered a lot of losses in order to save you. Please think of how to compensate me. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he turned around and returned to his armored vehicle. He decided not to set the price himself and let Leonard compensate himself. Only in this way can the benefits be maximized. Don't worry. My compensation will definitely satisfy you. Leonard responded repeatedly. When the door of the armored vehicle closed, Leonard thought for a while before taking out the satellite phone. Transport all those things to the R-30 base. I will see them before dawn. If you can't finish it, just shoot yourself. Ten minutes later, the plane slowly landed on the ground. After all, it's only 200 nautical miles, which is not that far for an airplane. This is a small island that looks very desolate. In addition to a small runway, there is also a two-story tower. In addition, there is a huge iron warehouse in the middle of the island. Other than that, what else? Nothing. The transport plane taxied to the end of the runway and slowly stopped. Zhang Tuohai got off the plane in an armored vehicle and frowned as he looked at the desolate scene around him. Is this the retreat you chose? This is just a facade. Used to cover up people's eyes and ears, Leonard said, leading Zhang Tuohai into the tower. Inside the tower is a huge elevator, the kind that can transport airplanes. There is no problem with Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle parked inside. The group of people took the elevator and slowly descended to the ground more than 100 meters deep above the ground. Above their heads was a dome metal structure that looked extremely solid. Everything here is built according to standards to prevent nuclear attack. It can be said to be a nuclear shelter, Leonard said, pressing the switch. A two-meter thick metal door slowly rose, and rows of lights in the corridor lit up. A group of people walked in. There are various rooms on both sides of the passage, and name tags are hung on the rooms, food storage room water storage room, gasoline storage room, seed storage room, and weapon storage room. 
There are all kinds of supplies. And it is obviously a complete underground nuclear shelter. When the group of people came to the end of the passage, a metal sensor door opened automatically, and everyone came into a hall full of science fiction. A huge screen in the center of the hall lit up, revealing a modern girl with blonde hair and blue eyes. Good evening. Mr. Leonard, welcome back to the R-30 base. Do you need any help? Modern girl asked. Launch a nuclear strike immediately, targeting the peninsula base, Leonard said coldly. Please authorize, Modern girl said. Perform authorization. Leonard took a step forward. A glass warehouse rose up, and Leonard walked in. A red light swept Leonard from the top down. Authorization passed. Nuclear strike preparations are in progress. Drop, drop. Sirens blared, and red lights flashed throughout the base. A huge intercontinental ballistic missile appeared on the screen. If Zhang Tuohai recognized it correctly, the model should still be Bayanyam. One of the three great truths in the world. If Zhang Tuohai remembers correctly, this thing has ten subguided nuclear warheads, each with a yield of 550,000 tons. The fat man that destroyed Nagasaki had only a 20,000 ton equivalent. And a Topol M missile was more than 27 times that of the fat man. It can be said that once this thing is launched, not to mention the peninsula base, the entire peninsula and even the surrounding areas will be reduced to ashes, and no grass will grow. How can you actually get such a thing? Zhang Tuohai looked at Leonard with a smile, and at the same time, he was thinking about how to get this thing in his hands. If he has this, then he is also a person who has mastered the truth. He he! I use my connections to operate two of them, and have always used them as trump cards. Unfortunately, I have to use one today. But it's all worth it! Leonard said humbly. At this time, the missile self-test has been completed. Everything is operating normally and ready for launch, Modern Girl said. Launch immediately, Leonard said immediately. Call. The Topol M intercontinental ballistic missile slowly rose into the sky and shot into the distance. A few minutes later, clusters of mushroom clouds rose from the direction of the peninsula. The violent sound can be faintly heard even hundreds of kilometers away. It's really beautiful. Leonard looked at the scene in the distance, with an expression of obsession. By the way, what's the image on the screen? John Tuohai asked. It's the base's automatic control system, responsible for the normal operation of the base, Leonard said casually. I remember. You promised to compensate me. Right. When will my compensation arrive? John Tuohai asked calmly. Hurry. Be there soon. Leonard pointed to the plane flying slowly in the sky and said, I have ordered those laboratories to gather all the company's scientific and technological achievements here, and you can take them as long as you like. Really? Then I'm really looking forward to it. Looking at the huge aircraft, John Tuohai couldn't help but feel shocked. This is the scientific research result of the entire United Pharmaceutical. If it can be transformed into combat power, how much help will it be? Reach the sky in one step? Just as Zhang Tuohai was thinking about it, the huge transport plane slowly stopped on the runway. The cabin door slowly opened, and dozens of soldiers armed with assault rifles rushed out of the cabin, surrounding Zhang Tuohai and Leonard in the center. You? What are you doing? Leonard looked at the soldiers around him and frowned. Don't you know who I am? I am your boss, Leonard, and I order you to give me your gun. Lay down. However, the people around him seemed not to hear it and remained motionless. My dear father, you are still so stupid. At this time, a frivolous voice sounded, and a blonde girl in a leather jacket appeared in front of the cabin door, looking at Leonard with a smile. Chapter 617 E2 Families Amanda, it's you? How did you find yourself here? I obviously didn't tell anyone. Leonard's face was filled with disbelief when he saw the girl in leather. Ha ha. My dear father. You are always so stupid. A look of ridicule appeared on Amanda's face. Do you still think that your subordinates will still be driven by your illusory interests? The reason why they did what you wanted before was just to paralyze you. I didn't expect you to be fooled so easily. Hearing Amanda's taunt, Leonard's face turned ugly, and his chest heaved. Very good. Very good. A bunch of unfamiliar white-eyed wolves. But you all chose to betray me. Very good. Leonard laughed angrily, with an unhealthy flush on his face. Okay. Stop talking nonsense and give me the potion quickly. Otherwise, I don't mind letting you suffer a little more. Amanda said with a cold voice. What potion? Leonard asked coldly. Why are you pretending? Of course, it's the potion that restored your youth. I didn't expect that you actually developed this magical potion under my nose. I really underestimated you. Amanda walked down the spiral staircase step by step, 
her eyes full of anticipation. Don't tell me that this body of yours is a clone of your own body, and it's okay to replace it. I know that you have always been against memory copying and storage. Because that won't be you anymore. Right? Amanda's words made Leonard's face look ugly. Because he really didn't have any potion. And the potion that restored his youthfulness was given by Zhang to a high. He set his sights on Zhang to a high. And his action also made Amanda notice Zhang to a high. Because Zhang to a high had been wearing United Pharmaceuticals third generation protective suit. She had always thought that this person was Leonard's bodyguard or assistant. Now it seems that the identity is not that simple. Who are you? Could it be that you developed that potion? Give me the formula and you will get everything you want. Amanda offered an olive branch. For her, if she can research a potion that can restore people's youth, no matter how high the cost, it is worth it. Everything? Anything? John Tuahai asked with a smile. Of course. Amanda said proudly. Now! United Pharmaceuticals is under my control. As long as you want it. I can get it for you anything in the world. So, is it okay for me to want your life? Zhang Tuohai asked with a smile. Hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Amanda's face turned as cold as ice. Seeking death, she waved her hand to her side, preparing to teach Zhang Tuohai a lesson and let him understand who was in charge here. However, at this moment, 1130 clothes and defense gun suddenly popped out of the armored vehicle on the side. Da da da. The metal storm swept across the entire place instantly. Although the surrounding soldiers holding assault rifles were also wearing third-generation protective clothing, they had no ability to resist when facing more than 10,000 close and defense artillery rounds per minute and were instantly torn to pieces. Moreover, Xiao Ai's accuracy was extremely high. Apart from the soldiers with guns, no one was hurt. Not even Amanda. This. Amanda did not expect that the plan that was originally a sure win would suddenly take a huge turn. Suddenly, the situation turned against her. How could this happen? How could the third generation protective suit be so vulnerable? Amanda stepped back in small steps, trying to get back into the transport plane. However, at this time, John Tuohai raised his hand, and the electromagnetic glove in his hand flashed a blue current, hitting Amanda. Amanda's body softened, and she collapsed on the ground. At this time, Amanda felt numb and numb all over her body, almost lost consciousness, and lost the ability to move for a short time. Seeing Amanda's embarrassment, Leonard regained his energy. Ha! Amanda didn't expect that you will also have today. I will let you feel the price of betraying me now, Leonard said, striding towards Amanda, ready to teach this filial daughter a lesson. However, before he had even taken two steps, he felt his body go numb, and he also collapsed to the ground. He looked back at Zhang Tuohai in shock and stammered, Sir, why are you doing this to me? Aren't we allies? It was true before. However, I think you are such a waste. You don't even know you are being fooled. I plan to reconsider. John Tuohai came to the middle of the two people and said to them, Now, I give you a chance to make a new choice. Each of you has a chance to make a quotation. If the quotation satisfies me, I can let that person live and make a new choice. Establish a friendship. And the remaining one, sorry to say, has no need to live. John Tuohai raised his wrist and glanced at the bracelet. From now on, you have one minute to think about it. If you exceed the time and everyone makes a bid, then I will send you on the road together. The timer starts now. I, I will give you everything I have. Even the position of chairman of United Pharmaceuticals. As long as you want it, it is yours. Even I can do it. Amanda was very knowledgeable and immediately offered a price. Hearing Amanda's words, John Tuohai sneered. Why do I want the position of chairman? Am I being ignored by you? I'm not interested in those big cakes. I only believe that I can get the benefits in front of me. Now, you still have 40 seconds. I can give you control of the R-30 base. There are also two Topol-M intercontinental strategic missiles in the base. In addition, I built the base's automatic control AI using the latest technology, using the most advanced supercomputing, and the server serves as hardware support. As long as you let me survive, it will all be yours. Leonard said, Topol-M? Hearing Leonard's words, Zhang Tuohai's heart moved. If he could get the Topol M, then it wouldn't be impossible to let Leonard go. Me too. Amanda saw John Tuohai's heartbeat. She knew that if she continued, she would definitely die. She immediately said without daring to hide any little thoughts. I didn't bring too much information, but I did bring it with me on the transport plane. 
I bought a set of 3D printers that can mass-produce clone warriors and customize combat skills. You can choose from cold weapons to various war vehicles. In addition, I also brought the company's most advanced drone. And the real thing is in the plane. And if you let me go, I can take you to find the military base left by the military. And then, you can take as many strategic missiles as you want. Chapter 6 18 3D Printing Clones 3D printed clones and the latest drones? Hearing Amanda's words, Zhang Tuohai's thoughts became hot. No matter how powerful the Bayangyam is, there are only two of them. However, as long as there are enough materials, 3D printed clones and the latest drones can be produced indefinitely. In comparison, they will have more long-term benefits. It seems to be the same. Not a bad choice. Seeing Zhang Tuohai hesitate, Leonard was afraid. If Zhang Tuohai is pulled to Amanda's side, he will definitely die. Immediately, he didn't care much and shouted directly. Don't believe Amanda's lies easily. She can even betray me as a father. There is nothing else she can't betray. Although what she said is nice. Who knows how many it's true. Maybe there will be many traps waiting for you as soon as you get on the plane. But I'm different. You have seen the AI and Topol M missiles in the base with your own eyes. They are genuine. As long as you take them by wearing this ring, you can gain control of the base. Leonard said, taking off a ring from his hand and throwing it to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai picked up the ring and found that from the appearance, it was an ordinary gold ring, which looked similar to the other rings on Leonard's hand. However, one line of reminder highlights the difference. Obtain temporary credentials for R30 base control authority. With this certificate, you can gain control of the R30 base for 24 hours. After that, you need to reauthorize it. This old guy is still playing tricks on me and gave me a temporary voucher. Zhang Tuohai frowned slightly as he looked at the ring in his hand. However, for him, a temporary voucher was enough for him to evacuate the R30 base. What he was angry about was that Leonard was still playing with him at this time. Be petty. Seeing Leonard throwing the ring, Amanda's face froze. Her expression changed. And then she also pulled off the necklace around her neck and threw it to Zhang Tuohai. This is the control authority of the transport plane. You can take it go inside and see if all this is true. As long as you take me back to the headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals, I will help you get everything you need. I will be a hostage in your hands. What else do you have to worry about? Of? Zhang Tuohai walked over slowly and picked up the necklace. Obtain the permission of the Hercules transport aircraft. And you can use this permission to freely control the Hercules transport aircraft. I actually got two ransoms directly. Zhang Tuohai didn't expect that things would go so smoothly. For a moment, he didn't know who to turn to. So he called two self-propelled machines and ordered. Watch them too. I'll go check the ransom first and then think about what to do. After Zhang Tuohai finished speaking, he entered the Hercules aircraft with the armored vehicle control by classmate Xiaoyai. The Hercules is a standard transport aircraft. In addition to some necessary facilities, the most eye-catching thing is that there is an unmanned aircraft parked at the end. This drone looks round and fat. It has neither the huge wingspan of the Global Hawk nor the sci-fi shape of the B-1B. It looks very ordinary, like a fat training plane. However, the prompts given by the prompt system are anything but ordinary. Hive Drone contains 500 small drones, which can control small drones to perform formation flying, monitoring, interception, attack and other behaviors. The attack power of each aircraft is equivalent to a Hellfire missile. This is awesome! Looking at this fat honeycomb drone, Zhang Tuohai showed surprise on his face. The attack power of each small drone is equivalent to one Hellfire missile. So having this honeycomb drone is equivalent to having 500 Hellfire missiles cruising in the sky. This power is absolutely unacceptable. Underestimating it, even the Iron Dome defense system would probably become extremely weak in the face of such a density of air strikes. The most important thing is that he can also use the aircraft summoner to repeatedly purchase these small drones for free. It only costs some time and does not occupy any resources. It is simply a pleasure. Zhang Tuohai immediately took out the aircraft summoner and put away the honeycomb drone. Later, Zhang Tuohai saw a 3D printer in the corner. Zhang Tuohai walked over and a prompt popped up. Clone making machine. Quickly create clones. You can customize the appearance. Gender. Physical condition. And you can choose to implant various preset knowledge such as cold weapon combat, hot weapon use, use of various vehicles, security regulations, assassination skills, mastery of etiquette, essential secretarial skills, etc. All clones produced have been preset with basic core specifications 
and obey all the orders of the Maker. This, looking at the description of the human cloning machine, Zhang Tuohai became Spartan. He did not expect that United Pharmaceuticals' human cloning technology was so advanced that it could directly create clones in batches. Moreover, you can also preset the appearance, body shape and various knowledge, with all kinds of details, which can perfectly meet various needs, from combat to life, almost covering most needs. The most important thing is that these clones are absolutely loyal. They will do whatever you want them to do without any thoughts of resistance. They are simply perfect templates for subordinates. This thing is indeed useful. This time, the plane was not in vain. Zhang Tuohai quickly ordered two self-propelled machines to transport the clone-making machine to the armored vehicle. Afterwards, Zhang Tuohai walked around the transport plane again. And when he saw that there was nothing to take, he got off the plane. Are you satisfied with my things? As long as you can send me back to the headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals, I will send more valuable things to you. Amanda wanted to climb in front of Zhang Tuohai. But before she could even take two steps, she was stepped on by the self-propelled machine, unable to move. Don't worry. I'm going to take a look at Leonard's ransom first. I have to compare it before making a choice. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and said. He felt that it was better to grab what he could get his hands on first. As for the promises coming out of their mouths, he didn't even believe the punctuation marks. Zhang Tuohai took classmate Xiao Yai back to the underground nuclear-proof bunker. Welcome back. The blonde reappeared on the big screen. Immediately list the existing supplies in the base. Zhang Tuohai said directly without any nonsense. A long list appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. In addition to ordinary supplies, two Topol M strategic nuclear missiles were clearly listed in the armament list. Immediately open the weapons warehouse where Baiyang M is stored. In addition, open the host warehouse and turn off the AI system. Zhang Tuohai said. Arms library slowly opened the door. And the rooms where the supercomputer and servers were stored became undefended. Quick! Move everyone out! Zhang Tuohai said quickly. It goes without saying the importance of nuclear weapons. Supercomputers and servers can improve Xiao AI's computing power. And they are both rare and good things. Just when Zhang Tuohai started to organize the self-propelled machines to start transporting, there was a sudden vibration outside the bunker. And then classmate Xiao Yai said hurriedly, Commander, the surface has been attacked. Chapter 619 Heading to Base Camp The surface was attacked? What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked quickly. Suddenly, a large number of marine creatures crawled out of the sea. These creatures were at least 10 times larger than normal and became extremely aggressive. They are now attacking the self-propelled machinery and trying to block it. Classmate Xiao Yai said, showing the specific situation on the spherical screen. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help being surprised when he saw the situation on the screen. According to the information sent back by the self-propelled machine, hundreds of crabs climbed onto the island from the sea. These crabs are very huge. The carapace alone is as big as a round dining table. The huge pair of claws are at least 4 meters long and are full of sharp inverted teeth. The huge carapace still has a metallic luster. The giant crab is also very aggressive and will attack moving objects when it sees it. A crab knocked down a coconut tree that was swaying in the wind. Another crab directly tore Leonard into pieces as he tried to escape. Amanda had already been cut into two pieces and the upper half was stuffed into her mouth by a huge crab. Several crabs began to try to attack the self-propelled machinery. The self-propelled machine fired back with its Gatling gun. But the Gatling's effect on the crabs was limited. The outer carapace of these crabs seems to be particularly strong. Ordinary bullets even emitted a few sparks when hit. While rockets only broke the easily broken joints. It's very difficult to deal with at first glance. What kind of crab is this? So powerful. Zhang Tuohai frowned when he saw the huge crab. After comparing the data... It should be a mutated species caused by virus infection. The main characteristics are its hard shell and bloodthirsty cruelty. Classmate Xiao Yai said. All the creatures that Zhang Tuohai has killed have been sorted and recorded here to form a database. The purpose of doing this is to formulate better attack plans. Now it is good to use it for data comparison. Looking at the crabs running rampant on the beach. Zhang Tuohai frowned. He didn't really care that they killed Amanda and Leonard. Almost all the oil and water that can be squeezed out has been squeezed out. And Zhang Tuohai has downloaded the coordinates of United Pharmaceuticals headquarters from the transport plane's route map. The maximum use value of those two guys is gone. And feeding them, the crabs they indirectly created is considered a cause and effect cycle. However, the appearance of these crabs made Zhang Tuohai realize a problem. That is, since the crabs have mutated, what about other creatures in the ocean? What about other creatures on land? Have they also mutated? 
Zhang Tuohai decided to leave the island immediately. The largest animals in the world are in the ocean. And the ocean also has the largest number of animals. Once the virus spreads to the ocean, islands and seaside locations that are prone to attacks by marine animals will become extremely dangerous. Zhang Tuohai decided to leave here immediately. Go to the headquarters of United Pharmaceutical. Make a big deal. And then quietly wait for the end of this world. Zhang Tuohai immediately drove the armored vehicle and rushed outside the bunker. As soon as I arrived at the door of the bunker, I met a crab poking its head inside. The big crab was startled by the sudden appearance of the armored vehicle. He waved his pliers and thought about hitting Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. However, Zhang Tuohai had already been prepared. A laser flashed across it, cutting the huge crab in half, and the crab paste flowed out. Zhang Tuohai's movements attracted the attention of other crabs, and they immediately swarmed towards Zhang Tuohai. Walk! The armored vehicle immediately ejected its propeller and flew up. Before leaving, it also ejected its mechanical arm and carried away half of the crab carcass. Although this thing cannot be eaten if it is infected with the virus, it can still be used as a test subject. After putting away the crabs, the armored vehicle turned around and flew towards the headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals. At this time, the sun slowly rose, and the time came to 6 o'clock in the morning. The game system pops up daily tips. Congratulations to all players for seeing the sunrise on a new day. Today is your sixth day in this world. Marine creatures have completed virus transformation and their offensive capabilities have been greatly improved. Please stay away from the ocean as much as possible. Viruses in the air undergo complex fusion and transformation, evolving into omega viruses. Omega virus, the ultimate version evolved based on various alpha viruses and various mutant strains. It is extremely contagious and can be airborne, waterborne, Birdborn, insectborn, aerosolborn, etc. The resistance to drugs increases significantly, requiring 10 times the amount of specific drugs to be effective. After infection, symptoms of high fever will occur. The skin will be carbonized. And the probability of death is 85%. The probability of death is 90%. And the probability of mutation will be 90%. If you are infected with alpha virus or derivative viruses before being infected with omega virus, you need to take special medicine within 5 minutes to control the condition. Otherwise the whole body will be carbonized to death or lose control and mutate into a monster. Gone! Seeing the detailed explanation of the Omega virus, even Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. This is no longer a virus. This is simply a poison. Not only that the transmission points are full, but the drug resistance has also increased significantly. And 10 times the amount of specific drugs is needed to have a therapeutic effect. If the mutation continues like this, I'm afraid even the special medicine won't have any effect. Moreover, the probability of death after infection increases to 85%, and you must take medicine within 5 minutes of infection. Otherwise you will definitely die. This is almost the same as poison gas. The only difference is that after being infected with this virus, you will not be able to live in peace after death. You will turn into a monster and continue to attack the same kind. Or you will be killed. What's worse is that the virus concentration is high in inland areas and mutated organisms are agitated in ocean areas. The area where people can stay safely turns out to be smaller. The surviving players are like eggs squeezed between two walls. They can only watch the two walls getting closer and closer. But there is nothing they can do. However, these are the worries of ordinary players. Zhang Tuohai can use flight mode to successfully cross the poisonous fog barrier, steal homes in reverse, and go directly to the final birthplace of the virus the headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals. The headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals is located on a mountain with an altitude of more than 5,000 meters. Originally, it was just an ordinary snow-capped mountain. United Pharmaceuticals spent a lot of money to buy this land and spent huge manpower and material resources to build it in the mountain. Own base camp. At first, many people did not understand this behavior of United Pharmaceuticals. They thought that the founder Leonard was absolutely crazy to establish a base camp in such an uninhabited place. It wasn't until the virus spread that these people understood that United Pharmaceuticals had a premeditated plan. But by the time they understood it, it was already too late. The base camp stores a large amount of supplies and has built complete three defense facilities. Coupled with the excellent geographical advantages, it can be called an oasis in the wasteland. However, today, all this will be broken because Zhang Tuohai arrived here. Chapter 620 Peripheral Attack this is the headquarters of United Pharmaceuticals? Why is it in such a ghost place? Zhang Tuohai looked at the snow-capped mountains in the distance with some astonishment. 
in his impression, the headquarters of such a world-class consortium, not to mention being built in the central square of Manhattan, must be surrounded by skyscrapers. He never expected that a snow mountain was hollowed out and built in the snow mountain. Among. It seems that this joint pharmaceutical company has long been ambitious. Otherwise, it would not have established its headquarters in this remote corner. Zhang Tuohai looked at the virus index in the nearby air, and it was shockingly low. Moreover, there are very few suspended particles in the air. Even if there is no virus raging, the air quality here will at least be ranked among the top in the world. These damn guys really care about the place where they live. Zhang Tuohai snorted coldly, and then prepared to fly over and rush into the base to kill everyone. However, before Zhang Tuohai could move, the prompt system sent a prompt. Note that the front is about to enter the opponent's air defense radar identification area. If you fly in, you will be detected by the opponent's high-frequency radar and attacked by stealth fighters. It is recommended to destroy the radar first. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be stunned when he saw the prompt from the prompt system. The shape of his car has been specially designed, and it has been coated with radar-absorbing paint, and the infrared blocker and muffler tiles have been turned on to block sound and infrared heat sources. Captured by radar. This shows that United Pharmaceuticals radar is indeed something. After seeing the prompt, Zhang Tuohai honestly landed the car on the top of a nearby hill, looked at the distant peaks, and thought about how to sneak in quietly. Zhang Tuohai looked at the distance. The straight line distance from the snow mountain must be more than 10 kilometers, completely beyond the detection range of the hand thrown drone. Moreover, Several birds appeared on the radar in this place, which is very strange in itself. As long as the other party is not stupid, they will definitely come out to check the situation. What's more, even your own vehicle can be detected. Maybe there will be some new technology that can detect the difference between birds and small drones. Zhang Tuohai didn't dare to take risks. After much deliberation, Zhang Tuohai decided that it was better to send the F-35C over for reconnaissance. It had the best stealth effect among all his equipment. Moreover, he has two of these things. Even if one is lost due to an accident, there is still one spare that can afford the loss. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai took out the aircraft summoner and released an F-35. The F-35 fighter jet flew towards the snow-capped mountains at high speed. The F-35 fighter jet quickly arrived at the top of the snow-capped mountains and began to hover above them. When they arrived at the snow-capped mountains, Zhang Tuohai discovered that United Pharmaceuticals had posted a large number of phased array radar boards on the snow-capped mountains. These radar boards were not large, and they were distributed in every corner of the snow-capped mountains, with some snow piled nearby. Balls, ice cubes, etc. are hidden in them and difficult to distinguish. It's really cunning! Zhang Tuohai immediately asked Xiao Ai to record all the coordinates and type them out later. At this moment, a rock on the mountain suddenly slid open revealing the launch channel inside. An anti-aircraft missile shot out in the direction of the F-35. The F-35 felt that it was illuminated by an anti-aircraft missile, immediately began to maneuver, and released a heat decoy bomb. The anti-aircraft missile hit the decoy and missed. However, the next moment, seven or eight anti-aircraft missiles were launched from various positions and fired towards the F-35. Although the F-35 is a fifth-generation fighter, its specialty is stealth penetration. Now that the core stealth capability has been seen through, it is naturally not much different from ordinary third and fourth generation fighters. It was hit by several anti-aircraft missiles and disintegrated into pieces in the air. Maid, you actually hit my plane. Shall I? Please take out its radar and anti-aircraft missile positions for me. John Tuohai waved his fist angrily. Although he had said that there were spares, he still felt heartbroken over the loss of an F-35 for nothing. Wish whoosh. A series of improved Tomahawk missiles were launched from the cells and shot towards the predetermined coordinates. Looking at the densely packed Tomahawk missiles in the sky, more and more air defense positions were revealed on the snowy mountains, and air missiles were fired out one after another, preparing to intercept the Tomahawk missiles. However, Zhang Tuohai's Tomahawk missiles were all modified by Lilith and could perform Cobra maneuvers in the middle and final stages. This sudden change caused those missiles to rush into the air except for a few unlucky ones. They were shot from other directions. In addition to the missile hits, the vast majority of Tomahawk missiles hit their intended targets. A large number of radar positions and anti-aircraft missile positions were hit, and balls of fire rose up on the snow-capped mountains. One more wave! Trying to kill the newly emerged missiles as well! Zhang Tuohai looked at the battle situation with an excited look on his face. Since he was exposed, he stopped hiding it 
and directly used the missile groundwashing tactic to push over. A large number of Tomahawk missiles took off again and flew towards the snow-capped mountains. Anti-aircraft missiles were launched one after another. This time, some close-range anti-aircraft guns came out from various corners and fired at the Tomahawk missiles. At the same time, two hidden gates on the snow-capped mountains slowly opened, and two F-35 fighter jets flew out aiming directly at Zhang Tuohai's armored vehicle. Activate the defense system immediately and take them down, Zhang Tuohai said. Clear. Student Chao Ai immediately activated the electronic combat system and used electromagnetic signals to interfere with the opponent's radar and missiles. At the same time, standard six anti-aircraft missiles were fired from the cell and shot towards the F-35. Upon seeing this, the two F-35s quickly fired the missiles they carried and prepared to turn around and leave. However, the standard six missiles were already behind them. Boom! Boom! The two F-35s turned into two fireballs. Immediately afterwards, two Tomahawk missiles shot out from the cell and flew towards the hangar. Duh duh duh! Several close and defense guns popped out from near the hangar, blocking the vicinity of the hangar with a dense metal storm and knocking down the Tomahawk missiles. Continue the intensive bombing! Attract all the air firepower to me! And kill them all! As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he released the Harrier fighter jets and wandered around the snow-capped mountains, tempting them with air fire. At the same time, a large number of Tomahawk missiles plowed through the snowy mountaintops intensively, blasting all exposed air defense systems and hangars, and destroying all peripheral defense facilities. After the last missile site exploded, the entire snow-capped mountains became quiet, and several hangars turned into pitch-black caves with no light at all. It seemed that the entire United Pharmaceuticals had been wiped out by the bombing. However, Zhang Tuohai knew that this was only the periphery, and the real core of United Pharmaceuticals was still hidden deep in the snowy mountains. Chapter 621 Internet of Things After sending the Harrier around the top of the mountain for several times, and seeing that nothing was gained, Zhang Tuohai called the Harrier back, started the propeller device, and flew towards the previous cave. Before entering the cave, the prompt system popped up. There are two M1A2 main battle tanks at the corner of the cave. I knew it wasn't that simple. Zhang Tuohai snorted, and then summoned a honeycomb drone. Hundreds of small drones flew out from the honeycomb drones, densely packed and hovering nearby. Go kill the main battle tank at the corner. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. Immediately, two small drones broke away from the formation, stuck to the roof of the shed, and flew towards the corner. Boom! Boom! Soon, two violent explosions came from around the corner. Zhang Tuohai landed the armored vehicle on the platform and drove in slowly. The remains of two main battle tanks at the corner were burning with blazing flames. The effect of this drone is really good. Zhang Tuohai is still very satisfied with this drone. Narrow passages are not suitable for missile operations. So these small drones are at home like a duck in water. Zhang Tuohai immediately sent a large number of drones to clear the way ahead. While he followed behind, you can hear bursts of violent explosions coming from the front. But Zhang Tuohai was walking slowly behind. Suddenly, a series of rapid explosions sounded in front. What happened? Zhang Tuohai connected the camera of the drone ahead. It turned out that the passage ahead suddenly widened. And we came to a huge workshop. The workshop was full of broken limbs and blazing war machinery. It can be seen that there were many soldiers lined up here to stop him. But they were all killed by drones. Etc. Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt that a rolling head on the ground looked familiar. And quickly controlled the drone to fly over. Zhang Tuohai took a closer look and saw that the man's face was the same as Amanda's. Amanda? Isn't she dead? Why is there another one here? Could it be that she is a clone? Or are both clones? After discovering Amanda's head, Zhang Tuohai controlled the drone and began to carefully search for the corpses in the workshop. Sure enough, after some searching, he found half of Amanda's face. There shouldn't be all Amanda's in this base. Right. Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. Zhang Tuohai drove the armored vehicle and continued to advance deeper. Explosions sounded from time to time, indicating that people kept trying to stop him from moving forward. But they were all killed by drones. The armored vehicles continued to advance deeper into the base. The speaker in the passage suddenly rang. An intruder was found in Area A-13. Please go to Area A-13 to intercept him immediately. Please go to Area A-13 to intercept him immediately. Zhang Tuohai looked at the speakers in the passage and asked classmate Xiao Yai. Can you control this thing and move those guys to other places? Let me try. Xiao Yai immediately turned on the electronic countermeasures frequency to the maximum. 
and then began to analyze. After a while, classmate Xiao Yai suddenly said excitedly, All speakers communicate wirelessly. I have invaded the system and am trying to make modifications. Really? Then hurry up. Zhang Tuohai's mind started to move. It would be great if the garrison could be transferred to other places and let him attack Huanglong without any bloodshed. Why go to all the trouble to fight and kill when it can save you trouble? The loudspeaker rang. The enemy has withdrawn from the A-13 channel. Enemies have appeared in the A-18 area. All additional troops are requested to go to the A-18 area. Note that everyone should go to the A-18 area immediately. No mistakes. Where is Area A-18? Zhang Tuohai asked. I invaded the central control system and obtained the electronic map of the base. The A-18 area is in the opposite direction and the farthest away from us. This way, we don't have to worry about encountering enemies on the way. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Will those guys listen? Do they have any other communications equipment? Zhang Tuohai was a little worried whether the base commander would use other methods to notify his troops. A base of this level cannot have only one means of communication. Don't worry. Commander, I have invaded the base's central control system and have mastered the frequency of their walkie-talkies. Now, the frequency of their walkie-talkies has been blocked by me, and I have cut off the connection with the command room. Classmate Xiao Yai said. That's good. If that's the case, then rush to the command room quickly. Try to grab the core information and leave without causing any trouble. It was the first time for Zhang Tuohai to attack such a large base. He still felt a little guilty. And he still had the mentality of grabbing a wave and running away. Understood. Upon hearing this, classmate Xiao Yai immediately accelerated the speed of the armored vehicle and rushed towards the command room. At the same time, in the command room, a woman who looked like Amanda was calling desperately with a walkie-talkie. Hey, guards? If you hear me, please answer me. If you hear me, please answer me. Amanda kept calling. But there was still only the rustling sound of electricity on the intercom. And no one could be heard. What's going on? Amanda threw the walkie-talkie to the ground angrily. Chairman, we discovered a strong electromagnetic signal that blocked all our communication frequencies. So we can't use the walkie-talkie. A technician said helplessly. You losers. Don't you have any electronic countermeasures equipment? I spent a lot of money to install the latest electronic countermeasures equipment for you. Is this just for viewing? Amanda glared at the technician. The technicians also felt aggrieved. Chairman, it's not that we don't work hard. It's that the enemy's electronic warfare technology is no lower than ours. If we hadn't used the latest equipment, we would have lost not only the communication channels, but even the Ioki control of the channel will also be lost. And in that case, we are all screwed. Then use the Internet of Things channel and ask all the escort teams to come to the command room to guard. There must be no mistakes, Amanda said. Chairman, as you know, the Internet of Things channel is not mature and has many unknown defects. If it is used forcibly against electronic interference, it is likely to cause overload and damage the terminal. You see, the technician was a little embarrassed, said, if the escort cannot come to protect us, the enemy will come and kill us. Are you still in the mood to consider whether the terminal will be damaged? Do as I say immediately, Amanda said, pulling out the pistol from her waist and holding it against her on the technician's head. Otherwise, I will let your deputy take your position. I understand. The technician pressed a red button and forcibly started the Internet of Things. A powerful flow of information was transmitted to each terminal along the electromagnetic channel. The clones who were heading towards Area A-18 suddenly, suddenly they all stopped running. This is the command center. Go to the command center to rendezvous immediately. Go to the command center to rendezvous immediately. Note, this is the highest order. The world of this volume is coming to an end soon. So I need to sort it out and sort out the outline. It's the end of the year and I have more work. There are a lot of things to deal with. And I have very little free time. I will update twice in the past two days. And the rest we will make up for it slowly. And we will definitely not be in debt. Please rest assured. Readers. Chapter 622 Electromagnetic Armor. Wow wow. Many members of the escort team turned their bodies and started running towards the command center. At the same time, classmate Xiao Ai also detected this strange electronic signal. Commander, we found a strange electronic signal. It spreads over a wide range and seems to be connected to many terminals. Those terminals are converging towards the command room. Through analysis, I guess they should be some weapon terminals that can be controlled remotely. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Then try to cut off the connection between them. And if possible, strive to seize control 
and make those remote-controlled weapons available to us. Zhang Tuai said. Understood. Trying. Classmate Xiao Ai was driving while trying to decipher electronic signals. The armored vehicles are also moving rapidly towards the command room. Trying to control the command room before those remote-controlled weapons arrive at the command room. A red signal light flashed on the passage, and metal gates fell down, trying to block Zhang Tuohai. However, these metal gates were as soft as tofu in front of Zhang Tuohai's laser, and large holes were directly cut out, allowing armored vehicles to pass through easily. After passing through 22 metal gates, Zhang Tuohai finally arrived at a hall. One wall in the hall is covered with various monitoring screens. On a high command chair, there is a young woman wearing leather clothes who looks exactly like Amanda. Are you Amanda? Zhang Tuohai asked. Are you a clone or the original body? Of course I am the real body. Otherwise, why would I be sitting here? Amanda said with disdain. Okay, I don't have that much time to talk nonsense with you. I'll surrender immediately. Maybe I can let you live and become my test subject. Amanda said with a proud face. You didn't wake up? Hearing Amanda's words, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but feel happy. Now my clothes and defense gun is pointing at you. It only takes one second to turn you into pieces. Are you sure you want me to surrender? Snapped. Amanda didn't speak, but snapped her fingers. Several metal doors nearby opened quickly, and a set of metal armor full of technology flew from everywhere and was put on Amanda's body. Amanda was suspended in midair, and streaks of blue electric light danced at her fingertips. Seeing Amanda's appearance, Zhang Tuohai almost blurted out, The lightning jumping on your fingertips is me. Sorry. I got involved. At the same time, groups of people wearing third-generation United Pharmaceutical Protective Suits ran in from outside in neat lines, holding various heavy weapons in their hands, including Gatling, electromagnetic guns, and various rocket launchers. They surrounded Zhang Tuohai in a half-moon shape, and all aimed their weapons at Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the situation in the field, Amanda nodded with satisfaction. Now, do you think I am qualified to say this? I... Amanda seemed to want to say something more. But the guards in front of her fell down one by one like wheat. The weapon in his hand fell to the ground with a bang, rolling everywhere. Huh? The encryption program is a bit troublesome. I can't seize control right away, so I can only destroy the contact signal urgently. Isn't it too late? Classmate Xiao Yai asked. It was quite timely. Zhang Tuohai nodded with satisfaction. Although he did not control the escort team for his use, he took action to destroy these escort teams which can be regarded as a complete meritorious deed. How is this possible? Looking at the escort members lying on the ground, Amanda's face was full of disbelief. These are all bionic clones that I carefully created. Their strength has reached the limit of the human body. Even if the signal is cut off, they can still execute the final order according to the actual situation. How come they all fell down? What's going on? Next time, remember to separate the signal receiver from the brain. Otherwise, when a strong signal is input, it will be overloaded and heated, and the brain will be cooked directly. Classmate Xiao Yai said quietly, I haven't lost yet. I still have the newly developed electromagnetic armor, and I still have the capital to make a comeback. Amanda said and pointed her hands at Zhang Tuohai. The lightning on her fingertips became more and more dazzling. I almost forgot about this. Following classmate Xiao Yai's words, the arc on Amanda's fingertips became smaller and smaller, and finally disappeared. The armor on her body also lost its light and fell off her body one after another as if it had lost the support of electricity and fell to the ground. Amanda also lost her support, fell from the air, and sat down on the metal floor. Amanda looked at everything in front of her with dull eyes, as if she couldn't believe what she was seeing. Well done. John Tuohai pumped his fist excitedly. He thought he would have to fight hard in this command hall to kill the opponent. Unexpectedly, Classmate Xiao Yai used the electronic warfare system to cut off the electromagnetic signal of the opponent's armor, causing the opponent's equipment to completely malfunction. It was a complete defeat. Go and arrest her. Zhang Tuohai said to several self-propelled machines standing behind him. Two self-propelled machines immediately walked over, preparing to capture Amanda. However, Amanda showed an abnormal smile. You can't even think of capturing me alive. After speaking, a trace of blood flowed from the corner of Amanda's mouth. Her head tilted, and her body fell to the ground. Classmate Xiao Yai drove up to Amanda and stuffed the poison detection device into Amanda's mouth. Commander, death caused by cyanide poisoning. Are you so decisive? I really underestimated you just now. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help being stunned when he heard this. 
He didn't expect that the Amanda in front of him would be so decisive. She seemed different from the Amanda he saw at the R30 base before. Is it a deviation from the cloning default? Zhang Tuahai thought about it for a while, but couldn't figure out the reason. So he simply gave up thinking. He walked over directly and started sorting out the loot. Among the supplies in the hall, the one that caught his eye the most was the electromagnetic armor on the ground. Although Xiao Ai easily cut off the opponent's electromagnetic signal, rendering it useless, it still looked quite powerful. If the anti-electromagnetic ability can be upgraded, it might be a powerful help. Zhang Tuohai picked up the electromagnetic armor while thinking about it. United Pharma's first generation electromagnetic armor, using ultra miniature super batteries. The armor is made of high strength alloy and can defend against direct fire from 120 mm artillery. It has an anti corrosion layer that can resist erosion by strong alkali and acid. It has short term flight and it has the ability to hover in the air. Its attack methods are electromagnetic gun and high voltage electric shock. It can adjust the voltage independently. The mask has filtering and oxygen production circulation functions, can move in virus areas, lake bottoms and shallow sea bottoms, and can isolate a certain degree of nuclear radiation. Chapter 623 Zircon Supersonic Multipurpose Missile Zhang Tuohai's mouth opened wide when he saw the description of the electromagnetic armor, and he didn't close it for a long time. This electromagnetic armor is simply awesome. No wonder Amanda looks invincible after wearing it. This armor can directly resist the direct fire of the 120mm main gun, and it is indeed no problem to block the 1130 close in defense gun. If classmate Xiao Ai hadn't taken the wrong approach and cut off the electromagnetic signal, it would have taken a lot of effort to kill Amanda. Zhang Tuohai quickly put it away and was about to give it to Lilith to see if there was any possibility of enhancement. It would be best to enhance the electromagnetic resistance. The most important thing in this set of electromagnetic armor is a bracelet which looks similar to an ordinary sports bracelet, but is actually the core controller of the entire set of electromagnetic armor. As long as the button is pressed, the electromagnetic armor will automatically fly back. When attached to the user's body, it is similar to the mark armor. After putting away the electromagnetic armor, John Tuohai came to the big screen and took a look. He found that this was the command center, which controlled every position of the entire base. On the screen, everyone fell to the ground and the entire base was silent. It's like a tomb. No way. Are all the clones used here? Zhang Tuohai quickly asked Xiao Ai to access the central computer to check the situation. Boss, according to the records, except for Amanda, all the clones in the base are indeed clones. Moreover, all the clones used are Amanda's appearance. Classmate Xiao Ai said, Is it all Amanda's own appearance? Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he heard this, and quickly took off the masks of several members of the escort team. Sure enough, their faces were all the same, and they were all Amanda. However, there was a burning smell in their heads. This is the result of overload causing the antenna and chip to burn out, which in turn ablate the brain. What on earth is this Amanda thinking? She actually sets the appearance of all the clones to be her own. Isn't she afraid? John Tuahai thought to himself. However, Amanda is dead, and no one can answer this question. Now, the most important thing is to take away all the useful information from the host. The most comprehensive thing in the host computer is the formulas of various drugs and viruses and various test data. The test data and various data materials of each branch are concentrated here. Although Zhang Tuohai had collected some before, it was not as comprehensive as here. Even many failed virus evolution directions are recorded here. Zhang Tuohai was not polite and directly downloaded all the data inside. Maybe it will be helpful to Lilith's research. In addition, the various clone data and experimental information here are also very detailed. And there are nearly a hundred modification plans. Zhang Tuohai also downloaded them one by one, which can be used to optimize his clone army. In addition to these basic scientific research data, there are also manufacturing drawings of various equipment. Zhang Tuohai saw two new car engines, which were better than the ones he was using now. So he downloaded them to see if Lilith could transform them into engines suitable for him. In addition, Zhang Tuohai also saw the fantasy design drawings of the second generation of electromagnetic armor, in addition to more powerful batteries, longer battery life, and better defense effects. The biggest feature of this generation of electromagnetic armor is that it adds a, a plug-in device called an electromagnetic floating gun. This device is like a small floating ball with a probe that releases electromagnetic waves. It can float around the user according to instructions and automatically attacks surrounding enemies. It is very powerful. However, 
This thing is just an ideal diagram and has not yet been fully designed. I need Lilith's help to complete it. In addition, there are also source codes for various defense systems and fire control systems. Zhang Tuohai also downloaded them one by one to enrich the database of Xiao AI. Xiao AI will organize these systems and combine the excellent ones. Select some and combine them to improve and optimize the existing fire control system and Aegis defense system. After several upgrades and improvements, the fire control system and Aegis defense system used by Xiao AI have broken away from their original scope and are more than twice as effective as the original system. Of course, what excites Zhang Tuohai the most is the missile in the console, the Zircon improved type. This improved Zircon missile was derived from the hypersonic Zircon anti-ship missile with an improved radar and a new generation transformation, turning it into a general purpose missile. After the improvement, the Zircon's range has been reduced a lot, from 600 kilometers to 350 kilometers, which is almost cut in half. However, the most important speed has not been reduced at all, and it still remains above Mach 8. This speed means that it only takes 120 seconds for the Zircon to travel from the launch position to the maximum attack distance of 350 kilometers. This speed is even higher than the standard 6 anti-aircraft missile, which is known for its speed. The standard 6 anti-aircraft missile is only Mach 6.5. At this speed, even the Aegis defense system cannot intercept it. In other words, after possessing the Zircon, Zhang Tuohai no longer has to use dense ground-scrubbing missiles to carry out coverage bombing like he did when he attacked United Pharmaceuticals' outer air defense positions before. He only needs to use Zircon for burst firing. Those air defense positions simply cannot carry out effective interception. In addition, United Pharmaceutical Engineers have also equipped Zircon with a variety of warheads, including high-explosive bombs, earth-penetrating bombs, and even fueler bombs. Even due to the versatility of the improved Zircon, taking into account both air defense and ground attack, the Standard 6 has been completely replaced. And even the Tomahawk is in a semi-retired state. Looking at the Tomahawk and Standard 6 anti-aircraft missiles that were just special weapons, they turned into a thing of the past in the blink of an eye. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say. Fortunately, United Pharmaceuticals engineers are not satisfied with the performance of Zircon and are making more comprehensive improvements. Otherwise, once this thing is installed in a defensive position, Zhang Tuohai may not be able to destroy United Pharmaceuticals base. Come down. These hypersonic missiles alone are enough for Zhang Tuohai to drink a pot. In addition to these, Zhang Tuohai also discovered a special device. It is a liquid-filled cavitation and an interior that can isolate most sound wave propagation, thereby reducing the chance of being discovered. Although Zhang Tuohai already had anechoic tiles and soundproof interiors, Zhang Tuohai added this new type of soundproofing facility in line with his attitude of not being too pushy. After searching out all the information in the host, Zhang Tuohai set his sights on the host servers and supercomputers in the base. Anyway. They are all ownerless things. So it just gives me an advantage. Zhang Tuohai controlled classmate Xiao AI and began to disassemble the host server and supercomputer and transport them back to the car. Chapter 624 Spirit Realm System The supercomputers and servers at the United Pharmaceutical Headquarters are more advanced and have higher computing power than those at its branches. Now Zhang Tuohai has used them all and integrated them into Xiao AI's system, which has greatly improved Xiao AI's computing power. In addition, a large amount of data from the system has been absorbed and optimized and upgraded. Making Xiao AI the work efficiency has been greatly improved. Originally, the Aegis system could track and monitor up to 400 batches of targets at the same time. However, after integration and optimization by Xiao AI, it can now monitor 800 batches of targets at the same time. Doubling the number. The reaction speed has also been increased from the original 0.05 seconds to 0.02 seconds. More than doubled. The anti-interference performance is also much improved compared to the original Aegis, and can even withstand Zhang Tuohai's first-generation electronic warfare invasion. After obtaining the codes of various fire control systems and defense systems, it also promoted a systematic improvement of the electronic warfare system, and the combat capabilities were much improved than before. Looking at the system with comprehensively improved performance, Zhang Tuohai felt that the current system had gone far beyond the original Aegis system. Moreover, after many times of mixing, Except for some modules, there was almost no trace of Aegis anymore. Basically can be regarded as a brand new combat system. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and decided to merge and integrate the new fire control and defense systems with the original electronic warfare system. Reconnaissance system. 
radar system, monitoring system, command system, and operating system to form a new combat system. The advantage of this is that the utilization efficiency of various resources and computing power can be maximized. Although, like before, each system is independent of each other, Shao I can also control them all. However, incompatibility between various systems and non-interoperability of data will inevitably lead to a waste of computing power. When converting various data, a lot of ineffective work will be added. Now, the barriers between systems have been broken down. Data resource interoperability has been realized and the performance of the system has been virtually improved. As for the name of the new system, he had already thought of it, and it was called Spiritual Realm. The current version is the Spirit Realm 1.0 system. After the entire vehicle control and combat systems were integrated and upgraded to the Spiritual Realm system, the most significant change visible to the naked eye was that the original spherical screen in the command room was transformed into a holographic projection. This is also based on the technology found in United Pharmaceuticals database and upgraded. The entire series of projections can display in real time everything inside the car, outside the car, and even within a range of hundreds of miles with itself as the center. As long as Zhang Tuhai has a thought, he can have a panoramic view of various scenes within a hundred kilometers. This scenario is far more accurate and intuitive than radar, making it easier for Zhang Tuhai to make the best judgment and response. However, this situation can only be limited to a range of 100 kilometers at present, and targets further away will become blurred or even return to the original radar scene. Zhang Tuohai knows that this is caused by technical and hardware barriers. If he wants to change things, he needs to start from both hardware and software aspects. It seems that there is still a long way to go to upgrade the electronic system. Looking at the spiritual space in the command room, Zhang Tuohai thought to himself, Congratulations to the player for successfully creating a new type of control and combat system spiritual realm. It has been entered. After comprehensive evaluation, it has been evaluated as a level 8 universal accessory. Since the player is a leapfrog creation, the following rewards will be given. 1. Random level 8 technology scroll. 2. The core control power of the spiritual realm system. Interpretation. The core control right of the spiritual realm system. That is, the player Zhang Tuohai has the final control of the spiritual realm system and can perform permissions on all spiritual realm systems in use, including but not limited to updates, upgrades, modifications, data transmission, and manipulation. Um, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but his eyes lit up when he saw the prompts from the game system. He didn't expect that his upgraded electronic system would be recognized by the game system, and he would also be rewarded. Of course, these are not the most important. The most important thing is, Zhang Tuohai has the authority to modify all spiritual realm systems? What does this mean? Explain that the system will use the spiritual realm system as an accessory. Put it in the supply box. And distribute it to players. As the original developer, he can leave a secret door to the system and make various modifications, updates, and even direct manipulation through technical means. What does that mean? This means that all players who use the spiritual realm system will have no secrets in front of Zhang Tuohai, an enhanced version of Prism Gate or Project Pegasus. The first two can only monitor it most. But Zhang Tuohai can not only monitor the opponent's data, but also modify the opponent's attack parameters and targets, so that their weapons can attack the target that Zhang Tuohai wants. In this way, all players who use the spiritual realm system will become Zhang Tuohai's subordinates, and they will still be able to provide their own dry food. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's eyes sparkled. He can't wait to promote the spiritual realm system now and let all players install it. However, as soon as this idea came up, Zhang Tuohai discovered a more difficult problem. That is, the evaluation of the spiritual realm system is too high. Except for him as the developer. No player can reach this level now. Even if he distributes it for free. Those players cannot install it. This is not okay. Zhang Tuohai will never allow this to happen. Preventing players from using the new era combat system. How to implement it? Zhang Tuohai rolled his eyes and came up with a method commonly used by system suppliers in the world, which was to downgrade. First set a higher finished product, then downgrade the finished product to a crude youth version, and then continuously upgrade it in the name of technological progress, repeatedly eliminating the equipment in the hands of users, thereby achieving the purpose of repeatedly cutting leaks. Those system suppliers can do what I, Zhang Tuohai, can't do? Shall I? Can you simplify the system and leave some hidden backdoors that can be manipulated? Zhang Tuohai asked. I'll give it a try. Xiao Ai didn't understand what Zhang Tuohai wanted to do. 
but he still executed Zhang Tuohai's orders faithfully, made a simplified version of the system, and packaged it. Congratulations to the player for developing version 0.7 of the Spirit Realm system, which is rated as a level 7 universal accessory. The game system gave an evaluation, but this time the rewards were cut a lot, and there was no level 7 skill scroll. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't care much about this, because the game system proved that his idea was effective. Zhang Tuohai quickly asked Xiao Ai to continue simplifying the Spirit Realm system, and even reached version 0.1, a first-class auto accessory. However, when the Lingjing system is simplified to this extent, only a few limited functions such as full vehicle data control, automatic parking and assisted driving are left. Even the auxiliary weapon control has been completely eliminated. However, Zhang Tuohai still achieved full domain coverage through this method, allowing players from all levels 1 to 8 to use the Upper Spirit Realm system. Chapter 625 Controlling Players Looking at the neat 16 compressed packages and the 16 prompts that popped up from the game system, Zhang Tuohai's mouth curved. These systems are like some seeds. You just need to wait for time for them to slowly take root, sprout, bloom and scatter leaves, and they will definitely bring you rich returns. As for why there are 16 compressed packages, it is because each level of the system is divided into two levels, basic version, beggar version, and advanced version, krypton gold version. Zhang Tuohai plans to do a push himself so that players in the same area can enjoy these high-quality spiritual support systems in advance. Launch the beggar's version for free first, and then launch an upgraded version that costs money after they get used to the convenience. It is difficult to go from luxury to frugality. After those players who are accustomed to convenience experience the convenience of the spiritual realm, can they still adapt to an era where everything needs to be done by themselves? Can't you just cook leeks honestly and let him harvest them? Even if they resist the temptation and only use the beggar version, it doesn't matter. All players who use the Spirit Realm system will become Zhang Tuohai's chickens and tentacles. Through these players, Zhang Tuohai can even influence, guide, and even control players in the entire area. Thinking of the beautiful scenes in the future, even Zhang Tuohai was a little embarrassed. He didn't even bother to look at the random technical drawings for level 8, and directly sent a message to San Xiaokong. What grade is your current car? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's considered level 4. Song Xiaofang said. I'll give you a control system and give it a try. Zhang Tuohai sent a level 4 advanced version of the Spiritual Realm System installation package to Song Xiaofang and then waited quietly. Ten minutes later, Song Xiaofang sent a message to Zhang Tuohai. It's really easy to use. It can actually drive automatically and even weapons can be controlled with just voice commands. There is also a sleep alert system so you no longer have to worry about being attacked while sleeping. Such a good thing if it is sold. It will definitely become a hit. Even through words, Zhang Tuohai could feel Song Shikong's excitement. As for being so excited, Zhang Tuohai disagreed with Song Shikong's words. Shouldn't automatic driving and automatic weapon control have been popularized long ago? Moreover, those players actually have to worry about being attacked while sleeping? No way. At this time, the sleep alert system has not been popularized yet. Right? Zhang Tuohai found that he seemed to have some misunderstandings about the level of those players. That is, although many players have caught up with him in terms of weapon strength and armor protection, they are far behind him in terms of various soft powers. For example, in the automatic driving system, even Sister Su Mu and Su Qi, who are very rich in drawings, still drive manually, and even need manual vigil at night. Many people drive main battle tanks and wear depleted uranium armor but the shells still need to be manually loaded. And the fire control system also needs to be manually controlled. The gaps in various software greatly limit the hard power of those players. This also led to the fact that although many players seem to have similar equipment to Zhang Tuohai, once they played against Zhang Tuohai, they collapsed immediately. This is the crushing cause by the gap in comprehensive strength. Since you have confidence, that's good. Sell these systems. Remember, you must sell them all. It doesn't matter if you make less money or even pay a premium. What we want is volume and market dominance. We must let everyone everyone uses my spiritual realm system. Do you understand? Zhang Tuohai said, and sent a copy of all the beggar edition systems of generation 0.1 to 0.7 to Song Xiaokong. I understand. I will definitely push it out. Song Xiaokong glanced at the only 82 people left in the regional channel and nodded. After several days of high-intensity fighting, especially after yesterday's nuclear bombing. There were only 82 players left in the entire regional channel. 
Zhang Tuohai's red name level has also been raised to LV3. And the coordinates are broadcast every hour. However, these players have basically lost their fighting spirit. Their biggest goal is to get through this world alive, and never mention the pursuit of Zhang Tuohai again. He even wiped the ground with nuclear bombs. But he still chases and kills an egg. So he can just go to sleep. Moreover, Zhang Tuohai's coordinates were too far away from them, and separated by a thick cloud of virus. Making it impossible to get through. Even if you have the heart, you don't have the strength. Now those players have only one idea. And that is to survive this world. If possible, pick up some supplies, and get back to where they started. Isn't it a bit of a gain? Song Shaokong believes that they will not reject this spiritual realm system. Zhang Tuohai looked at the background. At this time, there were many more numbers. Those numbers were the spiritual realm systems that were sold one by one. Through these numbers, Zhang Tuohai could collect the information of these vehicles through the background, modify the weapon parameters, and even directly take control on your behalf. The action was quite fast. I actually sold five or six items in such a short period of time. Zhang Tuohai looked at the slowly growing number and felt very pleased with San Shukong's business capabilities. This should be his most successful investment since he came to this world. When you have the opportunity, give her some benefits. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Monitor these vehicles. Collect various information and data. And establish a database. If someone has malicious intentions, focus on monitoring them immediately. Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai. Observing regional channels and inquiring about information through others are all secondhand information. Due to the subjective factors of the transmitter, the information may be distorted to a certain extent. Zhang Tuohai plans to use the spirit realm system to collect players, habits, and obtain first hand information. When the information is rich enough, Zhang Tuohai can even complete a profile of a player and ultimately understand the player better than the player himself. This is the horror of big data and platform terminals. After leaving the matter to Xiao Ai, Zhang Tuohai picked up the level 8 technology scroll. This is a random technical scroll, and you won't know what's inside until you open it. Zhang Tuohai slowly opened the scroll. Virtual Digital World Technology Manual, Level 8 Knowledge, containing a full set of virtual digital construction technology, immersive peripheral equipment manufacturing technology, cross-regional data transmission technology, data frequency hopping encryption technology, and a full set of related technologies. Seeing what was in the scroll, Zhang Tuohai was stunned for a moment, and then showed an ecstatic expression. He had just created the spiritual realm system, and its current main positioning was just an auxiliary system, which only met the needs of players, but it was not attractive enough. If these technologies are added, he can build the spiritual realm into a real virtual space. Players who are tired of the killing and survival outside can completely hide in the virtual world to seek relaxation and comfort while everything in reality is it can be left to a more intelligent spiritual realm system to take care of it. Players only need to set goals that must be completed every day. Surviving every day is so hard. There are few entertainment methods. And players lack channels for venting. They are like volcanoes waiting to erupt. And they may erupt at any time. Zhang Tuohai believed that if he launched such a thing and built an ideal utopia, wouldn't it be sold like crazy? Chapter 626 Methods to Obtain the Truth don't think that Zhang Tuohai is just thinking. There are always many people escaping reality and immersing themselves in fantasy worlds. Otherwise, cigarettes, beer and various hallucinogens would not exist in this world. The same is true for virtual digital worlds. In this world, players can vent to their heart's content and feel the truth without hurting anyone. Or even at almost no cost. I believe that most ordinary people cannot refuse. These people gain comfort. While Zhang Tuohai harvested countless leaks, and broiler chickens. He harvested the resources they obtained during normal times and controlled their cars to charge into battle during wartime. Both parties get what they need, and it can be said to be a win win situation. However, the biggest threshold now is that these technologies are all at level 8. Xiao Ai needs to master these technologies thoroughly and build a complete spiritual space, which will take time. Spend some computing power to fully understand these technologies and build a framework for a virtual digital space as soon as possible. Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai. Understood. Xiao Yai entered all the contents in the technical manual into the database, and allocated a part of the computing power for research and analysis. After handling all this, Zhang Tuohai drove away from the empty central command room and drove towards a remote area. Zhang Tuohai remembered that that area was an aircraft repair factory with many planes parked. If you go there, you might be able to gain a big harvest. 
the armored vehicle passed through passage after passage and finally came to the gate of the aircraft repair factory. A metal gate blocked Zhang Tuohai. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to break in like before, the prompt system suddenly popped up. Be careful. Someone behind the gate is operating an Apache helicopter gunship and preparing for a sneak attack. Please be careful. Huh? Why is there still someone there? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be stunned when he saw the prompt from the prompt system. He had clearly seen the surveillance in the central command room before. There was no one alive in the entire base. Why did another guy suddenly appear now? If it is a survivor who was hiding before, the most important thing he should do is to escape, rather than hide here and wait for a sneak attack on him. Besides, how could he be so sure that he would definitely come to the aircraft repair factory? The other party has already driven an armed helicopter and is ready to attack behind the gate. It is obvious that he is fully confident. All this is weird. There's something fishy about the sneak attacker at this door. Zhang Tuohai looked at the tightly closed steel door and pondered. Zhang Tuohai held his chin and thought for a while, then decided to go in and take a look. Although all this is weird, the temptation of airplanes is obviously greater. In order to attack here, he lost a lot of various aircraft, even one F-35. And now he is in urgent need of replenishment. He cannot give up the treasure trove at his fingertips just because of a potential risk. However, there must be a way to kill the opponent. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while, summoned a self-propelled machine, and sent it into the ventilation duct. The self-propelled machine traveled all the way through the ventilation duct and entered the aircraft repair shop directly from above. Zhang Tuohai looked closely at the scene inside the repair shop. An Apache was parked at the gate, with the engine and radar turned off. It looked like there was no one around. But all the rockets were adjusted to the firing state. As long as the button is pressed, all the rockets will be launched together. If he had barged in without paying attention, he might have really suffered a loss. This is prepared. Many measures are obviously used to target me. Who knows me so well that he stayed here to attack me? John Tuohai was very curious about who the person who was planning to attack him was and he actually knew him so well. Turning off the radar, engine, etc. was obviously specially designed to deal with him. Otherwise, John Tuohai would have discovered him long ago. No matter. Let's kill him first. John Tuohai issued an attack order to the self-propelled machine. The self-propelled machine set up a Hellfire missile and pointed it at the Apache. Whoosh boom. The Hellfire missile hit the Apache in an instant, followed by a huge explosion. The Apache was instantly blown to pieces. A head flew out from inside, and it looked like it was Amanda. Aren't all of Amanda's clones dead? Why is there still one slipping through the net? Is this the real body? Full of curiosity, Zhang Tuohai opened the door of the aircraft repair shop and walked in. At this time, Amanda's head seemed to still have a glimmer of hope. She was staring at Zhang Tuohai with her eyes open, her eyes full of anger. You actually dare to destroy the body I finally obtained and ruin my plan. You are an unforgivable sin. I will peel off your skin and twitch your muscles, making your life worse than death. The tone was hoarse and sharp, full of resentment. Acquired body? You are not Amanda. Who exactly are you? Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes slightly. The other party had obviously stolen Amanda's clone and was waiting here to sneak up on him. However, who would have such a big hatred against him? He didn't remember that he had such an enemy. All his enemies were dead long ago. Wait, not all of them are dead. There is one who is still alive and well. And that person is Moriarty. Only the elusive Moriarty has the ability to reactivate a clone as a body after all the clones die. Only this Moriarty is so familiar with his various tactics and techniques. So it's you again. Why? Your subordinates are useless, and you come to the door yourself? Zhang Tuohai walked over and pretended that the old god was there, trying to provoke the other party and make some excuses. Amanda's head snorted coldly. Oomph. Don't think that you can be proud of just a lucky victory. The resources I have are far beyond what you can imagine. I can fail countless times. But you? Hee <laughs> hee. After hearing Moriarty's words, Zhang Tuohai's expression turned cold. The situation is indeed as Moriarty said. The other party is the administrator of the game. And he is just a player. The other party can use countless resources. But the only one he can rely on is himself. As long as he loses once, he will be doomed. Thinking of this, my originally hot heart felt like a basin of cold water had been poured on it. At this moment, a maid suddenly appeared in the room. Moriarty, you've crossed the line, the maid said, walking slowly in front of Amanda's head, lifting up her round-toed shoes, and stepping on them. Amanda's head turned into pieces like a watermelon. Hiss! Seeing Moriarty's appearance, 
Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath. He thought he was cold-blooded enough. And his hands were stained with countless blood. But this charming-looking maid is even more vicious. She will crush the other person's head under her feet if she disagrees with her. Zhang Tuohai looked at the maid carefully and found that she looked familiar. After thinking about it for a while, Zhang Tuohai remembered that when Moriarty wanted to attack him for the first time in Red Maple Manor, it seemed that the other party was also her. Take action to solve the problem. Thank you for your help. Is there anything I can do? Zhang Tuohai looked humble. There is no way. The opponent is so powerful that even the game administrator is not afraid. He will trample him to death even if he is told to do so. You're welcome. He crossed the line this time. And this is the punishment he deserves. The maid said calmly, without any emotion in her tone. However, next time in the world, he will deal with you personally. Before Zhang Tuohai could rejoice, the maid lady broke some breaking news. This shock made Zhang Tuohai's head buzz. You're right. He wants to deal with me personally. Is there nothing you can do? Are you just going to watch your administrator break the rules wantonly? Don't worry. The resources he can use are limited. Moreover, since he wants to end the game personally, he must have the consciousness to end the game personally. After he ends the game, he will be an ordinary player like you. And no one will have any privileges. The maid lady said calmly. Remember, this is a trial. If you can successfully kill him, you will gain unimaginable benefits and even part of the truth of the survival game. Really? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help being shocked when he heard this. In fact, he has always had a question. That is, what is the purpose of survival games? Who are the people behind this? What is the purpose of bringing so many people into this world together to survive again and again? Doing experiments? Or just for fun? Now, there seems to be a way to understand. If you want to know, go kill Moriarty and prove your ability. After the maid sister finished speaking, she turned into particles and dissipated in the air, as if she had never appeared again. Chapter 627 to UAV Seeing the maid girl disappearing out of thin air, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but scratch his head. Originally, I just wanted to come over and buy a few planes, but I didn't expect that so many things would happen. It seems that in the next world, I am afraid that I will have a direct face-to-face -face encounter with Moriarty. Facing a former game administrator, John Tuohai said it was impossible not to feel nervous, although the other party may have lost power now. John Tuohai does not believe that the other party has not set up any backups. After serving as an administrator for such a long time, the accumulation alone cannot be underestimated, and he can also come into contact with some things that are difficult for ordinary people to access. For example, the level 8 laser transmitter was snatched from the opponent by Zhang Tuohai. Maybe there is another trump card that can make a difference. It is foreseeable that the next world will be very cruel. However, for Zhang Tuohai, he must win in the next world. Not only because it is related to his wealth and life, but also to make him understand why he is working hard to survive in each world. Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath. Moriarty. Right. No matter what your abilities are, I'll be waiting for you. After sorting out his mood, Zhang Tuohai began to check the aircraft repair shop to see if there was anything he could use. The Apache explosion just now damaged many aircraft and made them unusable. Others have been dismantled and are being modified. Zhang Tuohai cannot use these aircraft. After wandering around, Zhang Tuohai finally found four fully manned drones in good condition inside the repair shop. Two MQ-9 Reaper drones and two RQ-180 stealth drones. The MQ-9 Reaper is an upgraded version of the MQ-1 Predator in his hand. It is not only equipped with ground attack Hellfire missiles, but also adds two 500 kilogram precision guided bombs, plus two Sparrow air to air missiles, which not only enhances the ground attack capability, and it also has increased anti air combat capabilities, and is three times faster than the Predator, and its various performances have been greatly improved. The two RQ 180 unmanned reconnaissance aircraft are big guys with a wingspan of 40 meters, loaded with various electronic equipment, active phase array radar passive electronic surveillance and measurement devices. In addition to being used for surveillance and reconnaissance, it even has certain electronic interference capabilities. The most important thing is that compared to the Global Hawk, this thing is a stealth drone that can avoid radar searches and stay over the enemy without anyone noticing. Marvelous! Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands together excitedly and put away the two planes. With the addition of these four aircraft, his airstrike and reconnaissance capabilities have been greatly improved even better than at their peak. After putting these four aircraft into the aircraft summoner, Zhang Tuohai didn't keep any of the semi-finished aircraft. He dismantled them all into parts 
and put them in the car. Anyway, he didn't know who would be cheaper if these things were left. It might as well be cheaper. Own. Oh. After scouring the aircraft repair shop, Zhang Tuohai began to conduct a blanket search of United Pharmaceuticals base. This is the headquarters after all. It is Amanda's last refuge for herself. And all the equipment inside is of the highest quality. For example, the most advanced medical cabin, the most advanced human cloning 3D printer, the most advanced culture chamber, the most advanced ice cream machine, the most advanced coffee machine, the most advanced microwave oven, and the most advanced fairy wand. It seems like something strange has gotten in, so I'll just ignore it for now. This large-scale zero yuan purchase really enriched Zhang to a high's warehouse. Among them, Zhang to a high feels that the most important gain is a kind of meat that can grow independently, which is the main material for making human clones. With this thing, he can create unlimited clones. Although he has no use for these clones himself, he can sell them to players to serve as bodyguards or toys. Then, eavesdropping and transmission devices are installed in the clones, which can collect various information about players from a negative distance. At critical moments, you can also betray, capture or even kill players. Zhang Tuohai believes that with the help of clones and the spiritual realm system, he can directly or indirectly influence and control most of the players in the area. With the help of these people, I have a little more confidence in fighting Moriarty in the next world. United Pharmaceuticals headquarters was so big that when Zhang Tuohai raided the last warehouse, it was already 6 o'clock the next morning. The game system also popped up prompts in a timely manner. Congratulations to all players for seeing the sun today. Today is the seventh day of this world. The virus is mutating rapidly. All ordinary alpha viruses will transform into omega-level viruses. With drug resistance doubled and the fatality rate increased to 95%. Players are asked to use special medicine to cure their diseases as soon as possible. Otherwise death will come. As soon as this prompt popped up in the game system, two obituaries appeared one after another. The cause of death was both poisoned by the omega virus. Isn't this response too fast? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shook his head when he saw this. At the same time, he sent a private message to Song Xiaokong and started preparing to sell special medicine. In the past, Zhang Tuohai had a hostile relationship with those players. Zhang Tuohai wished that as many of them died as possible. So naturally, he would not sell special medicines. However, things are different now. Among the 80 existing players, 72 have installed the Spirit Realm system and the remaining few are hesitating because of the fire control system. After installing the spiritual realm system, John Tuohai's chickens belong to his own people. At this time, John Tuohai naturally can no longer watch them die. Even if you have to die, you have to squeeze out the oil and water. After John Tuohai launched this batch of special medicines, it immediately caused an uproar among players. Although they had obtained a batch of gas masks and special medicines when they cooperated with United Pharmaceuticals. However, because the price is relatively expensive, they just save a little for emergencies and plan to buy in large quantities when they really need it. However, unexpectedly, things changed too quickly. First, the relationship with United Pharmaceuticals broke down, cutting off the source of specific medicines. And then the rapid changes in the virus greatly reduced the effectiveness of the protective equipment in their hands. The little special medicine they had in their hands had long been consumed. Otherwise, there would be no players dying at the speed of light as soon as the fatality rate of the Omega virus increases. Now that we have seen so many special medicines, those players are like crazy, buying them in large quantities. No matter how much they can be used, they buy them first anyway. Only 80 players actually purchase goods for about 500 people. Zhang Tuohai was also stunned by this crazy purchasing power. Good guy! I haven't cut them in a few days! These players are so fat! Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands and looked at these players his eyes shining. Chapter 628 The Departure and Stay of Away and Aya. Seeing the players generously taking out various materials to buy special effects medicine, Zhang Tuohai felt itchy in his heart. So he directly harvested all the mature materials, made special effects medicine and hung it up. This special medicine is probably only effective in this world. If you don't take this opportunity to consume it, it will be useless in the next world. You might as well exchange it for the player's supplies. Looking at the special medicine hung up by Zhang Tuohai, players have mixed attitudes. Some players burst into tears of gratitude. Brother Zhang is such a good man. We are hunting him down like this. But he is still willing to sell us special medicine. He is so disregarding past grudges. If I ever feel sorry for Brother Zhang again in the future, I will not be a human being. That is, 
If anyone goes against Brother Zhang in the future, I, Bucky, will be the first to disagree. Reconsideration. Reconsideration. If anyone dares to hunt down Brother Zhang again, we will hunt him down together. Regardless of whether he is sincere or not, there is a trend of defending Zhang to a high in the regional channel. Many people have expressed their loyalty on regional channels. For these people, Zhang Tuohai just looked at them and said nothing. Some people here were no less aggressive in selling than others when they were chasing him. Now they are forced to switch to Zhang Tuohai due to the situation. When others offer a higher price, they will jump ship without hesitation. Loyalty, for them, is something that does not exist. In Zhang Tuohai's eyes, these people are like chickens, materials that can be consumed at any time. In addition to these people, there are also some players who are grabbing medicine while secretly discussing in small groups the possibility of using special medicine to break through the virus fog and sneak attack Zhang Tuohai. However, they did not know that what they thought was a well-thought-out plan had long been recorded by the spiritual system they installed and then sent back to classmate Xiao Ai. When classmate Xiao Ai reported the news to Zhang Tuohai, Zhang Tuohai just glanced at it casually. Put a few of them on the blacklist. If there is anything dangerous, throw them out first to test. This kind of trash can be found everywhere. There is no need to get angry because of them. If they really dared to carry out the attack, they might be killed by their own weapons before they could reach Zhang Tuohai's attack range. The game system popped up another prompt, announcing that the end time of today was 1800 hours in the evening. Players who wanted to complete the task should hurry up, and then fell into silence. Many players looked at Zhang Tuohai's coordinates and the distance between them, and then looked at the thick virus fog that separated them. They gave up on continuing the mission and started chatting in the regional channel to kill time. There are also some players who are planning to wander around to see if they can find some supplies to make up for the shortfall. Several players were still secretly planning how to cross hundreds of miles to sneak attack Zhang Tuohai. For a time, the regional channel returned to life, just like it had been in the previous worlds. Zhang Tuohai watched for a while and felt that there was no useful information. So he closed the regional channel and turned to the kitchen. At this time, Wang Ai had stewed a large pot of pork ribs and beans and noodles. The noodles were soaked in the pork rib soup, and you could smell the tangy aroma even without lifting the lid of the pot. It tastes good. I'm good at cooking. Go ask them all to come and eat. Zhang Tuohai said to Wang Kai while washing his hands and serving noodles. After a while, Ah Wei, Aya and Lilith walked out of their rooms. Ah Wei and Aya's faces were still a little pale, as if they were just recovering from a serious illness. Lilith was holding a tablet in her hand and was writing and recording something. You are such a rare visitor. Are you finally willing to leave the laboratory and come out to eat? As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he pushed a large bowl of braised pork ribs and beans in front of Lilith. Lilith couldn't help but roll her eyes when she heard this. I don't know who it is. But as soon as the baby was born, they pushed a lot of work over to her. And she ran away by herself, leaving a three-day-old baby to bear it alone. John Tuoha, he actually wanted to say, Have you ever seen a three-day baby grow this big? However, thinking about it carefully, I was really waiting for Lilith to be reincarnated and give her a lot of work. John Tuohai opened his mouth and finally gave Lilith two more pieces of ribs. Thank you for your hard work. You have a conscience. Lilith took a bite of the ribs and then ate the noodles with big mouthfuls. Some incomprehensible data was running on the tablet next to her. You also sit down and eat. Don't be too formal. Zhang Tuohai turned to brother and sister away and Aya and said. The two of them ate very quickly. A bowl of noodles was completely wiped out in the blink of an eye. Not even the soup was left. His eyes were full of expectation. If you're not full, just fill it up yourself. There's nothing else here, but the food is enough. Zhang Tuohai said proudly with a wave of his hand. This is really not his bragging. He now has two warehouses for various canned foods and various fast food, as well as a cold storage for frozen goods, a warehouse for bacon and ham, several freezers for seafood, and there are also some in the ecological park. There are fresh vegetables and fruits every day, carp and loach in the pond, and oysters and sea cucumbers in the saltwater lake are basically mature so it is not a problem to feed a few people. I'll weigh, and Aya stopped eating after three bowls. Zhang Tuohai saw that the two of them still didn't seem to be full, and wanted to feed them, but they firmly refused. Seeing the two of them looking like this, Zhang Tuohai didn't force himself, but put down his chopsticks and said, After so many days, I believe you can guess something. I am not from this world. Just a passerby. After today, 
We are going to other worlds. Now! You have two choices. One is to stay in this world. I can leave you some supplies and weapons, which will probably be enough for you to survive for a while. As for the future, you have to rely on yourself. The second option is to follow me to other worlds. However, I will not raise idle people here. You also need to put in your own labor. Of course, the specific work can be negotiated. When you don't want to continue wandering, you can get off the car at any time and settle in the world of your choice. Of course, you can even obtain the identity of the player. But this is not free. You need to do something for me in exchange. After listening to Zhang Tuohai's words, Ai and Awei's eyes flashed with shock. And then, they showed a look of understanding. They are not children who don't understand anything. After a few days of getting along with each other, they gradually felt that Zhang Tuohai was extraordinary. Just this armored vehicle with an obviously inconsistent interior and exterior space was something they had never heard of. There are also those self-propelled machines and Lilith hatched from the egg, all of which are full of dreamy colors. It's like a dream. Away and Aya looked at each other and then said to Zhang Tuohai, Sir, without your help, my sister would have died long ago. You also helped my sister cure leukemia. Please we all keep it in mind that we will work here until the debt is paid off. If there is anything we can do, you can tell us. Really? After hearing Alway's words, Lilith's eyes lit up and she didn't even bother to eat the pork rib noodles. Chapter 629 The Idea of the Railgun Updated Update Seeing the twinkling look in Lilith's eyes, Alway's liver trembled for no reason and he hesitated involuntarily. Eat your food well. You may scare the child. Zhang Tuohai hit Lilith on the head with a knife. Who's not a baby yet? I'm only three days old. Lilith protested loudly. Go on. Why don't you tell me how long you live before reincarnation? Mr. Zhang. Miss Lilith. Everything I just said is from the bottom of my heart. You can do anything you want. Just give me your orders now. Always stood up suddenly and said loudly. Clenching his hands and tying himself. Gas. Really? That's great. Follow me to the laboratory later to collect body data and cell samples. In addition, you can do a few experiments with me. Lilith smoothed her silver hair and said, I, I can do that too. Aya whispered, I know you can do it too. And you have a share. But you have to complete always analysis first. And then you can do yours. Lilith turned to Aya and said, Why did you collect their physical data? Zhang Tuohai asked, Of course it's the study of genetic medicine, resurrection from the dead, and control of ice and snow. These abilities are all of great research significance. Although cloning is also possible. In the end it is more direct to study the original sample. Lilith said. Is there any danger? Zhang Tuohai asked. I'm not some inhumane biochemical madman. The most dangerous thing I can do is to do basic data analysis. Lilith rolled her eyes. I am your biological daughter. And you have never cared so much about me. Can I stuff you back into the egg? Zhang Tuohai asked helplessly. Humph. You actually want to treat me like that? Is there any father like you? You actually want to do such a thing to your lovely and capable daughter? Doesn't your conscience hurt? Lilith jumped on the stool, poked Zhang Tuohai's chest and said, Just do whatever you want. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly, That's pretty much it. Lilith snorted coldly and snapped her fingers. Whoosh whoosh. A whole set of electromagnetic armor flew over from a distance and stopped neatly next to Zhang Tuohai. I have modified this set of electromagnetic armor for you. I have optimized some performances and modified some anti-human operations. In addition, I have strengthened the interference resistance. At least it will not be interfered by an electronic warfare aircraft. It cannot work. Now it can work in a general complex electromagnetic environment. Because time is too tight. Just make do with it. If there is a major modification, we will have to wait until version 2.0. When the time comes, I will give it to you together with a floating cannon. Lilith took two bites of noodles and said, Really? So fast? Zhang Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw the electromagnetic armor floating around him and immediately pressed the button. The electromagnetic armor instantly opened and enveloped Zhang Tuohai inside. The armor is completely black, with occasional flashes of blue light, making it look full of futuristic technology. There is a data screen on the mask, which lists various basic data and attack plans of the person in front of him. The electromagnetic armor currently has two attack modes. One is electromagnetic gun, and the other is high voltage current. There is a tube on the arm, which is an electromagnetic gun that can fire electromagnetic projectiles the size of your thumb. These projectiles have great penetrating power and can be used against solid objects. 
high voltage current can be released on the finger. And the voltage can be adjusted to deal with this form of life form. The mobility ability is mainly flying. Zhang Tuohai experimented with the electromagnetic armor excitedly. Like a child who got a new toy. Lilith, on the other hand, held her chin with one hand and quietly watched Zhang Tuohai playing with the electronic armor. Suddenly, Zhang Tuohai turned to Lilith and asked, In addition to the electromagnetic gun equipped, can I use the electromagnetic gun in a simple way? Easy way? Lilith was a little confused. For example, something like this. Zhang Tuohai held his left hand empty, forming a Tesla coil, and then took a coin and put it in his hand. Can it be launched like this? Zhang Tuohai looked at Lilith with excitement. The shape of the ammunition is irregular, and the flight path cannot be determined. In addition, the electromagnetic coil is also irregular, and the effect is unstable. In short, it is not impossible if you insist on doing it this way. But the power and flight path can only be left to the goddess of luck. Lilith said calmly. Okay. After hearing what Lilith said, Zhang Tuohai sat back in his chair slumped. I originally wanted to learn how to use the rail gun and act cool. But unfortunately before I could implement it, I was doused by Lilith with a basin of cold water. Looking at the dejected Zhang Tuohai, Lilith rubbed Zhang Tuohai's head and said, Okay, that's it. When I revise it next time, I'll try to get a reliable one for you. Really? That's great. Zhang Tuohai excitedly lifted Lilith up and kissed her. By the way, I have also adjusted the clone's 3D printer. The appearance and body can be adjusted to your own choice. In addition, the positions of the transmission system and the self-destruct chip have also been modified and optimized. In addition, I am still working with them. You don't mind if a little something is added to your body. Right. Lilith asked while wiping her face. What's been added? Zhang Tuohai had a bad feeling in his heart. It's nothing. Just 20 kilograms of explosives. Lilith said calmly with her hands behind her back and her eyes looking at the sky. 20 kilograms? Just? Zhang Tuohai felt that one was bigger than the other. And he felt that there must be something wrong with Lilith's brain. No matter what you do, you will eventually end up in self-destruct mode. All the self-propelled machines modified last time also added self-explosion modules, which are more powerful than anti-tank missiles. This time, explosives were stuffed directly into the clone's body. Next time, maybe even the armor plates can be loaded with explosives. However, this is a good thing for Zhang Tuohai. That is, the clones he sold have new ways to deal with players. Is there any progress in genetic medicine? Zhang Tuohai continued to ask. Do you think I am a god? Lila said angrily. There are too many samples and the data is too complicated. It is still being sorted out. If you want to sort out the ideas and preliminary results, you will have to wait at least a few days. Zhang Tuohai also knew that his request was indeed excessive, and it was unrealistic for Lilith to produce results in such a short period of time. In fact, he was quite surprised that Lilith was able to come up with so many things in such a short period of time. It's just that in the next world, he will have to fight Moriarty for real. If he doesn't make all preparations, he will always feel unsure. What you two have to do recently is to help Lilith. In exchange, I will provide you with the necessary food, accommodation and nutrition every day until your body recovers or the experiment is completed. Zhang Tuohai said. Thank you. Ah Wei understood that this was Zhang Tuohai's care for him and bowed deeply to Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 630 Upgrading Level 6 Vehicles Zhang Tuohai and Lilith finalized some details of the work plan and Lilith took away and Aya back to the laboratory. At this time, Lilith was busy doing research. Classmate Xiao Ai was also using algorithms to study digital space technology, and Wang Kai was taking care of the fields in the high-end ecological park. Zhang Tuohai was left idle in the whole car. Feeling bored, Zhang Tuohai returned to the command room and opened the regional channel. People in the channel were still chatting, and in the background of the spirit realm system, three cars could be seen driving towards the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai knew from the system number that these three cars were the players who had previously discussed taking drugs to forcefully pass through the virus smoke area and sneak attack Zhang Tuohai. They thought they were doing it secretly. But unfortunately, they didn't know that Zhang Tuohai had already known all this. Zhang Tuohai was staring at the electronic map, waiting for their arrival. To deal with these players, Zhang Tuohai didn't actually need to use missiles. He simply sent the MQ-9 Reaper drone in a circle to solve the problem. However, who makes Zhang Tuohai boring? He couldn't wait to put these players in front of him to relieve his boredom. Your speed is too slow. What a broken car. Is the engine not working? 
Do you want to sell you a more advanced engine? Just when Zhang Tuohai was wondering whether to help these three players, the three players suddenly stopped moving. The game system displayed three obituaries. Three players were poisoned to death because they were in the center of the poisonous fog and couldn't resist taking drugs. This. Looking at the three red obituaries, Zhang Tuohai looked helpless. In order to welcome these three players, he had prepared dozens of ways to entertain them. Unfortunately, these people died before they could even make it halfway. I'll give you a chance. But you won't use it yourself. Zhang Tuohai sighed and sat back on the command chair. Bored, he played Savage Six again. After he completed a technological victory, the time finally came to 1800 hours in the evening. Game prompts also popped up in a timely manner. Congratulations to all the players for successfully spending seven days. Now we are teleporting. A white light enveloped Zhang Tuohai and brought Zhang Tuohai and the armored vehicle into the void. Zhang Tuohai looked around intently, surrounded by fuzzy bubbles, and he could vaguely see cars inside. This is a transfer station. Please wait for players in other areas to complete the game. Everyone will be dropped into the new world on time at 6 o'clock tomorrow. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for completing the limited time pursuit order and obtaining a hidden reward. Please check for an orange supply box. An orange supply box fell in front of Zhang Tuohai. It's been a long time since I opened the supply box. I remember the last time I opened the supply box. It was the last time. Zhang Tuohai rubbed the surface of the supply box, feeling a long lost feeling in his heart. However, Perhaps because he had seen so many good things. Zhang Tuohai didn't feel too excited even about the orange supply box. He rummaged for a while before finding a crowbar that had not been used for a long time from the debris pile and opened the supply box directly. With a crash, the supply box disappeared and two scrolls fell out. Zhang Tuohai unfolded the two scrolls one by one. Level 6 car upgrade drawings. Certificates for car upgrades to level 6. Car appearance camouflage drawing. Special accessories. After use, no matter what your car looks like, it will be the appearance you choose in the eyes of outsiders. You're so generous! You actually published the blueprint for upgrading to level 6? Seeing the blueprint in front of him, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be stunned. He originally thought that he would have to travel at least half of the world to get this blueprint, but he didn't expect to get it today. It has been detected that player Zhang Tuohai has met the conditions. Do you want to upgrade? Upgrade! Zhang Tuohai responded immediately. A white light enveloped the car, and the upgrade blueprint disappeared. The prompt sounded. Congratulations to player Zhang Tuohai for upgrading his multi-purpose armored vehicle to a heavy weapons platform. With the number of weapon slots increased to 10, armor strength increased by 100%. Along with a ray of white light, Zhang Tuohai's car body changed rapidly. The structure of the car body became more polyhedral. Even the polyhedral titanium alloy plates were hung outside the tires, making the vehicle's stealth capabilities stronger. A weapon station was thoughtfully prepared for Zhang Tuohai on the roof of the car, where various clothes and defense guns and laser weapons can be installed. Zhang Tuohai immediately installed four 1130 clothes and defense guns, plus two Adaz missile launchers. Although, he already has the Zircon hypersonic multipurpose missile, which can perfectly replace the Adaz multipurpose bomb. However, Zhang Tuohai thought over and over again and decided to keep Adaz. What if there was a need? Anyway, he has plenty of weapons now. So he doesn't care at all. The 41 Malawing Quach's vertical launcher is arranged as usual near the rear of the vehicle. Next to the armed helicopter. Leave two weapon slots. One for the laser launcher and one for backup. After the vehicle is modified. It looks like a main battle tank without a gun barrel. After the car is upgraded. New upgrade conditions pop up. Conditions for upgrading a level 7 car. 0 out of 10 level 6 general auto parts are required. 0 out of 6 level 6 special auto parts are required. And a level 7 car upgrade drawing is 0 to 1. The upgrade conditions are really becoming more and more difficult. Looking at the long upgrade conditions, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but lamented. The equipment required for upgrading becomes more and more. It seems that we need to collect more drawings and accessories. After writing down his future work priorities in a small notebook, Zhang Tuohai began to look at his new car. I have to say, that this special car body is so recognizable that it is difficult for others to forget it after just one glance. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and took out the camouflage drawing of the car's appearance. Preparing to camouflage the car, Zhang Tuohai used the scroll, and the appearance of hundreds of car bodies appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai, ranging from huge war fortresses to compact family cars. Zhang Tuohai even saw some non-mainstream shapes, such as horse-drawn carriages, electric tricycle shape, wheelchair shape, 
Do you think there is something wrong with these choices when you see them? Zhang Tuohai kept scrolling through the appearance of the more serious-looking vehicles. Don't use anything that is too futuristic, as it will easily arouse people's attention. And don't want anything that is too low-end, as it will easily arouse suspicion. Zhang Tuohai thought for a long time and finally chose a Hummer as the appearance. The level of this car is not too high, but it is not low either. It has good adaptability and has direct modification drawings. Therefore, it is very common among players. Zhang Tuohai has seen at least 10 of them. With its appearance, it should be able to confuse many people. Zhang Tuohai thought about it and chose the Hummer as the main appearance. After clicking OK, a virtual Hummer image appeared outside the car. Zhang Tuohai was worried and took a photo of the car using the system's built-in camera system. Judging from the photos, Zhang Tuohai's heavy weapons platform is just an ordinary Humvee. Unremarkable. Chapter 631 New World, On a Crisis Interesting. Zhang Tuohai walked around his car and marveled. With this layer of camouflage, you don't have to worry about the model being too special and being targeted by those people. At least, if Moriarty wants to find him, he will have to spend some effort. I just don't know what the next world will be like. I can't predict the world in advance. It's really a bit uncomfortable. Zhang Tuohai lay on the bed and thought about various situations that might occur in the next world. He made some plans in his mind and fell asleep unknowingly. When he woke up, it was exactly 6 o'clock in the morning. And he saw classmate Xiao Ai controlling a robotic arm to carry a fat dead rabbit. Where did you get it? Zhang Tuohai rubbed his eyes and asked. He didn't remember raising this thing. It suddenly appeared in the morning. Neither the radar nor the monitors noticed how it appeared. It was as if it appeared out of thin air and then hit the wheel. Classmate Xiao Yai also said helplessly, Is this statue so magical? Zhang Tuohai looked at the statue called the Lucky Tree Stump placed on the car and felt that this thing was comparable to a law. It's fine if it can take effect in every world, but it can also take effect in this void. This effect is simply unbelievable. If, if it could be dismantled at its principal study, could I also travel around the world at will? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's mind started to move. I was thinking about letting Lilith give it a try. Anyway, the biggest function of this statue is to provide a rabbit every day. Even if it fails, it will be a loss. Just as Zhang Tuohai was thinking, the game system popped up a prompt. The dwell time is up. The matching players are already in place. And the official transmission begins. Along with a ray of white light, Zhang Tuohai disappeared from the void bubble together with a heavy weapons platform. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found himself in a city. The city was in a dilapidated state, with traces of explosions and bullets everywhere. Many vehicles were destroyed on the roadside. Black smoke was emitting. Broken glass was everywhere. And debris was everywhere on the road. At a glance, it was obvious that a very intense battle had taken place here. Is this another doomsday world? What is it this time? Warlords fighting? Just when Zhang Tuohai was guessing, the game prompt sounded. Welcome players to enter the game. This world is an omnic crisis. An extraterrestrial meteorite fell into the earth. Human beings began to study it. Unexpectedly, this meteorite has a strange ability that can activate all electronic devices and become a true living being. The worst thing is that these life forms transformed from electronic machinery thought that they were the real masters of the planet and began to hunt down humans. Humans were caught off guard by the raid and suffered heavy losses. A large number of war machines were transported go near the meteorite and transform into silicon-based life with stronger combat capability. A large number of human towns were lost, and silicon-based life forms grew larger and larger like a snowball, gradually occupying the northern region. A large number of silicon-based life forms began to wipe out the humans in the ruled area. The remaining humans either hid in dark corners or retreated to the south. A big city. This world is divided into two camps. The silicon-based life camp and the human camp. Silicon-based life camp. After choosing the silicon-based life camp, the player automatically becomes a servant army of silicon-based life and is hostile to humans. After killing a certain number of humans, they can get the opportunity to be irradiated by meteorites and have a chance to become silicon-based life. Silicon-based camp mission, strangulate the remaining humans and attack the remaining human cities. Human camp, after choosing the human camp, you will become a survivor, automatically become the hunting target of silicon-based life forms and have a chance to get help from the human camp. Human camp mission, escape from the pursuit of silicon-based life forms, and escape to the city guarded by humans in the south. Players please choose your camp carefully. Faction confrontation mission? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but raise his eyebrows when he saw this. 
he didn't expect that this world would directly escalate to a camp confrontation, which was much more intense than the encounters between players. In this kind of camp confrontation mission, players not only have to face attacks from hostile players, but also defend against surprise attacks from hostile camps. Moreover, a person can really be said to be insignificant in front of the huge camp forces, and he will be crushed into pieces if he is not careful. However, this camp is a bit unbalanced. It seems that the silicon-based life camp is at the top. Isn't the game system afraid that all players will choose the silicon-based camp? Zhang Tuai said as he clicked on the list to make a selection. He was shocked to find that the game system was really not afraid of everyone choosing the human camp because his identity as a human camp had been locked in advance. This is definitely Moriarty's method. Zhang Tuohai's eyes were full of anger. He originally wanted to see if there was a chance to steal the meteorite. But unexpectedly, Moriarty had done something in advance and locked him into the human camp, making his plan fail. It seems that Moriarty has been disappointed with the players and plans to use the power of the silicon-based life camp to crush me. Right. Zhang Tuohai's expression became grim. Zhang Tuohai immediately opened the regional channel, wanting to see the status of other players. Damn it! This camp is too unbalanced. Isn't it? There is no need to choose. Just start the silicon-based life camp. Brothers, remember me. Flesh and blood are weak. But machines are soaring. Jojo, I'm no longer a human being. Real men will hack transformers. Bumblebee, I want Bumblebee. Ask me if MP5 can turn into a human form. If it can, I will join the silicon-based life camp. Ask about MP5. I want Mrs. Lai the most brilliant person in the world, in the regional channel, except for a few players who are good at speed and stealth and chose the human camp. The rest were almost one-sided, and most of them joined the silicon-based life camp. Upon seeing this, some wavering players also followed the trend and joined the silicon-based life camp. At this moment, a private message came in. Zhang Tuohai saw that the sender turned out to be Moriarty. What did he want to do by sending a private message? Zhang Tuohai opened the private message curiously. It was a mistake last time. This time, I will take action personally, and I will crush you to pieces. Zhang Tuohai glanced at him and blocked Moriarty. At this moment, Song Shakong also sent a private message, asking Zhang Tuohai how to choose a camp. After several worlds, Song Shakong knew deeply that if she wanted to live a prosperous life, the most important thing was to hug Song Tuohai's thigh. As long as she followed Zhang Tuohai, she would be able to eat even if he had a sip of soup. Mouth full of oil. You go to the silicon-based life camp and then promote the spiritual realm system. It doesn't matter how many resources you sell. What's important is that you must promote the spiritual realm system and strive to let every player use it. Even if you pay for it, you have to launch it. Understand? John Tuohai asked. Don't worry. Boss, the spirit realm system is very easy to use. There is no problem of not being able to promote it. So just keep an eye on it. Song Shakon left with confidence. Looking at the increasing serial numbers on the background, a sneer appeared on Zhang Tuohai's lips. Moriarty, let's see now. Will the players be on your side, or will they be used by me? Chapter 632 Silicon-Based Life Song Shaokong is indeed a sales wizard. She has successfully sold two sets of spiritual realm systems within a few minutes of joining Silicon Life. And the speed is still increasing steadily. Song Shaokong didn't sell a spiritual realm system. But Zhang Tuohai had an extra set of serial numbers in his back end. Zhang Tuohai could use the backdoor to monitor the specific situations of those players. At this time, Moriarty had already pulled the players who had joined the silicon-based life into a large group. He said to those players, I have become the leader of the silicon-based life servant army. As long as you behave well, kill hostile players, I can give you the qualification to be irradiated by meteorites and become silicon-based life forms. If you don't believe me, just look at it, Moriarty said and showed a video. In the video, Moriarty's whole body is similar to that of a normal human being. But when he tears open the skin on the surface of his body, a metal skeleton and torso are exposed underneath. Next to Moriarty was a girl with blonde hair and twin tails wearing a sailor uniform, holding a gatling gun in her hand and shooting at Moriarty. Except for some damage to the skin on his body, Moriarty was almost in scathe. You see? This is the power of silicon-based life. As long as you can hunt down a player, you will get a chance to be irradiated and you will also have the opportunity to become as powerful as me. Moriarty's voice was full of confusion. Can I ask if the woman next to you is also a silicon-based life form? Suddenly a player asked. 
Moriarty never expected that there would be someone with such a cunning attitude, not paying attention to the strength of the body, but caring about the woman around him. However, he reacted very quickly and said immediately, Yes, my assistant is also a silicon-based life form, and her body is an M777 ultralight howitzer. 777. Show them what you are capable of. Moriarty said to the girl with twin tails in a sailor suit next to him. The woman named 777 nodded, opened the door, and walked out of the car. There was a two-story building not far away. 777 pointed at the building with one hand. Bang! After a muffled sound, the small building collapsed instantly, and a large cloud of smoke and dust rose up. Hack! Hack! The small group was instantly blown away. My MP5 is finally coming true. G3 is my wife. I must resurrect her. Can anyone tell me where I can get a Lexington? Although the process was different from what Moriarty had imagined, the result was not too exciting. Moriarty nodded with satisfaction. With these players as vanguards and the huge silicon-based life forms, he didn't think Zhang Tuohai would be able to escape this time. How dare you harm me so miserably and come to the same world as you? A group of ants? I will make you pay an unimaginable price. Moriarty gritted his teeth. At this moment, he wished he could immediately trample Zhang Tuohai under his feet, causing his skin to twitch. If Zhang Tuohai hadn't ruined his plan, he would still be lying comfortably on the chair, watching those players struggling to survive. And how could he end up personally? 777, Moriarty said to the woman in sailor uniform next to him. Mr. Moriarty, please give me your orders. 777 said respectfully. You go to Lehman Brothers headquarters in Buffalo, where I store a weapon, use it to capture Jean Tuohai, and then bring him to me. Remember, drive my car to be safe. Moriarty thought for a moment and added, But, I'm just an artillery piece. I can't drive. 777 said respectfully, It doesn't matter. I installed the Spirit Realm Assist system in the car. This is the most advanced system among the same level in the system list. It has various auxiliary functions. You only need to input the map into the system and tell it where you want to go. Moriarty said, I understand. I'll leave now. 777 nodded and entered a supercar next to him. This RV was specially built for himself by Moriarty using special permissions. It was extremely luxurious and equipped with almost all the accessories that could be installed. The operating table is full of various buttons. And the 777 is dazzling to look at. Not long after the 777 was transformed from a howitzer into a silicon-based life, it was still in a state of ignorance about various things. Looking at the various screens and buttons, I became at a loss for what to do. She sat on the chair a little nervously, not knowing what to do. Dear Miss 777, welcome aboard President 1. We have been authorized. How can I help you? A nice female voice sounded. I, I'm going to Buffalo. Lehman Brothers. 777 said cautiously. Okay. The destination has been entered. Would you like a glass of engine oil to soothe your throat? Commander. Moriarty sent his assistant to Buffalo to retrieve an item. Classmate Xiao Ai said to Zhang Tuohai. Huh? What does Moriarty want to get? Zhang Tuohai cheered up after hearing this. What Moriarty values is definitely not a simple thing. Maybe it is an existence on the same level as the laser transmitter. Can you determine the location of Buffalo? Zhang Tuohai asked. It's about 500 kilometers from here. As classmate Xiao Ai spoke, a 3D panoramic map appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai, on which high-rise buildings, bridges, rivers, and woods were displayed in detail. This is the area map I downloaded from Moriarty's car. As Xiao Ai said, dozens of slow-moving vehicles appeared on the map, including tanks, off-road vehicles, and various strange-looking vehicles. These are vehicle dynamics loaded with the spiritual realm system. Which one is Moriarty's car? Zhang Tuohai asked. This one. Following classmate Xiao Ai's words, an obviously luxurious RV flashed, with an eye-catching halo of light on its body, and it was heading towards a small town. That car seems to be closer to Buffalo. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the RV and then at his own car. It seemed that the distance between the other party and Buffalo was more than twice as short as his own. It doesn't matter. I can take it in circles and make sure it doesn't arrive before we get to Buffalo. Classmate Xiao Ai said with a smile. Can it still be like this? Well done. Zhang Tuohai gave a thumbs up and praised. At this moment, the car suddenly sped out. Zhang Tuohai was caught off guard and almost fell down. What happened? Zhang Tuohai asked hurriedly. Enemy found. 
Shall I enlarge the 3D map while talking? Behind John to a high. An inconspicuous manhole cover suddenly flew out. And a completely metal silicon based life emerged from it. Striding towards Zhang Tuohai's heavy weapons platform. Chapter 633 Boar Brushes and Cat Sticks. Is this silicon based life? Zhang Tuohai asked, looking at the metal man chasing after him. Yes, judging from the appearance, the prototype is probably a wood chipper, Xiao Yai said while driving forward rapidly. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the shape of the metal man. There were two iconic reamers on his right arm, and looking at the parts on his body, it seemed to be similar to a wood chipper. It seems that the abilities that silicon-based life forms possess after being irradiated are related to their own abilities. Try its quality with a close-range anti-cannon, John Tuai said. Clear. Two close and defense cannons stretched out from the roof of the car and aimed at the wood-smashing robot that was chasing after them. Duh duh duh. A series of metal storms swept over the body of the wood-crushing robot, and various parts were blown away. In the blink of an eye, the two arms and half of the wood-smashing robot's head were smashed into pieces. If a person were injected with genetic medicine, he would be dead by now. However, the wood-smashing robot continued to chase John Tuohai as if nothing was wrong. Moreover, due to the sound of the close-range defense cannon, the silicon-based life forms staying around were also provoked. Two silicon-based beings who were obviously deformed cars rushed out of the intersection, one on the left and the other on the right, preparing to block it in front. On the tall building next to it, a silicon base being deformed by a microwave oven was constantly peeping on the roof, looking for opportunities. It's pretty solid. Put on the Adaz missile. John Tuohai looked around at the silicon base beings rushing towards him and said, What he needs to do now is to kill these guys quickly. Otherwise, these silicon based life forms will gather more and more, and his situation will become very critical. Clear. Whizzing. Two Adaz missiles shot out from the launcher and shot towards the two Autobots who rushed out from the front. The distance was so close that the two Autobots had no chance to dodge and were hit in the chest by the missile. Boom! There was an explosion, and a Toyota turned Autobot was blown to pieces on the spot. Another Autobot transformed by Knight 15 barely managed to maintain its integrity. However, there was something wrong with the machinery inside the body. Electric sparks were constantly coming out of the body, but it could not get up. At this time, the wood-smashing robot that had been chasing after him seemed to have seen an opportunity. He jumped suddenly and rushed towards Jean Tuai's car, trying to get in the car. However, at this moment, something like a camera suddenly appeared in front of it, and a blazing laser penetrated its head. The wood-crushing robot lost control, lay on the car, and slowly slid down. At this time, the microwave oven man, who had been watching on the top of the building seemed to sense an opportunity, and jumped down from the tall building and onto the roof of the car. As a result, before it could make any move, the whole person flew directly up again. Underneath it is a Zircon hypersonic missile. This guy accidentally landed on cell 41 Malawing Quachas. Then the Zircon hypersonic missile was launched into the sky. Boom! The Zircon hypersonic missile exploded in the air, blowing the microwave man into pieces. Zhang Tuohai parked the car next to the Autobot that Knight 15 had transformed into displayed the 1130 close-range anti-cannon and started firing. After using up half of the bullet chain, the Autobot's head was completely shattered and he finally stopped moving. It seems that these guys can be killed, but they have to completely smash their heads. Moreover, their bodies are stronger and faster than those mutated creatures, which is a bit troublesome. Looking at these mutated silicon-based life forms, Zhang Tuohai had a headache. Although he has 3D images of the nearby area and advanced radar, these silicon-based life forms are different from those mutant creatures. Before they deform, they are almost the same as ordinary devices. And the infrared heat source is no different. Especially in such a big city. Trying to find these silicon-based life forms among the countless electronic devices is like looking for a needle in a haystack. If Zhang Tuohai is really doing this, he is not playing road survival, but playing GMOD hide and seek. The most important thing is that these silicon-based life forms have rough skin and thick flesh and conventional means cannot kill them for a while. It seems we have to find an effective weapon to deal with them. Zhang Tuohai thought. At this time, Zhang Tuohai no longer dared to stay in the city. He needed to get out of the city quickly. The current city was a battlefield where silicon-based life had the advantage. It would be too much of a disadvantage to fight silicon-based life here. Zhang Tuohai drove his car rapidly through the city, trying to get out of here as soon as possible. He had just arrived in front of a Samsung mobile phone store when a dozen mobile phone men suddenly rushed out. 
lay on Zhang Tuai's car, and blew themselves up. Boom boom! A series of explosions sounded. Fortunately, Zhang Tuai's armor had been strengthened several times and was extremely strong. Apart from being a little blackened, there was no damage. Looking at the mobile phone store, Zhang Tuohai felt a lingering fear. Fortunately, it was Samsung. If it were Nokia, his armor would have been pierced. Zhang Tuohai looked at the home appliance street in front of him and couldn't help but feel a headache. Who knows how much silicon-based life is hidden in it? Forget it. I'll kill anyone who's wrong. Zhang Tuohai gritted his teeth and decided to use his best method. Carpet bombing. Zhang Tuohai replaced the missiles in the 41 Malawing Quach's vertical launch system with Tomahawk missiles and launched a carpet bombing at the electrical street ahead. Boom! Boom! A barrage of Tomahawk missiles was fired at electrical street, blowing each store to pieces. A few silicon-based beings who were lucky enough to survive rushed out of the ruins and were immediately smashed into pieces by Adaz missiles and 1130 close-range anti-cannons. Zhang Tuohai was demolishing the street here inch by inch. 777 looked at the scenery outside the window with some confusion. Did I pass by here just now? Why does this scenery look familiar to me? The scenery in this area is similar. Miss 777. Would you like some more engine oil? The Spirit Realm system asked kindly. I also have the latest barrel brush here. It's soft and smooth. And it's guaranteed to have no residue. Everyone who has used it says it's good. A mechanical arm handed a barrel brush to the 777. 777's eyes were shining, as if he had seen the big orange on the cat's stick. He held the barrel brush in both hands and couldn't put it down. He rubbed it left and right, and showed the muzzle, and carefully cleaned the muzzle with the barrel brush. The latest barrel brush is just comfortable and leaves no residue at all. Seeing that 777's eyes were focused on the gun barrel brush, the spiritual realm system quietly modified the traveling route. The car began to turn slowly and made a big circle. After such a circle, it was estimated that another hour would be wasted. Chapter 634 Electromagnetic Pulse Bomb After an hour of bombing, Zhang Tuohai finally rushed out of the city and came to the wilderness. Only then did he let out a long breath, seeing the huge city behind him. Even Zhang Tuohai was a little frightened. There were dozens of fish that escaped the bombing just now. You can imagine how many silicon-based lives are hidden in that electrical street. Isn't this too unbalanced? Silicon-based life has too great an advantage. Zhang Tuohai frowned and complained. However, now is not the time to complain. He is already much too late. The spiritual system carrying 777 has already gone through many circles. If he doesn't hurry up, 777 may notice that something is wrong. After all, 777 is just pure. Not stupid. Driving on the highway, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt refreshed. Unlike the city, there were no electronic devices in the wilderness. If there was a silicon-based life that wanted to ambush here, he would be able to detect it at a glance. Then, he could hit it with a Zircon hypersonic missile from a distance. And there would be no problem. Without these distractions, Zhang Tuohai's actions quickly accelerated, speeding towards Buffalo at a speed of 260 kilometers per hour. It took about two hours for Zhang Tuohai to arrive at the foot of Buffalo City. The 777 was also driven around Buffalo in a luxury sedan. Where exactly is that thing? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. In the office building of Lehman Corporation. Xiao Yai looked at the map and said, Can we just airborne and seize it? Zhang Tuohai asked, Start analyzing feasibility. Classmate Xiao Yai started to study the dangers based on the 3D map. After more than 10 seconds, a strangely curved polyline appeared on the 3D map. One end of the polyline was Zhang Tuohai and the other end was the roof of a building with a Lehman Brothers sign hanging on it. This is the route I planned based on the analysis of the 3D map. It avoids all high-risk areas, and the probability of safe passage is more than 90%. Classmate Xiao Yai said, Then let's follow this route. Zhang Tuohai said, Although the pass rate is not 100%. Just thinking about the silicon-based life forms in the city, Zhang Tuohai feels that this risk is still bearable. The two propellers popped out, and the heavy weapons platform slowly rose and flew towards the Lehman Corporation building in the distance. The noisy propeller sound attracted many silicon-based life forms. Those silicon-based beings poked their heads out of the window and glared at Zhang Tuohai. Some of the more radical ones directly attacked Zhang Tuohai with their own weapons. Ta-ta-ta. Bang-bang-bang. The sound of firearms of various calibers rang out. However, the caliber of their firearms is too small. Even if it hits the armor, it will not hurt or itch. 
At most, it will only scratch off some paint. Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to pay attention to them and walked straight towards the Lehman Brothers building along the planned route. For him, the first priority now is to get the things that Moriarty has hidden in advance. And everything else must be put aside. Zhang Tuohai drove the heavy weapons platform to the roof of Lehman Company and was about to land when a prompt message popped up in front of him. Downstairs where you are about to land, there is a silicon-based life hiding, preparing to sneak attack you with an extra-long chain saw. Huh? There is such an insidious guy hiding on the top floor? Can you lock its location? Zhang Tuohai asked. Because the insulation performance of the floor is very good. It cannot be locked, Xiaoyai said. Then go around from the side, Zhang Tuohai said. The heavy weapons platform walked around to the side of the building and looked in through the window. In the hall on the top floor, a giant silicon base being was staring at the ceiling with a 7 meter long chain saw in his hand, listening to the sound, waiting for Zhang Tuohai to land. Good guy. There really is one. Zhang Tuohai narrowed his eyes slightly, and then said to classmate Xiaoyai, Kill it! Whoosh! A Zircon hypersonic missile was fired at the silicon base being holding the chainsaw. Boom! Before the silicon base being holding the chainsaw could react, it was blown to pieces by the Zircon hypersonic missile. Later, Zhang Tuohai drove a heavy weapons platform and rushed into the building. Seeing Zhang Tuohai rushing in, two silicon base beings rushed over. One was a coffee machine, and the other was a microwave oven. The coffee machine sprayed high-temperature coffee towards Zhang Tuohai, while the microwave oven smashed heated durians towards Zhang Tuohai. Seeing the silicon base beings rushing towards them, classmate Xiao Ai subconsciously shot back. Boom! The huge durian and the two silicon base beings were beaten to pieces together. A strong smell spread. That's too much. You're just resorting to tricks when you can't beat me. Right. Just resorting to tricks. But you're actually doing it so dirty. Zhang Tuohai angrily turned on the three defense system, blocking out the strong durian smell from the car. After confirming that there were no other silicon based life forms in the room, Zhang Tuohai immediately said to classmate Xiao Yai, Where are the things placed? Is there a mark on the map? Yes. Moriarty was afraid that 777 would not be found. So it was marked very clearly, classmate Xiao Yai said, driving the car in front of an oil painting, controlling the mechanical arm. He threw the painting aside, revealing a mechanical combination lock. 9612. Classmate Xiao Ai turned the numbers on the password lock. There was a soft click, and the originally intact wall next to it suddenly retreated to both sides, revealing the hidden space behind it. This is a fully metal enclosed secret room, with a fully metal wrap machine placed in the center of the secret room. Zhang Tuohai walked over, and a line of game prompts popped up. Congratulations to the player for obtaining the electromagnetic pulse bomb production line. Electromagnetic Pulse Bomb Production Line, Level 6 Universal Accessories, which can automatically produce electromagnetic pulse bombs by providing sufficient raw materials. Electromagnetic Pulse Bomb Production Materials, 5 units of high-grade metal ingots. Metal Parts, 55 units. Electromagnetic Pulse Bomb? Zhang Tuohai was surprised and happy when he saw these words. If you are not familiar with this name, you must be familiar with its alias, which is EMP. The principle of this thing is to emit electromagnetic waves to the surroundings and destroy the other party's electronic equipment. If the opponent is unprepared, an electromagnetic pulse bomb can even destroy convoys and warships. Turn those war machines into scrap metal. And this bomb seems perfectly suited to this world. Those silicon-based life forms are essentially electronic products. And their cores are all electronic cores. If electromagnetic pulse bombs are used to burn their cores, it might be possible to directly destroy all silicon-based life forms in a city. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai's heart became hot. He has been troubled by silicon-based life for a long time. These things are secretive and have strong bodies. They are like gorillas in the city, which gives Zhang Tuohai a headache. Those conventional methods can't deal with silicon. Ji's life has always been ineffective. Now, he finally has a kind of directional equipment, and Zhang Tuohai can't wait to try it. Chapter 635 The Power of Electromagnetic Pulse Bombs Classmate Xiao Ai Hurry up and install the electromagnetic pulse bomb for me. Let's test the waters with a few rounds. Zhang Tuohai said excitedly. Xiao Ai immediately drove the car over, loaded the electromagnetic pulse bomb production line into the car, and then put in the raw materials to produce four electromagnetic pulse bombs. Because the electromagnetic pulse bomb is a standard model, it can also be launched directly using the 41 Malawang Quatch's vertical launch system. Four electromagnetic pulse bombs were placed in the launch cell. 
Xiao Ai was still worried that the strength was not enough. So he directly shot out all four electromagnetic pulse bombs. Four electromagnetic pulse bombs were fired in four directions. At this time, 777 was finally taken into the urban area of Buffalo City by the Super RV. We're finally here. We're about to arrive at Lehman's headquarters. 777 looked at the tall buildings on both sides while silently reciting the steps to extract the weapon. First, give the voucher to the Guardian for confirmation. Then take the second oil painting from the right and enter the password. The password is... While 777 was muttering, she suddenly felt something fly past her out of the corner of her eye. What? 777 looked up. I saw a bomb explode in the air. There was no strong heat radiation or fragmentation. But 777 felt an invisible strong electromagnetic wave swallowing her up like a tide. In an instant, various electronic components in her body were overloaded, fused, and even caught fire. She wanted to save herself. But there was no way. The damage to the electronic components caused her to lose control of her body. And she could only watch the disaster spread further. And eventually the world went completely dark. This is not only the case for 777 but also for other silicon-based life forms throughout Buffalo. Various silicon-based life forms had their electronic components ablated and turned into scrap metal. Crash, crash, one by one, the silicon-based beings fell to the ground. No matter how big or small, all are equal. Not only silicon-based life, but ordinary electrical appliances have also been attacked by electromagnetic pulses indiscriminately. All products containing electronic components from mobile phones and electronic bracelets to large cars and airplanes, have been destroyed by electromagnetic pulses. Not only that, but even players' cars have been affected. The electromagnetic pulse swept past, and the players, who were happily collecting supplies in the city were shocked to find that black smoke was rising from their cars. All electronic equipment was damaged, and the only thing that could be used was the basic function supported by the game system, such as regional channels. What's going on? Why did my car suddenly break down? My car is the same. And all the equipment can no longer be used. I can't even start the car. Can anyone help me figure out how to fix it? Use a car repair kit. A player said. No. I tried it with a car repair kit. And it said the damage category didn't meet the requirements and couldn't be repaired. Do I need to make all the equipment again? How can I have so many materials? I just upgraded the car to all electric propulsion. This is crazy. Where have those silicon-based lifeforms gone? Aren't we allies? Why doesn't anyone come out to help us? In the regional channel, several players in Buffalo are venting on the regional channel, hoping that someone can help them get out of their predicament. However, most players are busy collecting supplies or dealing with their own affairs and have no time to pay attention to them. Only Moriarty couldn't help but frown when he saw the complaints from these players. All the electronic equipment was damaged. Why does it look like an electromagnetic pulse bomb? Didn't I ask 777 to bring the electromagnetic pulse bomb back? How did she use it? Could it be that she accidentally encountered that damn guy and killed him with a weapon used in advance? But there was no obituary sent out just now. Moriarty wanted to contact 777, but found that he couldn't. Only then did he remember that once electromagnetic pulse was used, an unprotected silicon-based life like 777 would be directly destroyed, and it would be impossible to survive. For a moment, he actually found that he had lost control of Buffalo City. The anxious Moriarty wanted to run to Buffalo immediately to see the specific situation. However, before he stepped on the accelerator, he took his foot back again. No, the situation in Buffalo is unknown. I can't just go there. Fortunately, I have prepared other backup plans, which are enough to deal with this damn guy. Moriarty turned the steering wheel and thought to himself, I will take action personally this time, and I will never let you escape again. This time I will see how you can escape. Moriarty snorted coldly, stepped on the accelerator, and drove towards the north. At this time, Jean Tuahai looked at the corpses of silicon-based life forms all over the city, and his heart was filled with shock. This was the first time he saw the effect of an electromagnetic pulse bomb, and he was shocked by the scene. He never expected that the electromagnetic pulse bomb would be so powerful, and it would kill all the silicon-based life forms in the city without any sound and light effects. This effect is really awesome. It is indeed something that Moriarty used as a backup. I am afraid he wanted to use this to attack my electromagnetic system. Fortunately, I am more skilled and used the spiritual realm system to take advantage of it and get it first. Disarm this weapon. John Tuohai couldn't help but feel a little frightened when he thought of this. 
If Moriarty had attained this preset weapon and used it against him, he would probably be in a hurry. Now, obtaining this thing not only cracks Moriarty's method, but also allows him to obtain a weapon that can effectively deal with silicon-based life. Think about it this way. Moriarty is still a good person. Zhang Tuohai secretly thanked Moriarty. It would be better if the other party could send his head over. By the way, where is the 777 sit by Moriarty? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. He finally thought about the assistant sit by Moriarty. He had seen him wandering around Buffalo City before, and he didn't know what was going on. After launching the electromagnetic pulse bomb, the connection with the corresponding spiritual realm system was lost. It should have happened to be within the strike range of the electromagnetic pulse and was killed together. Classmate Xiao Yai said, Really? Go over and take a look. I remember she drove Moriarty's car. There might be some good stuff on it. Zhang Tuohai came up with the idea of that supercar. That car was Moriarty's car. Will he prepare an ordinary car for himself? I'm afraid that the full configuration is just the basics. There may be some super standard accessories in it. If you can disassemble one or two pieces, you will make a fortune. Thanks to the 3D map guidance, Zhang Tuohai found Moriarty's super touring car effortlessly. Zhang Tuohai immediately sent out a large group of self-propelled machines. Tear this car apart for me. If anyone can disassemble it and find something good, I will reward it with 2 kilograms of engine oil. Chapter 636 Plasma Grenade Under Zhang Tuohai's greeting, many self-propelled machines rushed to the luxury RV and surrounded the car. The luxury RV turned into parts at a speed visible to the naked eye. Ten minutes later, the entire RV was dismantled into parts. And 001 actually held three drawings in his hand. You're so lucky to have three of them. Zhang Tuohai excitedly unfolded the drawings one by one. Super luxury bathrobe manufacturing drawings, matching bathrobe and slippers. Handmade using graded materials, allowing you to experience Caesar-like enjoyment. Zhang Tuohai, as expected of an administrator. Even the bathrobe was of the highest quality, but it was of no use to Zhang Tuohai. So he threw it aside casually, taking a deep breath. Jean Tuohai unfolded the second drawing. Ecological Park Weather Control System. Six-level universal auto parts. Simulating for season climate. Various weather conditions. Enriching the comprehensive environmental conditions of the ecological park. Jean Tuohai took a serious look at this drawing. This is indeed of some value. If the weather changes can be controlled, the quality of the fruits may be improved to a higher level. However, the specific values will need to be tested slowly to know. Finally, Jean Tuohai unfolded the last drawing. As he unfolded the drawing, he thought to himself, there must be something useful. Please. Plasma Grenade Manufacturing Manual, after use. It releases a large amount of high voltage current within a radius of 10 meters. Manufacture materials, high-grade metal ingot, one unit. High-grade plastic, two units. High-grade electronic component, asterisk one. After carefully reading the drawings twice, Jean Tuohai breathed a sigh of relief and finally figured out something useful. With this thing, he will be able to deal with those silicon-based life forms more calmly. Moreover, this thing is also very lethal to ordinary carbon-based life forms. It can even restrain some steel armors. It is a more versatile tool. Strong equipment. Of course, the most important thing is that the killing density of this thing is much greater than that of ordinary grenades. In the past, if you encountered a swarm of insects, whether it was an offensive grenade or a defensive grenade, the damage to small targets such as the swarm of insects was very limited. However, it is different after switching to a plasma grenade. It can directly kill insects within the radius. All the insects were electrocuted into charcoal. If Zhang Tuohai encounters a swarm of insects again in the future, he won't have to worry about not having the means to deal with it. Although he had harvested a decent weapon and a level 6 accessory, the harvest was not bad. But Zhang Tuohai always felt a bit shortchanged. After all, this is the car that Moriarty built. And he only built a few things. Which gave him the feeling of entering Baoshan and leaving after only grabbing a few handfuls. If it was his temper, he should at least keep his pockets full. However, fortunately, Moriarty is not dead yet. And this sheep can still be harvested a few more times. Zhang Tuohai was about to leave when he suddenly saw the body of 777 lying on the ground. Can this thing be repaired? Zhang Tuohai suddenly came up with an idea. If these silicon-based beings can be repaired and then obey his orders, then he will also have an army of silicon-based beings. At that time, I believe it will be much more convenient for him in this world. Even in other worlds, it would bring him considerable help. Even if it fails in the end, 
it would still be good to use it as training material for Lilith. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai asked two self-propelled machines to drag 777's body back to the car. Zhang Tuohai also started driving around the city. Just now, he had cleared the city of silicon-based life with four electromagnetic pulse bombs. Now that there were no enemies in the city, he naturally had to take a good look around to see if there were any resources worth searching for. Zhang Tuohai looked at the 3D map in the car and suddenly discovered that several humans were gathering together. Each of them was carrying a firearm and wearing various clothes. Some were wearing breastplates and some were wearing half suits of Kev. They were wearing body armor. And some were wearing police body armor. Anyway, the equipment was diverse. Players? What are these people doing? Zhang Tuohai frowned when he saw these people and decided to find out. However, now that he wanted to conduct investigations, he no longer needed to do it himself. Zhang Tuohai took out a hand-thrown drone and threw it out. The hand-thrown drone turned twice in the air and then flew in the direction of the group of players. The hand-thrown drone quickly flew near the group of players and then stopped on a broken balcony. A player wearing a beret and a breastplate took out a box of cigars and blew out the smoke to several players around him. Try them all. Top quality Havana handmade cigars. The taste is absolutely pure. All with girls on their laps. Rubbed out. How can you be sure? A player took it. Doubtful. I got this from a friend. It's 100% pure. You can see there's leg hair on it. It's guaranteed to be genuine. The beret wearing player picked out a blonde quill from the cigar. Look at the leg hair. It's slender and soft. She must be a young soft girl. Beret showed off the leg hair. Several players around him didn't quite understand. But seeing the serious look on the beret's face, they nodded in agreement and suddenly felt that the cigars in their hands had become more expensive. However, Zhang Tuohai always felt that the leg hair looked familiar. He looked back at Wang Kai. This guy's hair was also getting golden. Could it be that the hair these guys smoked was made by Wang Kai? What's the matter? Wang Kai felt his whole body go wild when he saw Zhang Tuohai looking at it like this. It's okay. Busy with you. Zhang Tuohai continued to monitor the players. What can you do? My car broke down for a long time. And I couldn't start it despite all my efforts, said the player wearing a beret. I asked my brother, and he promised me to come over and have a look later. He used to run a four-son store, and he has no skills to speak of, a player wearing half a Kevlar body armor said with a cigar in his mouth. Really? Can you ask your brother to help us take a look? Don't worry. His help will definitely not be in vain. A thank you gift will definitely be indispensable. When the beret heard this, he immediately became energetic. No problem. It's all trivial. We are all brothers when we meet. When the time comes, I will ask my brother to help you all take a look. Half suit Kevlar patted his chest and said generously. The faces of several players around him were full of joy when they heard this. And they all got close to half suits of Kevlar. With everyone's intention. Several people quickly became brothers, and the atmosphere was very harmonious. Is there anyone else coming later? Zhang Tuohai originally planned to arrest these players and inquire about their status. When he heard that there were still others coming, he immediately stopped and waited tightly, ready to wait for the reinforcements to arrive before taking action. However, there is no point in just waiting here. Zhang Tuohai is going to give these people a little show. Chapter 637 The car ran away on its own. A few players gathered together and puffed away the clouds, which was a great pleasure. Perhaps because he was enjoying smoking. A player wearing plate armor said, Smoking alone is not interesting. I got a few bottles of good wine last time. Let's try it together, the player wearing plate armor said, turning around to go back to his car to get the wine. However, when he looked back, he found that his car was missing. At first, he suspected that he had misremembered the parking location. So he immediately walked over quickly and walked around the place where he was for several times, but still found nothing, not even a sign of a car. Where's my car? The player wearing plate armor was confused. It was unfortunate enough that the car suddenly stopped driving. But now that the car was missing, it was no longer a problem. This can be fatal. If the car can no longer be driven, there is still a chance to save it. If the car is lost, then there is nothing. There are a lot of good things in his car. And there is even a hot weapon tied from the previous world. Did the hot weapon open the handcuffs on his own and drive away? No way. I obviously put her in a cage with thumb thick bars. So she can't escape at all. What's going on? The players wearing plate armor felt quite cold hearing the exclamations of the plate armor players. Other players quickly ran over. What's wrong? What happened? Is there an enemy? Several players asked in unison. 
with their hands on their weapons. No, my car is missing, the player wearing plate armor said with a sad face. How is it possible? How could such a big car be lost? You must have misremembered it and parked it somewhere else, one player said with a cigar in his mouth. It's impossible. It's right here. It's this telephone pole. I'm still on it for convenience. Look, the traces are right here. How could I remember it wrong? The player wearing plate armor looked like he was about to cry. Damn, what's going on? Is there a ghost? A player who likes reading supernatural novels said. What kind of ghosts are there? Someone else probably saw that there was no one in your car and drove away secretly. Remember to lock the car when you get off the car in the future. Look at me. I lock my car every time I get off the car. Take out the key. And the car will definitely be lost. Wait, where is my car? The player who answered the call couldn't continue mid-sentence. Because he was shocked to find that his car was also missing. All he had left was a car key. Dangling from his finger. Monkey Leshit. Where is my car? His eyes were also red. And he was circling around anxiously. Trying to find his car. But there was no trace of his car anywhere around. Not even the shadow. None. You guys are all bastards. At this time, the player wearing a beret walked over and said carelessly, What's the use of taking the car key? People can open the car door with a crowbar. Then, as soon as the wire box under the steering wheel is opened, the neutral and live wires are turned on and the car drives away. So, you have to follow my example and remove the steering wheel so that it is safe, the beret said, took the steering wheel from behind and walked towards his parking space amidst everyone's astonished eyes. After turning a corner, the beret was stunned. He dropped the steering wheel in his hand and shouted, Where is my car? Three people in a row lost their cars, and the remaining players didn't dare to watch the fun anymore and ran to where they parked to check the situation. However, something horrified happened and their cars disappeared. Several players gathered together dejectedly. Beret lost control of his mood and said angrily to other players, Someone among you must have stolen my car. Who stole it? Hand it over to me. Otherwise, when my brother comes, you won't be able to reap the benefits. The player wearing plate armor said, Everyone is here. Who can steal the car? Besides, everyone's car is lost. Everyone is a victim. Don't target your own people. Whoever is one of your own. Maybe your accomplice did it. You are here to help cover up and pretend to be a good person. The beret said with a sneer, Huh? I don't care which of you stole the car. Return it immediately. Give it to me. I can pretend that this never happened. Otherwise, don't blame me for being rude. The beret said, pulling the bolt of the gun. What's going on? You still want to take action? Who is afraid of whom? It's like no one has a gun in his hand. Seeing this, another player also opened the safety. Upon seeing this, several players around them raised their weapons one after another, and the atmosphere suddenly became tense. With a tense look, at this moment, there was the sound of an engine in the distance. The beret looked back and saw two vehicles driving over from a distance. One was an obviously modified pickup truck with an anti-collision net installed on it, armor, ramming horns, and an automatic machine gun on the roof. A huge tiger tank followed slowly behind. My cousin is here. Ha ha ha. The beret waved to the pickup truck not far away. Cousin, I'm here. Come here quickly. The pickup truck and the tiger tank slowly stopped. Looking at the oppressive tiger tank, several players became frightened and took a few steps back involuntarily. A middle-aged man wearing a leather jacket and a scar on his face jumped out of the pickup truck. What's wrong? The middle-aged man strode over with an AR-15 on his shoulder and asked as he walked, Cousin, my car was stolen by these guys. Please help me get it back. The brave pointed at the players and said, Is there such a thing? Someone dares to steal my cousin's car. A sinister smile appeared on the scarred man's face. And he looked at several players. Like a ferocious jackal seeing its prey. Which of you stole my cousin's car? Come back quickly. Otherwise, I will make you regret coming to this world. We said it was not stolen by us. And we are also victims. Our cars were also lost. If we want to steal cars, there is no need to make it so complicated. Right? Wouldn't it be easier to just kill people and steal cars? What if it was really us? He stole the car. Do you think your cousin can survive until now? Said the player wearing plate armor. Stop talking nonsense. It must be you who did it. Give me my car back quickly. The berets became more confident with reinforcements. Although I think what you said is reasonable. Someone must give an explanation. 
Who made my cousin choose you? If you want to blame it, you should blame your own fate. The scarred man said, gesturing to the machine gunner on the tiger tank. Get rid of him. However, the machine gunner ignored the scarred man's gesture, stared blankly at a place not far away, and stammered, Boss, it's bad. Your car ran away by itself. Chapter 638 I understand the truth. What? Scarface looked back, and sure enough, he saw several legs growing out from under his pickup truck, running towards the distance. Seeing the scene, Scar's face was full of confusion, and he couldn't help mumbling to himself. So the car can really grow legs and run away by itself? He felt that his entire worldview had been shattered. However, no matter how shocked he was, he still had to chase him. More than 90% of his worth was in the car. If he didn't get it back, he wouldn't be able to survive in this world. Quickly, catch up quickly and get my car back. Scarface didn't care about his cousin anymore and jumped onto the tiger tank, trying to catch up with his car. However, the tiger tank under him was moving rapidly in the opposite direction. Are you out of your mind? I asked you to chase my car. Why did you put it in reverse gear? Scarface cursed loudly. The tank driver said aggrievedly, Boss, I stepped on the accelerator, but the car kept going backwards. There is nothing I can do. Scarface looked down and saw that the tracks of the tiger tank were indeed rolling forward. But the tank kept moving backward, and the speed was getting faster and faster. What's going on? Scarface felt bad all over. He hurriedly jumped out of the car and looked down. It turned out that the tiger tank also had several legs under it and was running towards the distance. What's going on? Could it be that if you join the side of silicon-based life, your car will slowly turn into silicon-based life and then you can escape? Scarface guessed as he laid down and wanted to observe for himself what was going on. When he lowered his head, he finally discovered the mystery. It turned out that at some point, Dozens of strange-looking machines appeared under the car. These machines had eight legs and four arms, and were hung with chainsaws, gatling, RPGs, anti-tank grenades, and various other weapons. They were run quickly while holding a tiger tank. Seeing this scene, Scarface's eyes widened, underscore. Can anyone tell me what's going on? Where did these robots come from? Why did they take my car away? Scarface was full of doubts, and then a flash of lightning flashed through his mind and he understood. Although they joined the silicon-based life camp, those damn silicon-based life forms did not regard them as companions at all, but plotted against their vehicles. The reason why those silicon-based life forms accepted them was to seize their vehicles. These self-moving robots are proof. Apart from silicon-based life, where else can we find so many robots that can move on their own? Scarface feels like he has grasped the truth. At this moment, a self-propelled robot discovered Scarface. It slowly turned its head 90 degrees. And a bunch of cameras silently stared at Scarface. The Gatling gun on his body also began to rotate. They want to kill people and silence them. Scarface jumped out with a tiger's leap. Then rolled a few times and landed behind a low wall. At the same time, he did not forget to pull in his cousin, who was standing stupidly on the street, and press him to the ground. What's wrong? Cousin? Beret didn't know what was going on and looked at his cousin with confusion. He didn't understand how his cousin, who had been dragging him for 2,580,000 yuan just now, became like this in the blink of an eye. Don't look up. Scarface pushed the beret to the ground, and then cautiously looked outside. When he saw that the self-propelled machines were not chasing after him, he lowered his voice and said, I discovered a big secret. What's the secret? Beret was frightened by his cousin's nagging, and asked cautiously, Those silicon-based beings are not good people. Scarface whispered, you don't need to tell me. I don't even need to look at them to know that they are not human. The beret looked contemptuous. I'm not talking about the appearance. Scarface slapped the beret on the head. I'm talking about the inside of them. Why do you say that? For the heart. The inside is not a good thing. No. Cousin. What are you going to say? Beret was confused by Scarface. And his originally undeveloped brain was confused by his cousin. Do you know why they accept a group of humans as their peripherals? Scarface said mysteriously. Why? Don't we need to be rapists and lead them? The beret asked doubtfully. What a bastard. Scarface slapped the beret again angrily. We are the leaders who will lead mankind to a new era. Do you understand? Leader? I understand. I understand. Cousin, please stop fighting. Let's get down to business. What's going on? Beret asked as he helped his crooked beret. Those iron bastards who accept us actually take a fancy to our cars. 
They pretend to accept us first, and then steal our cars when we are not paying attention and transform them into their own kind. Otherwise, how do you think your car will be lost? They were all taken away by those damn iron lumps, Scarface said angrily. Really? Beret was shocked by Scarface's words. He had always thought that those silicon-based beings were just NPCs, and the entire world was just a backdrop for their survival. Unexpectedly, those NPCs would actually seek benefits for themselves. Robbery of players. Who would believe this in the original world? Who dares to believe it? This is still fake. I saw it all. I can see it clearly. Scarface looked frightened. Those guys were still planning to kill me to silence me. Fortunately, I ran fast and escaped. Seeing Scarface's frightened look, Beret decisively believed his words. He had admired his cousin since he was a child and obeyed his words. Then cousin, what should we do now? We don't even have a car. And we have no food. The worst thing is that I have lost all the cigarettes I saved with great effort. And I don't even have the next meal. The beret looked sad. There were cigarettes in the car that he had collected through various channels. He originally planned to enjoy them slowly. But in the end, they were all wasted. It's okay. I still have a few old friends. I'll send them a message and ask them to pick us up. At the worst, we can join their convoy and help out. Can a living person die from urinating? Scarface rolled his eyes and suddenly had an idea. This is a good idea. Cousin, please send them a message quickly. Beret said quickly. Don't worry. We'll talk about this later. I have something I need to do now. Scarface said through gritted teeth. What can you be more anxious about than this? Beret was puzzled. I want to expose the ugly face of these iron lumps to the public. Scarface said bitterly. If they dare to steal my car, I will expose their ugly behavior so that all players can see their faces clearly and everyone will rebel together. Damn it. You stole my car, and you want me to work for them? What a bullshit. Chapter 639, Why is the Gap So Big? Soon, a post exposed the ugly face of silicon-based life forms, and exposed their malicious theft of players' vehicles appeared on the regional channel. Scarface had been a professional troll for a while, so writing posts was something he could easily do. I am very familiar with where to narrate, where to use guiding words, where to express emotions and where to illustrate. In particular, this post is coupled with his personal experience and integrated with his personal emotions. Naturally, it is both emotional and emotional, almost embodying his several years of naval skills. After the post was posted, Scarface's private messages exploded. Many people who knew him well sent him private messages asking about the authenticity of the post. That it's still fake? Scarface recounted the story in an embellished voice, adding the video he secretly shot. In the video, a tiger tank has dozens of legs growing out and is running into the distance. As we all know, videos cannot be edited. Therefore, Scarface's words were confirmed. So Scarface's post was forwarded to various groups. And people with good intentions even posted it directly to the World Channel. The World Channel has always been a place for players from various regions to troll. There has never been any substantive content. Suddenly, such a hot post appeared which immediately attracted the attention of those trolling enthusiasts. Then, it was copied and pasted by these people in their respective regional channels. Then, the post spread like a virus regarding the content of the post. Some people think it is true, and some people think it is fiction. However, no matter what they think, deep down in their hearts, there will still be a seed of doubt about silicon-based life, which will break through when the time is right. Out. Some players took the post to question Moriarty. Why do silicon-based beings steal their cars? What's the ulterior purpose here? Moriarty had just retrieved a backup weapon that he had buried. Before he was happy for two minutes, his private mailbox was full. Moriarty, who was confused, looked angry after seeing the post. Who is this idiot spreading rumors? Then, he was confused by the video. Videos don't lie. Those people said this, and then they asked him to give an explanation. Some people asked him to compensate all players for their mental losses and asked him to guarantee that the silicon-based life-giving system would no longer steal player vehicles. Otherwise, they would consider jumping back. Let me explain. Moriarty slammed the table angrily. After seeing the video, he knew it must have been done by Zhang Tuohai. Except for Zhang Tuohai, no one has such a self-propelled machine. However, he tried desperately to explain, but no one believed it. No one believed that there are still players who have the ability to control so many silicon-based life forms. In other words, they just want to take this opportunity to gain some benefits from Moriarty. 
the nominal leader. As for the truth, they don't care. They are not the ones who suffer anyway. The player's greed made Moriarty smash his beloved crystal wine glass in anger. You damn maggots. If I still have administrator rights, I will downgrade all your cars to level one right now. Moriarty thought angrily. Let you jump for a while first. And wait until I solve that problem, damn you guy. I'll come back to settle the score with you again. Moriarty casually gave those players a few words and then closed the private message. What he has to do now is to stabilize those players and prevent them from falling to Zhang to a high side. With so many players defecting together, who knows what chain reaction it will cause. If his plan to kill Zhang to a high is blocked, it will be more than worth the loss. What he has to do now is to kill Zhang to a high immediately. By then, he won't care even if all those players switch sides. I didn't expect this guy to still be in Buffalo. This saves me some trouble. Moriarty thought for a while and called in a silicon-based life form transformed from F-35. Go to Buffalo and stare at a human driving a car. Find him and keep an eye on him. Wait for me to arrive. The silicon-based life form nodded and flew directly into the sky. Moriarty saw this and drove to follow. At this time, Zhang Tuohai had already dismantled several stolen cars in a small square. As for those players, Zhang Tuohai ignored them since they didn't chase them. It wouldn't cause any harm to him anyway, and Zhang Tuohai didn't bother to cause more killings. At this time, he was wandering around the streets to see if there was anything else worth searching for. Anyway, what is happening in this world is war. There are no viruses and no nuclear contamination. There is no need to disinfect the things on the shelves. If you don't take them, you won't take them. Just when Zhang Tuohai was about to wander around a building material store, classmate Xiao Ai suddenly sounded the alarm. Commander, an F-35 is approaching at high speed. Subsequently, the image of F-35 appeared on the 3D map. That F-35 is different from the ordinary F-35 fighter. It has turned into a silicon-based life. There are many bumps and pipelines on the outside of the body. The original black paint coating has also turned into a shiny stainless steel coating. The tail wing split into two legs, completely destroying the original perfect aerodynamic layout. Can you tell whether this guy is passing by or coming here on a special trip? Zhang Tuohai asked. I don't know, but the other party has turned on the active search radar. It seems like they are looking for something. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Since they are looking for something, I will patch it up and let them find it. Is there any way to get it off? Zhang Tuohai asked. I'll try electromagnetic interference. If that doesn't work, I'll use Zircon missiles. Classmate Xiao Ai said and activated the strong electromagnetic interference mode. Powerful electromagnetic waves were launched towards F-35. After feeling the strong electromagnetic signal, the F-35 subconsciously began to receive it. And then a large number of equipment was directly overloaded by the strong electromagnetic signal. At the same time, F-35 received an electromagnetic signal. Land immediately. Otherwise it will be destroyed. Who are you? Why are you attacking your fellow humans? F-35 asked angrily. Land immediately or destroy it. The same voice came again. Along with the electromagnetic signal, there is also the illumination of the fire control radar. The F-35 can clearly feel that if it dares to continue flying, the opponent will really launch missiles to knock it down. Snort! F-35 snorted angrily and slowly landed downwards. Because it is silicon-based, the F-35 does not need such a long dedicated runway. It can even use the Harrier stunt to take off and land vertically. F-35 slowly landed on the ground. The asphalt floor was melted by the ultra-high temperature tail flames. Zhang Tuohai looked at the silicon-based life F-35 up and down, then looked at the body of the 777, and couldn't help but shook his head. They are both silicon-based life forms. Why is the difference so big? Chapter 640 Strangulation Battle It had a square head, wing-like arms, legs with spouts, and a lot of pipes coming out of the body. The magazine door had gone somewhere, and there were a bunch of parts inside that he couldn't understand. It looked a bit like an enlarged version of a cheap toys have no industrial aesthetics at all. If he hadn't actually stood in front of him, Zhang Tuohai still wouldn't believe it. Most silicon-based life forms looked like this. Zhang Tuohai originally thought that 777 was an intermediate form of silicon-based life. When he saw silicon-based life forms such as microwave ovens and coffee machines, he felt that 777 was a form that only advanced silicon-based life forms could possess. When he saw the F-35, he completely fell into doubt. What shape did the 777 take? How could silicon-based life be shaped like this? Did Moriarty have any special means? 
Zhang Tuohai's mind began to wander. In addition to killing Moriarty, his goal was to try to seize the meteorite. Since you can turn a machine into a beautiful girl, why do you have to make it look so weird? Even if there is no change in function, it can still be eye-catching. Right? After the F-35 saw Zhang Tuohai, it instinctively showed its disgust for human beings. Damn reptile! You dare to attack me! I'm going to kill you! F-35 roared and rushed towards Zhang Tuohai, while raising its fist which was bigger than a water tank. In its view, even without missiles, this weak carbon-based creature can be killed with one fist. However, before it could reach Zhang Tuohai, a large number of arcs appeared on Zhang Tuohai's electromagnetic gloves, and these arcs shot towards the F-35 like lightning. F-35 suddenly felt that the voltage in his body was overloaded. Large sections of wires were short-circuited. Each electronic component was burned. Sparks flew up and down the body. The originally flexible body became dull and slow. Finally, a large area lost control. The whole body fell down and fell to the ground. Damn carbon-based creatures! How can you possibly master the power of electromagnetism? This is exclusive to our silicon-based life forms! F-35 said angrily to Zhang Tuohai. Sure enough, their brains are broken. No, these guys are just a bunch of lunatics. They have no brains at all. Zhang Tuohai shook his head and said to classmate Xiao Yai, Extract the useful information and then dismantle it. He felt that these silicon-based beings created by meteorites were a group of brainwashed lunatics with almost no way to communicate. Only people like 777 would be foolish enough to be spared a few hours of travel by the spiritual realm system. Could it be that it was really made in two ways? Zhang Tuohai thought secretly in his heart. Xiao Yai stretched out his robotic arm and began to dismantle the F-35 body. Of course, she can't dismantle it like a self-propelled machine. But she can take out the hard drive and processor and extract the information inside. Which is something a self-propelled machine cannot do. Soon, classmate Xiao Yai extracted the information. Commander, F-35 met Moriarty before taking off. The conversation between the two proved that it was Moriarty who sent him. And Moriarty is also likely to follow behind. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Moriarty is coming too. Zhang Tuohai was shocked and rushed to the 3D map. Searching along the route of the F-35. Trying to analyze Moriarty's route. However, at this moment, several missiles appeared on the map. Flying rapidly towards his direction. Commander, if you find a missile, please shoot it down immediately. Classmate Xiao Yai asked. Shoot it down immediately, and at the same time expand the radar search range. Be sure to find the attacker. The attacker is most likely Moriarty. Zhang Tuai said. Understood. Xiao Yai said, and opened the 41 Malawing Quach's vertical launch system. Zircon multipurpose hypersonic missiles shot out from the launch unit, and flew towards the direction of the missile attack. Missiles were hit one after another, and exploded in the air like clouds of fireworks. However, before all the missiles were shot down, Large groups of drones could be seen flying over from the sky. At the same time, a large number of machines with six legs and carrying machine guns or rockets also appeared. On a 3D map, these six-legged machines move extremely fast, comparable to cars, and are very flexible. Especially, they can pass through various narrow spaces with ease, and their flexibility is comparable to cats and squirrels. Are you planning to flood me with a sea of machines? Looking at the densely packed mechanical army on the 3D map, a sneer appeared on Zhang Tuohai's lips. He turned to look at 001. Take your people and secure the surrounding commanding heights and important passages. Don't miss any of them. 001 left with a large number of self-propelled machines and also took away all the individual weapons in stock. Zhang Tuohai also released honeycomb drones and more than 500 cruise missiles spread out in the air and flew towards the dense swarm of drones. For a moment, the sound of gunfire rang out in the city. Cruise missiles hit small drones one after another. The shock wave generated by the explosion covered a large group of surrounding drones. And various injured drones fell down like raindrops. The six-legged machines that surrounded Zong to a high encountered firm resistance from the self-propelled machines headed by 001. Numerous self-propelled machines have already occupied the commanding heights and important passages in the surrounding area. As long as the six-legged machines appear, they will greet them with all kinds of light and heavy firepower. There were gatlings rockets, anti-tank grenades, RPGs, and even newly made plasma grenades. The six-legged machines hit by various weapons were unable to move forward at all, and the remains of various machines piled up like mountains. Some self-propelled machines even ran out of ammunition, then directly raised their chainsaws 
and rushed into the six-legged machines to start killing them. There are no tactics anymore at this time. It is completely a collision of strength and power. And only the strong can win. The self-propelled machinery manufacturing factory increased its horsepower and produced self-propelled machinery one after another and sent them to the battlefield. Wonkai is making plasma bombs and distributing these weapons to every self-propelled robot. Even Zhang Tuohai himself put on electromagnetic armor and was ready to fight at any time. Just when the battle situation was at its most intense. Suddenly, the prompt system popped up. Be careful. The electromagnetic pulse strike is coming in 10 seconds. Electromagnetic pulse? Zhang Tuohai was surprised. He also had an electromagnetic pulse bomb. So he naturally knew how powerful electromagnetic pulse was. Start the protection immediately. In addition, summon the self-propelled machine to leave the battlefield and return immediately within the time limit of 8 seconds. Zhang Tuohai immediately issued the order. A large number of self-propelled machines immediately threw plasma grenades, broke away from contact at the same time, and returned to the heavy weapons platform. However, 8 seconds is too short. Even if you retreat with all your strength, you can't evacuate much. Moreover, there were too many of those six-legged machines. After killing a group, a large number of them would immediately replace them. It was impossible to kill them all. Many self-propelled machines that wanted to evacuate were entangled by them and unable to escape. At this moment, an electromagnetic pulse missile flew into the sky. Zhang Tuohai looked up and found that it flew into the corona and then exploded. Chapter 641 Infrasound Waves An electromagnetic pulse bomb exploded in the air. Strong electromagnetic waves spread in all directions. Those six-legged machines and self-propelled machines burned their cores after being impacted by strong electromagnetic waves. Each machine lost control and fell to the ground. Various weapons fell to the ground and rolled far away. A strong electromagnetic storm also swept through Zhang Tuohai's heavy weapons platform. However, Zhang Tuohai's vehicle was warned and took precautions in advance. So he was able to deal with it calmly and basically suffered no losses. Commander, do you want to fight back? Xiao I asked. No more waiting. Zhang Tuohai shook his head. Until now, Moriarty has not appeared always wandering outside the radar detection range. And there is no road. If Zhang Tuohai starts to counterattack at this time and cannot find a direction to counterattack at all, he might as well go ahead and pretend to be hit by an electromagnetic pulse bomb. Fish out Moriarty. And then make plans. Understood. Student Chao Ai stopped where he was and made no move. But secretly, he used all his computing power to prepare for the situation. The whole city fell silent. In fact, it would be more accurate to describe it as dead silence. The whole city was like a huge coffin, without any sound. About five minutes later, another electromagnetic pulse bomb suddenly rose into the sky. The electromagnetic pulse bomb exploded in the air again, and surging electromagnetic waves rolled in. However, Zhang Tuohai, who was well prepared, was naturally not afraid and quietly blocked it. However, immediately after, Two more missiles were fired at low altitude and exploded over Zhang Tuohai's car. Classmate Xiao Ai issued an alarm. Type of attack, cloud bomb. The oxygen content in the air has dropped to zero. The temperature is rising rapidly. The air circulation system has been cut off. Do you want to enable cooling facilities? If you don't use it, just carry it for a while and pretend we're dead. I want to see what other tricks Moriarty has. Zhang Tuohai shook his head silently and stood there, waiting quietly. The outdoor temperature rises rapidly. Although there is an isolation device in the car, the temperature inevitably rises. Like a steamer. Sweat can't stop flowing down. However, Zhang Tuohai didn't even wipe his sweat and just waited quietly. He knew that if he turned on the air conditioner, he would probably be detected by Moriarty. If he ran away, it would be difficult to find him. When the temperature dropped slightly, two more missiles were suddenly fired. One exploded in the air and countless small steel balls fell down like raindrops. The other dropped countless small bombs. These steel balls and bombs fell like raindrops on the roof of Zhang Tuohai's car. The smashed roof ping ping pong sounded, and various explosions came one after another. For a moment, Zhang Tuohai even felt that his car might be blown through. However, fortunately, Zhang Tuohai's armor has been strengthened many times, and even the weakest roof is extremely strong. This level of submunition bombs cannot hurt him. At most, the shape of the armor will be deformed, making the vehicle easier to detect by radar. In addition, the chameleon paint also needs to be resprayed. Just after the cluster bomb attack, two more bombs landed near the car. The two bombs did not explode. 
but instead released traces of white gas. According to detection, one of the two bombs released sarin gas, and the other released mustard gas. Classmate Xiao Yai said, Close each cabin door, seal it, and block air circulation. Zhang Tuai said, In fact, Zhang Tuai's car has an ultra-high voltage three-proof system. As long as it is turned on, he is not afraid of nuclear radiation, let alone poisonous gas. However, after turning on the three defense facility, there will be signs on the outside. Zhang Tuohai was afraid that Moriarty would be alert, so he decided not to use it. He put on the mask himself and asked Wang Kai to bring gas masks to Lilith and the others. After the poisonous gas completely spread, a car suddenly appeared slowly on the 3D map. Commander, an anti-tank missile vehicle was discovered. Xiao Yai said. Zoom in the cab to see who it is. Zhang Tuohai said quickly. The 3D map zoomed in rapidly, and the anti-tank guided missile vehicle was highlighted in front of Zhang Tuohai. There was a man sitting in the cab, wearing a luxurious suit, with his hair slicked back, his hair shiny with hair wax, and a golden pear on his nose. The silk-rimmed glasses were none other than Moriarty. As expected, it's you who finally made me wait. Zhang Tuohai was ecstatic. His hard work was not in vain. After a long period of patience, he finally fished out Moriarty. Come here quickly. Hurry up. Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands, eager to launch a counterattack immediately and blow up Moriarty and his car to pieces. However, he knew that since Moriarty dared to appear, he must be well prepared. There are countless backup tactics, so he still needed to be more cautious. It was best to put the opponent in front of him before taking action. Zhang Tuohai waited quietly, and Moriarty took his time, as if on an outing, seemingly in no hurry. Zhang Tuohai could only be patient and wait for Moriarty to approach. 8 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 3 kilometers, 1 kilometers. Zhang Tuohai's palms were also sweating nervously. He put his hand on the button, preparing to wait for Moriarty to rush into the 200 meter range, and then use the laser to kill the opponent with one blow. He would never give the opponent any chance. However, just when Moriarty reached a distance of 500 meters, the car suddenly stopped. What's going on? Have you been discovered? Zhang Tuohai became suspicious, and his palms were already wet with sweat. It is true that lasers can be used at this distance. However, due to poor surrounding air quality, there will be problems with the actual distance and scattering of the laser. A distance of 500 meters is likely to exhaust the power of the laser and prevent it from causing fatal damage. Should we rush over immediately and then fire the laser? Or should we wait and see what happens? Zhang Tuohai was undecided and his heart was pounding. Seeing that the goal was about to be achieved, I suddenly felt worried about gains and losses. At this moment, a speaker suddenly came out of the anti-tank missile launcher on the opposite side. What is this? At this moment, Zhang Tuohai felt waves of tinnitus. It is an infrasonic attack. However, the sound insulation equipment and cavitation bubbles installed in the car are enough to reduce the fatal infrasonic attack to a non-lethal state. But it will still produce adverse reactions. Classmate Xiao Yai said, Following classmate Xiao Ai's words, Zhang Tuohai felt waves of dizziness, and his ears were buzzing. His feet were even a little unsteady, and he knelt on the ground on one knee, retching from time to time. At this time, Moriarty looked at the regional channel in surprise. No way! I have used level 7 equipment to emit infrasound waves, and I am not dead? Is this guy so strong? But fortunately, I'm more skilled and have prepared my backhand. Let's see how you can block it this time. Chapter 642 Plasma Lightsaber In fact, Moriarty has been paying attention to Zhang Tuohai. In order to kill Zhang Tuohai, he specially studied all Zhang Tuohai's equipment, researched a targeted killing move, and quietly deployed it in this world. His original idea was to use electromagnetic pulse bombs to destroy Zhang Tuohai's electronic auxiliary system. Without the electronic auxiliary system, Zhang Tuohai would be like a tiger without teeth, no matter how many missiles and clothes and defense guns there were. There was no fire control. System. Radar system. Integrated control system auxiliary assistance. These are the decorations. However, the 777 responsible for the electromagnetic pulse bomb did not know what went wrong and lost contact. He had no choice but to go to another location and take out several electromagnetic pulse bombs that he had arranged in advance. As for subsequent cloud bombs, cluster bombs, poison gas and infrasound waves, they are all focused attacks on weak links. According to his assumptions, after so many rounds of targeted attacks, no matter how tenacious Zhang Tuohai was, 
he should be dead. However, he never expected that Zhang Tuohai would have the same vitality as Xiao Chong. After so many rounds of blows, he was still alive. There has been no obituary for Zhang Tuohai on regional channels. Okay, since you're not dead, let me kill you with my own hands, Moriarty said, standing up and spreading his arms. Several pieces of electromagnetic armor flew to his body, wrapping him tightly. At this time, Moriarty's whole body was flashing with white light, like a warrior from a science fiction movie. Moriarty came to the weapon rack, picked up an empty sword hilt, pressed it with one hand, and a blue light shot out. This ray of light was more than one meter long. It was contained but not emitted. It just stayed on the hilt of the sword and rotated back and forth with the swing of the hilt. It did not spread at all. And there was even a faint sound of breaking through the air. This is the plasma lightsaber he specially buried. This thing is comparable to a laser. Even if the armor of Zhang Tuohai's car is ten times stronger, it can easily cut through it. If it weren't for the color matching problem, Moriarty could even play a guest role as a Sith warrior at this time. Moriarty was very satisfied with his outfit. In fact, he had many better choices. But he still chose this outfit. There was no other reason for it. He just felt that this outfit was more attractive. Wind. Since so many weapons haven't killed you, then I will kill you with my own hands. Moriarty said as he walked out of the car. Moriarty held the lightsaber upside down and strode towards Zhang Tuohai's heavy weapons platform. The majestic wind blew past and rolled up bursts of smoke and dust, hiding Moriarty's figure, which looked very camera-like. At this time, Moriarty was also filled with excitement and wanted to immediately cut open Zhang Tuohai's car door, grab him out of the car, and cut him into pieces. No, it should be finally chopped into pieces. It was because of this person that he lost his identity as an administrator and could only act like these ordinary players. Even if he died ten times, it would be difficult to relieve the hatred in his heart. However, just when he was still fifty meters away from Zhang Tuohai, he suddenly became alert. Something's wrong! Moriarty instinctively turned around and wanted to run. At the same time, he touched a button on his waist with one hand. This button controlled the backpack on his back. As long as it was activated, he could escape from the scene at a speed of nearly Mach 1, and then control the vehicle through the bracelet to continue the attack. However, before he could make a move, something like a camera popped up on the heavy weapons platform, and a blazing laser shot out, directly piercing the backpack behind him. Boom! There was a muffled sound, and the backpack exploded. The violent vibration made Moriarty stagger a few steps, and his blood surged. If it weren't for the electromagnetic armor's built-in buffer, the sudden explosion would have been enough to shatter Moriarty's heart and lungs. At the same time, two 1,130 close and defense guns also bounced out, and dense 30mm shells hit Moriarty like raindrops. However, those cannonballs were all bounced away when they were less than 30 centimeters away from Moriarty. Waves of light blue light emerged from Moriarty's body. You dare to hurt me! You are dead! I will cut you into pieces! Moriarty turned back and stared fiercely at the heavy weapons platform, his eyes full of fierceness. Then he exerted force on his feet, and plasma flames appeared under his feet, and he flew directly up. However, the prompt system had already given Zhang Tuohai a prompt, and Zhang Tuohai had adjusted the angle of the laser transmitter early. Moriarty seemed to be running straight into it, and a laser hit Moriarty's knee. The hot laser burned off Moriarty's knees. The steady plasma flame also quickly lost its balance. Moriarty flew around in the air like a Brahmo's missile, and finally plunged into the nearby ground. A deep hole was made directly on the flat ground. The entire upper half of the body was embedded in the ground, and the only remaining leg was hanging limply outside. TSK! 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 The flight is not standardized, and my relatives are in tears, Zhang Tuohai said with his mouth shut. No! For people like you, one page of the household registration is enough. How can you have relatives? Zhang Tuohai said as he prepared to pull out Moriarty's armor. After all, he is very greedy for the defensive power of this suit of armor, especially its ability to deflect close-range anti-cannon shells. If he can understand it through research, wouldn't it be great to equip his own electromagnetic armor and car with one suit? However, as soon as Zhang Tuohai took a step, the prompt system popped up. Be careful. Moriarty is gathering strength and preparing to counterattack. Don't get close to him within 30 meters. Seeing the prompt system, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but be a little shocked. He didn't expect that Moriarty could still have the strength to fight back after suffering such a heavy blow. Is this simply inhumane? However, 
since it cannot be within 30 meters. Is 31 meters allowed? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai began to move forward slowly, and the auxiliary sight on his helmet accurately marked the distance between the two. 50 meters, 45 meters, 40 meters, 35 meters. Zhang Tuohai stopped when he came to 31 meters, thought for a moment and took half a step back, raised his hand, and aimed the electromagnetic gun in his hand at Moriarty. Let me see. What is my electromagnetic gun? The cannon is powerful. But your blue-colored barrier is also powerful. The electromagnetic gun began to charge. And a ball of electric light flashed. Feeling the energy level in the air rising rapidly. Moriarty knew that he would fly to death if he continued to hide. He immediately gritted his teeth and said, Mud, this is the time. Let's see who dies. You or me. Moriarty gritted his teeth and pressed a switch. Chapter 643 Crushing Bones and Raising Ashes Moriarty pressed the switch, and his whole body levitated directly into the air. At the same time, his armor flashed with a bright blue light. The next second, these blue rays of light surged and spread rapidly around. Upon seeing this, John Tuohai quickly retreated. After those azure rays of light spread 30 meters around, they slowly stopped, and then quickly collapsed back towards the center, and finally all returned to Moriarty's body. At the same time, the electromagnetic warfare on Moriarty's body fine cracks also appeared on the armor. What shocked Zhang Tuohai the most was that with Moriarty as the center, everything within a radius of 30 meters disappeared, not to mention weapons and corpses. Even the cement floor, landscape plants, and even the soil had all disappeared. Everything is gone. Zhang Tuohai felt air currents around him, surging in the direction of Moriarty. Could it be that even the air has been swallowed up? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. If the blow just now swallowed up the air, then if he rashly approached it, there might not even be ashes left. Sure enough, the former administrator still has such a trump card hidden. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself, and at the same time, he became more determined to kill Moriarty completely. Otherwise, if you give the other party enough time, something might happen. You actually managed to escape this blow twice. I admit that I underestimated you before. Moriarty flipped up his mask, and wipe the blood from the corner of his mouth. Since you can do it to this extent, it also proves that you have matching strength. I can give you a chance. As long as you are loyal to me and belong to my subordinates, I can give you the opportunity to leave this place. Even if you don't want to leave, I can give you the corresponding authority so that you can become all players. How about it? Just swear allegiance to me, and you can get it all. Moriarty's voice is deep and magnetic and seems to contain some special energy that makes people want to believe it. Even Zhang Tuohai, who was on the same level as him, couldn't help but feel waves of trance, and an impulse to agree to him arose in his heart. At this moment, the prompt system popped up. Moriarty's loudspeaker and the glare lamp on his body have a strong psychological suggestion effect. Please stay vigilant and don't be hypnotized by suggestion. The prompt was like a basin of cold water poured on Zhang Tuohai's head, making Zhang Tuohai wake up instantly, and the trance disappeared completely. Zhang Tuohai's back was soaked with cold sweat. As expected, he is a former administrator, and he has an astonishing number of cards. Every word he says can be used as an attack method, which is almost impossible to guard against. We can't let him continue to speak. Otherwise, he might have other tricks. Zhang Tuohai decided not to give Moriarty a chance to speak, so he directly pointed the electromagnetic gun on his arm at Moriarty, and pressed the launch button. Whoosh! A titanium alloy electromagnetic cannon shell was launched and instantly hit the chest of Moriarty's suit. He shot directly through the opponent's chest. Moriarty's eyes were like dead fish. Staring at Zhang Tuohai with disbelief, he never expected that his most valued trump card, hypnotic suggestion, would not play its due role. Ho! Moriarty opened his mouth and stretched his right hand forward as hard as he could to grab something. But in the end, he missed it. The electromagnetic armor on his body also lost its stability due to the big break. It began to disintegrate, and various accessories fell off one after another and fell to the ground. Moriarty himself fell directly to the bottom of the pit. In the regional channel, a red obituary flashed across. Player Moriarty died. In the channel list, Moriarty's profile picture also turned gray. This guy is finally dead. Zhang Tuohai sat down and wiped the cold sweat from his forehead although the time he fought against Moriarty was not long. It seemed as long as a century to him. Zhang Tuohai was dazzled by the endless array of trump cards and various equipment. If it weren't for the prompt system, 
he might have been tricked at the last moment. After resting at the edge of the Yuan pit for a while, Zhang Tuohai flew to the bottom of the pit and took off the electromagnetic armor from Moriarty's body. Although this armor is seriously damaged, it can still be left to Lilith for research. The armor that Moriarty likes must be the best in all aspects. If some research results can be produced, then not a loss. After taking off the electromagnetic armor, Zhang Tuohai searched it carefully again, taking away everything useful and useless. If there was anything valuable, he would make a profit. Just when Zhang Tuohai packed his things and was about to leave, another prompt popped up in the prompt system. If Moriarty's body is not completely destroyed, he will resurrect with a new identity and appearance twelve hours later. Zhang Tuohai, his eyes widened, staring at Moriarty's body in disbelief. He thought to himself, This guy can do it. This method of concealing the truth is so incredible. He can actually deceive the game mechanism. Use the loopholes in the game mechanism to forge evidence of his own death. Change his identity and start over. Hiding in the dark and waiting for revenge. Sure enough, when dealing with these old silver coins, you can't even let go of the corpses. Zhang Tuohai immediately said to 001, Bring me the flamethrower. Soon ten flamethrowers were placed in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai began to spray flames on Moriarty's body. The outer flame temperature of the flamethrower could reach thousands of degrees, and Moriarty's body was soon burned to pieces. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai already had some PTSD, and even bones could not satisfy his inner sense of security. He ground these broken bones into ashes, and then poured the ashes into an unstable potion-making machine. Zhang Tuohai just wanted to completely destroy the body. Unexpectedly, after the machine buzzed for a while, a bottle of medicine actually rolled out. Resuscitation Potion 12 hours after death, resurrect and recustomize the body and appearance. But the total mass of the recustomized body shall not exceed 70% of the existing body mass. There really is this potion. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but frown as he looked at the potion in his hand. The various strange props in this game are simply bizarre. Some of them can even bring people back to life or even change their appearance. It seems that in the future, if you encounter that kind of sworn enemy, it is not enough just to confirm the obituary notice on the regional channel. But you also have to crush it to avoid future troubles. Chapter 644 The Beloved Emblem Bob bang bang! Gentle applause sounded in Zhang Tuohai's ears. Zhang Tuohai turned around suddenly and found that a maid lady wearing a maid costume and an unusually delicate face had appeared next to him. Surprisingly, he was the one who had been in contact with Zhang Tuohai several times before. It turns out you are here in person. Do you have any advice? Zhang Tuohai immediately showed a respectful look and looked polite. There is no other way. Although this maid looks weak, she is indeed a fiercer person than Moriarty. If she is not respectful, she may be dead. As expected of your majesty's favorite candidate, he is good at eradicating the root of the problem. Originally, your majesty wanted me to give you a few words of advice. But now it seems that it is no longer necessary. The maid said slowly, It's too much praise. After hearing the maid's words, John Tuohai couldn't tell what the other party's temper was, but he couldn't say anything and could only keep smiling. You don't have to be like this. You are the seed player that I like. And you are naturally in the same camp as me. As long as you don't do anything detrimental to me, I will not take the initiative to take action against you. Don't worry. I and I Moriarty's kind of trash with crooked thoughts is still different. The maid said slowly, Excuse me. Who is your majesty? What am I going to do? And where are the boundaries of unfavorable things? John Tuohai asked carefully. This was a matter of his life and death. So it would be better to ask clearly. Who is your majesty? You will know it when you are due to know it. As for the unfavorable things, you are not qualified for the time being. If you want to be disadvantageous, you can't talk about it. Now that I tell you, you won't know it. Understand? Maybe after experiencing the next world, you will understand a little bit. The maid glanced at John Tuohai and said calmly. It turns out that after talking for so long, I am still a little reptile and can't stand your eyes. Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but secretly complain in his heart, but his face was still full of smiles. So, may I ask, what should I pay attention to in the next world? The maid glanced at Zhang Tuohai and then said, If you want to say anything, just say it directly. There is no need to beat around the bush. Don't you just want to know the specific situation of the next world? I can give you a hint within the rules. That is, the opponent you will face in the next world will be the fleet. Ship? Zhang Tuohai chewed the word. No, it's a fleet, the maid corrected. In the next world, 
Most of the enemies you will face will be ships. All kinds of ships. From rafts to sailboats. From ghost ships to battleships. All kinds of all kinds of ships. All you have to do is kill them all and leave no one behind. If you can do it, you may be personally commended by His Majesty. So, I need to improve my car to be suitable for sailing in the water? Zhang Tuohai asked. No need. The maid shook her head. The next world is a confrontation world. You must choose an environment that allows contestants in both worlds to adapt. Whether it is a car or a boat, they can move freely. You need to improve your the strength is enough. There is no need to carry out special adapted transformation. I see. Zhang Tuohai nodded and decided to build more Aslock anti-submarine missiles. Although the maid did not mention a submarine. If there is one, it is better to be prepared than not. Behave well in this world and don't let down your majesty's expectations. The maid said. I'll try my best. Zhang Tuohai nodded. By the way, I originally planned to give this to you in the next world. Since I killed the traitor Moriarty on the first day of this world. I'll give it to you as a gift in advance. The maid said and threw something to Zhang Tuohai. Then turned around and took a step forward. Disappearing into the void. What? Zhang Tuohai carefully looked at the things in his hands. It was a crystal clear metal. Like glass. Shining with colorful luster. On the front of the badge are drawn gears and test tubes. Surrounded by a circle of unknown inscriptions. And underneath there is the word LV0. Under seal. The beloved badge. The badge given to the beloved by the goddess. It needs to meet certain conditions before it can be unlocked. Effect unknown. This is the explanation given by the game system. There is no difference between saying it and not saying it. I just learned that the lady the maid said was a goddess. And I became her favorite seed player favorite. Other than that, there is no information. Not even the conditions for unblocking. It's all vague. Where can I guess? Zhang Tuohai was a little dissatisfied. At this time, the prompt system popped up. Beloved's badge. The demigod Lioli, who is in charge of technological authority, issues a badge to the beloved. The beloved can use points to activate it, or wait for the badge to be automatically activated after the next world is opened. Use points to increase the level of the beloved badge. And by increasing the level of the beloved badge, you can unlock different permissions. It is recommended to increase the level of the beloved badge as much as possible if conditions permit. Methods to obtain points. 1. Waiting for Lioli rewards. 2. Trading. 3. Using materials belonging to other demigod worlds to exchange. Use the points activation method, only for activation. Points cannot be handed over using this method. Below is a long list of redemption methods, and steps as well as key points. Is... Do I really need to do this? I always feel a little ashamed. Zhang Tuahai always felt a little uncomfortable looking at the long explanation. However, after looking at the badge in his hand, he thought it would be better to give it a try compared to shame. Strength is more important. If wearing women's clothing can increase his critical hit rate by 10%, then he will definitely wear women's clothing every day. Wakai, go and make me the best milk tea, the best coffee, the best tea, four of the best fruit platters, and two bottles of the best wine. Zhang Tuohai shouted to Wakai to prepare. I know. I know. Wakai quickly walked out of the ecological garden, with a few strands of wool on his head, an apron on his body and half a bucket of freshly squeezed milk in his hand, and walked quickly into the kitchen. After a mechanical buzz, Wonkai walked out holding a large tray. On the tray is a cup of milk tea, a cup of coffee and a cup of tea, plus four fruit platters. Wonkai even carved flowers and shapes on the fruit. Wonkai thrust the tray into Zhang Tuohai's hand. The wine is in the wine cabinet in your room. The top row is the best. I have something else to do. Call me if you need it. After saying that, Wonkai ran into the high-end ecological park in a hurry. Chapter 645 Choosing Talent Zhang Tuohai looked around with the tray in his hand, then secretly returned to his room, locked the door, and then said seriously to classmate Xiao Yai, Remember, don't let anyone in. In addition, what we do for a while must be treated as the top secret and don't let anyone know. Don't worry, Commander. I will never tell anyone else. Xiao Yai, who changed into a tank driver's uniform, saluted Zhang Tuohai and said, Um. Zhang Tuohai nodded, vacated the coffee table, and then arranged three cups of milk tea in a glyph pattern, for fruit plates at the four corners, and two bottles of fruit wine on the left and right. Finally, he solemnly placed the favored badge in the center. Zhang Tuohai looked left and right, and after confirming that everything was ready, he knelt on the ground and said with a serious face, 
I am willing to dedicate my most loyal faith to the eternal goddess in order to spread the glory of the goddess. My own responsibility. A long list of rather shameful prayers came out of Zhang Tuai's mouth. Although the prompt system has stated that it only needs to contain keywords and does not need to be recited word for word. In order to ensure that the ceremony can run smoothly, Zhang Tuai still read it according to the sample text given by the prompt system. After the last word is pronounced, suddenly, streaks of white light shot out from the badge, covering the surrounding tributes. After a while, the tributes disappeared, and the white light gathered back into the badge. The brilliance is restrained, and it looks no different from before. Zhang Tuai quickly ran over, holding the badge in his hand and observing it carefully. At this time, the words, LV0 sealed, changed to LV1. At the same time, the tooltips of items have also changed. You have successfully made the goddess feel your loyal belief. And you have become the goddess' true favored one. Please draw your special ability randomly. Then, ten cards appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Please draw a card within one minute as the talent of the badge. If you do not choose, it will be randomly selected by the system. The countdown begins. Which one should I choose? Zhang Tuohai glanced at these cards. The backs of these cards are exactly the same. And there is no difference at all. At this moment, a series of prompts appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. The first card. Select this card and you will get a storage space of 1 cubic meter, which will continue to increase as the badge level increases. Up to 100 cubic meters. Second card. Select this card and you will get an identification skill, which you can use to identify any items and characters. The higher the badge level, the more information about the items that can be identified. Third card. Select this card and you will get a skill. Death Ray. After use, there is a 1% chance of death. The probability can be increased as the badge level increases. Up to 100%. It can be used up to three times in each world. The fourth card. Select this card and you will get the skill Gluttony. After using this skill, you can eat unlimited food for a period of time. And all the food will be stored in your body as energy. As long as you eat a lifetime's worth of food within a set time limit and never need to eat again. Fifth card. Select this card and you will gain the ability Gun Master. You will gain knowledge on the use and manufacture of most firearms. You can use simple tools to create a variety of firearms and ammunition. Sixth card. Select this card and you will get the ability of Fighting Master. You will get most of the knowledge of fighting and weapon use. And you can use all kinds of cold weapons skillfully. Seventh card. Select this card and you will gain the ability to successfully learn from the master. What you say will be extremely inflammatory making people more willing to believe it. But you will risk being beaten to death if you are seen through. Eighth card. Select this card and you will get the ability Hypnotist. You will have the ability to hypnotize people. The hypnotic effect will increase as the badge level increases. Ninth card. Selecting this card will greatly improve your scientific literacy. You can modify the drawing slightly. And the effect of the modification will increase as your strength increases. Tenth card. No ability is required. All glory belongs to the goddess. Looking at the descriptions of these 10 cards, Zhang Tuohai's mind started to spin. Unexpectedly, the prompt system can actually see through the cards made by the goddess. No, the cards made by the female demigod. From this point of view, the prompt system is much higher than he imagined. However, it is worth thinking about how to choose. The first card is storage space. If it were in other worlds, this would be a magical skill. However, Zhang Tuohai has a car and all kinds of materials are stored in the warehouse in the car. 100 cubic meters looks like it's quite big, but not as big as a warehouse. For Zhang Tuohai, it's a piece of cake. So he was the first to be eliminated. The second identification skill is also quite useful, but it has a prompt system. So the skill is not really needed. The third card is pretty good. Death Ray is 100% lethal after upgrading to level 100. However, the upgrade cycle is too long. The time cost is too much and each world has a limit on the number of times it can be used, which is not cost-effective. He can achieve this effect with a laser, and at the current upgrade rate, by the time he upgrades the badge to level 100, there will definitely be a better way to attack. So there is no need. The fourth card is also useless. He has a high-end ecological garden, and can be self-sufficient in all kinds of food. So there is no need. The fifth and sixth cards are all combat skills. However, with the electromagnetic armor, he is out of the range of firearms and fighting and cannot be used. The 7th and 8th cards belong to the category of psychology. If replaced by game skills, they should be called persuasion and hypnosis. In the past, 
Zhang Tuohai might have chosen one of these two. But Moriarty's electromagnetic armor seems to also have this ability. If it can be cracked, it can completely save a skill slot. The ninth card is also good. You can modify the drawing according to your needs. If Hagrid sees it, he will definitely choose this one. However, this work has been taken care of by Lilith for Zhang Tuohai. So Zhang Tuohai does not need to do it himself. After choosing and choosing, there was only one last option left for Zhang Tuohai, which was not to choose any ability, and all the glory would belong to the goddess. As the saying goes, no one in the world can compete with him. Of course, there was another important reason that prompted him to choose this option, and that was that the card was golden. Golden legend is better than white card and purple card. Right? Zhang Tuohai decisively chose the last card. Chapter 646 Infrasound Transmitter You choose the card. The last card turned over and emitted a golden light. The other cards disappeared one by one. The card you choose is Glory of the Goddess. Glory of the Goddess. You swear to dedicate all the glory of victory to the great goddess of technology Lily Neon. The card has no effect. This is a description of some systems. Every victory you win will increase the goddess' favor towards you. When you are attacked, you have a chance to trigger the goddess's protection. You, including vehicles, will be invincible for one second. And you will not be able to suffer any damage during this period. The triggering probability and duration are determined by the goddess' favorability. This is the prompt given by the prompt system. Zhang Tuohai looked at these two lines of prompts and nodded secretly. The golden card was indeed different. It said that it would not give any rewards, but in fact it was given secretly. It was just a hidden reward and would not be given until the critical moment. Triggered. It seems that this goddess has a bit of Sundra in her. Zhang Tuohai secretly wrote down this item, preparing to find someone to study how to please people with Sundra attributes. At the same time, we should engage in as many battles as possible in the future to increase the favorability and strive to increase the probability of triggering the goddess's protection. This skill is very likely to save lives at critical moments. So don't be careless. Zhang Tuohai admired the badge for a while, and then put it in his inner pocket. As soon as he finished all this, he heard a rapid knock on the door. Who? Zhang Tuohai opened the door in confusion. He was curious about who would knock on his door at this time. He opened the door, and saw that it was empty, and there was nothing. Prank? Zhang Tuohai scratched his head, and was about to close the door when he felt a heavy blow to his lower abdomen. Ouch! Zhang Tuohai covered his lower abdomen and took three or four steps back. Only then did he see clearly that it was Lilith who gave him a heavy headbutt. At this time, Lilith's face turned red with anger. I know I'm short, but there's no need for you to remind me in this way. I really didn't. Zhang Tuohai didn't know how to explain it better. He really didn't see it. However, it seemed that if he said this, Lilith would become angry and give him a headbutt. Forget it. Let's not talk about that. What's the matter with you coming here? Since the explanation is not clear, it is better not to explain it at all. It is better to ask the business directly. Sure enough, Lilith's attention was diverted instantly. I heard that you got a new electromagnetic armor. Please bring it to me quickly. Lilith rubbed her hands and said excitedly, That's why you came here. In fact, even if you don't tell me, I will send it to you later. Zhang Tuohai had previously placed the electromagnetic armor stripped off Moriarty in his bedroom in order not to disturb Lilith when she was conducting experiments. I originally planned to wait until the meal was over before sending it over. But I didn't expect that Lilith came over first after getting the news. Well, they're all here. Zhang Tuohai dragged a large box over. After several blows from Moriarty, the electromagnetic armor was on the verge of disintegration. Many parts were turned into fragments and scattered everywhere. Zhang Tuohai had these self-propelled machines rummage through the nearby area to pick them up. I don't know if I can put it all together, but they are all piled in the box. In the eyes of ordinary players, this thing is just a pile of garbage. But in Lilith's eyes, it is like a treasure. There's actually a mezzanine added to it, which is an interesting idea. Hey, is this how to reduce vibration? What an ingenious idea. What is this colorful light used for? Why is it placed here and arranged like this? Why is there a tweeter here? Lilith muttered as she fiddled with the parts. Her eyes filled with excitement. And this? I just got it. See if it helps. Zhang Tuohai said, taking out the resuscitation potion obtained by Moriarty and throwing it to Lilith. Resurrection after death? Can you also change the appearance of your body? It's interesting. I'll look into it later. Lilith read the instructions and put the potion into her pocket with great care. Potions with this kind of effect are really a timely help for her. 
with a finished product, research can be said to be twice the result with half the effort, greatly increasing the speed of research and development. Lilith went back with a lot of things satisfied. In fact, Zhang Tuohai originally wanted to help. However, Lilith did not agree. It was safer to carry these things by herself. Then, he held a box and left alone. Zhang Tuohai watched from behind. His small body was holding a box that was larger than himself. And he was swaying forward. He felt an inexplicable sense of joy no matter how he looked at it. In addition to these things, Moriarty's plasma sword was also taken away by Lilith. She is going to study the principle to see if it can be reproduced. If so, then the cutting tools in her hand can be updated. After Lilith left, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car. At this time, 001 was using a self-propelled machine to dismantle the RV left by Moriarty. Zhang Tuohai was waiting with interest. This is Moriarty's car. And the probability of finding something good is much higher than that of others. After more than 20 minutes, the huge RV was dismantled into parts by self-propelled machinery. And 001 has two more drawings in his hand. Zhang Tuohai quickly unfolded the drawings. Infrasound transmitter a special accessory for level 6 automobiles that spreads infrasound waves within a certain area. The specific dispersion distance depends on the air quality. Usually the dispersion distance is 500 meters. Crafting materials, high-grade metal ingots, 3 units, metal parts, 50 units, high-grade plastics, 10 units, high-grade electronic components, 5 units, sound-absorbing interior, level 6 car special accessories which greatly reduce the transmission of various sound waves inside and outside the car, and have good sound absorption effects. Materials, high-grade wood 20 units, high-grade cloth 100 units, high-grade plastic 100 units. John Tuohai was overjoyed when he saw these two drawings. He had experienced the power of the infrasonic transmitter just now. The noise reduction effect of his car was good. But when facing the infrasonic transmitter, he still suffered a certain amount of injuries. If it were an ordinary player, the effect would be it will be more obvious. And it is possible to directly shock the opponent to death. Moreover, this thing also does AoE damage and can ignore the thickness of armor. Even if it is bad, it can still interfere with the opponent's actions. It can be regarded as a skill that combines group control and group damage. And it is simply worth the money. Of course, the most important thing is that this is a special accessory for level 6 cars, which can meet some of the upgrade conditions. Chapter 647 Changes in Regional Channels Zhang Tuohai happily made these two pieces of equipment. There is an extra large speaker on the roof. If it were bigger, it might be suspected of being an old-fashioned radar. As usual, Zhang Tuohai made a weapon storage bin and put it away. This thing was a close combat weapon. Normally, it should never be exposed to let people know. After dealing with these things, the sky was gradually getting darker. When we came down, the sun in the distance had already dropped to the horizon. And it was about to get dark. Looks like we're going to spend the night in Buffalo. Zhang Tuohai looked at the gradually falling night and finally made this decision. Driving at night is never a good idea. Especially in this world where all kinds of silicon-based lifeforms are rampant. A beam of headlights may expose the target. Compared with the two, driving during the day is safer. Classmate Xiao Ai, look for a suitable place to spend the night. It is best if the terrain is complex to facilitate our mobile operations. Zhang Tuai said. Clear. Xiao Ai started slowly and drove the car to an area on the edge of the old city. There were all kinds of alleys everywhere and the road conditions were complicated. Even if you encountered an enemy that was difficult to deal with, you could use the complicated environment to escape. It was pretty good. Camping spot. In order to ensure safety, Zhang Tuai also released dozens of self-propelled machines to set up defenses at various hidden points to monitor the surrounding situation. After arranging all this, Zhang Tuohai returned to the car. He took the first look at the situation on the regional channel. At this time, the regional channel was already noisy. Most players found out about Moriarty's death. Although many of them do not know Moriarty's true identity, it does not prevent them from using Moriarty as a springboard to exchange for the opportunity to receive meteorite radiation. Now, with Moriarty dead, their springboard is gone. Many people cursed in the channel. Damn it! Wasn't it promised that the whole body would be transformed? Aren't you not even afraid of Gatlin? Why did he die without surviving the first day? Is it a fake transformation? That's right. I managed to kill two players today. I originally wanted to wait for him to redeem the transformation quota tomorrow. But he died first. Is there anyone who can take over? I feel like you players are unreliable when it comes to contracts and exchanges. 
the last time we contacted and cooperated with United Pharmaceuticals. We just received the supplies, and United Pharmaceuticals betrayed us. They chased us and beat us. It was the same as last time. We agreed. If you kill a player, you can use your heart to exchange for genetic potion. In the end, you finally got enough. The players responsible for the exchange died one after another. And finally they were all ruined. It's like this again. I don't trust you player brokers anymore. One player said angrily. Stop arguing. Let's think about what to do recently. Right. One player is trying to smooth things over. What else can we do? Just follow the main line and do the mission. Then you can take your time and complete the mission. I will stay in the safe city to collect some supplies. I have been fighting for several worlds in a row. I am exhausted from fighting every day. Finally, I have a world where I can fish. As I thought, following those silicon-based beings every day to kill and injure them won't bring much benefit. So it's better to search the supermarket in the back. I filled the car with potato chips today. And I can finally live a potato chip-free life. Live. Shadow. How many chips are there in a bag of potato chips? They're all air. I just moved a potato chip making machine and made as many as I wanted. I raided a warehouse and got 500 kilograms of potatoes. How about we cooperate? Private chat. Private chat. The regional channel quickly went awry. From discussing the future to a harvest display and finally to a product exhibition. Seeing the state of the regional channel, Zhang Tuohai let out a long breath without Moriarty and his minions fanning the flames. The regional channel was obviously much more harmonious and the hostility among the players had dissipated a lot. Although it cannot be said that they get along well with each other. But at least they are not as tense as before. He even saw players from the human camp thinking about cooperating with players from the silicon-based life camp to jointly attack a town and then divide the supplies. This was basically unimaginable in the previous worlds. Could it be that this is the normal environment that a regional channel should have? It was all caused by Moriarty in the past? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. However, Moriarty is dead and all speculations have become empty talk that cannot be confirmed. However, this atmosphere is a good thing for Zhang Tuohai. He can use this favorable atmosphere to start selling some supplies. For example, the spiritual realm system. Today's players, especially those in the silicon base camp, are unscrupulous in most cities because they are servants and are not attacked by silicon based beings. The food in the supermarket is useless to silicon based life, but it is priceless to those players. In terms of a vast area, it is more than enough for a player to occupy a supermarket alone. Once people have money, they tend to spend money lavishly. The same thing happens when supplies become abundant. Now, Zhang Tuohai is selling the spiritual realm system to other countries. As long as the price is lowered a little, most people will definitely rush to buy it. After all, just an automatic driving is enough to make many players excited. Coupled with night guards, automatic weapon auxiliary control, simple radar, etc. I believe no player can resist its temptation. Zhang Tuohai sent a private message to Song Xiaokong, asking her to speed up the shipment and strive to roll out the spiritual realm system in the shortest possible time. By then, all players will become his eyes and tentacles, and the whole world will be under his control. Under the supervision, it will be easier for him to do some things by then. For example, trying to capture that wonderful meteorite. As a member of the hostile camp, it seemed impossible for him to get through the layers of defenses approach and seize the meteorite. However, it is much easier for players in the silicon base camp to get in touch. As long as you control those players, snatch the meteorite, and then trade it to them through the air, wouldn't everything be fine? To achieve this step, two conditions are needed as support. One is to spread the spiritual realm system. The second is to sell the clones and distribute them to every player as much as possible. These clones can be used to monitor the player's every move and can also be used to control the players at critical moments to complete Zhang Tuohai's plan. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai posted an announcement on the regional channel. Accepting the cloning customization job. You can choose your gender, age, race, and other physical characteristics. Appearance customization is supported. Anyone interested can chat privately. Chapter 648 The Plan of Silicon-Based Life Zhang Tuohai's announcement immediately caused a sensation among players. What? You can actually buy clones? You can also customize your appearance? Am I reading that right? So, can it really be customized? Can I get a rim? Put aside your appearance and all that. Can you guarantee that you will be loyal to me? If the price is right, I would like to customize two assistants to help me load the cannonballs. 
Loading the cannonballs by myself is too tiring. Can the character be set? I want a cold and domineering seal character. All kinds of messages immediately flooded the regional channel. Seeing the player's enthusiasm, Zhang Tuohai smiled from ear to ear and immediately said, Don't worry. Personality and appearance are not a problem. They can be adjusted as long as they stay in human form. Hair color and eye color are within the adjustment range. However, the transition from 2D painting style to 3D requires a certain degree of adjustment. So players please pay attention to this. Don't worry. Don't worry. We know it. It's not like Silas hasn't seen it before. Hurry up and give me a Remington. One player was obviously impatient and directly sent over a drawing. John Tuohai unfolded it and found that it was a manufacturing blueprint for reactive armor. This thing is quite good. It can be regarded as a plug-in device for various armors. It can be understood that the outside of the armor is filled with directional blasting explosives. After being hit, it will trigger a directional explosion and use the impact of the explosion to offset the missile or the impact force of the shell, ultimately achieving the purpose of protection. As long as the armor is strong enough to withstand the shock wave of the explosion, it can be used. If the finished product is sold in a regional channel, it will form a stable and long-term flow of water. After all, this thing is considered a consumable. It needs to be replaced once it is hit. It can be regarded as a long-term product. Unexpectedly, this player can actually throw out this kind of blueprint. He is probably a serious otaku and has gone crazy for the paper man's wife. Chong Tuohai was in a good mood after getting such a drawing and replied happily, Don't worry. I will make it for you right now. And I will send you a sample photo later. If you are not satisfied with anything, you can modify it. Really? Thank you, boss. If possible, be sure to add black stockings, which have a slightly voluptuous feeling, but not completely. It is best to make it feel like you are slightly squeezing your legs. Thank you. Ors, looking at what a Jai sent, Zhang Tuohai no longer knew what to say. So he had no choice but to adjust according to the other party's requirements. It took more than half an hour to finally help a Jai debug rim. The finished rim is about 1.6 meters tall. Wearing the iconic made uniform and knee high black stockings. With light blue hair. And a monitoring transmission device. And a self destruction device installed inside her body. In addition, the strength has also been, probably, improved. Which is about three times the level of ordinary people. This is mainly to allow clones to have the ability to control players. After sending Rim, Ajai was overjoyed and sent several Jigong pictures on the regional channel. Along with a message. Let you see my wife. Some players who were still waiting and watching suddenly became uneasy when they saw that Rem was actually taken out. They all left messages to Zhang Tuohai. Give me one too. Just the same one. Such messages account for the majority. Zhang Tuohai did not refuse messages like this. He directly followed the prepared templates, made them in batches, and sent them one by one. Some players also put forward their ideal images. Zhang Tuohai accepted all the orders and took the orders one by one, staying to work on them slowly. This kind of thing is like this. It will be a little troublesome at the beginning. But when there are more matching templates, it will be much easier. For example, Zhang Tuohai has now completed a variety of body and character templates such as Vitality Lolita, Childhood Sweetheart, Iceberg Beauty, Intellectual Royal Sister, etc. And even the rough hairstyle and hair color have been templated. And he only needs to fine-tune the details of the face. That's it. Zhang Tuohai was busy with orders. At the same time, thousands of kilometers away. There was also a group of beings burning the midnight oil to fight. White Elephant City was the original capital, scientific research center, and economic center of the Human Federation. However, after the crisis of silicon-based life broke out, it became the base camp of silicon-based life. In the conference room of the original parliament building, several huge war machines were sitting there. A meteorite with a diameter of one meter was placed in the center of them, emitting a faint light. These war machines looked intoxicated and seemed to enjoy this feeling. Buffalo still can't be reached. A question of silicon-based life. The entire body of this silicon-based life was flashing with dazzling light. Sitting there, it looked like a sun, making it impossible for people to see its appearance clearly. I've tried all possible ways to contact you, but no response. A huge war machine covered in gun barrels immediately responded. It is covered with gun barrels of various calibers, ranging from 27 millimeters to 460 millimeters. It is like a hodgepodge, mixing all calibers of artillery into one. Then go take a look for yourself and see if the human resistance is causing trouble. If so, kill them 
and don't let them interfere with our plans, said the silicon-based life like the sun. Understood. I'll go right away. The silicon base being covered with gun barrels responded while standing up. Its height suddenly surged to 20 meters high, directly poking a hole in the ceiling. And all kinds of gravel fell down. Damn ka! This is the third house you have destroyed! Several silicon base beings around stood up and carried the meteorite farther away to prevent it from being hit by the debris. Then let's get another one! Who told these damn carbon base beings not to build a bigger house? The silicon based life named Ka strode outside. With every step it took, Large sections of the wall were knocked down and turned into pieces. By the way, don't forget to bring some servants with you. They are more experienced in dealing with the rebels, said the silicon-based life that shone with light. No need. They will only bring trouble. Don't let them get close to me. Otherwise, I will kill them first. Ka waved his hand impatiently, strode out, and quickly disappeared into the night. Motor, the silicon-based life, with its whole body shining with light sighed and said, Sir, a dark-skinned silicon-based life came over and said, Take those servants and follow them over there to have a look. The glowing silicon base being paused, and then added, Delay the departure for half an hour. Understood. The dark silicon based life form nodded, and then disappeared without a trace, as if it had never appeared. Chapter 649 Night Attack Cause strode towards the distance. Players and silicon base beings around him all dodged to both sides, fearing that the other party would trample him into pieces. Ka just walked out of the White Elephant City unscrupulously. After leaving the White Elephant City, Ka became even more unscrupulous and ran directly on the road, like a wild dog that escaped the rains. There are too many buildings in the city. Even if it makes a slightly larger movement, it may cause a serious collapse accident. Therefore, it is very frustrated to stay in the White Elephant City. Now, finally having the opportunity to come outside the city, I naturally let go of my hands and feet expressing my joyful heart to my heart's content, running all the way on the road, and even occasionally doing a front flip. Half an hour later, Motor took the gathered human players and headed out of the city. When they arrived outside the city, they were stunned. It turned out that the road outside the city seemed to have been attacked by bombers. The originally neat and flat road now became pitted. The ground was cracked, and there were holes more than five meters long, two meters wide, and half a meter deep everywhere. Big hole. These large craters directly turn the road into a lunar surface. And even off-road vehicles cannot drive on this surface. Not to mention that there are a large number of vehicles in the fleet that are not good at off-roading. Master Mata, what should we do? Are we still leaving? A player asked in a dilemma. Get off the highway and take a detour. Mata said gloomily. The vast convoy drove off the road and began to circle around. The speed of the convoy quickly slowed down. Zhang Tuahai almost didn't sleep all night. Players were very enthusiastic and asked Zhang Tuahai to customize clone dolls. After all, it is to materialize the characters in the imagination. This kind of opportunity is very rare. If you miss it, it is hard to say when the next time will be. This resulted in Zhang Tuahai having a mountain of work. Even if he worked overnight, he could only make more than 500 orders. Zhang Tuahai pinched his face and almost threw up. Finally, he called Wang Kai to help with the production and he wanted to go back and rest for a while. However, at this moment, the ground suddenly shook. Boom, boom, boom. The ground was constantly vibrating, very rhythmic and rhythmic. The dust accumulated on the ceiling fell rustlingly, and the hanging chandelier kept shaking wildly. An earthquake? Zhang Tuohai was shocked and immediately started the car and left its original position. After all, the area he was in before was the old city, and many houses there were in disrepair. If there was an earthquake, that would be the most severely damaged area. After leaving the place, Zhang Tuohai felt something was wrong. He felt that the shaking felt different from a normal earthquake. He had also experienced an earthquake. And there was a clear difference between the earthquake he felt and the one he felt now. Could it be that as the world changes, the feeling of earthquakes will also change? Just when Zhang Tuohai was thinking wildly, classmate Xiao Yai made a discovery. Commander, the source of the vibration has been found. Where is it? Zhang Tuahai quickly ran into the command room. At this time, on the huge 3D map, a metal giant more than 20 meters high slowly entered Buffalo City. This metal giant showed no scruples and rampaged through the city wantonly. Buildings near it collapsed one after another. Cars were crushed and scrapped by it. Fire hydrants were kicked out one by one. And water jets shot out five or six meters high. Everywhere the metal giant walked was turned into ruins. 
It was as if we were on the battlefield of a fierce battle. Even so, the metal giant is still not satisfied. It raised its hands and roared. Roar! Along with the roar, a cannon with different diameters stretched out from his body and pointed in all directions. Boom! Flames erupted from the muzzle, and shells were fired at the surrounding buildings. Explosions of various sizes rose up in the city, and buildings were riddled with holes. The metal giant took two steps forward and fired another round of volleys around it, collapsing and destroying a large number of buildings. What is this guy doing? Does he want to destroy Buffalo City? Looking at the arrogant metal giant on the 3D map, Zhang Tuohai frowned. Originally, if he had encountered this kind of situation before, Zhang Tuohai would basically choose to avoid it. However, now he has not slept all night. His temper is not very good. And he really wants to find a channel to vent his anger. Of course, the final thing was that he suddenly remembered his family badge. The badge needs to dedicate the glory of every victory to the goddess. So, does killing this huge metal giant count as a victory? Zhang Tuohai decided to give it a try. He thought for a while and said to classmate Xiao Yai, Shoot a Zircon to test this guy's weight. Clear. A Zircon hypersonic missile shot out from the vertical launch system, turned 90 degrees in the air, and then shot straight towards the metal giant. Zhang Tuohai was only 5 or 6 kilometers away from the metal giant at this time. The speed of Zircon reached Mach 9. It only took a blink of an eye to fly this distance. We just saw it take off here. And the next second it hit the metal giant's body directly. Boom! A ball of orange fire rose from the giant's body. And large pieces of metal parts flew out. A large piece of the metal giant's body was visible to the naked eye. The metal giant staggered back two steps. His eyes full of anger. Although it's quite strong. It still can't stop the Zircon. Zhang Tuohai took one look at the metal giant and had an idea. Keep firing Zircon missiles and break this guy into pieces for me. By the way, Zhang Tuohai thought for a moment and added. If possible. Leave your head here, and I'll see if I can get some information. Clear. Zircon hypersonic missiles were fired from the vertical launch system one after another, and smashed towards the metal giant. The metal giant Ka felt extremely frustrated. He clearly saw the missiles rising in the distance. But the speed of those missiles was so fast, that he had no time to react and was hit. These missiles hurt when they hit the body. But they are not fatal. They only destroy part of the body each time. Under normal circumstances, he wouldn't care about this kind of attack. According to his guess, this kind of attack is about 8 to 16 times in a group. He can resist it forcefully, and then take advantage of the gap between the opponent's attacks to destroy the opponent. However, the attack from the opposite side directly broke the routine, and there was no need to follow the routine at all. The missiles were like raindrops in a continuous stream. It had lost count of how many shells it had been hit by, and it felt like its body was rapidly disintegrating. After a few more rounds, it would probably be completely broken into pieces. No! I won't give in! Ka roared angrily, and with a strong force. Most of the parts on his body flew away in all directions, and a two-meter-tall silicon-based life jumped out of it. Chapter 650 Strange Dwarf A silicon-based life jumped out from Ka's huge body. This silicon-based life form has a metallic luster all over its body. Electric currents flashing on its body. Its structure is neat and some regular energy blocks are shining brightly. It has an industrial aesthetic and looks like an electromagnetic armor. After the silicon-based life jumped out of it, its speed instantly increased by more than 10 times. Plasma flames spurted out from under its feet, and the whole person flew rapidly in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. It's still a matryoshka design? Zhang Tuohai was a little shocked when he saw the silicon-based life forms flying towards him rapidly. He never expected that there would be such a silicon-based life that could abandon the outer shell and let the core fight alone. It was quite like the nascent soul monks in Xianxia novels. However, he is not very afraid of the incoming. Mechanical nascent soul. His real body has been defeated. How can he still be afraid of you? A nascent soul? Did it with a missile. Zhang Tuai said. The speed is too fast. It is expected to arrive in three seconds. And the missile cannot lock. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Then use electromagnetic warfare to carry out electromagnetic interference. And at the same time use close and defense artillery to block it and create opportunities for lasers. Zhang Tuai said. Clear. At this time, the silicon-based life form, like an electromagnetic armor, had already flown in front of Zhang Tuai's heavy weapons platform. It raised its arms and pointed them at Zhang Tuai. It opened its arms, revealing a black muzzle with electric current flashing on it. It was not expected to be a good thing. However, before it stopped, 
Two 1,130 close and defense guns were already aimed at it. Ta 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 ta. The metal storm composed of cannonballs instantly enveloped the opponent. The dense shells drove the electromagnetic armor hovering in midair back. Although the cannonball could not penetrate the opponent's armor, it successfully interfered with the opponent's movements and interrupted the opponent's attack rhythm. Roar! The electromagnetic armor roared. Unforgivable! I want you to pay. Stab! Stab! Tick dash! Before the electromagnetic armor could say anything, it felt like the surrounding electromagnetic environment had become extremely complicated. A large number of electromagnetic waves were constantly attacking its transmission link. Even its microphones were blocked by electromagnetic waves and connected in series, emitting a harsh current sound. Not only the microphone. Many of its components are disrupted by electromagnetic waves, making it difficult to control. And even various parts tend to disintegrate. Not good! The electromagnetic armor quickly diverted the lines and set up electromagnetic barriers in an attempt to regain effective control over itself. However, as it attempts to regain control of itself, a laser transmitter is trained on it. Buzz! A hot laser beam shot directly through its head. A hole the size of a tennis ball appeared on the head of the electromagnetic armor. It stings and sizzles. A series of currents and sparks came out from inside. A large amount of current began to flow randomly. Many lines began to be overloaded. Each electronic component was burned. And more and more parts lost control. In the end, even the footsteps supplying the suspended plasma flames had problems. The entire electromagnetic armor lost its balance and fell to the ground, stirring up bursts of dust. However, this silicon-based life seems to have survived. Several joints are still functioning, and it seems to be standing up again. However, because there are too many locations where the chain is broken and out of control, its purpose has been defeated. Get a hold of it and see if you can take it apart. Zhang Tuohai looked at the silicon-based life on the ground and said, as soon as the order was given, Two self-propelled machines immediately ran over from the side, grabbing the electromagnetic armor's arms and pulling them down. As a result, with such a pull, the two arms of the electromagnetic armor were ripped off directly. Even if he just pulled off his arms, two human hands were actually exposed. Wait! Zhang Tuohai's eyes widened when he saw it was a human arm. He originally thought it was a passing silicon-based life with no eyes, but he didn't expect that it was actually controlled by a human being. A silicon-based life controlled by humans, which should not be a giant electromagnetic armor, actually destroyed human cities in the middle of the night. What is the purpose of this? Zhang Tuohai was full of curiosity and was ready to interrogate him to see if there were any secrets. Tear apart the electromagnetic armor for me. Don't hurt the people inside. However, if he dares to run, destroy his ability to move. Zhang Tuohai shouted quickly. The self-propelled machine disassembled the electromagnetic armor according to Zhang Tuohai's wishes. After the electromagnetic armor was taken apart, a short man about 1.3 meters tall with a head as big as a watermelon was revealed. He had sparse brown curly hair. His nostrils were turned upward, and his huge fangs were exposed outside his lips. His appearance was ferocious. If it weren't for with a generally human appearance and skin color, Zhang Tuohai almost thought it was a monster goblin in the game. This guy immediately regained some of his mobility after being removed from the electromagnetic armor, turned around and wanted to run away. As a result, before he could even take two steps, he was picked up by a self-propelled machine like a chicken, and its legs were directly interrupted with a gatling gun. Ah! The dwarf screamed. Stop shouting and tell me your name and origin. Otherwise, you will break more than just two legs. Zhang Tuohai walked out of the car, also wearing electromagnetic armor. I won't tell you any news. You don't want to know even a word from me. The dwarf said through gritted teeth. His eyes filled with ferocious light as he stared at Zhang to a high fiercely. Really? Then I'll have to see which one is more powerful. The 100,000 volt current. Or your nerves. As Zhang to a high spoke, he moved his fingers and electric currents flashed on his fingertips. Huh? Dreaming? I said, you will never get even a word of information from my mouth. Someone will come to avenge me. Just wash your neck and wait. As the dwarf spoke, blood flowed from the corner of his mouth. It's going to kill itself. Stop it! Seeing the dwarf's appearance, Zhang Tuohai knew that the situation was not good and said immediately. However, it was still a step too late. The dwarf's pupils had dilated and lost their vitality. To be so decisive and commit suicide by taking poison even if they disagree with each other. Is this a dead soldier sent by some department? Zhang Tuohai frowned and guessed. He glanced at the regional channel and no obituaries popped up ruling out the player as a possibility. 
Zhang Tuohai was about to leave when he suddenly stopped. The incident of Moriarty faking his death is still fresh in his mind. What if this guy has similar skills or items? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai immediately ordered the self-propelled machine to pick him up and throw him into the unstable medicine manufacturing machine. Buzz buzz. After a roar, a jar of medicine rolled out. Zhang Tuohai picked up the potion and looked at it. There were four words written on it. Resuscitation Potion. Chapter 651 Accelerating the Rollout of the Spiritual Realm System It's indeed a resuscitation potion! Zhang Tuohai's eyes were filled with cold light. Now the enemy is becoming more and more cunning. And they have begun to use various means to fake death to escape. It seems that after the war, there will be an additional task of disposing of corpses. However, although the hidden danger was removed, Zhang Tuohai still gained nothing. That damn dwarf really kept his promise and didn't let Zhang Tuohai get even a word of information. Although, the price is its life. Zhang Tuohai felt that there was a mess in front of him, without any clue, and he couldn't analyze it even if he wanted to. After thinking for a while, Zhang Tuohai simply gave up thinking. Since he couldn't figure it out, he just let it go. If the other party was organized, he would definitely send people to investigate, and sooner or later, he would be able to find clues. Zhang Tuohai asked the self-propelled machine to deliver the dwarf's electromagnetic armor to Lilith, while he drove to the location where the external armor disintegrated. There are still a lot of components there. Maybe something can be taken apart. After the car arrived at the scene, dozens of self-propelled machines spread out, picked up the scattered parts, and disassembled them into parts one by one. After more than 20 minutes of hard work, a drawing was actually taken apart. Zhang Tuohai slowly unfolded the drawing. 125 mm rifle gun manufacturing drawings can be used to manufacture a 105 mm rifle gun. Remarks, comes with armor piercing rounds, high explosive rounds, automatic ammunition feeder, and fire control system. Zhang Tuohai blinked. This thing was of no use to him anymore. But it could be sold to those players. According to the information he got from Song Xiaohong. Although many players also own artillery of various calibers, they still feed manually. Manually load and need to use optical sights for aiming. Not only is the efficiency low, but they are also unable to electronically control effects the release of the spiritual realm system. After this artillery is sold to the player, the fire control system can be linked to the spiritual system, and the spiritual system can assist in aiming and supplying ammunition. The player only needs to decide whether to fire or not. I believe that those players will not reject this weapon. This thing can really improve their strength. And as long as some players buy this kind of weapon, and their strength increases significantly. How dare other players not buy it? If your neighbor has a gun, but you don't. Don't you feel panic? By then, the spiritual realm system and this supporting artillery will be available to all player groups. The increase in the overall strength of the players is equivalent to the increase in Zhang to a high strength. There are four to 5,125 mm rifled guns at his call at any time. Just imagining it makes people's blood rush. Even Zhang to a high couldn't restrain himself. Zhang Tuohai immediately learned the drawings, and then placed a deal on the regional channel to order a 125mm rifled gun with an ammunition feeder and fire control system. Moreover, the price is also very cheap. It only requires twice the price of manufacturing resources, so it is easy to use. Many players immediately exploded after seeing this transaction. Many of them have artillery, but most of them are small caliber artillery such as 75mm and 88mm. A 105 mm one can already stand out from the crowd. Zhang Tuohai's 125 mm artillery can kill most people instantly. Coupled with the automatic ammunition feeder and fire control system, it can free them from heavy physical labor and fire the gun while drinking coffee. No one can say no. Even some players who own 138 mm caliber artillery are eager to replace the large caliber artillery on their vehicles. Nothing else. Loading cannonballs is just too tiring. As soon as the transaction is listed, the transaction request list is full. Many people do not have enough resources and hope to use other resources instead. Some players even directly want to exchange various items looted from the supermarket. John Tuohai did not refuse this obvious act of taking advantage and nodded in agreement with a smile. You may make money, but I will never lose money. For John Tuohai, as long as players buy artillery, can they still resist buying the spiritual realm system? after buying the Lingjing system. Can I resist buying other supporting facilities in the future? These players will eventually become meat chickens in Zhang Tuohai's hands. They think they can eat free food every day, but they don't know that they have already become meat on the chopping board. 
and their life and death are in Zhang Tuohai's hands. Even if these players can hold back, Zhang Tuohai can still use ammunition to jam them. After all, the manufacturing of ammunition is also in his hands. Without the supply of ammunition, the artillery in the hands of the players is just scrap metal. The production of artillery is much easier. It only requires assembly line production and does not require other parameter adjustments. Cannons were manufactured one after another and delivered to the players' hands. Those players looked at the brand new artillery and smiled happily. One group of players was the happiest, and they were the players who followed Motor to check out the situation in Buffalo. They estimated that there would be a big battle to fight when they arrived in Buffalo. The replacement of artillery with new calibers would also increase their winning rate. Of course, after Zhang Tuohai announced this deal, not all players had objections. For example, many players protested, saying that Zhang Tuohai was obsessed with making arms and delayed making clones for them. For these people, Zhang Tuohai immediately comforted them with kind words and repeatedly assured that the clones they ordered would be delivered as soon as possible without delay. After finishing these things, the sky was getting brighter. The game system also popped up a prompt. Welcome to all players who have successfully survived to the second day of this world. The main missions continue. Please players continue to perform. In addition, there are a large number of side tasks in this world, and you will get generous rewards after completing them. I hope all players will increase their efforts to explore them. The prompt is very simple. Just mention that there will be side tasks. However, this is enough to make many players ready to take action. Many players, especially those from the silicon-based life faction, raided the supermarket yesterday and found a lot of all kinds of food and drinking water. After eating and drinking, they were bored and began to think about finding something to do. As soon as the news was released, they immediately aroused their interest, and they harassed the silicon-based life forms in their cities, hoping to take on some tasks. Those ordinary silicon-based life forms have no mission. They are annoyed by being harassed. Since they are friendly forces, they cannot attack. They can only run around the city to avoid the harassment of players. For a time, players cause chaos in the cities occupied by silicon-based life forms. It has to be said that what the human army has not accomplished has been accomplished by a group of players. Which is a kind of irony. Just when Zhang Tuohai was tidying up and preparing to make breakfast, student Xiaoyai suddenly issued an alarm. Commander, there are a large number of cars equipped with spiritual realm systems heading towards Buffalo. They are already approaching the suburbs of the city. Chapter 652, Electromagnetic Boomerang Update. What? A large number of players approaching? Zhang Tuohai returned to the command room without caring about eating. On the 3D map, you can see a large group of vehicles coming from the north. Most of these vehicles are equipped with 125mm artillery, which looks majestic. Moreover, those 125mm cannons are shining brightly and look like they are brand new from the factory. This, seeing such a large group of players, Zhang Tuohai had a headache. Whether to kill them or not is a question. If you do it, it's very simple. One electromagnetic pulse bomb will solve it. Or just let the spiritual realm system take care of it and let them attack each other. However, my own spiritual system and 125 meter artillery have just started to be sold. And now there is a mass death incident. Will it affect the reputation and sales? However, if he left it alone, Zhang Tuohai would be a little reluctant to see such a large group of moving resources. After much thought, Zhang Tuohai decided to take a detour to avoid them. You can cut leaks at any time. But this is the right time. Today is the beginning of the second day. So there are plenty of opportunities. After making this decision, Zhang Tuohai decided to pretend that he had not seen this group of players, bypass them, and continue heading north. However, just when his car was about to start, a prompt system suddenly popped up in front of him. Be careful. A silicon-based lifeform is hiding nearby, preparing for a sneak attack. Huh? Is there silicon-based life nearby? Zhang Tuohai was surprised and immediately started searching on the 3D map. However, on the 3D map, the surrounding area is empty with nothing. Zhang Tuohai was a little disbelieving. So he searched carefully several times, but still found nothing. However, since the prompt system has prompted that there is silicon-based life around, it must be there. It is not shown on the 3D map. It may be that the opponent has optical invisibility ability, or radar invisibility ability, or it may be both, so that it can become invisible on the 3D map. What a difficult opponent! Zhang Tuohai frowned. How to force this guy out? Zhang Tuohai wanted to release a wide range of electromagnetic interference. 
but he gave up because he was afraid of alarming players in the distance. First sell a flaw to lure this guy out. Zhang to a high thought for a while, and put on a full set of electromagnetic armor. At the same time, he put classmate Xiao Yai on guard. Then he opened the car door and slowly got out of the car. After getting off the car, Zhang Tuohai glanced back and forth, trying to see where the silicon-based life was hiding. At this moment, in the void, a huge boomerang with a diameter of three meters was shot towards Zhang Tuohai. The boomerang has three plates, each of which is an astonishing one and a half meters long, with extremely sharp edges. Moreover, the shape of this boomerang is full of a sense of technology. It is made of entirely metal materials and has some capacitors on it. The plates flash with electric lights from time to time making it look very powerful. Zhang Tuohai did not dare to neglect, and quickly rolled on the spot, avoiding his original position. At the same time, the close-range defense cannon clacked and fired towards the boomerang, as if it wanted to shoot the boomerang down. However, the boomerang suddenly split into three huge sharp blades, and they all turned and shot in the direction of Zhang Tuohai. Gone! Come back! Seeing this, Zhang Tuohai exerted force on his feet, and suddenly jumped into the air. The three sharp blades flew past Zhang Tuohai's feet. After the three sharp blades flew by, they made a circle, spread out, and surrounded Zhang Tuohai from three directions. Then plasma flames emerged from the rear ends of the three sharp blades, and the three sharp blades shot towards Zhang Tuohai like missiles. It's not over yet! Right! Zhang Tuohai hurriedly stopped the suspension device and fell down. The three sharp blades seemed to have been aware of it for a long time. One of the sharp blades did not move, blocking Zhang Tuohai's upward escape space. The remaining two sharp blades, one on the left and one on the right, attacked Zhang Tuohai again. Damn it! Can't we get rid of them? Zhang Tuohai was secretly worried. The electromagnetic armor in his hand is the original version. It does not have the plasma booster of Moriarty and cannot rely on speed to defeat these sharp blades. The electromagnetic gun is quite powerful, but speed and aiming are issues. For now, there is only one move left. With the help of the electromagnetic armor auxiliary system, Zhang Tuohai stretched out his hands and grabbed the incoming sharp blade. Then a large amount of ultra-high voltage current was fired into the sharp blade, hoping that the strong current would burn the electromagnetic components inside and eventually destroy it. It's burnt. However, there seemed to be blocking facilities inside those sharp blades, and the powerful current could not burn out the electromagnetic components inside for a while. At the same time, the sharp blade in the sky seemed to have found an opportunity and shot downwards rapidly towards Zhang Tuohai's head. It seemed that I want to shoot Zhang Tuohai all over. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai wanted to dodge, but the two sharp blades on his left and right seemed to suck him in. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't shake him off, and his whole body was firmly fixed in place. Zhang Tuohai's heart felt cold. Am I going to die here today? However, at this moment, a strong electromagnetic wave swept through the surroundings. The sharp blades flickered a few times, lost power and fell down. Zhang Tuohai also regained his ability to move. Sorry, I just found the control frequency. My speed was too slow, which frightened the commander. Xiao Ai's self-blaming voice came from the earphones. It doesn't matter, as long as it's okay. Find the guy who secretly attacked us immediately, Zhang Tuohai said, when I detected and manipulated electromagnetic waves just now. I had already locked its position. As Xiao Yai said, he turned the 1130 close range anti cannon and fired at an empty wall. Ta 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 ta. A series of metal storms swept past. On the wall that was originally empty, there was a burst of light and shadow distortion. And a silicon based life form with a height of 2 meters and a body as black as ink appeared. It was the motor that brought players to Buffalo to check out the situation. At this time, the corners of Ma Da's mouth opened slightly revealing a terrifying smile. Ha ha, I didn't expect to find me, so I'll kill you with my own hands, Mada said, and with a push of his feet, he flew up and pounced straight towards Zhang Tuohai. At this time, it was too late for Zhang Tuohai to dodge. He quickly pushed the motor with both hands and released a large amount of current in an attempt to stop the motor. Instead, Mada did not retreat but moved forward, punching Zhang Tuohai with the same punch. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai grabbed Ma Da's arm with both hands and blocked the punch. However, at this moment, a dark dagger suddenly appeared in Ma Da's fist and stabbed towards Zhang Tuohai. Chapter 653 Analyzing Data The dagger was as black as ink, almost integrated with the motor. Moreover, 
the dagger's blade was as thin as paper. From the side, it was just an inconspicuous black line. If you didn't look carefully, it was easy to ignore it. However, the auxiliary function of the electromagnetic armor still caught it, causing Zhang Tuohai to shrink back and avoid the knife. The tip of the knife scraped against the armor on Zhang Tuohai's neck, directly slicing open the armor on Zhang Tuohai's neck, and clusters of electric sparks came out. Seeing this scene, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but break out in a cold sweat. Although the electromagnetic armor on his body is from the first generation, it is also made of titanium alloy. Its defensive power is very strong, and it is not a problem to block direct fire from 100 mm artillery. But facing this small dagger, it was pierced directly like paper. At this moment, Ma de caught the fighter plane, taking advantage of Zhang Tuohai's distraction. He suddenly sank the knife in his hand, pushed forward with both hands, and stabbed Zhang Tuohai straight in the chest. Zhang Tuohai quickly pushed his hands outward, trying to push Ma Da's hands away. However, at this moment, the palm of the motor suddenly opened, revealing an ejection device, which directly pressed against the dagger in his hand. Go to hell! Damn humans! As Ma Da said, he activated the ejection device and fired the black blade towards Zhang Tuohai's chest. It's over! Zhang Tuohai felt a chill in his heart. He tried his best to dodge an attack just now. Now that his hands are restricted, his body is fixed, and the distance is so short, he will definitely be doomed this time. However, after the black blade pierced the chest, it made a crisp sound and then stopped moving. It was inserted into Zhang Tuohai's chest. Um? The emergence of this situation stunned Zhang Tuohai and Ma Da as well. This is impossible! This dagger of mine is made of quantum crystals and is invincible in the imaginary number space. How can it be blocked? This is impossible! Motor's eyes were full of unbelievable shock, and its processor suddenly shut down and fell into a logic loop. However, Zhang Tuohai's face was full of joy. No matter how he blocked it, at least he didn't have to die now. Zhang Tuohai fiercely locked Ma Da's arms, and then squatted down. Classmate Xiao Ai immediately seized the opportunity and fired a laser directly at Ma Da's neck. Ma Da wanted to dodge, but his hands were locked tightly by Zhang Tuohai. This scene seemed to be a reappearance of the previous one except that the positions of the two parties were exchanged. Stab! The hot laser penetrated the neck of the motor, revealing a hole the size of a tennis ball, with various electric sparks flashing. Motor's body instantly lost control. When Zhang Tuohai saw this, he didn't dare to neglect. He punched Ma Da's head off his neck. At the same time, he pulled out the black knife from his chest and cut Ma Da's arm. This black knife looks inconspicuous, but it is extremely sharp. Cutting on the motor was like cutting on tofu. With a single stroke, the entire arm was cut off. So sharp! Zhang Tuohai exclaimed in admiration. No wonder Ma Da's entire tactics were centered around this black dagger. No wonder Ma Da was shocked when the dagger was blocked. It seemed that this dagger was indeed extraordinary. However, now was not the time to investigate in detail. Zhang Tuohai cut off the limbs of the motor, threw them away from his chest, cut the power supply wires, and after confirming that all systems were malfunctioning, he let out a sigh of relief. Zhang Tuohai waved over several self-propelled machines. Send this guy's torso and limbs to Lilith's laboratory. After saying that, he picked up the motor's head. Can you analyze the information in this guy's mind? Zhang Tuohai asked. You can give it a try, classmate Xiao Yai said. As he spoke, he stretched out his mechanical arm and took over the motor's head. Zhang Tuohai turned on his electromagnetic armor to check the situation. He wanted to know what had just blocked the attack of this extremely sharp dagger. After opening the electromagnetic armor, something caught Zhang Tuohai's attention. It was a badge, and its position was exactly where the electromagnetic armor was pierced. This thing blocked the knife? What kind of material is this thing made of? Is it so strong? Zhang Tuohai looked at the badge carefully, and suddenly he discovered something different. Originally, the badge was crystal clear like crystal. But now, there are two more silver rays of light on the badge, swimming in the badge like fish. What are these two rays of light? Zhang Tuohai began to ponder, desperately thinking about things related to two from last night to now. After thinking for a long time, Zhang Tuohai slapped his thigh fiercely. The description of the badge was to dedicate the glory of every victory to the goddess. From last night to now, he had fought two fierce battles. Could it be that these two silver rays of light represent two victories? The more Zhang Tuohai thought about it, the more he felt it was possible. He immediately put the badge back on his chest, and at the same time thought with some dissatisfaction. 
It would be great if the badge could be bigger, so that he could change it into a goggles. After putting the badge away, Zhang Tuohai picked up the dark dagger again. He remembered hearing Mada say that the dagger was made of quantum crystals and was invincible in the imaginary number space. Quantum crystal is obviously the material of this dagger. So what is the imaginary number space? Is this the world I live in? Zhang Tuohai felt that there was too little information and not many conditions for analysis. So he only had to place his hopes on classmate Xiao Yai. Classmate Xiao Yai, have you analyzed anything? I'm sorry, Commander. This guy's processor has a self-destruct program, which destroyed most of the data. Xiao Yai shook his head and said, After my efforts to rescue, I only found some information fragments. It doesn't matter. This is all expected. It would be strange if this kind of existence didn't have a self-destruction program. Let me know if there are any clues. Zhang Tuohai nodded and said, One important point is that this guy's name is Manda. He came from White Elephant City, the capital and technology center of humanity before the disaster. The rest are fragments of information. There is too little information to compare. Classmate Xiao Yai said, Coming from White Elephant City, Zhang Tuohai chewed these words gently. Moreover, this was the capital and technological center of humanity before the disaster. In this case, it is very likely that the meteorite that can turn machines into silicon-based life forms may also be there. It seems that this white elephant city is really worth a visit. Zhang Tuohai's eyes fell on the huge 3D map. At this time, the group of players had entered the suburbs and were heading towards the city. Bypass those players and head towards white elephant city. Zhang Tuohai issued the order. Chapter 654 The Possibility of Floating Cannons and Flying Swords The car bypassed the player and headed north, heading towards White Elephant City. Zhang Tuohai opened the door of Lilith's laboratory with various canes. At this time, the medical cabin slowly rose, and Aya sat up from inside. Compared with before, Aya's face is much rosier, without the sickly pale feeling. Moreover, there is a little more baby fat on her face. And her face is so round that people can't help but want to pinch it. What to do? Zhang Tuohai walked over and asked. Lilith looked at a printed report and put it in the medical record. Do a routine checkup. And draw some blood to do some tests. Lilith said. However, it will take some time for the genetic medicine to take shape. The ingredients of the resuscitation medicine are a bit complicated. And it will take some time to research them. Time. That's not it. Zhang Tuohai said and handed his electromagnetic armor to Lilith. My electromagnetic armor is damaged. Let's see if you can help me repair it. It's made of titanium alloy. Can it be broken? Lilith took the armor and looked at it seriously. After a long while, she raised her head and asked, looking at the damaged edges. It looks like it was pierced by a sharp object. Since it was pierced, it's impossible for you to still be standing here. Did you drink some genetic potion and possess it? The ability to resurrect? Or you cloned yourself? And the one standing in front of me now is your clone? What are you thinking about? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. It is true that the dagger penetrated, but it was blocked by something. Zhang Tuohai said, picked up the badge and shook it. Can you study it for me? Lilith asked excitedly. Don't break it. Also, study this knife. If you can analyze it and make it into armor, no one can hit us. Zhang Tuohai said excitedly. Okay, but it will take time, Lilith said covering her forehead. Her workload has increased visibly. By the way, you came just in time. This is the new electromagnetic armor. You can try it out, Lilith said, taking out a new set of electromagnetic armor and placing it in front of Zhang Tuohai. This set of electromagnetic armor is completely white and flashes with glaze, making it look cooler and more technological. Matched with the electromagnetic armor, there are six small caliber cannons that look like wings. It's only over a foot long. And it's also all white. What are these? Zhang Tuohai picked up one and looked at it curiously. The inside of the artillery is not a black hole, but a lot of electromagnetic components. You try the first generation floating cannon and the supporting equipment of the electromagnetic armor. If there are any problems, I will improve them, Lilith said. Let me try. Zhang Tuohai immediately became excited upon hearing this. Quickly put on the bracelet and press the start button. Buzz. The electromagnetic armor and floating cannon both lit up with blue light. Then, those electromagnetic armors all flew to Zhang Tuohai. And at the same time, the six floating cannons also floated next to Zhang Tuohai. With a thought in his mind, Zhang Tuohai immediately spurted out plasma flames from under his feet. He rushed directly out of the car. 
with a wave of his hands. Six floating cannons shot out a strong high-voltage current at a big tree by the roadside. The big tree, which was as thick as a person, turned into charcoal in an instant, and the trunk was squeezed and broken due to the instantaneous evaporation of water vapor. It fell to the ground with a roar and broke into pieces. Zhang Tohai kicked it with his feet, and the core of the tree turned into coke, which showed how powerful the current was. Not bad. Not bad. Zhang Tuohai grinned from ear to ear with satisfaction. With this weapon, he would have many ways to deal with an opponent like Mondo without having to stalemate with him. By the way, if I connect with someone else and let the floating cannon shoot out electric current to shock them, I won't be affected. Right. Zhang Tuohai asked worriedly. Don't worry. I installed an isolation layer inside the armor. So I won't be electrocuted. Do you think I wouldn't think of such an obvious bug? Lilith rolled her eyes at Zhang Tuohai. That's great. Are there any new gadgets? Let me see them all. Zhang Tuohai was as excited as a child who got a new toy. He wanted to try this and everything. Who do you think I am? It's already difficult to integrate so many functions in such a short period of time. Okay. Lilith looked at Zhang Tuohai speechlessly. But I have a small function. You're fine, you can play with it when you are a kid. What function? Zhang Tuohai asked excitedly. Here. Here you go. Lilith threw an alloy coin to Zhang Tuohai. What is this for? Zhang Tuohai used the coin. Didn't you say last time that you could fire the electromagnetic gun with your hands? This function has been implemented. You can try it. But the power is a bit worse than the official electromagnetic gun. Real? Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately charged his left hand with electricity, allowing the current to form a Tesla coil in his hand, and then flicked the coin with his thumb. Whoosh! The alloy coin instantly penetrated a large bluestone one meter thick, and then flew into the forest and disappeared. It's really happened. Now I can also guess star as a LV-5 superpower. Zhang Tuohai's heart was filled with ecstasy. His childhood dream of being a second-year middle school student finally came true one day. Even though it was achieved through technology, it was finally realized. Wasn't it? Lilith was not far away, silently watching Zhang Tuohai enjoying himself. You can play by yourself. I have to go back and continue my research. Lilith took a long breath, put her hands in her pockets, and walked back slowly. By the way, it's here now. Please help me change this thing. When Zhang Tuohai saw Lilith leaving, he immediately flew back and handed the boomerang he had obtained to Lilith. What is this? Lilith was in a daze looking at this boomerang that was bigger than herself. These things seem to be electromagnetically controlled. They can attack together or separately. They can also automatically find targets and control attacks. I wonder if this thing can be modified to look like a flying sword? I'm getting one. Big one. So I can step on it and fly with my sword. Zhang Tuohai said eloquently. When he first saw Fairy Sword, he was attracted by the chicness of Qing Ming, the flying sword, and he dreamed that he would be able to travel around the world on a flying sword in the future. With a wave of one hand, the Zhuxian sword came out thousands of miles away to kill the demon. Doesn't the appearance of this electromagnetic boomerang just meet his expectations? Moreover, these long swords can also release thunder and lightning, which is a simplified version of the Forbidden Method 9 Tribulations Thunder Prison. When the time comes, I will be flying in the sky on flying swords, and several flying swords will automatically spit out thunder and lightning to attack the players on the ground. How majestic will that be? Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai grinned almost to the back of his head. Chapter 655 The Sweeping Robot Afraid of Death Lilith looked at Zhang Tuohai as if she were looking at a fool. She didn't understand why the good floating cannon was not used and had to be shaped like a flying sword. Moreover, if you wanted to attack solidly, a flying sword was not the best shape. A flying gasoline saw could be considered. Okay, I'll go back and study it. The difficulty lies in the flight control system and the automatic attack system. The appearance is nothing. Just a shell, Lilith responded. Then it's up to you. Zhang Tuohai held Lilith's hand and said excitedly, Thank you so much for making something delicious for lunch. Lilith shook her head and walked towards the car. Well, what do you want to eat for lunch? Zhang Tuohai asked loudly. Eggplant braised noodles. I just like your inexperienced look. Roll. A wrench flew out. Zhang Tuohai was satisfied and called for the autonomous machinery, wanting them to clean up the scene without leaving any traces. At this time, he was shocked to find that all the self-propelled machines had also been replaced. In addition to the original Gatling, individual cloud bombs, plasma grenades, RPG and other basic weapons, 
It has also been equipped with the super battery technology of the first generation of electromagnetic armor, as well as electromagnetic guns and current launchers. Device. In addition, Lilith even went so far as to install plasma thrusters on them, so that these self-propelled machines could take off vertically. It was simply crazy. It can be said that these self-propelled machines are small Zhang Tuhai's. Awesome! Zhang Tuhai gestured a thumbs up in Lilith's direction. This upgrade has virtually greatly improved his group fighting ability. For a moment, Zhang Tuhai felt elated and wanted to find an opponent immediately to verify his strength. Of course, these were just his thoughts. Passing through his mind. Only fools are looking for trouble. Wouldn't it be better to arrive at Baixiang City quietly? Zhang Tuohai drove the car all the way forward. Compared with the first two apocalyptic worlds. Although this world is also in a doomsday state. Relatively speaking, this is only the end of mankind. And it will not have the slightest impact on the environment and other animals. On the roadside, Zhang Tuohai can even occasionally see bison grazing leisurely. However, after driving for a while, Zhang Tuohai could no longer maintain his good mood because the road conditions are really bad. There are large and small deep pits everywhere on the inner city highway. These large pits are at least 5 meters long and half a meter deep. Such deep pits are connected in a series. In some places, they have even collapsed, making it impossible to open them at all. Past. It must have been done by that damn big guy yesterday. I can't live without death. Zhang Tuohai thought angrily. However, there was nothing he could do. He couldn't repair the road. Forget it. Let's change the route. Zhang Tuohai started to look at the 3D map. He checked carefully and found that there was a small city in the northwest called Monitor City, which was stuck between him and Baixiang City. But it was not on the main road. There was a secondary road leading to Baixiang City. It should be fine to go this way. Hopefully it's not destroyed. Zhang Tuohai looked at the path between the two and decided to go directly through the wilderness. At least, this road is a straight line. Theoretically the shortest distance. Moreover, there are no monsters in the wilderness. So it might be safer. After getting off the highway, Zhang Tuohai drove towards Monitor Lizard City. The journey was uneventful, and we encountered almost nothing. Not even beasts of the lion or tiger level. Just when we were about to arrive at the giant lizard city, a small problem occurred. Zhang Tuohai discovered that a group of silicon-based life forms were discovered near the outskirts of the city. In fact, it's not a big deal. With Zhang Tuohai's character, he could just shoot an electromagnetic pulse bullet down and the problem would be over. However, this group of silicon-based lifeforms seems to be a little different. They are forming a circle and seem to be discussing something. What are you doing? Zhang Tuohai was a little curious. He has seen many silicon-based beings fighting and killing. But he has never seen one gathering together to discuss matters. Zhang Tuohai was going to see what these guys were doing. Zhang Tuohai put on a full set of electromagnetic armor and prepared to impersonate a wave of silicon-based life forms. You are following behind. With all kinds of missiles and electronic warfare equipment ready. Ready to support at any time. Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Ai. Clear. After Xiao Ai prepared all kinds of weapons. Zhang Tuohai activated the plasma flamethrower and flew towards the group of silicon-based life forms. Behind him were six floating cannons. Soon, Zhang Tuohai arrived near those silicon-based life forms. These guys were sitting around discussing something. When they saw Zhang Tuohai flying over, they immediately stood up with a roar. It's actually a hateful silicon-based life form that is enslaving our kind. Kill this damn guy! A silicon-based being whose prototype was a dump truck roared angrily and punched Zhang Tuohai. Several other silicon-based life forms also pounced on him from different angles. Why are you hitting me? We are all silicon-based beings. We are born from the same roots. Why are we so anxious to fight each other? Zhang Tuohai quickly flew into the air and said, You still don't dare to admit it. Have you seen any stories about great mechanical tribesmen using carbon-based life forms? The dump truck roared with anger in his eyes. This, Zhang Tuohai was speechless when asked, Am I wrong to quote an ancient poem casually? Most of the various silicon-based beings present were transformed into various household-grade cars, and they had no flying ability or weapons. At this time, Zhang Tuohai was flying more than 10 meters in the air. Those silicon-based beings took Zhang Tuohai Takumi really had no choice. How to deal with these guys? Zhang Tuohai frowned and thought. If you let them go, these people will definitely hinder your actions. If you kill them, it will be meaningless to come here once, and you won't be able to figure out what they are doing here. While Zhang Tuohai was thinking, the dump truck suddenly grabbed a mechanical dog and threw it towards Zhang Tuohai. You actually attacked me. 
Zhang Tuohai was completely angry. Since these people made the choice for him, there was nothing more to say. Zhang Tuohai waved one hand and said loudly, Floating cannon! Attack! Six floating cannons flashed out from behind him, lined up in a row, and fired blue electric light at the silicon-based life forms on the ground. There was a crackle. A series of arcs flashed, and the silicon-based life forms on the ground fell in pieces, and a burning smell wafted out. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly saw a sweeping robot running quickly into the distance. Seeing this, the floating cannon wanted to catch up, but was stopped by Zhang Tuohai. This guy is a bit interesting. Zhang Tuohai looked at the escaping sweeping robot with a playful expression. Since he came to this world, he has seen many kinds of silicon-based life forms. Some are dull, and some are cunning and cunning. But they all have one thing in common. That is, they are not afraid of death, and they hate human beings extremely. However, this sweeping robot is actually running away, which is so novel. Could it be that among silicon-based beings, there are also ghosts who are afraid of death? Could this develop into a silicon trader? Zhang Tuohai thought. Chapter 656 Equipment Replacement Machine The sweeping robot moved very slowly, with a few small wheels. It took a long time to travel 3 or 4 meters. Zhang Tuohai didn't even need to use a plasma jet to catch up with it. Where are you going? Zhang Tuohai came to the side of the sweeping robot and asked lazily. Ah! Don't kill me! I'm very useful! I can sweep the floor! The floor I sweep is so clean! The sweeping robot squatted on the ground, holding its head in defense. Zhang Tuohai, he has seen ferocious, savage, cerebral palsy, ruthless, and cunning silicon-based beings. This is the first time that he has experienced such cuteness and weakness, which makes him really uncomfortable. Who said I'm going to kill you? As long as you answer my questions honestly, I won't kill you. However, if you dare to lie to me, then don't blame me for being rude. Zhang Tuohai said coldly. As soon as he heard that there was a chance of survival, the sweeping robot immediately became energetic. Yes. 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 Just ask. As long as I know something, I will definitely tell you. What are you gathering here for? Zhang Tuohai asked directly. This. The sweeping robot obviously hesitated. That's the first question. It seems that we should just resort to means. Electric arcs appeared on Zhang Tuohai's hands. No. No. Actually, I don't know what it is for. The sweeping robot said quickly. I don't know. You guys are squatting here together and think I'm a fool? Zhang Tuohai looked unhappy. It's like this. We were all pulled here by a dump truck. The dump truck is the boss of this area. He pulled us over and said that we had something to discuss. But he didn't say a few words. So you came over and took care of us. Got it done. The sweeping robot said weakly. So it's still my problem? Zhang Tuohai asked with a sneer. Don't dare. The sweeping robot waved its hands quickly. Since you don't know anything, it seems like it's of no use. Zhang Tuohai's hand lit up with an electric arc. No. No. Even though I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, I still know some news. The sweeping robot said quickly. Then say it. The electric arc on Zhang Tuohai's fingertips became more intense. It's like this. Since his awakening, Dump Truck has always been the big boss in our area. No one has ever dared to object to his words. However, he has always been dissatisfied with his own strength. He feels that his strength is too poor and cannot be compared to the big boss transformed by those weapons cannot follow the main force to conquer humans. He has always wanted to increase his strength, but he has never been able to find a way. However, today he suddenly summoned us and took us to the underground warehouse in the northern suburbs. I guess it may be related to this matter. After all, this is the only thing that can make him care. The sweeping robot said quickly, If he wants to become stronger, can't he just go on his own? Why did he call you all in? Do you have a good relationship? Zhang Tuohai asked. No, our relationship is not very good. After awakening, he often bullied us by taking advantage of his size. He even took away my spare brush to clean his own crevices. Speaking of this, the sweeping robot showed a rare angry look on its face. By the way, if he is really that strong, it will be over if he takes you there. What are you discussing here? Zhang Tuohai asked. To go to the underground warehouse in the northern suburbs, we have to pass through the city. That is the territory of the Brotherhood. If we go there, we will be beaten. If we are unlucky, we may even be killed. Therefore, everyone is very worried. The sweeping robot said with some fear. These words made Zhang Tuohai stunned for a while. 
He did not expect that these silicon-based beings would actually start to become divided internally, begin to divide the mountains, divide their forces, and attack each other. Originally, he thought that these silicon-based life forms were all obeying the orders of a whole body and working together to deal with humans. Now it seems that this is not the case. Of course, it is also fortunate that silicon-based life forms are busy fighting among themselves, which gives humans a certain chance to breathe. Otherwise, I am afraid that humans would have been pushed aside long ago. However, although the sweeping robot is afraid of that brotherhood, Zhang Tuohai is not afraid at all. At this time, classmate Xiao Ai had already driven the heavy weapons platform over. Launch an electromagnetic pulse missile. Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Ai, an EMP flew out of the vertical launch system and flew towards the sky of Lizard City. Boom! A dazzling bright light flashed, and arcs and sparks appeared everywhere in the city. Countless chips were burned, and large numbers of machines and silicon-based life forms stopped functioning. Gone, that fraternity no longer exists. Zhang Tuohai directly carried the sweeping robot into the car and threw it in front of the 3D map. Take me to the underground warehouse in the northern suburbs, and then you can leave. However, if I find out that you lied to me, I promise to tear you into pieces and kill you. Get all your spare brushes. Seeing the serious expression on Zhang Tuohai's face, the sweeping robot directly identified him as a devil, and then pointed out the location of the underground warehouse in the northern suburbs on the 3D map. Xiao Yai followed the route and drove directly through the city, heading towards the underground warehouse. After an electromagnetic pulse bomb was fired, the entire city was indeed very quiet. In the corners of the streets and alleys, you could even see silicon-based life forms that had turned into scrap iron. However, they were not affected by the feeling that Zhang Tuohai had just entered Buffalo at all. A warm welcome. Soon, Zhang Tuohai drove directly through the city and arrived at a suburb outside the city. This suburb was originally heavily guarded. Through the 3D map, you can even see tanks and armored vehicles hiding in the corners. However, now they are all turned into scrap metal. This is the entrance to the underground warehouse. I've only been here once. I don't know what's going on inside. The sweeping robot pointed at a steel door and said, I know. It's none of your business. Zhang Tuohai waved his hand and asked the sweeping robot to leave. Then he found 20 self-propelled machines and saw the door open. Behind the steel gate is a long tunnel. There are also lights inside. What the hell is this place? Zhang Tuohai was a little curious. However, since there was no prompt in the prompt system, there shouldn't be any big problem. So Zhang Tuohai walked on boldly. After passing two turns, Zhang Tuohai felt that his eyes suddenly opened up. And he was facing a huge furnace. This furnace was unusually huge, with a diameter of hundreds of meters. It was so dark underneath that it was hard to see what it was. Next to it is an operating machine similar to an ATM. Zhang Tuohai walked over and saw a line of game prompts pop up on the ATM machine, equipment replacement machine. Put the weapons you don't need into the furnace. And you can get the same new equipment. Chapter 657 Clearance This, looking at the huge furnace and the prompts. Zhang Tuohai frowned. The game prompt gave him the impression that this thing was a gambling machine. To test his suspicions, he tried throwing a Gatling gun into the furnace. A prompt immediately popped up on the ATM machine. Invested equipment detected. Please start replacement immediately. Please note that each person has only one replacement opportunity. And the replaced equipment cannot be put back into the furnace. Solemn reminder, each replacement is random. And whether it matches your wishes depends entirely on luck. Solemn reminder, gambling is harmful to physical and mental health. This machine is just a random replacement device. Not a gambling machine. Seeing these lines of prompts, Zhang Tuohai raised his hand that he originally wanted to press down. If there is no limit to the number of times, then he dares to play here for a whole day. Anyway, he has plenty of materials in his hand and just throws them in one gun at a time as long as there is a probability of getting good equipment. With huge resources, he will definitely be able to it's a gamble. However, he only had one chance, and it was a pain in the ass. It was a one-time deal, and anything he produced depended entirely on luck. This made the huge resources in his hands completely useless. Should we just throw a random weapon in and randomly replace it? Or should we throw in a big item and try our luck? Zhang Tuohai became embarrassed. At this moment, the prompt system popped up. Every item invested will have a hidden score. And different scores correspond to different prize pools. If the score exceeds the upper limit of the prize pool, the probability of winning the top prize increases by 1% for every 100 points it exceeds. Huh? There is actually such a setting? 
there is actually a hidden score. And there are different prize pools. Did you go to a domestic mobile game manufacturer for further training? Zhang Tuohai looked at the prompt system in astonishment. He originally thought it was just an ordinary replacement machine. But he didn't expect it to have such a disgusting setting as separate prize pools. In this case, it will completely eliminate the possibility of players exchanging a dagger for top rewards. The best thing that can be exchanged for a dagger is probably a pistol. It is even possible that cold weapons can only be exchanged. Cold weapon. However, this is good news for me. Zhang Tuohai noticed an interesting sentence in the prompt system. That is, every time an item is thrown in. This is different from, none of the items thrown in. Which means that the furnace is so big. Not just one item can be thrown in at one time, but many items. In this case, it gives Zhang Tuohai room to use a large number of items to increase his points. Or even directly increase the probability to 100% to directly exchange for the grand prize. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai began to sort out his existing items and prepare for a replacement. First of all, those old firearms, cold weapons, anti-tank grenades, and even Gatling and four gun cannons are no longer needed. Zhang Tuohai's weapons have been replaced by high voltage current, electromagnetic guns, and plasma grenades. Those old weapons have no use for the time being. Even if it is needed occasionally, it doesn't matter. He has the drawings and can completely reproduce it. Various honeycomb rockets, Adaz missile preparations, improved tomahawks, and even unfinished cornet missiles were also thrown in by Zhang Tuohai. Now, Zhang Tuohai's main long-range attack method is the Zircon hypersonic multi-purpose missile. Zhang Tuohai basically doesn't like the old, slow missiles. If he hadn't considered that he would face powerful underwater enemies in the next world, Zhang Tuohai would even throw down the Asric anti-submarine missile in his hand. In the same way, the remaining mines should be kept in case of emergency. As for aerial bombs, Zhang Tuohai doesn't need them. Now, there are no enemies who need him to personally drop missiles from high altitudes. It would be better to just use missiles from a distance. After throwing all the supplies down, Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and turned his attention to the aircraft summoner. If we talk about points, these things must have high points. Zhang Tuohai began to screen aircraft. Now, his self-propelled machines have been equipped with plasma jets and have the ability to hover in the air. In addition, they are equipped with electromagnetic guns, plasma bombs, current transmitters, etc., which are almost as good as armed helicopters, or even stronger. Therefore, the three rotorcraft in the aircraft summoner were no longer necessary. They were summoned one by one by Zhang Tuohai and put into the furnace. Even the helicopter in the car was thrown in, leaving the repair room for Lilith to convert into other factories. For the same reason, honeycomb drones were also thrown in. After all, no matter how terrifying the hive is, the upper limit has been limited to 500. Moreover, there is another weakness of the brood machine. Compared with the densely packed self-propelled machines, it is not at the same level. The Gulfstream business jet had no offensive capabilities at all and was abandoned. The Harrier is a second and a half generation fighter, but it is almost out of the question for Zhang Tuohai and has been abandoned. The MQ-1 Predator was the first drone to be eliminated, mainly because it carried too little ammunition. Only two Hellfires. With a better MQ-9 Reaper. Zhang Tuohai did not like this drone at all. Eyesight. Rainbow 4 was retained as a rotation machine for the God of Death. The Growler was also abandoned by Zhang Tuohai after some hesitation. The biggest highlight of this fighter is that it can perform electronic warfare missions. However, this thing overlaps with the electronic warfare system on Zhang Tuohai's car. Moreover, the effect is not as good as it is. The upgrade potential is limited and it is purely useless. Just take advantage of this opportunistic waste utilization. As for reconnaissance, just rely on the two RQ-180 unmanned stealth reconnaissance aircraft. As for the F-35C, Zhang Tuohai thought about it again and again and finally reluctantly gave up. In fact, the biggest advantage of F-35C is that it has a better reputation. However, in terms of actual function, it is not better than RQ-180 and MQ-9 death in Zhang Tuohai's case. At least the latter has longer endurance, more bomb capacity, and a smaller radar reflection area. After doing this, Zhang Tuohai's weapons lost more than half of their weight. I don't know if it's full or not. It looks really uncomfortable. Zhang Tuohai didn't dare to bet and continued to look for and use supplies in the car. After wandering around, he came to the ecological garden and saw the mountains of various foods. These things should be okay. Right. After all, 
It only says that each time you put something in, you can increase the points, but there is no limit to the type. Food can also be used as a weapon, such as this Liaba. Zhang Tuohai waved Liaba with one hand and directed the self-propelled machine to throw various piles of milk, fruits, and vegetables into the furnace. Anyway, these things can be continuously produced if there is land. After using all these things, Zhang Tuohai began to open the cold storage and threw various frozen seafood into it. Most of this was caught by Zhao Wanon in the ice and snow world. She hadn't eaten much, but she didn't expect that it would all be consumed here. Just after Zhang Tuohai emptied one cold storage and even emptied most of the second cold storage, the prompt system finally popped up. The probability has been increased to 100%. Press the redemption button to get the final prize. Chapter 658 Imaginary Number Core Finally filled! Zhang Tuohai rubbed his hands excitedly. He spent a lot of materials and finally increased the acquisition rate to 100%. Just to get the ultimate prize. Now that I am about to succeed, I am still a little excited. I hope the prize will be useful enough and don't let me down. Zhang Tuohai pressed the button. Buzz! There was a buzzing sound. And the furnace lid slowly closed. Then a conveyor belt next to it started running. And Zhang Tuohai saw from a distance that a delicate metal box was transported out of the darkness and slowly stopped in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai walked around the one-foot square metal box three times, thinking about what it was. That's it. Could it be a gun or something? That would be a huge loss. However, the boxes have been delivered to Zhang Tuohai, and they always have to be opened and looked at. Zhang Tuohai pressed the button on the box, and the lid of the metal box slowly opened. The base slowly rose up, revealing an egg shining with blue light. What is this? Zhang Tuohai looked at this thing curiously, wondering in his heart. Could this thing be the pet egg of some peerless mythical beast? Congratulations to the player for obtaining high-value items in the dungeon, which can be dedicated to the goddess and gain a lot of points. This is a prompt from the game system. Obtain the core substance of this world the imaginary number core. This is a prompt from the prompt system. Imaginary number core? What is this? However, the name is not simple. Could it be some kind of material? Zhang Tuohai stretched out his hand to touch the core of imaginary numbers. This imaginary number core can't feel any temperature to the touch. Nor can it feel the volume collision. It seems like a shadow or a mist. However, when Zhang Tuohai raised his hand, he could clearly pick it up, holding it in the palm of your hand. This feeling is amazing. The core of the imaginary number exudes an orchid light. And it seems that its core is also an infinitely deep orchid. However, when you get closer, you can see that the inside of this core is not a pure color, but lines of characters flowing rapidly. There were numbers, letters, hieroglyphs, and cuneiform. In a quick glance, Zhang Tuohai even saw bronze inscriptions and seal script. This is like a sea of characters, filled with various characters. What the hell is this? Zhang Tuohai had never seen such a thing before and was stunned for a moment. The imaginary number core is the core of the imaginary number space. Mastering the imaginary number core will master the editing ability of the imaginary number space. And you can even control the destruction and rebirth of the imaginary number space. The prompt system popped up a line of prompts. Seeing this line of prompts, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. He never expected that the imaginary number space in his hand would be so powerful. If he is right, the world he is in now is called the world of imaginary numbers. If it is regarded as a map, then the core of imaginary numbers is the map editor. With the editor, he is invincible in this world. Any resource, any material, any force can be used at will, and can even be used to modify anyone's thoughts. He can control and rewrite everyone's words and deeds. Even the survival and destruction of this world are all under his control. In one thought, turning your hand becomes clouds, and turning your hands becomes rain. Nothing more than that. If the imaginary core is really so powerful, then the materials invested just now are definitely worth it. No, it should be said to be well worth the money. As long as he has a thought, he can instantly obtain more resources than before. But how to operate this core? Zhang Tuohai fiddled with the imaginary number core left and right, studying the operation problem. At this time, the prompt system popped up again. Please do not try to operate before reaching the level of demigod. Otherwise, the massive amount of information will destroy your brain nerves. However, you can use intelligent AI to analyze part of the algorithm, which will be of great benefit. This thing is so dangerous! Seeing the prompt, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath of air. He didn't expect that such a powerful thing would have such powerful side effects. If it was not used by demigods, the brain nerves would be destroyed. 
and the person would become a fool or even die. This was not what he wanted to face. However, although he couldn't use it, the prompt system pointed out a way for him. That is, he could use the AI analysis algorithm, and he might gain something. Although it can't be used normally, it's not a loss after all. Zhang Tuohai looked at the imaginary number core in his hand and felt both love and hate. What I love is that in the long run, this thing is absolutely valuable. Being able to control a world makes people's hearts beat with excitement. What he hates is that he won't be able to use this thing in the short term and can only drink some soup and water. I don't know if I can return to this world. With the imaginary number core, I don't know if I can travel directly to this world from a distance. Zhang Tuohai glanced at the huge furnace, took a deep breath, and finally returned to the car. He handed the imaginary number core to classmate Xiaoyai. Take it for analysis. Use as much computing power as possible and try to analyze part of the algorithm. What is this? Programming? Can you actually use text programming? I never thought about it. It's so amazing. It's so profound that it requires exhaustive efforts. Xiaoyai took over the imaginary number core, marveled at it, and immediately became addicted to it. He turned on 70% of the spare computing power and began to study it. This is simply a miracle for Xiaoyai, who always saves computing power. Looking at the excited face of classmate Xiaoyai, Zhang Tuohai was too lazy to disturb it and decided to study the next journey by himself. It stands to reason that since Zhang Tuohai has passed through Giant Lizard City, he should leave for White Elephant City. However, Zhang Tuohai's current aircraft summoner was severely damaged. He didn't want to leave just like that. He had to wander around the city to get some supplies back. Where should I find it? Zhang Tuohai started searching on the 3D map. Zhang Tuohai is not interested in those supermarkets in the city. Zhang Tuohai has a relatively complete range of luxury furniture and home appliances. In an ordinary processing factory, the machines there may not be as comprehensive as those in Dong Tuohai's car. The various gun stores are even more boring. After much selection, Zhang Tuohai finally chose an Air Force base not far from the northern suburbs. Although, according to the words of the sweeping robot, powerful war machines have turned into silicon-based beings and followed the main force south to conquer humans. But just as not all home appliances have turned into silicon-based beings, Zhang Tuohai does not believe that all wars, not all machines will turn into silicon-based life forms. Otherwise, there will really be no hope for human beings. Don't resist. Just go to sleep. Zhang Tuohai felt that no matter how good this Air Force base was, there would still be some good stuff left. Let's go over and have a look. Zhang Tuohai started the car and drove towards the Air Force base. Chapter 659. Soldiers arrive at Baixiang City. Zhang Tuohai quickly drove to the Air Force base. At this time, the Air Force base was in a mess, with cracked cement and broken glass everywhere. There were obvious signs of fire in the terminal building not far away, and the outer walls were blackened by smoke. If you look carefully, you can still see bullet marks and explosion marks on the wall which clearly indicates that it has been attacked. Zhang Tuohai drove the car towards the inside and looked at the surrounding situation. The situation at the Air Force Base at this time is definitely not good. It can even be described as bad. All machinery visible to the naked eye is damaged. Not to mention the plane. Even the trailers and shuttle buses were not intact. There are ordinary machines, and there are silicon-based life forms. However, the number of damaged machines is far greater than that of silicon-based life. While Zhang Tuohai looked at the vehicles around him, he felt a pity secretly in his heart. It was such a pity that these planes were in such bad condition here. It would be great if they could be taken away. Unfortunately, these machines are all broken, and their only value is the dismantled parts. Where can I find a complete airplane? Even one will do. At least I won't return empty-handed. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. At this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly saw that one of the hangars in the distance had a closed door while the other hangars either had their doors wide open and were empty inside, or they had collapsed. Even if there was anything, it would have been gone. That's it. Perhaps here is the best opportunity. Zhang Tuohai drove over. The hangar door is made of steel, which naturally cannot stop Zhang Tuohai from using the old method of having the self-propelled machine dismantle the door. The gate was removed to reveal a black painted aircraft. The aircraft was completely black, with a flat body and no vertical tail. The tail was wavy, and looked like a boomerang flying in the sky. X-47B, stealth drone, carrying 12 AGM-158 joint standoff air-to-surface missiles, with a single range of 320 kilometers and a weight of 1,023 kilograms. In addition to 12 negative 65 Malawing Quatch's mines, 
The weight of a single mine reached an exaggerated 1084 kilograms. After seeing this aircraft, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath. This aircraft is almost the highest level of stealth drones in his original world. It has extremely powerful attack capabilities on the ground and water. It can be said that it is an invisible drone. A human version of the B-1B bomber. Beautiful! Zhang Tuohai waved his fist excitedly. He had just lost a lot of planes. And now that he has obtained such a plane, he is naturally more powerful. And those 1265 Malawi and Quach's mines came at the right time, which will be very beneficial to the next world. Zhang Tuohai immediately used the aircraft summoner to put the aircraft away. Now, he has three drones that can attack the ground. Not only do they have good attack power, but they also have good survivability. They either fly at high altitudes, have excellent stealth capabilities, or both, face with weapons of this level. Even in countries with complete air defense systems, you can detect and shoot them down, let alone players with varying strengths and a mixture of weapons. The more Zhang Tuohai looked at the X-47B, the more he liked it, and he was ready to wait until the critical moment to use it to give the competing fleets a surprise. After harvesting the plane, Zhang Tuohai was very excited and immediately sent out self-propelled machines to search everywhere. Unfortunately, nothing else was found. In desperation, Zhang Tuohai had no choice but to order the self-propelled machinery to dismantle the broken aircraft wreckage nearby. However, a lot of materials were dismantled, and even some rare metals were found. I didn't expect there would be an unexpected harvest. Zhang Tuohai hummed a song and directed the self-propelled machine to bring those things to the car. Then he got back on the road. The car continued to drive on the highway. At this time, there were only more than 500 kilometers left from Baixiang City. The road was flat, and there was no interference. Zhang Tuohai directly increased the speed to 200 miles, experiencing a long-lost highway rush. When he was still 50 kilometers away from Baixiang City, Zhang Tuohai finally slowed down his speed and sent an RQ-180 high-altitude unmanned stealth reconnaissance aircraft to Baixiang City to check the situation. As the birthplace of disaster in this world, White Elephant City is naturally different from other cities. The most obvious sign is that there are more and more diverse silicon-based life forms on the road. In addition to the common silicon-based life forms of home appliances and vehicle prototypes, there are also many models that Zong Tuohai has never seen. Some look like a rotor with a Gatling gun. One is a multifunctional crawler vehicle with a small caliber close and defense gun. Some are simply small unmanned rocket launchers. There are also some huge machines running in the city that Zong Tuohai has never seen before. Although I don't know what these machines do. The large caliber artillery and high-level dual-purpose machine guns nearby are not fake. The whole city looks like a huge war fortress. Zhang Tuohai looked at the endless flow of silicon-based life forms and war machines from a distance. With a smile on his lips. It seems quite troublesome. It would be really difficult for ordinary people to handle. But for me, classmate Xi'ai, launch two electromagnetic pulse bombs. Whizzing. Two electromagnetic pulse bombs flew directly into the sky above Baixiang City and exploded. Then, there is no more. Those silicon-based life forms continue to go about their business as if they were not affected. It cannot be said that there was no impact. After the two electromagnetic pulse bombs exploded, the silicon-based beings equipped with weapons became turbulent like wasps that exploded their nest. Then, they all rushed towards Zhang Tuohai as if they had received some order. There was a rush of people coming from the direction where they were. What's happening here? Zhang Tuohai looked at the tide of silicon-based life forms in astonishment wondering why the all-inclusive electromagnetic pulse bomb suddenly lost its effect. Commander, Baixiang City suddenly emitted a specific electromagnetic wave to neutralize the electromagnetic pulse. It is suspected that it has equipment to resist electromagnetic pulse. Do you want to fire two more? Classmate Xiaoyai asked. At this time, Zhang Tuohai also regained his mood. He felt that he had been too smooth recently and underestimated these natives. Since he has electromagnetic pulse bombs, those natives must also have them. This is the home of silicon-based life. If there were no means of resistance, humans would have pushed back. Zhang Tuohai also began to reflect on himself. Whether he had taken so many shortcuts recently that he had forgotten what normal combat was like. Okay, let me see what the White Elephant City is capable of standing still. Zhang Tuohai stood up, preparing to use this White Elephant City as a whetstone to test his true combat effectiveness. 001 deploys battle formation. Following Zhang Tuohai's words, Hundreds of self-propelled machines poured out of the car and formed a battle formation. A big battle is about to start on the outskirts of Baixiang City. Chapter 660. Fierce Battle at White Elephant City. 
a large number of silicon-based life forms poured out from White Elephant City and rushed towards the direction of Zhang Tuohai. In the sky is a flyer with propellers and two gatling doors hanging, looking like a dragonfly. There are many kinds of things on the ground, including a mechanical dog carrying a small rapid-fire cannon, a guard machine holding two rapid-fire machine guns, a small truck-type machine carrying a rocket launcher, and a large number of hanging machines. The silicon-based life forms with various complex weapons all rush towards Zhang Tuohai. Good guy! So many! Looking at this overwhelming formation, even the well-informed Zhang Tuohai was shot by the rolling torrent of metal. Xiao Ai! Can you use electronic warfare to suppress them and change their direction of action? Let them fight on their own first to consume them. Or use missiles to clear the ground. Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. I'm sorry, Commander. The electronic warfare suppression at the front is very powerful. I can only control the electronic warfare suppression at the midline of the battle. I cannot continue to move forward. Nor can I use electronic countermeasures to create a greater advantage for my side. It is also impossible to use missile attacks. Otherwise it will give the opponent room for counter control. But the opponent cannot use electronic countermeasures to create an advantage for them. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Is it comparable to your electronic warfare strength? Zhang Tuohai was surprised when he heard it. Xiao Yai's electronic warfare capabilities have been strengthened several times. And she has loaded several supercomputers of various levels. With Xiao Yai's current electronic warfare strength, he can basically suppress an entire fleet. Or several squadrons of electronic warfare aircraft or a base with powerful electronic warfare capabilities. I originally thought that this level of electronic warfare capabilities has been able to run rampant in this world. But, unexpectedly, he encountered a strong opponent here. Zhang Tuohai frowned and said, In this case, then guard the electronic warfare initiative in this area and don't let the other party take advantage of the loopholes. Understood. Xiao Ai strengthened her control over the electronic warfare in this area. A large number of self-propelled machines were also deployed and many self-propelled machines began to attack the silicon-based life forms rolling in from a distance. The self-propelled machines aimed their round muzzles at the silicon-based life forms in the distance, and then activated the launch button. Whoosh whoosh. One after another cannonballs were fired at those silicon-based life forms. The cannons equipped on the self-propelled machines are electromagnetic guns specially customized by Lilith. Although the shells of this artillery are made of special alloy and do not contain any gunpowder. Due to the strong electromagnetic kinetic energy, the penetrating power of this shell is super strong. After a cannonball is fired, it can directly shoot through the seven or eight silicon-based life forms crowded together, providing a good killing effect. However, there are too many silicon-based life forms. Even if 300 self-propelled machines use three-stage shooting and continuously use electromagnetic guns too. Line up and kill those silicon-based life forms. They still cannot stop those silicon-based life forms. Near. When those silicon-based beings broke through the center line of the firefight, Zhang Tuohai began to make a large number of hand-thrown drones and put them into the battlefield. In addition to its own 10 kilograms of explosives, each of these drones also carries two plasma grenades. This kind of plasma grenade can release a large amount of current, directly ignoring the hard outer armor of silicon-based life, directly burning its core electronic components, and completely paralyzing it. The damage efficiency is several times that of ordinary bombs. It is even easier to use than more advanced electromagnetic guns. This thing is really good. It seems that this kind of electric current weapon is more suitable for dealing with these silicon-based life forms. Zhang Tuohai secretly recorded it in a small notebook. Soon, most of the silicon-based life forms that managed to cross the center line after stepping through the piles of corpses were destroyed by plasma grenades. A small number of fish that slipped through the net were burned to the core by the self-propelled machine's current transmitter, turning them into wreckage. Soon, the debris piled up higher and thicker, until it was piled up like a hill. This greatly affects the shooting field of self-propelled machinery. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly built another 200 self-propelled machines, specifically responsible for cleaning up the battlefield, dragging away the remains of silicon-based life forms, and clearing the battlefield. However, there were so many silicon-based beings that even 200 self-propelled machines could not clean them all. Zhang Tuohai could only retreat continuously. Choose a flat battlefield. And fight again. In this way, Zhang Tuohai retreated and fought at the same time. As time passed by, the silicon-based life forms in Baixiang City seemed to be endless, constantly washing away Zhang Tuohai's defense line. Zhang Tuohai also constantly adjusted his defense line, retreating at the right time, using space to exchange for the lives of those guys. 
The remains of silicon-based life extend outward from Baixiang City for more than 10 kilometers. When the sun set in the west, suddenly, the explosion stopped. Why don't you fight? asked John Tuohai, who was immersed in making a hand-thrown aircraft. Commander, we have killed all the silicon-based life forms that rushed out of White Elephant City. Classmate Xiaoyai said. Kill them all? Zhang Tuohai couldn't believe it and quickly raised his head and looked forward. At this time, he had retreated more than 10 kilometers from the gate of Baixiang City to the position 300 meters in front of him. The remains of silicon-based life were everywhere, densely packed, covering the area. Is there still silicon-based life in White Elephant City? Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and asked. There are still three thermal reaction sources in the city hall. It is preliminary estimated that there are still three silicon-based life forms that have not appeared. In addition, the previous electron suppression has disappeared. Classmate Xiaoyai said, We can't take it lightly. Let's understand the remains of these silicon-based life forms first, and then add some more. Zhang Tuohai ordered, The battle just now consumed a lot of his reserves. Not to mention other things. The alloy projectiles fired by the electromagnetic gun alone consumed a lot of metal ingots. If he hadn't accumulated a lot before, he wouldn't be able to consume it in this battle. If they were ordinary players, not to mention whether they could defeat so many silicon-based beings with their existing combat power, the ammunition consumption alone would not be something they could bear. I'm afraid that in the middle of the fight, we will have to evacuate because we have run out of ammunition. Even if Sean Tuohai had accumulated a lot, he still suffered a lot of losses at this time. Now, no matter what the other party's intention is, he has to make up for the losses first. In addition to leaving a small number of self-propelled machines to monitor the nearby area, Zhang Tuohai sent out all the remaining self-propelled machines to dismantle the remains of silicon-based life and replenish the losses. Originally, Zhang Tuohai expected that if he regained his strength so aggressively, the three silicon-based beings huddled in the city hall would definitely find a way to stop him. However, even when he dismantled all the remains of silicon-based life in the nearby area, he did not see those silicon-based life coming out. It was as if he had been watching the development of the matter and had no intention of coming out at all. Chapter 661 Tower of Babel What are these remaining silicon-based beings doing? Are they coward? Or are they waiting to attack me in the city hall? Or are they waiting for me to let down my guard and suddenly attack me? John Tuohai secretly guessed in his heart. However, no matter what the other party's plan is, John Tuohai plans to move forward step by step. Step by step. To the city hall. When the time comes, we will see what these guys have in mind. John Tuohai moved forward step by step. And the remains of silicon-based life covering the ground were dismantled one by one. Reduced to metal ingots. And stored. There was deathly silence in Baixiang City. As if there was no life at all. However, the 3D map clearly shows that there are three infrared heat source points in the city hall. If everything else was normal, Zhang Tuohai would even think that there was something wrong with the map. What are these guys going to do? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. Forget it. You'll find out when you push it in. Zhang Tuohai thought about it for a long time, but couldn't figure it out. So he simply gave up. He planned to just push in and see clearly. The countless silicon based beings outside have been killed. Are they still afraid of the three hiding things inside? The self propelled machine was retrieving the remains of silicon based life forms while advancing the front line. By the time the battle line was advanced to the gate of White Elephant City, the moon was already in the sky. During this period, the three silicon base beings staying in the city hall remained motionless, as if they were dead objects. You are really calm. Then let me see who you are. Zhang Tuohai drove directly to the door of the city hall. In order to be prepared, Zhang Tuohai sent 200 self-propelled machines to occupy the surrounding commanding heights and important roads. After controlling the situation nearby, he drove directly through the wooden door and rushed into the hall. In the center of the hall, a meteorite emitted a faint light. Three silicon based beings surrounded the meteorite without saying a word. The silicon based beings on the left and right side seem to be the incarnations of main battle tanks. They are painted in desert camouflage. One of the two arms is a 120mm main gun, and the other is a high level dual purpose rapid fire machine gun. The body is covered with reactive armor. Sitting there, it gives people a chilling feeling. However, what concerned Zong Tuohai the most was the person sitting behind the meteorite. It was a ball of bright white light, so bright and dazzling that people couldn't look directly at it. It was like a ball of sun, so bright and dazzling that people couldn't see clearly what was inside. You're finally here, the white light group said faintly. 
I thought you would wait until tomorrow to come in again. The silicon-based life forms transformed from the two main battle tanks on the left and right also discovered Zhang Tuohai. They stood up suddenly, raised their arms, and were ready to attack Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took half a step back. The electromagnetic gun and high-voltage current transmitter in his hand ready to go off. And classmate Xiao Ai's laser transmitter was also ready. Just when the two sides were about to take action, suddenly, two blue crystal-like cubes flew out from the white light and hit the heads of the two silicon-based beings. The two cubes just hit the heads of the silicon-based beings lightly. It seemed that without any effort, the heads of the two silicon-based beings instantly turned into pieces. Electric sparks burst out, and the huge body swayed twice before falling to the ground. Zhang Tuohai on the side had a series of questions in his head, and he couldn't figure out what this white light was going to do. Could it be that this guy is also proficient in some kind of blood sacrifice method, and kills two teammates before taking action? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. I am also prepared in my hands. If the other party's situation is not right, I will take action directly. However, at this moment, Zhang Tuohai suddenly felt that the dazzling white light gradually dimmed. Is it an illusion? Zhang Tuohai looked carefully and saw that the brightness of the white light was indeed decreasing. It was as dazzling as the sun just now. But now it is reduced to the intensity of an energy-saving lamp. Moreover, it is still attenuating. And it seems that it can be vaguely seen. Silhouette of a humanoid figure. What's happening here? Zhang Tuohai became more and more afraid to act rashly and observe carefully. Gradually, the dazzling white light completely dissipated, revealing the location inside. Where the white light is, there is a Rubik's Cube made up of 27 one foot square aqua blue crystal cubes, which is similar to the cube that killed two silicon based beings before. This block was suspended in midair, emitting a faint light. Zhang Tuohai watched the various energy indexes on the screen soar. He knew that these blocks definitely contained extremely high energy. According to current numerical estimates, if they all exploded, the power may be no less than nuclear weapons. What is this? Why is it so scary? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. After roughly estimating the power of this thing, Zhang Tuohai did not dare to act rashly and looked at it cautiously. He discovered that there was a girl sitting on top of the blue Rubik's Cube. The girl is wearing a dark JK uniform. Her hair is lavender. Her eyes are light pink, and her skin is breakable. She looks natural, without any modification at all, giving people the impression that this person was born like this. Feel. Zhang Tuohai felt that this girl looked like she had stepped out of the screen and looked nothing like a normal human being. Who are you? Zhang Tuohai asked cautiously. Electricity surged at his fingertips. Introduce yourself. Alice, Operation Specialist of the Second Group of Tower of Babel. Say hello to you the girl said, nodding to Zhang Tuohai. And at the same time, she touched her chest with her right hand slightly. At her fingertips, she pointed to a badge. On the badge, there was a spiral tower reaching into the sky. Alice? Tower of Babel? So what do you mean by showing up here? Zhang Tuohai asked. Originally, I came here to deal with the tasks assigned by the organization. However, since I have met a good seedling, I naturally want to take care of it. I plan to invite you to join the Tower of Babel, Alice said with a smile. Is this how you invite others? Zhang Tuohai tilted his head and pointed outside. There are still traces of the war there, and the city is full of bullet holes. It's just a test. If you can't pass it, there's nothing to say, Alice said calmly, as if she was talking about an insignificant matter. Test? Zhang Tuohai was slightly shocked. A mere test can mobilize a city's silicon-based life, if it's not bragging then this is really a big deal. Is this guy really so powerful? Zhang Tuohai wanted to be suspicious. But the energy fluctuations when the opponent sat down on the Rubik's Cube couldn't be faked. Why should I join you, and what benefits can I gain? Zhang Tuohai decided to get some information out first, and then make a decision. Why? Alice stroked a strand of hair and said with a smile. Before asking this question, I have a question to ask you. That is, do you think all of this is real? Chapter 662 The Backside of the World Is it real? Hearing Alice's words, Zhang Tuohai pinched his thigh subconsciously, feeling a heartbreaking pain that could not be faked. Moreover, the three meals a day and even the negative distance contact with Lilina were almost the same as the original world. He didn't know what Alice meant by this. Could it be that this world can still be fake? Seeing Zhang Tuohai's puzzled look, Alice smiled. She had seen this situation many times and had long since dismissed it. Actually, this world cannot be considered a complete illusion. 
After all, in this world, if you die, you can truly die, Alice said with a smile. Real death? Death can be divided into real and fake? Could it be said that after death in this world, people can be resurrected? Zhang Tuohai reacted quickly and immediately inferred a possibility from Alice's words. Of course, as long as you pay a certain price, resurrection is not too difficult. Alice swung her legs and said with a smile, Actually, in order to distinguish the real real world, we prefer to call the world we are in now the imaginary number space. In order to facilitate the explanation, Alice drew a circle with one hand, and a translucent electronic display appeared in front of her. A scene like the Milky Way appeared on the screen. A black void with bright spots flickering in it. This is the real scene of the world we live in. There is endless void outside. And those light spots are the world we live in. The imaginary number space. Can you understand this? After Alice finished speaking, she looked at Zhang Tuohai and looked like, like a teacher. If she didn't wear that JK. Yeah. Zhang Tuohai nodded. He could still accept this kind of thing. Unlike the normal world, everything in these imaginary number worlds is actually nothing. It's all just a string of codes. Just change the numbers. Whether it's a wealthy businessman who is as rich as a country, or a god and demon who destroys the world. Monsters are just a thought. Even if the person is dead, you can directly resurrect them by modifying the code. Of course, the premise is that you can control these codes. You mean, we are like some data living in a computer hard drive. As long as we control the code, we can do anything? Zhang Tuohai asked. Yes, as long as you master the code. You are indeed omnipotent. However, just like your metaphor, your omnipotence is only limited to the hard drive and cannot interfere with reality. If someone destroys the hard drive from the outside, even if the power is cut off, we have no power to resist and can only allow ourselves to be slaughtered. Alice sighed. Then your goal is to crawl out of the computer's hard drive? Zhang Tuohai asked. Yes, that's it. I think you don't want your destiny to be controlled by other people's fingertips. Right. Alice stared at Zhang Tuohai with burning eyes. I know that you are an ambitious person and will not be willing to accept this fate. Why not join us and resist this damn fate together? Alice's tone was full of temptation. Alice's words really moved Zhang to a high's heart. He was indeed not an ordinary person. Otherwise, when he just graduated, he would not have gone to a big city to work hard instead of returning home to inherit the soy product factory. However, as an adult who has been severely beaten by society for several years, Zhang Tuohai has basic vigilance and will not make an easy decision based on a few words from others. To be honest, what you said is indeed very tempting. But these are all your one-sided words and I cannot verify them. Zhang Tuohai spread his hands and said, I knew you wouldn't believe it. Let's do this. You can attack my quantum cube at will. I know you have a laser transmitter. It should be a level 8 weapon. The rating is already very high. See if it can hurt you. My quantum Rubik's cube has been destroyed. Alice said as she patted the blue Rubik's cube under her body. Do you even know this? Zhang Tuohai was shocked. He remembered that he had never exposed his laser transmitter in front of the other party. And the other party seemed to have a very affirmative tone. It seemed that he knew him very well. So he became more cautious. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and said, This can at most prove that your quantum Rubik's cube is of a higher grade than the laser. But it does not prove your words. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Alice was slightly startled and then nodded with satisfaction. Yes, I finally met a smarter guy. This time, I can finally save some face with the first team. It seems that if I don't take it, if I tell you the truth, I won't be able to make you believe it. I'll wait and see. Zhang Tuohai also became interested. Alice said nothing and patted the Rubik's Cube beneath her. Fourteen blue cubes flew out from the Rubik's Cube and formed the outer frame of a gate in midair. Alice floated to the outer frame of the door, stretched out a finger, and touched it gently. A wooden door with intricate carvings appeared on the door frame. Alice pushed lightly with one hand, and the wooden door was pushed open. Behind the wooden door is a dark world, in which lines of text pass at extremely fast speeds. There are numbers, letters, oracle bone inscriptions, hieroglyphics, cuneiform inscriptions, bronze inscriptions, and seal scripts. The words that passed by quickly were densely packed and boundless. John Tuohai inexplicably felt that all this looked familiar as if he had seen it somewhere. Suddenly, he remembered, isn't this scene the same as the one at the core of imaginary numbers? Could it be that behind this door is the real core of imaginary number space? Zhang Tuohai secretly guessed. Now, I am going to lead you to see the reality of this world. If you have the courage, 
Just follow me. Alice smiled at Zhang Tuohai, then floated into the wooden door, and the remaining Rubik's Cube floated in with her. Looking at the dark door, Zhang Tuohai said in his heart that without any worries, it would be impossible. After all, it all seemed so bizarre that he could one day see the other side of the world. Of course, all this is just Alice's words. As for the real situation, we still have to wait and see before we can draw a conclusion. Classmate Xiao Ai, follow me in and take a look. All weapons are ready for firing. After Zhang Tuohai finished his instructions, he walked in first, followed by classmate Xiao Ai in a car. Logically speaking, this door is actually only two feet wide. If a normal person wants to come in, it would be a little narrow. However, Xiao Ai easily drove the 3.5 meter wide car in steadily without any obstacles. None. Which is really surprising. When Zhang Tuohai stepped through the door, he was immediately stunned by the sight in front of him. Chapter 663 Code Everywhere you look, there is data like a waterfall, with lines of code flowing everywhere, and the background is endless darkness. So deep that you can't help but want to fall into it. After entering the gate, Zhang Tuohai felt like he had lost his gravity and sense of direction. It seems that any position is the origin, and any direction is standing vertically. If there wasn't a wooden door behind him as a reference, Zhang Tuohai felt that he would be completely lost in this torrent of information and codes in less than two minutes. Welcome to the backside of the world. Alice floated in front of Zhang Tuohai and made an inviting gesture. Zhang Tuohai raised his head and looked around. The black void and the white codes composed of various words all told the magic of this place. How amazing! Zhang Tuohai took a deep breath and finally spit out these words. Although these few words were not enough to express his mood at this time, he could only say so many words, and his lack of expression ability limited his performance. In fact, by this point, Zhang Tuohai had already believed most of it, because classmate Xiao Ai told him that here, the analysis speed of the imaginary number core is accelerated and the effect is improved by about 50%. There are even more wonderful things. Alice grabbed a piece of flying code with one hand and wrote a few lines casually. Then, a marshmallow as big as a person appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai picked up a little and put it in his mouth. It was sweet and tasted just like normal marshmallows. Can you make ice cream? I want coffee flavor. Zhang Tuohai asked excitedly. Forehead. After hearing Zhang Tuohai's words, Alice couldn't help but froze. This is not the first time she has been a guide. After leading other players into this place before, no one was attracted and impressed by this magical method. Only this Zhang Tuohai has an unusual brain circuit. And he still wants to order? Do you look so much like a dessert shop clerk? Alice opened her mouth and said unnaturally, No! Question mark. Zhang Tuohai looked at Alice in astonishment. He originally watched Alice lightly transforming into a giant marshmallow and thought that the other party had mastered the code to control the world. Unexpectedly, the other party actually came to him. Not a word. Do you think the code behind the world is so easy to master? Seeing Zhang Tuohai's eyes, Alice felt like she was going to run away. Moreover, the code rules and code composition of each world are different. Do you understand? Don't underestimate this marshmallow. This is a universal code that took the Tower of Babel several years to parse. Alice said angrily. Actually, there was one sentence she didn't say. That is, this code is in other worlds. Usually Snickers. That's right. I'm being shallow. Zhang Tuohai quickly apologized. But he nodded secretly in his heart. The way he looked just now was partly because he was sincere. And partly because he wanted to see how far the other party had mastered the world's code. Based on Alice's reaction. It seems that she is not yet completely in control. At least not at the stage where she can do whatever she wants. If this is the case then it is very beneficial to him. At least, he has mastered the core of imaginary numbers. And there is a high probability that he can hide it. Seeing Zhang Tuohai apologize, Alice looked a little better. She felt that she had to show Zhang Tuohai something powerful. Otherwise, wouldn't they be looked down upon as the Tower of Babel spanned dozens of imaginary spaces? Here you go. Look at something high-end, Alice said, entering a series of commands in the void. Then, a large amount of code composed of various words poured down like a waterfall. Alice also took out a pair of rimless glasses, put them on, and looked at the long string of code seriously. From Zhang Tuohai's perspective, he could vaguely see that the rimless glasses seemed to have a simultaneous translation function, with the source code on the left and the interpretation on the right. However, the angle is a bit off and the whole picture cannot be seen clearly. 
just when Zhang Tuohai was wondering whether to change the angle and secretly photograph this translation. The waterfall-like code suddenly lit up in red, and an alarm sounded in the space. Although there were some questions that Zhang Tuohai couldn't understand, he could understand the exclamation point wrapped with a triangle. This is definitely a runtime error. Alice murmured to herself in astonishment. That's not right. This world is clearly not occupied. So why can't we find the imaginary core? It shouldn't be. Could it be that the intelligence team made a mistake again? We have to find them next time think about it carefully. This is already the third time this month. It's time to straighten things out. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai floated over and asked pretending to be concerned. It's nothing. It's just that the core of imaginary numbers in this world has been taken away. I originally wanted you to see something interesting. But I'm afraid it won't work now. Alice said calmly, looking calm and calm. But in fact, only she knows how painful it is. That is an imaginary number core, representing the control of an imaginary number space, and representing the resources and quantum crystals of an entire world. It would be heartbreaking for anyone to lose all this in such an inexplicable way. Imaginary number core. What is that? Is it very precious? Zhang Tuohai asked pretending to be a novice. Of course. That is the core controller of an imaginary world. Are you playing games? Do you know about modifiers? This thing is equivalent to a powerful modifier. As long as this world exists, you can modify it and modify the parameters. From in a sense, you are the god of this world, Alice said. Well, if I have an imaginary core, wouldn't I be able to control the entire world's materials? If I have an imaginary core, I must give myself a set of level 8. No, a whole set of level 9 drawings. And then I will rule the world. Let's see who can still deal with me. Zhang Tuohai said with a yearning look on his face. Promise. Alice saw Zhang Tuohai's appearance and shook her head slightly. When you really get the imaginary number core, you won't care about the 8th level or 9th level blueprints. Furthermore, those drawings are in the hands of demigods and are randomly placed. Even if you control the imaginary core, you can only get what they have put before. But you cannot make it up out of thin air. In other words, you can only get things that have existed in this world or things that can exist. You don't even care about the 8th level and 9th level blueprints? Is there anything more precious than the 8th level and 9th level blueprints? Zhang Tuohai immediately asked, Is it something more precious? Actually, you already have it. Alice suddenly said with a smile, I have it. What is it? How come I didn't know it? Zhang Tuohai desperately thought about the items he had obtained. A few days ago, I sent someone to assassinate you. The guy had a dagger in his hand. That thing was made of quantum fragments. I believe you must have put it away. To be polite, that dagger the dagger is even worth more than your entire car. Chapter 664 The Mole and the Hiker That dagger is worth more than my entire car? Zhang Tuohai looked unbelieving. How is it possible? I admit, that dagger is very hard. But, just like that, if there are really many of them, it can be made into armor. It's okay. But if you just want to compare it with my car, it's a bit too exaggerated. Right? Just a little stronger? Alice seemed to have heard something funny. And the corners of her mouth curved. The hardness of quantum crystals transcends dimensions. You can't find any substance that can change quantum crystals in the world of imaginary numbers. Besides, making quantum crystals into cold weapons or armor is actually just the lowest cost method. If the quantity wasn't too small, no one would do it. Really? What's so good about this thing? Can you tell me about it? Zhang Tuohai looked like a curious baby. Alice glanced at Zhang Tuohai, then nodded and said, Well, although this is confidential information, with your strength, you will have access to it after joining the Tower of Babel. So it doesn't matter if I reveal it to you in advance. Actually, the biggest use of quantum crystals is not to make various tools, but to perfuse the world. Alice said, Infuse the world? Zhang Tuohai chewed on these words and thought of some possibilities. Yes, it is to infuse the world. I have told you before that the world we live in is an imaginary number space, existing in an invisible hard disk. No matter how strong we are, it is still virtual, and we cannot break through the hard disk at all. Dot. However, if you have enough quantum crystals and pour these quantum crystals into the world, then the entire world will be quantized, and it will be a brand new dimension. Although the barriers to reality cannot yet be touched, it will be between reality and virtuality. Even if the hard disk is destroyed, those imaginary worlds will be destroyed. But the quantum world will live forever. This is something that all the righteous gods are extremely eager for. Do you think it is precious or not? Wait a minute. 
You mean Junshin? Like Liuli Nianxiao? Zhang Tuhai asked. Luli? That demigod, who controls part of the technological power? She's not qualified yet. Alice glanced at Zhang Tuhai's chest and nodded. So you have also obtained her attachment. So this news can also be used told you. Those demigods are not qualified enough to intervene in the struggle for the quantum world. It may be possible to only go one step further and become true gods. Right now, they are probably still busy gathering those lost imaginary number cores. And they are not yet able to focus your energy on that. Alice said casually. Is the water in here so deep? Hearing Alice's words, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but take a breath. He originally thought that Lioli Demigod was already unattainable. Moriarty once suppressed the bosses in several of his worlds. But they had Alice's eyes. He actually seemed like an insignificant minion. Even if half of this is bragging, it is enough to show that the energy of this organization called the Tower of Babel is amazing. At least, it is an existence that can compete with demigods. By the way, now that you have obtained Lioli's divine support, you will soon participate in the battle between demigods. You should perform as well as possible and earn points to increase the level of the dependent badge as much as possible. This is good for you. Alice thought for a moment and said, What? Is there anything else said here? Zhang Tuohai became interested and pricked up his ears to find out more. It's still too early for you. Improve your badge level first. You will naturally know when it's time to know. Alice said casually. In fact, the real situation is that before she came to this world for business, the organization only had a little information about Lioli. It only knew some general information, but couldn't say anything specific. That's it. Then what else do I need to do? Zhang Tuohai looked modest and eager to learn. Nothing more. By the way, you take this thing, Alice said, throwing something that looked like a mobile phone into Zhang Tuohai's hand. This is? Zhang Tuohai looked at the phone in his hand with a puzzled expression. This is the cross-regional communication equipment developed by our organization. It can even transmit messages across several imaginary spaces. However, the signal may not be very good. I will tell you what task you have at that time. There is only one task for you now. That is, try to increase the level of the beloved badge and climb to a higher position as much as possible, Alice said. So you want me to be a mole? Zhang Tuohai nodded. He was not surprised at all by this request. After all, confidential information of that level has been revealed to him. And it will definitely not work if he does not contribute. Otherwise, the Tower of Babel will definitely not be able to develop as it is now. And it will be eaten up by those old fried dough sticks. Moreover, he also needs to obtain more resources and information through the Tower of Babel's intelligence network. After all, he is just a person. Human beings are sometimes poor. In terms of intelligence and news, there is still a long way to go from these established organizations. Alice is very happy about Zhang Tuohai's success. Zhang Tuohai's appearance saves her a lot of words. In fact, what she hates most is persuasion. What she prefers is physical persuasion, which is simple, hassle-free, and quick to produce results. By the way, pay attention to this person. If you see him, report it to the headquarters immediately. There will be rewards, Alice said and handed a photo to Zhang Tuohai. Zhang Tuohai took a look at the photo and couldn't help but be shocked. The photo shows a silhouette of a person, wearing a brown suit and a straw hat, holding a trolley suitcase in his hand, strolling on the endless road. Zhang Tuohai recognized the guy in the photo at a glance. Isn't this the hiker walking on the road? Zhang Tuohai first saw this guy in the spiral mountain world. At that time, this man walked to the top of the mountain alone, which left a deep impression on Zhang Tuohai. At that time, Zhang Tuohai paid attention and thought that this guy might be eliminated soon. However, what people didn't expect was that neither the biochemical virus world nor the Omic crisis world had killed this person. This guy's avatar was still highlighted in the member list. Moreover, Song Shakam also met each other by chance twice. Surprisingly, this guy has always been on foot and has never been in a car. It can be said that he is a strange person. Seeing Zhang Tuohai's appearance, Alice couldn't help but think, Have you seen him? Chapter 665 Is this really a carriage? That's right. Zhang Tuohai looked at the photo and nodded and said, I have seen this guy several times, and it looks similar to the one in the photo, because I have never driven a car. He left a deep impression on me. If I remember correctly, this guy should still be on the regional channel now. Zhang Tuohai said, Open the regional channel, flipped through the member list, and stopped in front of a person's profile picture. Is it him you are looking for? Zhang Tuohai asked, seeing the man wearing a yellow fisherman's hat on the screen. 
Alice's eyes were about to burst into flames. And she clenched her fists tightly. As expected. It's this guy. I didn't expect that he would hide here and become an ordinary player. It really made things difficult for him. Alice said as she started writing code. Zhang Tuohai quickly and quietly turned on the video equipment and started recording. Soon, a coordinate appeared in the void. And the numbers on the coordinate were still changing. But the change was very slow. Finally found you. Alice turned to Zhang Tuohai and said, I'm going to deal with a traitor. Do you want to come over and take a look? Certainly. Upon hearing this, Zhang Tuohai immediately agreed happily. Alice just said a lot of unfathomable things. Although he believed most of them. He still had doubts in his heart. He just took this opportunity to verify Alice's strength and see how he compares to these veteran players. What a difference. Very good. Since you have this heart, I will teach you more. As for how much you can learn, it depends on you. Alice nodded and floated towards the light door in the void. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly followed. The two of them left the back of the world one after another. The light door disappeared. But the door frame remained. Alice stretched out her finger and drew a strange symbol in the void. This time, a large door reappeared on the door frame. However, what appeared this time was no longer the carved wooden door, but a wrought iron door. The black painted metal railings are welded with wrought iron mandala flowers, which look strangely beautiful. A cold wind blew by, and a bell sounded from inside the door. What world is behind this gate? Zhang Tuohai was curious. Is it possible to directly cross the space and kill the hiker? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. At this moment, the wrought iron gate slowly opened, and a black horse walked out of the gate. This horse is completely black, without a trace of hair, has strong hooves, and is fat and strong. However, the spiral red and black horns on its head proved that this was no ordinary horse. Behind this horse-like shape is pulling a four-wheeled carriage. The carriage is completely black and covered with complicated patterns. The outside of the glass on the carriage is also a metal grid. There are two gas lamps at the front, and at the back of the carriage. High above. Sitting a groom wearing a tuxedo and a top hat. A watery gothic style. Would you like to come up and take a look? Or drive behind? Alice opened the car door and suddenly turned around and asked. Really? If you can? That would be great. Zhang Tuohai said with joy. He has always been a loner. And he is basically the best in this region. And he is still in the stage of exploring the way forward. Being able to visit a strong man's car would be of great benefit to him. At least when I strengthen it in the future. I will have a reference to some extent. So that I won't be blinded. Come up. Alice opened the carriage door and entered. Zhang Tuohai quickly followed and asked Xiao Ai to drive behind him. The inside of the carriage is not as small as it looks from the outside. Instead, it is very spacious. According to Zhang Tuohai's visual inspection, it is at least a hundred or ten square meters. There was a thick scarlet carpet on the floor and next to it was a large fireplace with crackling firewood inside. There was a round table in the corner with some crystal tableware placed on it, which exuded luster under the light of the crystal lamp. It looks a bit like a medieval castle. Zhang Tuohai looked left and right. Did the cars of those old players look like this? That's it? He originally thought there would be a lot of high-tech equipment. At least a very large command podium. Right? Unexpectedly. It was very different from what I imagined. But Alice didn't feel anything was wrong at all. She directly pulled out a high back chair and poured herself a glass of red wine. If you want to see anything, you can wander around by yourself. It used to take about an hour. After speaking, Alice opened a large book and started reading. Seeing Alice's appearance, Zhang Tuohai didn't know what to say and started wandering around in the car. The decoration in the car looked similar to the retro style princess room in the hotel. Except that the fireplace is real and the wood burning in it is also real. Moreover, the firewood seems to have a faint fruity aroma. It should be fruit wood. Or just stuff it with spices. Could it be that this is the greatest simplicity? Zhang Tuohai slowly came to the window. The scene in front of him immediately startled him. Because the scenery outside the window was retreating rapidly. The speed made Zhang Tuohai feel like he was riding a high-speed train. Is this carriage so fast? Zhang Tuohai quickly walked to the carriage door and quietly opened it a crack. A strong cold wind blew in. Moreover, a huge force came from his hand. If Zhang Tuohai hadn't been wearing electromagnetic armor, he would have been blown away in an instant. Don't open the door. The carriage is moving very fast, and the wind is very cold. Alice frowned and said, while pulling down her skirt with her hands, trying to cover by Xingqing's legs a little more. I'm sorry. 
Zhang Tuohai quickly closed the car door upon seeing this. The moment he closed the door, he saw classmate Xiao Ai following behind him. At this time, a strange gadget was installed on the back of his car. Hot plasma flames were constantly spraying from the back of the car, and the heavy weapons platform surged all the way, following the carriage. Classmate Xiao Ai, what is the speed of the car now? Also, what is that thing behind the car? Zhang Tuohai asked with his wristband. He remembered that the maximum speed of the car's engine was around 300. Now that it actually uses auxiliary equipment. What is the speed? Commander, the current speed is 420 miles per hour. The device behind is a plasma thruster. It was specially developed by Miss Lilith because she was afraid that she would not be able to keep up with the speed of the carriage. Without the thruster, she would have been left behind. Classmate Xiao Yai said happily. 420. Zhang Tuohai was stunned when he heard this data. What was the speed of high-speed rail in the original world? If it were any faster, it would take off. Is this really a carriage? Zhang Tuohai fell into doubt. Chapter 666 Quantum Attack Could it be that everything I just saw was an appearance? This carriage is actually a high-tech product. The carriage I saw looks like my Hummer. It's just a skin. And underneath the skin is a, a high-tech tank equipped with thrusters? Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Only in this way can it be explained. Thinking of this, Zhang Tuohai knocked his head in annoyance. He was so stupid to think of such a simple question just now. By the way, do you have any apples there? Alice suddenly raised her head and asked Zhang Tuohai. There are some. What's wrong? Zhang Tuohai asked. There are several apple trees in his ecological garden, which bear fruit every day. However, except for Mick, almost no one eats them, so that hundreds of kilograms are stored. This is because most of them are used to make wine. Otherwise it will more. Give me some if you have time. Alice smoothed her hair and said, Do you want to eat it? I will pick out the best ones and send them over immediately. Zhang Tuohai said immediately, I don't want to eat it. It's Dahe and Ariai who like it. Those two horses outside. Afraid that Zhang Tuohai wouldn't understand. Alice pointed outside. Those two horses? You mean, those two are real horses? Zhang Tuohai glanced outside, a little in disbelief. Of course they are real horses. What gives you the feeling that I have two fake horses? Alice asked after taking a sip of red wine. How could a real horse run so fast? Even taking stimulants can't do it. Right. John Tuohai looked at the rapidly retreating scenery outside the window and said in disbelief. Of course normal horses can't do it. But these two horses like mine are not normal horses. Alice said slowly. Is there any bloodline of gods? Demons and beasts? Or is it a mythical beast? John Tuohai asked curiously. No. It's just an ordinary horse. Then. I modified the data in the background and increased the running speed a little bit. And it became like this. Alice looked matter-of-fact. This. Zhang Tuohai looked at Alice's taken-for-granted expression. And then looked at the rapidly retreating scenery outside the window. He felt that a little bit of what the other person knew was different from what he knew. Then why not add a pair of wings and fly directly? Zhang Tuohai asked somewhat speechlessly. Look. I just said there will be people who agree with my opinion. Alice looked like she had found a confidant. But those guys insisted that the carriage flying in the sky was too cool and could be easily shot down by anti-aircraft guns. They refused to help me change it. And they didn't even let me get in touch with relevant information. Code. It pisses me off. Zhang Tuohai felt that there was a certain reason for the other designers not to modify it. However, sitting on Alice's carriage, he still had a little desire to survive. He followed Alice and cursed those designers for having no brains and not understanding. Aesthetic. This conversation greatly shortened the distance between the two. At the same time, Zhang Tuohai also obtained a lot of useful information during the chat. For example, although his carriage looks like an ordinary carriage without any high-tech equipment, there are a large number of runes drawn on the surface. These runes can condense the free energy in nature, and at critical moments create a plasma barrier for the carriage. Even if an intercontinental ballistic missile hits directly, there will be no problem. And the runes? Is that magic? Zhang Tuohai asked excitedly after hearing this. I heard there is. But so far, I haven't encountered it. However, if it is you, the chance will be higher. Alice said while dragging her chin with one hand. Why are my chances better? Zhang Tuohai was puzzled. That's because people like us who no longer work under demigods can only move within a limited range. If the areas do not overlap, it will be difficult to encounter. But you are different. At your level, 
you have become an addition to receiving corresponding privileges according to their level. The goddess's dependents also have to bear more obligations. What about? Zhang Tuai asked. For example, you have to participate in a confrontation between demigods at least once every two weeks. Didn't I say last time that every world we live in is an imaginary number space? For you, all kinds of things produced in the imaginary number space supplies are sweet baits. But for those demigods, these imaginary spaces themselves are their honey. In order to snatch the ownership of the imaginary spaces, battles often occur between those demigods. Therefore, as a frontline force, you... It's naturally easier to see different types of enemies. Come on. If you see enemies in the magic world, remember to give me one or two magic encyclopedias. I will exchange them for something that satisfies you. Alice said, patting Zong to a high on the shoulder, as if I was optimistic about you. After hearing Alice's explanation, Zhang to a face felt like a bitter gourd. Fortunately, he thought that becoming a dependent was a good thing. But it turned out to be Ma Zai who was responsible for grabbing the territory. Don't act like you've suffered a big loss, Alice said with a smile. In fact, no matter whether you become a dependent or not, you will eventually embark on this path. But dependents are carefully selected seed players with more potential. The preferential treatment given to you is more. In fact, I am quite envious of you. If I could have become a dependent back then, maybe my achievements would be more than what I am today. Alice sighed quietly as she spoke. Is there something hidden? Zhang Tuohai was about to ask when the carriage suddenly stopped. We've arrived. Alice's spirit was shaken. She suddenly floated up from her seat and rushed out. The Rubik's Cube that had been floating beside her also floated out with it. Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly followed, unlocking the weapon safety and getting ready for battle. Outside the carriage, there is a straight and long road. A man wearing a brown jacket and a yellow fisherman's hat, pulling a trolley box, is walking forward slowly. Kai, you bastard. Stop! Alice roared angrily, and there was no wind around her. Like a cat with explosive fur. Ahead, the man blocking the trolley suitcase, who had been moving forward steadily stopped, turned his head slowly, stared at Alice with a pair of gloomy eyes, and said slowly for a long time, I have already exited the Tower of Babel. Let's each take a step back. Wouldn't it be better if we don't owe each other anything? Don't we owe each other anything? You killed Sister Monica and Uncle Ling Fong. And you just want to walk away like this? Stop dreaming. Go to hell and apologize to them. Following Alice's words, the Rubik's Cube slammed in the direction of Kai. Kai jumped back to avoid the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube hit the ground. However, it didn't make any noise. When the Rubik's Cube flew up again, the area originally hit by the Rubik's Cube turned into nothingness. It's not a big pit, but complete nothingness. The kind of nothingness a deep darkness, just like the material in the game, has not been loaded. Chapter 667 Black Umbrella What attack mode is this? Looking at the nothingness on the ground, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shudder. In fact, when he first saw Alice hitting someone with a Rubik's Cube, he had a small thought in his heart. He felt that the other party's fighting method was too old. What age was it? They were still smashing people with cold weapons, coming and going. Looking at it now, I feel that I am too young. Although Alice's attack method is a little backward. The damage is really astonishing. This is no longer armor-piercing damage or real damage. This is directly killing you from the materials and codes. A proper dimensionality reduction strike. Faced with this kind of attack. It doesn't matter how thick you stack the armor. It's like you bought a magical outfit that increases defense by 100 in the game. And someone else directly opened administrator rights and deleted your character. How to fight this? While being frightened. Zhang Tuohai was also grateful for his previous decision. Fortunately, he had an attack of LSP soul before and joined the Tower of Babel. Otherwise, he would have become nothingness now. After a period of fear, a hint of ambition arose in Zhang Tuohai's heart. That is, he also wanted to master this attack method. However, the most important thing at the moment is to help Alice encircle Kai and try to leave a good impression in front of Alice. Zhang Tuohai issued orders through his bracelet and began to mobilize the autonomous machinery. On the field, the battle between Alice and Kai has entered a fever pitch. After Alice missed a hit, she rushed towards Kai again, holding the Rubik's Cube. Kai opened his suitcase, took out a dark umbrella, and then threw the suitcase in front of him. Kai swung the black umbrella in his hand and stared at Alice with burning eyes. Alice, for the sake of my former colleague, I will give you a move. If you dare to do it again, 
Don't blame me for being rude. Stop being hypocritical. Alice's eyes were filled with anger. When you killed Sister Monica and Uncle Ling Fong, you never considered friendship with colleagues. I will avenge them today, Alice said, raising the Rubik's Cube in her hand and hitting Kai again. Kaiser raised the black umbrella in his hand and pointed at the Rubik's Cube in Alice's hand. A huge force came from the Rubik's Cube, and Alice flew into the air. However, after Alice flew back seven or eight meters, she was directly suspended in midair. Go! Alice stretched out one hand and pointed her index finger at Kai. Uh-huh. The Rubik's Cube suspended next to Alice suddenly decomposed into 27 cubes, hitting Kai like a sudden storm. Upon seeing this, Kai immediately opened the black umbrella in his hand, covering most of his body. Bang, bang, bang. After the blue cubes hit the black umbrella, they were all bounced out and scattered around. Everything in the surrounding area turned into pieces of nothingness after being hit by the block. Looking at the dark nothingness in the surrounding space, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but shrink his neck and carefully took half a step back. In a battle at this level, if he were to be affected, he would definitely be embarrassed immediately. Even if he was wearing a second-generation electromagnetic armor that could protect against direct fire from 100 mm artillery. However, although Zhang Tuohai took a few steps back, he kept his eyes on the situation on the court and did not dare to miss a moment. You know, the opportunity to observe a battle of this level does not come often. On the field, although the two seemed to be evenly matched and fought back and forth, Kai seemed to be on the weaker side. Just now, although he blocked the stormy attack, there was already a trace of sweat on his face, and the shoes under his feet were turned into powder due to the excessive force. A stream of blood flowed out along the trouser legs, dripping. It seeped into the soil, and it looked like he was seriously injured. Not only Zhang Tuohai could see this clearly, but Alice, who was suspended in midair, could also see it clearly. Seeing this situation, Alice waved one hand, and 27 blue squares flew back to her head, forming a Rubik's Cube again. Destroy it into nothingness! Alice held the Rubik's Cube and fell from the sky again, hitting Kai. Seeing this, Kai reluctantly held up his black umbrella and moved upward to parry. Boom! The blue Rubik's Cube hit the black umbrella. Kai spat out a mouthful of blood and half of his body sank into the dirt. Alice also raised the Rubik's Cube in her hand and dropped it to the ground. And the place she stepped on was, by coincidence, the suitcase that Kai had thrown in front of her. Just when Alice was about to increase her strength to kill Kai completely, the suitcase under her feet suddenly produced a strong suction force. Alice was caught off guard and was sucked into the suitcase. Then, the suitcase closed with a bang, and the buckle closed automatically. Bang, bang, bang. There were muffled sounds from the suitcase, accompanied by Alice's voice. Let me out! Ha! Cough, cough, cough. Kai laughed loudly when he saw that the plan was successful. However, because the movement was too large, it affected his injury, and he coughed violently involuntarily. However, his face was full of smiles. He put away the black umbrella and used it as a crutch, limped to the suitcase, kicked hard twice, and said mockingly, Idiot! Weren't you very powerful just now? You still want to kill me? Very good. I will let you taste the price of offending me tonight. But now, I have to solve a little problem. After speaking, Kai kicked the suitcase aside and turned to look at Zhang Tuohai, his eyes full of fierceness. Originally, I didn't want to kill anyone. But who made you see all this? If you want to blame, just blame yourself for your bad fate. In the next life, remember to be smart and don't look at things you shouldn't. No, no, the guy erased by the quantum cannot be resurrected. You will not have the next life. Goodbye, Kai said, holding a black umbrella in his hand and rushing towards Zhang Tuohai. However, just when he was about to make a move, hundreds of self-propelled machines suddenly emerged from the soil around him. These self-propelled robots held various weapons and launched an attack on Kai. Ta-ta-ta. Sting. Bang. Boom. Gatling. High voltage current electromagnetic gun, flamethrower, plasma grenade, RPG-7, and even individual cloud bombs, various weapons, no matter whether they were useful or not, took turns to greet Kai. Seeing this, Kai quickly held up a black umbrella to protect his body. All those attacks were blocked by the huge black umbrella. But the black umbrella didn't leave even a scratch. Boy, my black umbrella is made of quantum crystals. Even level 10 weapons can't hurt me. Don't try to delay time. Just die. If you anger me, I will let you understand. 
Sometimes, death is also a luxury wish. Kai stared at Zhang to a high angrily, like a ferocious hyena. Chapter 668 Trophies Looking at the ferocious Kai, Zhang Tuohai remained unmoved and continued to let the self-propelled machines launch attacks while waving to the side. Immediately, a self-propelled machine picked up the suitcase that had fallen to the ground and ran towards Zhang Tuohai like flying. Zhang Tuohai's goal from the beginning was not to kill Kai. He knew that he might not have the strength. His initial goal was to interfere with Kai, then create chaos, take the opportunity to release Alice, and use Alice to kill Kai. In this battle, only Alice is the real main force. Kai's eyes turned red when he saw the self-propelled machine that stole the suitcase. He also understood the key point of this battle. If he hadn't set a trap in advance to trick Alice, he would have been beaten into nothingness by now. If Alice is released, he will definitely die. At this time, he ignored the self-propelled machines around him that were still struggling to attack. He raised the black umbrella in his hand and threw it at the self-propelled machines, trying to stop the self-propelled machines from moving. Time went back a few seconds and a prompt suddenly popped up in front of Zhang Tuohai. Use the infrasonic weapon on Kai, adjusting the power to maximum. Classmate Xiao Ai, use the infrasonic weapon with the highest power immediately on Kai. Without thinking too much, Zhang Tuohai immediately issued an order to classmate Xiao Ai. Clear. A speaker popped out of the car, and a high-frequency infrasound wave was launched in Kai's direction. Kai's body has undergone a lot of modifications. Although it still looks like a mortal body on the surface, it is actually stronger than the Terminator. Even if it is directly hit by an intercontinental ballistic missile, it will only be a minor injury. But, that was at its peak. After a big battle just now, although Kai didn't seem to have a big problem on the surface. In fact, the huge impact had messed up his insides, and there were major problems with various equipment and internal organs. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been able to survive. When facing an attack from a self-propelled machine, a black umbrella must be used to resist it. When he was about to throw the black umbrella out in a desperate move, high-frequency infrasound waves also hit him. Under normal conditions, this kind of infrasound wave would not cause any harm to Kai at all. However, Kai is different now. He is in a mess inside now. The high-frequency vibration made Kai's body feel as if he had experienced a major earthquake. Some of the precarious wires and electronic components were seriously damaged, which directly caused deviations in his control of the arm. Boom. The black umbrella hit the self-propelled machine crookedly. The running self-propelled machine instantly turned into nothingness. The suitcase that was supposed to fall was also hit by the black umbrella. The suitcase slid all the way to Zhang Tuohai's feet. Kai. Zhang Tuohai. Alice in the suitcase. Hashtag. Click. Zhang Tuohai quickly opened the suitcase's buckle and opened the suitcase. A dizzy Alice climbed out of the suitcase. Kai. How dare you put me in a box and kick me outside. You are dead. As Alice spoke, she stretched out her right hand and spread her fingers. The quantum Rubik's Cube that was originally floating in the air suddenly scattered into 27 cubes and then surrounded Kai from all sides. Wait, I have something to say. I have a secret. A secret about the evil god. Seeing the scene, Kai looked panicked and quickly threw out his trump card, trying to get a chance to survive. He doesn't want to die. Evil god? Upon hearing this word, Zhang Tuohai's eyes lit up. He felt like the world had opened up for him. If the person in charge here is Zhang Tuohai, then Kai may be able to live a little longer. Unfortunately, the most powerful person in charge here is the angry Alice. She was inexplicably locked in a box and kicked around like a ball several times. If she hadn't been physically strong, she would have drowned in her own vomit. Her biggest goal now is to kill Kai. Take your secret with you and die! Alice clenched her right hand fiercely. 27 blue cubes hit Kai from all directions. He directly beat Kai into nothingness. Even the place where Kai originally stood became a void. Nothing exists anymore. Seeing that Kai was completely dead, Alice snorted coldly and collapsed on the ground as if she had lost her strength. Miss Alice, are you okay? How can I help you? Upon seeing this, Zhang Tuohai quickly stepped forward to support Alice and waved to the side. Two self-propelled machines immediately brought a luxurious single sofa over. Wang Kai also came over with a tray, which contained a cup of milk tea and a plate of fruit. Come! Take a rest. Zhang Tuohai took the tray and placed it in front of Alice. Alice looked at the milk tea. A trace of struggle flashed in her eyes. Would it be inappropriate for me to drink milk tea in front of my subordinates? But the milk tea is really delicious. Oops. 
My hands didn't obey the command, and I went to get it myself. How about just a small sip? Just a small sip. Absolutely. Don't drink too much. Yes, it's just what your hands want to take. It has nothing to do with me. It's so sweet. Alice held the milk tea and drank it. Her beautiful eyes turned into crescent moons. A line of prompt slowly disappeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. And what could be vaguely seen was, Alice's favorite food is milk tea. Especially drinking a cup after a battle will greatly increase your favorability in her heart. Drinking large amounts will induce a state of intoxication. Revealing important information. After a while, Alice put down the empty milk tea cup in her hand with an embarrassed look. I obviously just wanted to take a sip. But why was it gone all of a sudden? Alice muttered quietly. Zhang Tuohai didn't dare to laugh and gestured to the side. Immediately, a self-propelled machine delivered the black umbrella and the suitcase. Zhang Tuohai handed the black umbrella and suitcase to Alice. Miss Alice, this is a trophy. Please keep it. Is there anything else you would like to order? Alice looked at the two things in front of her, thought for a while and said, Logically speaking, these two things need to be recycled. However, you also put in a lot of effort in the battle just now. So let me make the decision. I'll give you the black umbrella. You've got a big deal. This black umbrella is made of quantum crystals. Except for weapons of the same level of quantum crystals. In the imaginary number space. No weapon can break its defense. Even level 10 weapons. No. It's Kai's famous weapon. And it will give you an advantage. Real? After taking the black umbrella. Zhang Tuohai was extremely excited. During the battle on the side. He had long been jealous of the black umbrella. The half-disabled Kaika held up the umbrella and withstood the attack of the self-propelled machine. Moreover, the umbrella surface has no scratches at all. It looks like brand new. This discovery made Zhang Tuohai truly feel the horror of quantum crystal weapons. Chapter 669 Three Codes Zhang Tuohai happily played with the black umbrella in his hand, like a child who got a new toy. While playing around, Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought of a question. He asked Alice curiously, Miss Alice? This black umbrella is made of quantum crystals. The guy who attacked me before once said that the dagger in his hand was made of quantum fragments. Are there any similarities or differences between the two? This, Alice said while taking the red bean milk tea from Wang Kai. Actually, there is no difference in essence. Both are made of quantum. It's just that every time the world restarts, the quanta produced are really too few. We call those things quantum fragments. After accumulating more and gathering a certain amount, they are synthesized together and called quantum crystals. You can think of them as broken diamonds and diamonds. There is actually no difference. Alice said while drinking milk tea. The world restarts? Hearing these four words, Zhang Tuohai's heart trembled. He instinctively felt that he had captured another important piece of information. Having said this, Alice also felt that she had made a mistake. However, thinking that Zhang Tuohai had rescued her from the suitcase before, she felt that Zhang Tuohai was a member of the Tower of Babel. Sooner or later, she would know such news, and she would know it in advance. It's okay to reveal something. She coughed slightly and said, Actually, this news is considered confidential within the Tower of Babel. Only core cadres can know it. However, your performance is good. I can tell you in advance. You can know it yourself. Okay, don't tell anyone else. Don't worry. I have the strictest mouth. Zhang Tuohai made a zipper gesture on his mouth. I told you before that for those demigods, their biggest goal is to seize the imaginary core. Do you know why they want to seize the imaginary core? Alice took a sip of milk tea and asked leisurely. In order to gain more worlds and cultivate more favored ones? Zhang Tuohai tried to ask. That's just a means, not the end. Alice shook her head. You have to remember that their purpose of cultivating the beloved is to seize the imaginary core. But the purpose of seizing the imaginary core is not to cultivate the beloved. You have to understand the relationship between the two. Then what is their purpose? Their real purpose is to use the imaginary core to control the restart of the imaginary space. Restart? What good will this do to them? Zhang Tuohai was confused. Every time these imaginary spaces are restarted, some quantum fragments will be generated. When enough quantum fragments are accumulated and poured into the imaginary space, the space will be quantized, allowing the space to be promoted to quantum space and the space will be promoted to quantum space, can gain huge benefits from it, and even demigods can use this opportunity to be promoted to real gods. Therefore, those demigods are so active in snatching the imaginary number core, and their purpose is to accumulate quantum fragments together 
and supply go to an imaginary number space and let yourself achieve promotion. Alice said slowly. I see. When Alice said this, everything made sense. Why do demigods put so many humans into imaginary spaces to survive? The purpose is to select the strong ones to fight against other worlds and seize the imaginary core. Then accumulate quantum crystals for your promotion. Although this result is cruel to humans. Sometimes, to those in high positions, humans seem to be no different from ants. As long as the goal is achieved, it doesn't matter how many ants die. It's like a child who doesn't care how many ants die when he's playing. Although he understood the truth, Zhang Tuai still felt a suffocation in his chest when it was applied to him. You feel angry, don't you? Seeing Zhang Tuai's appearance, Alice smiled slightly and put down the red bean milk tea in her hand. Our Tower of Babel is an organization formed by such a group of angry guys. Since we can't stand it, we will pull down those demigods. Alice said and patted Zhang Tuai on the shoulder. Okay, thank you for the milk tea, but it's getting late and I should leave. As she spoke, she let the Rubik's Cube floating around her build a gate. A black vortex appeared above the gate. By the way, I'll give you a piece of advice before I leave. Alice suddenly turned around and said, Say it. Zhang Tuohai immediately took a step forward. Don't easily listen to the temptations and solicitations of other demigods. Except for a small number of talented players. Most players who switch to other camps are just cannon fodder. Moreover, compared to most demigods, Leoli, who recruited you, has some principles and is lawful and neutral. At least, he is much stronger than those of the chaotic system. Alice said calmly. Other demigods? You mean, there are other demigods who will come to poach us? Zhang Tuohai asked. You'll know when the time comes. Anyway, just remember. Alice waved her hand, dragged her suitcase, and stepped into the black vortex. The blue squares also fell into the black vortex. Eventually, the gate disappeared. At this time, the surrounding nothingness has gradually disappeared, and they have been slowly repaired by the world. The carriage has also disappeared long ago. All traces are disappearing. If it weren't for the black umbrella in his hand, Zhang Tuohai would even think that everything before was a dream. It's really amazing! Zhang Tuohai looked at the black umbrella in his hand and asked the self-propelled machine to clean up the surroundings and clean up the remaining traces. While he returned to the car, How is it going? Zhang Tuohai asked classmate Xiao Yai. The entire process has been videotaped, and several codes entered by Miss Alice have been recorded. In addition, after comparison, in the space behind the world, the analysis speed is about 30% higher than the normal analysis speed. As classmate Xiao Yai spoke, she listed several codes, all of which were written by Alice at the back of the world, at the core of the imaginary number space. The first one is the code for making marshmallows. This is of no use at the moment. The second item is to find the code, which is used to find the location of the imaginary number core. This is very important. However, according to Alice's analysis, the codes of the imaginary number space are different in different worlds. It is unknown whether this code will have the same effect in other worlds. The third code is also a search code, but it is used to find the coordinates of people. Looking at the neat three lines of code, Zhang Tuohai was very pleased. However, he suddenly thought of a problem. That is, Alice can enter the back side of the world and can naturally write code. However, I have no way to enter the back side of the world. Even if I have the code, I can't write it. What should we do? Are we still looking for a way to enter the back side of the world? When Zhang Tuohai was in trouble, his eyes suddenly fell on the imaginary number core in the corner. A thought suddenly came to his mind. There is also a lot of code in the imaginary number core. I wonder if it can be controlled using this. Chapter 670 Fake in Gasoline Powered Saw As soon as this idea came into being, it lingered in Zhang Tuohai's mind. Zhang Tuohai felt as if grass had grown in his heart. Try it. It's just a code. There shouldn't be any problems. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and finally made a decision. Classmate Xiai, enter the second code. Clear. Xiao Yai controlled the robotic arm to pick up the imaginary number core and wrote code on it with his fingers. Lines of code composed of various words appeared in the imaginary number core. After typing the last number, Xiao Yai chose to run. Soon, the code was running. After less than a second, a coordinate appeared on the imaginary core. That coordinate is exactly where Zhang Tuohai is at this time. Success! Zhang Tuohai showed an excited look on his face. This code runs successfully, indicating that these codes are valid in this world. If he finds a way to enter codes in other worlds, 
it might be effective in other worlds as well. However, while he was happy, Zhang Tuohai suddenly thought of a question. Alice also entered this code before, when she was on the other side of the world. However, it is impossible to locate the location of the imaginary number core. What is the reason for this? Is it that only the owner of the imaginary core can query? Or is there something special about his car that circumvents the query function of the code? However, the imaginary core is the highest level existence in the corresponding world. No items can be above its level. So there should be no problem of being covered. In the end, Zhang Tuohai could only temporarily attribute the reason to the first point. The main imaginary number core cannot be found. Forget it. Why are you thinking about this? Let's find a way to enter the code in other worlds first. Otherwise, just holding the code is useless. Zhang Tuohai was thinking about it and was about to close the data core. Suddenly, classmate Xiao Yai said excitedly, Commander, there is something discovered. Huh? What did you find? Zhang Tuohai asked quickly after hearing this. Because there are three known codes as a reference. The speed of cracking the code has been greatly improved. When I was cracking the code, I found a coordinate at the core layer. This coordinate was hidden in the core code. I suspect there is probably something important in this place. Classmate Xiao Yai said. The coordinates found in the core layer? It is indeed possible. Can you be sure where it is? Zhang Tuohai asked. Near the Arctic Circle. As Xiao Yai spoke, he opened the 3D map and posted a red dot near the Arctic Circle. He also thoughtfully marked several roads leading there on the map. Zhang Tuohai looked at the time. It was late at night on the second day of this world. From now on, there was really nothing to do in the next few days. I just happened to take this opportunity to go to that location and see what was there. You could also pass through several large towns along the way and harvest some crops along the way, which is a worthwhile trip. After making up his mind, Zhang Tuohai said to classmate Xiao Yai, then return to Baixiang City and start from there. From his current position, if he wants to go to the Arctic Circle, White Elephant City is indeed the shortest route. Moreover, after a fierce battle, Zhang Tuohai has almost emptied White Elephant City of silicon-based life. Now, White Elephant City is an empty city area. Walking here will also save a lot of trouble. After confirming the route, classmate Xiao Yai drove towards Baixiang City. After finishing all this, Wang Kai put on his apron and greeted Zhang Tuohai to start dinner. I know. I'll go greet them. Zhang Tuohai, who was in a good mood, whistled and opened the door of Lilith's laboratory. As soon as he opened the door, Zhang Tuohai felt a black shadow pass before his eyes. There was a dull thud. A large sword was inserted into the door frame next to his helmet. This startled Zhang Tuohai, and he jumped seven or eight meters away. What are you doing? Murdering your own father? Who told you not to knock on the door before coming in? Lilith, who was wearing a white coat, couldn't help but rolled her eyes and put down the handle in her hand. You came just in time. The test of the flying sword just now was successful. You can test the feel of it, Lilith said and threw the handle to Zhang Tuohai. Success so quickly? Where is it? Let me see. Upon hearing Lilith's words, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but get excited. If the flying sword plan really succeeds, he will be able to stand on the flying sword and fly back and forth. Let's not talk about speed. But the wind is definitely there. Moreover, with this thing, he will have several more options for fighting enemies in the future. Well, isn't it the one stuck on the door frame? Lilith pursed her lips and said, Is this a flying sword? Zhang Tuohai mechanically turned his head, and the expression on his face fell instantly. The flying sword in his mind should not be said to be a sword of frost and fourteen states, but it should at least have some antique charm. But what is this? A huge alloy sword with an inverted tooth chain saw on the blade. There is also a button on the hilt. When pressed, the inverted tooth chain saw on the blade can rotate rapidly, creating a flying gasoline saw. Putting aside the incompetence of power, who has ever seen a gasoline-powered saw flying into the sky? This coolness was gone all of a sudden. Isn't this look too ugly? Zhang Tuohai was speechless. This is the optimal not obtained through aerodynamic analysis, Lilith said gushingly. Moreover, in addition to melee attacks, this thing can also release high-voltage current, which is perfect for melee weapons and long-range weapons. Okay. Integration. Also, this thing is equipped with an autonomous attack system for drones and missiles. It can conduct autonomous reconnaissance, collect information, and attack autonomously according to the preset system. In order to catch up with the target, I added a magnetic levitation device and an ion jet to the tail of the sword. 
which can increase the top speed of the flying sword to Mach 9. In addition, I also stuffed AC4 bomb into the remaining space of the sword body. If it really can't be defeated, I can carry out a self-destruction attack. Lilith introduced her design endlessly. It was obvious that this was a work that she was very satisfied with. It integrates many of her inventions. Looking at Lilith's appearance, Zhang Tuohai's face dropped like a bitter gourd. This flying sword, which is like a gasoline-powered saw, has good functions. But there is one biggest problem, and that is that it is not handsome. Did you see that sword master flying on a gasoline-powered saw? It's totally outrageous. However, looking at Lilith's high-spirited look, Zhang Tuohai could only hold his nose and admit it. I have to say that the effect of this thing is really good, completely replacing the role of those hand-thrown drones. It's very good! Let's use this as a standard weapon for self-propelled machines. Zhang Tuohai said helplessly. Chapter 671 Mecha Concept Compared to Zhang Tuohai, who is obsessed with looking cool, the self-propelled machine advocates efficiency and likes new weapons very much. This weapon integrates most of the weapons in their hands. With this thing, they don't need to switch weapons frequently, and their combat efficiency is greatly improved. Not only that, Lilith also converted the vacant helicopter maintenance workshop into a production and launch workshop for the Fakin gasoline-powered saw because this thing covers all the kinetic energy of the drone. Lilith installed an automatic ejection system in the production workshop to realize the autonomous launch of the flying gasoline-powered saw. In the future, this kind of small reconnaissance drone will no longer need to be thrown by Zhang to a high one by one, and can be ejected completely independently. Now, hovering around the car were eight gasoline-powered saws. Looking at this scene, Zhang to a high felt waves a stomachache. Moreover, Lilith even announced the second phase of her plan. She is studying the integration plan of gasoline-powered saws and combined attack skills. Try to study the immortal killing sword formation that Zhang Tuohai mentioned as soon as possible. After hearing Lilith's plan, Zhang Tuohai imagined what it would look like to combine thousands of gasoline-powered saws into a Zhuxian sword formation. I couldn't help but feel waves of pain in my balls. This is ruining childhood. What's wrong with you? Lilith asked curiously, looking at Zhang Tuohai's bitter face. It's nothing. I'm hungry because I haven't eaten. By the way, what's going on with the plasma jet at the back of the car? Zhang Tuohai suddenly remembered the huge plasma jet at the rear of the car. If it hadn't been for the injector, his car would have been swept away by Alice's carriage. Well, I successfully researched Moriarty's electromagnetic armor and developed some gadgets. That's just a byproduct. Lilith brought Zhang Tuohai to the laboratory. A machine was turned on. Several probes sprayed out blazing plasma beams directly cutting an iron ingot into a metal Zhongli figure. This plasma technology is very easy to use. The effect of the resulting cutting machine is several times that of the original one. However, due to the technical level, it occupies the position of an accessory. Is that okay? Lilith asked sheepishly. After all, she installed this thing privately without Zhang Tuohai's consent. Zhang Tuohai opened the car and found that Lilith occupied not one accessory position, but three. One is a plasma cutting machine, one is a plasma jet, and one is a plasma shield. Each takes up a level 6 universal accessory. Zhang Tuohai has seen the first two, and the last plasma shield is the skill Moriarty once used. Form a plasma stance around the body to block ordinary attacks. With the current effect, it will not be a problem to cooperate with the existing armor to block a 300mm caliber naval gun. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just use it as you like. Zhang Tuohai felt happy. He originally thought that collecting level 6 accessories was a long way to go. Unexpectedly, Lilith helped him solve three of them quietly. He was a blessing. Lilith seemed not to be satisfied with the existing results, and said with some regret, Unfortunately, I encountered a bottleneck when I was researching the hypnosis system. I was unable to develop the principle of hypnosis using the sound and light system. If it could be developed, electromagnetic the armor can be upgraded again. It doesn't matter. You've done a good enough job. Put these away first and eat first. Zhang Tuohai took Lilith to the restaurant for dinner. Today I had fish slices and fried squid with soy sauce. When clearing out the cold storage today, Wakai saved the best part and made these two dishes. Several people raved about their food. Lilith even ate two more bowls of rice. During the dinner, Zhang Tuohai saw Aya and Away looking unhappy and couldn't help but show curiosity. What's wrong with you? Why do you eat so little? Is it because it doesn't suit your taste and you're not used to seafood? How about I ask Wonkai to make something else for you? No. 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 
It's already good. The food here is really good. I couldn't even think of it before. Alway waved his hand and said. He used to live on free food distributed by churches and various welfare organizations. He ate what others gave him. Without any chance to choose. Moreover, Chinese food was considered a luxury item there. And a simple fried rice would cost as much as for more than a dozen dollars. It is already a great blessing to be able to eat every meal. How dare you ask for too much? What's the reason for that? Zhang Tuohai put down his bowl and chopsticks. I just feel that I really deserve to be so idle every day. Is there anything I can do? Even if it's just a little help? Ah Wei held his pants with both hands. His palm soaked with sweat. So that's it. Zhang Tuohai nodded. He could understand Ah Wei's mood. Just like arriving at a new company. You are not afraid of having too many things to do. But you are afraid of having nothing to do. Being idle there not knowing what to do is the most frustrating thing. If you have nothing to do, help Wonkai take care of the high-end ecological park. In addition, Lilith, help them tailor a set of armor. The kind that combines skills. Zhang Tuahai thought of the two-person mecha in Pacific Rim. Two people with a high level of mental matching could control that huge combat machine. He didn't want to build such a big mecha all at once. It was purely for technical reserves for future development. Let's study a trial version first, and let two people do the test. It can also be regarded as finding something for them to do, so as to save them from being stunned. As Jiang Tuohai spoke, he drew a conceptual diagram of a large-scale mecha, and at the same time gave a rough outline of the form and function of the mecha. Well, from a technical point of view, it should be possible. Even if the technology is lacking, there are alternative versions. However, it is not that easy to integrate so many technologies. It needs to be verified. At least a verification machine must be built first. However, among them, we need them to cooperate with the experiment and verify something. Lilith looked at the sketch and fell into thought. Don't worry. Miss Lilith, I will try my best to cooperate. When he heard that he had a job, Alway's interest rose again, and he was glad that he was a useful person and not a freeloader. Aya also nodded slightly while thinking about how to combine her superpowers with the mecha. Zhang Tuohai didn't know what the two of them were thinking. He just mentioned it casually to find something for the two of them to do. Several people achieved their respective goals and had a pleasant meal. After eating, Lilith returned to the laboratory and prepared to complete the sketch all night. Ah Wei and Aya went to help. Wish you wealth and wash the dishes. Zhang Tuohai was left alone with nothing to do. Chapter 672 Emergency Zhang Tuohai, who had nothing to do, sat there for a while and opened the regional channel, ready to see what new news there was. However, there is basically nothing in the regional channel except for some players showing off their harvest. After obtaining the clones, many players were busy studying the clone's body structure and could not spare any time. As a result, there are fewer people on the water channel. After watching the regional channel for a while, Zhang Tuohai found that there was no valuable news. So he returned to his presidential suite to sleep. The car drove in the quiet night. At the same time, on a remote road, in a yellow beetle, Two sisters, Su Chi and Su Mu, were sitting opposite each other. Sister, do we really have to accept that guy's invitation? Su Chi felt a little uneasy. What can you do if you don't agree? You have also seen the power of that person. It is not something you and I can resist. If you refuse, I'm afraid the consequences will be unpredictable. Su Mu sighed and said, But, if that guy pulls someone so blatantly, will it be a taboo? There should be someone above us. Will he take action? Su Chi guessed. Someone must belong to someone. Otherwise, there is no need to discuss that person, but to snatch it directly. But, what's the use? We are facing danger. If we dare to refuse, I am afraid that we will die in the next second. Even if the above, what's the use of pursuing it after the fact? We're already dead. So there's no use for anything. Su Mu shook his head and said. Okay, I'll listen to you. Su Chi said secretly sending a private message to Zhang Tuohai. Brother Zhang, we were recruited by a guy named Shamir. She claimed to be a demigod and wanted us to work for her. We couldn't resist. The guy looked very strange. His face was split in the middle, and the left one was pure. She looks like the girl next door. The one on the right looks arrogant like an artist on the street. Her clothes are different on the left and right sides. After you see her, you'd better walk around and send you my and my sister's favorite artistic photos with this letter. If I die remembering that I existed. After sending the message, Su Chi raised her head and smiled at Su Mu. I'm ready. Yes. 
Sumu nodded, glanced around with nostalgia, and said to a small statue in the car, Lord Shamir, we are willing to convert to your sect. You made the right choice. Along with the sound, a green light enveloped the two people's car. After a moment, the green light dissipated, and the yellow beetle disappeared. Even in the list of regional channels, Su Mu and Su Chi's names disappeared. The number of people in the regional channel becomes 4532-4998. Su Mu and Su Chi are not alone. A purple light enveloped Li Fei car. An orange light enveloped Xiao Wan Wan's car. A ray of red light drew away the extremely excited Hagrid. Sharon Bass's car was enveloped in a black light. Not only Zhang Tuohai's acquaintances were taken away, but also some unknown people. The number of people in the entire regional channel dropped by about 300 overnight. Some demigods also found Zhang Tuohai. But after seeing the favored badge on Zhang Tuohai, they all left. It's okay to recruit some talented people, but taking away other people's loved ones is definitely a matter of deep hatred. If they are not preparing to start a full-scale war, no one will do such a thing. Zhang Tuohai was awakened by a prompt system. Please temporarily suspend the collection plan. This world will end early tomorrow morning at the earliest. Please be prepared. Huh? What happened? Zhang Tuohai looked confused at the prompt message in front of him. It's actually going to end early. What happened? Then, he found that his private messages were full of buzz. The private message at the top was from Su Qi. Zhang Tuohai opened the private message, read it carefully, and then frowned. Shamir Demigod? Half pure and half crazy? Could it be that this is the recruitment that Alice mentioned? Zhang Tuohai remembered that Alice mentioned to him that other demigods might come to pull people away. But he didn't expect that it would happen in the evening just after he finished talking. Zhang Tuohai checked the member list of the regional channel. And sure enough, the names of Su Qi and Su Mu were missing. Not the graying of death, but the complete disappearance. No wonder this world will end early. No one will be happy if someone recruits his subordinates under his nose. Zhang Tuohai discovered that it was not just Su Mu and Su Qi whose names had disappeared, but more than 300 people. After comparing the lists, Zhang Tuohai found the names of several acquaintances. Li Feiyu, Hei, Xiao Wanwan, Sharon Base. Among them, Xiao Wanwan sent him a private message. The general content was that Celia, the god of beast control, said that she had a natural heart and was a genius in beast control. He recruited her to train her. At the same time, she hoped that Zhang Tuohai could take good care of Meili. Mick. As for Li Feiyu, Hagrid, Sharon Bass and others, they did not leave any information. I just don't know if there are demigods inside who will fight in the next world. If there are, I'm afraid the intensity of the war will increase a lot. Zhang Tuohai thought to himself. Zhang Tuohai looked at his watch. It was four o'clock in the morning. About two hours before morning. According to this time, we will definitely not reach the Arctic Circle. Classmate Xiai, how far is it from Baixiang City? Zhang Tuohai asked. Since we can't go to the Arctic Circle, we should at least go to White Elephant City to search around. We must not waste the opportunity. There's still about half an hour left. Classmate Xiao Yai took a look at the map. Speed up. We don't have much time. In addition, look for things worth looting in White Elephant City. Plan a route. And try to get them before 6 o'clock. John Tuai said. Understood. I'll make the list right now. Classmate Xiao Yai started to make a list. After a while. A list appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. The avatar of Xiao Yai pointed at the list and said, Most of them are ordinary supplies, which can or cannot be collected. However, there is one thing that is very important, and we'd better get it. What is it? Zhang Tuohai asked in surprise. What can be regarded as a precious item by Xiao Yai's classmates is definitely not an ordinary thing. Didn't we encounter an evenly matched electronic warfare system the first time we fought against Miss Alice? I discovered that Miss Alice only turned it off but did not take it away. Really? Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but stand up after hearing this. He must get the equipment that can enable him to engage in evenly matched electronic warfare with classmate Xiao Yai. Even if it has no effect on him, it cannot be obtained by other players. Otherwise, they will become his biggest enemy, especially since they may be taken away by other demigods. Chapter 673 An Unexpected Gain Understood. Move forward at full speed immediately. Classmate Xiao Yai activated the plasma propulsion system. The speed of the heavy weapons platform instantly increased to 420 miles, and it rushed towards White Elephant City. The originally half-hour journey took only five or six minutes to arrive. Arriving at the gate of Baixiang City, 
Classmate Xiao Yai suddenly said. Commander, several players have been found in other areas and are heading towards White Elephant City. Classmate Xiao Yai said. Can you find out their destination? Zhang Tuhai asked. Two vehicles are equipped with spiritual realm systems, and players in three vehicles have purchased clones. Based on a comprehensive analysis of the information obtained, they came to White Elephant City to search for supplies under orders to mobilize defenses. Let the spiritual system guide them to the largest supermarket, and don't let them come and cause trouble. Zhang Tuhai thought for a while and said, Clear. Classmate Xiao Ai began to secretly modify the other party's driving route. Several cars slowly turned towards Nancheng District, where there was the largest comprehensive supermarket in Baixiang City. Even a simple visit would take half an hour. Before dawn, they probably wouldn't have time to come over and cause trouble for Zhang Tuohai. After driving away the annoying flies, Zhang Tuohai went straight to the city hall. At this time, the city hall was still the same as when he left. The two doors were crushed into pieces, and the remains of the two huge silicon-based beings that Alice had killed were still lying on the ground. 001. Dismantle these two guys for me. Zhang Tuohai gave instructions and drove the car into a side hall according to the instructions of classmate Xiao Yai. In the side hall, a huge metal device was placed on the ground. This metal device is shaped like a pyramid, composed of metal modules, exuding a light golden metallic luster. At the top of the pyramid is a blue crystal, which exudes a faint light and gives people a strange sense of beauty. At first glance, Zhang Tuohai thought it was a decoration not a machine. A line of prompts appeared in front of Zhang Tuohai. Space Base Type 3 Electronic Warfare System, the latest electronic warfare system developed by the Tower of Babel Organization. Integrating Active Phased Array Radar. Target Identification System. Electronic Jamming System. Target Identification System. Communication Jamming System. And Communication Encryption System. Electronic Warfare Technologies such as Communication Intrusion Systems, which can carry out electronic suppression. Communication monitoring, target parameter modification, electronic deception, and other electronic warfare technologies. One button start. Foolproof operation. Good guy. Active phase array radar? Zhang Tuohai looked at the machine in disbelief and touched the metal block on it. He originally thought these were just ordinary metal blocks. But he didn't expect them to be active phased array radars. This was something he didn't expect. Quick! Get this thing in the car. Zhang Tuohai greeted the self propelled machine and move the thing to the car. Because this thing was made privately by the Tower of Babel, and was not authorized by the demigods. Naturally, it cannot be graded, nor can it be directly installed on the car as a car accessory. However, Zhang Tuohai doesn't care much about this. He can let Xiao Ai dismantle it, and extract the technology to upgrade himself. In this way, although the level has not been improved, the overall combat ability will be greatly improved which can be regarded as a hidden card to a certain extent. At the same time, in a camp, Alice slowly stepped out of the carriage. It is said to be a camp, but it covers an area of thousands of acres, comparable to some villages and towns. There are various houses in the camp, with different styles. Maybe the first building was a thatched house. Behind the thatched house was a skyscraper. Below the building was a courtyard. Next to the courtyard was a river with a crystal palace in the river. Alice stretched herself, and walked towards a European-style villa. Sir Alice, have you brought back the electronic warfare system? We need to do data analysis. Several people in white coats stood nearby and asked respectfully. Oops, I forgot. Alice slapped her head. Then what should we do? The two people in white coats turned pale when they heard this. It contains our latest research and development technology. If someone takes it away, it will be terrible. We will the technical advantage will be lost. This is not the most terrifying thing. The most terrifying thing is that our technologies are all developed on the same basis. If the enemy obtains them, our similar products will have no secrets at all. Another person in a white coat added, Allah, Allah, no one will take it away. Something will happen to that world soon. And those players will be transferred away. In a few days, the world will restart itself. And everything will disappear. No one will find that mechanical. Alice said calmly, if that's the case, it's not a big problem. However, I hope Lady Alice will remember to bring the machine back in the future. We still need to do data recording and analysis. Two technicians in white coats pleaded as they wiped the sweat from their foreheads. However, they probably also knew that this was barely said. Alice was notoriously careless in the entire camp and would often forget something, even if she was reminded before leaving. 
she would still forget it. I know. I know. I just finished my task and I need to take a rest. Please step back. Alice waved her hand impatiently. He went straight into the villa. The two men in white coats looked at each other, sighed, and went back angrily. White Elephant City. City Hall. At this time, Zhang Tuohai was looking at classmate Xiao Ai in front of him in a daze. Classmate Xiao Ai, who was wearing a white pleated skirt, spun around in a circle, her skirt flying, and the gently raised skirt rubbed the back of Zhang Tuohai's hand. But there was no feeling. What technology is this? Zhang Tuohai asked curiously. The 3D virtual imaging technology was just analyzed from the electronic warfare system I just acquired. With this technology, I can appear in front of the commander with a more three-dimensional image. Please give me your advice in the future. Classmate Xiao Ai put one hand on her chest and bowed slightly. So fast? Doesn't that combat system have any encryption measures? Can the technology be cracked so quickly? Zhang Tuohai looked at his watch. It was less than 10 minutes before he obtained the space-based electronic warfare system. It was too fast to crack the technology. No. The encryption technology here is more powerful than any encryption technology one have encountered before. However, since I parsed those imaginary number codes, it has become much easier to crack these encryption methods. And the computing efficiency it has also improved a lot. And I feel that if I can crack more codes, my computing speed will also see a qualitative improvement. Classmate Xiao Yai said with excitement. Chapter 674 High Energy Radiation Meteorites Is there such a benefit in cracking the code in the core of imaginary numbers? After listening to classmate Xiao Ai's narration, Zhang Tuohai felt a little unbelievable. However, if you think about it carefully, it seems to make sense. After all, everything in this world, whether real or virtual, whether material or virtual code, is described by the underlying code of the imaginary core. Once you understand the basic structure, you will naturally be able to crack these codes easily. To give an inappropriate example, it's like you have learned calculus, and then go back to do the elementary school math Olympiad questions. Although the process and ideas are not the same as what the question maker wanted, you can always solve it. Great! Hurry up and analyze the remaining technologies immediately, and try to optimize and upgrade the electronic warfare system and spiritual realm system. The battle intensity in the next world may be very high, so be prepared for everything, Zhang Tuai said. Understood. I'm going to work right now. Xiao Ai gave her another breast-stroking salute, and then disappeared. As soon as classmate Xiao Ai disappeared, 001 walked in dragging a flatbed truck. There were many things on the flatbed truck, and the one on top was a drawing. Let me see what good stuff I got. Zhang Tuohai slowly opened the drawing. Combat Machinery Transformation Blueprint Vehicle Transformation Blueprint allows the vehicle to have two forms, a car and a combat machine. Available car forms, pickup truck, Hummer, original form. Optional forms of combat machinery. Eight-legged self-propelled machinery mode. Gundam, plain version mode. Only one form can be selected for each form, and cannot be changed after selection. Looking at this blueprint, Zhang Tuohai frowned and felt that this blueprint was a bit weak. Needless to say, there is no need to talk about the vehicle form. The two forms are very different from the current form. The other two combat machine forms are also very different. The overall form of the eight-legged self-propelled machine is to change the wheels into mechanical legs to facilitate movement in more complex terrain. The armament is a 105mm artillery and two single-barreled 30mm close-in defense guns. The plain version of Gundam is a humanoid mechanical form, about 4 meters tall, with arms and legs. The weapons are the same as the eight-legged self-propelled mechanical form, but the distribution positions are slightly different. This is not as good as my current layout. Zhang Tuohai curled his lips. Not to mention anything else. Just the vertical launch system he is equipped with now. Regardless of electronic suppression and so on. Combat machines of this level can fight as many as they want. To put it bluntly. Combat machinery of this level may not be able to defeat my own self-propelled machinery. At least Zhang Tuohai's self-propelled machines are equipped with small electromagnetic guns. After looking at the drawings twice. Zhang Tuohai felt that this thing could only be sold for money. However. Deciding who to sell to is a matter of knowledge. He flipped through the area list and quickly found a suitable target Song Xiaohong. This gold medal salesman under him was not poached by other demigods last night. I don't know if it is lucky or unlucky. Check the condition of Song Xiaohong's vehicle, Zhang Tuohai said to the Xiaohai system. After receiving the command, the spiritual realm system on Song Xiaohong's car immediately started self-checking and sent a complete set of data to Zhang Tuohai. At this time, 
Song Shakong was still driving the spider-shaped modified vehicle. The armament was a fog-firing artillery and a 30mm cannon. Apart from the passing rate on complex terrain, the overall strength was really weak. Zhang Tuohai thought for a moment and threw the transformation drawing directly to Song Shaohong. This is his sales gold medal. It's time to increase her life-saving ability. Otherwise, she will be beaten to death in the next world and her sales will be cut in half. And he won't even have time to cry. Is this for me? Seeing the renovation drawings, Song Shukong's eyes shone with excitement. She has never been too satisfied with her car. Although its ability to escape and pass is very good, its firepower is a big weakness, and it has no ability to attack difficult situations. Sometimes even if she sees a piece of fat, she has to retreat because of the weak firepower. Now, with this transformation blueprint, her strength will make a qualitative leap. Seeing Song Shukong's appearance, Zhang Tuohai felt a little embarrassed. He didn't expect that the weapons he had eliminated for several rounds were still regarded as treasures by others. He really didn't know what to say. These are for you too. Zhang Tuohai thought for a while and made 20 more plasma grenades and four flying gasoline-powered saws. Although the appearance of the faking gasoline-powered saw is a bit worse, its attack capabilities are not weak at all. It has both close attack, chain saw, and long-range attack, high-voltage current. It is also equipped with a drone's autonomous cruise and attack system. I believe it will be useful to warehouses. This is a big improvement for Shao Kong. Zhang Tuohai sent four faking gasoline-powered saws to Song Shao Kong, along with the operating instructions. If you really can't figure it out, just hand over the command and control to the spirit realm system, and you'll be responsible for making the decision. Zhang Tuohai finally said, Can this also be linked to the spirit realm system? It's great. I haven't been very good at playing with model airplanes since I was a child. In the original world, since I broke my brother's three drones, he never let me touch it again. Song Shaokong said happily. Zhang Tuohai, after arming Song Shaokong, Zhang Tuohai checked it again and closed the private message after confirming that there were no omissions. In addition to this transformation drawing, there is also a large piece of meteorite on the car, which is emitting a faint blue light. Seeing this meteorite, Zhang Tuohai couldn't help but slap himself on the head. His original purpose in coming to White Elephant City was this meteorite that could activate machinery. As a result, the battle and the message thrown by Alice had such an impact on him that he forgot about this thing for a while. Until 001 dug this thing out from under the remains of those silicon-based life forms. Zhang Tuohai focused his eyes on the meteorite. And a prompt popped up. High energy radiation meteorite. A specialty of the Omnic Crisis world. It has a certain kind of special radiation energy that can activate part of the irradiated machinery into silicon-based life. When it leaves the wish world, the activation effect is greatly reduced but it will produce some special effects. Is it a world specialty? After seeing the description, Zhang Tuohai was a little disappointed. He originally thought that this thing would be useful in any world, but now it seems that it is no longer possible. However, this thing can be thrown to Lilith for research, and maybe something can be researched out. Go and send it to Lilith! As Zhang Tuohai spoke, he arranged for the self-propelled machinery to search out all kinds of resources that could be seen as quickly as possible. After all, there was not much time left in this world. Chapter 675 Evacuate in Advance While Zhang Tuohai was busy searching for supplies, a crisp sound came from a hall in the void. A crystal cup was smashed to pieces, and dark red liquid flowed everywhere. The demigod Liuli, who was in charge of part of the technological authority, patted the armrest of the throne and stood up. It's really unreasonable. They actually dared to kidnap my players while I was away. And there were more than 300 of them. Do they think I'm good? Bullying? Shuiyu? Who grabbed the most players? Lioli looked at a maid beside her coldly and asked. It's Fei Yue Mianxia. The maid said respectfully. Very good. I remember the next battle will be with her. Right. Lioli asked. Yes, said the maid. Tell her that I will add 300 quantum crystals and bet with her on the imaginary core of the ring world in her hand. Hearing Lioli's words, the maid was shocked. 300 quantum crystals is not a small sum of money. Moreover, the ring world is just a world with a very low quantum crystal output. Every time it is restarted, only a few quantum fragments can be obtained. I don't know how long it will take to get back the money. Thinking rationally, this is definitely not a cost-effective deal. But obviously, Lioli is already angry. She no longer considers whether it is a cost-effective deal, but to protect her own face. Otherwise, if she shows weakness this time, then in the future, those demigods will be even more unscrupulous. 
judging from the actual situation. This battle is unavoidable. And Leoli has no way to retreat. By the way, I'm sending a notice to my loved ones to recruit 100 loved ones to participate in this battle. Open the points mall and double the rewards. Leoli said angrily. Your Majesty, you and Feiyue Crown have made an agreement before this battle. No more than 100 beloved can participate in the battle. And the level of the beloved badge must be reduced to less than 20. There is already one in the original team. Players who have activated the beloved emblem can only send a maximum of 99 people. The maid reminded in a low voice. Already activated the beloved emblem? Who is it? Leoli asked curiously. It's Zhang Tuohai. A new player. The maid said quickly. Zhang Tuohai. This name seems familiar. Leoli looked thoughtful and rubbed her forehead. You also said that you would personally award the reward to the player who eliminated the traitor Moriarty. However, it was delayed due to the last trip. Miss Lin will do it for you. I remembered. It turned out to be him. He turned on the beloved badge so quickly. It was a suitable seed. Lily nodded after hearing this and felt a little better about Zhang Tuohai. They recruit 99 favored ones and try to select those with high-level favored ones. In addition, let those scheduled players leave the welfare world immediately. There will be no time for them to linger anymore. Each person will be given an orange material box and a supply package. Let them get ready. This battle can only be won, but not defeated. Clear. The maid immediately did it. Imaginary space. World of Omnic Crisis. Six o'clock in the morning. As soon as the first ray of sunlight hit the earth, a prompt popped up in the game. Note, due to unexpected reasons, this world will be closed early in five minutes. All players should be prepared to evacuate. Compensation will be issued later, and the countdown will begin. This tip caught all players off guard, especially those players who chose the silicon-based life camp. They have never experienced such an easy survival world. They are powerful, have no mandatory tasks, and can move freely. They can fish when they want, and plunder supermarkets when they want. It is so cool that many people thought they were in a vacation world. As a result, it suddenly ended early, which made many people very uncomfortable. Why did it end early? I haven't had enough fun yet. It's just that I just fell in love with a young lady online, and I was going to meet in Bailu City today. Why did it end suddenly? You give me back my young lady. The people upstairs will die if they see the light. You're stupid. Now they all use real people's avatars. And they are all without makeup. There is no possibility of dying in public. Are you stupid upstairs? Is there any online dating anymore? It would be great to directly customize a clone. The appearance and body will definitely be your favorite. And it will also be docile and have excellent skills. You can do whatever posture you want. What a posture. It feels so good to fly. Really. If I had known it would end so early, I would have searched a few more supermarkets. I was tired from moving stakes yesterday. I originally planned to take a rest and move again today. But it ended immediately. Fortunately, I moved 30 boxes of cans yesterday. Which will probably be enough for a while. I guess those players who choose the human camp are probably the happiest. Being hunted down every day. A player suddenly said, Pull him down. You're just chasing him. After entering the town, you can immediately get a large supply of individual equipment. The next day, he also helped to modify the vehicle. As long as you can carry it, you can take all kinds of anti-armor weapons. Except for just apart from being able to eat canned food and self-heating rations for individual soldiers. It's not much else. So happy? What a mistake. If I had known, I would have chosen a human player. Many players in the regional channel are happy and some are sad. But most people are a little uncomfortable with the world ending so soon. However, no matter what the players think in their hearts, time is still passing by. Five minutes later, Everyone was enveloped in white light. After the white light dissipated, Zhang Tuohai found that he was back in the black void. There were fuzzy bubbles floating around. And cars were wrapped inside. Compensation has been issued. Please check. A line of game prompts popped up. Then, two supply boxes fell in front of him. One is orange and one is green. The green one also has the words. Supply pack. Written on it. Orange supply box. So generous. Zhang Tuohai looked at the supply box in front of him in disbelief. You must know that even with his level of luck and the existence of the Reminder System plugin, the number of orange supply boxes he has seen is only 10. Now, the game system directly distributes one to each player. This is a big deal. However, Zhang Tuohai's fiery heart cooled down again when he thought of the upcoming battle. Isn't it a deprivation meal? 
Jean Tuahai thought to himself. After going through several worlds, he knew very well the character of the game system, and how great the gains were, and how great the dangers were. The wholesale supply of orange supply boxes now shows how cruel the next world will be. However, now that the supply boxes have been distributed, they still need to be opened, and they cannot be returned. Jean Tuahai picked up the long-lost crowbar and pressed it down.